This black dragon is clearly imprisoned in a jail, but living a fairy-like life. Not only is my weight increasing day by day, but I am also bored and have movies to watch. Even on ordinary days, there are beautiful women accompanying the thought of the mother dragon. And all of this is because I crossed over to another world along with the country, but only I have turned into a black dragon. Upon learning this news, Xiaoguo wanted to spare me from unnecessary trouble and danger, and the identity can reasonably appear in the public eye, so I was asked to cooperate and perform a play. At this moment, I am playing dead all the way, being transported back to the base by the military using a large truck. There is a professional camera crew following along this journey. Take some shots and use them for external publicity to deter illegal entry of the dragon. The heat of being shot down by our country's justice does not decrease, and I estimate that I will become the first live streaming giant. The director team plans to collaborate with Xiaogua CCTV to create a program that explores the world of dragons. The main purpose is also to help the general public gain a correct understanding of the extraordinary creature known as the dragon, correcting the misconception that everyone wants to eat dragon meat and dragon blood. At the same time, it also allows everyone to see clearly. How did the black dragon's attitude gradually change? Being attracted by the dazzling civilization of the Xia kingdom, and finally willingly naturalized? Meanwhile, in a closed, soundproof room in the underground research laboratory at Xiaka Institute, Kyle also saw the news of Black Dragon being shot down and captured by missiles on TV. Even powerful creatures like the Black Dragon are beaten until their skin is torn and flesh is exposed. Kai can't even imagine. What would have happened if she had also been hit at that time? Kyle feels that it may be necessary for him to study physics. After all, as the people of Xiaogua say in their books, knowing oneself and knowing the enemy is the key to winning every battle. Only by understanding the core of Xia's civilization and the core of the world can one defeat the subversion against her. But whenever she has this kind of idea, strong resistance will quickly arise in the subconscious. She knew this was the Lord's warning to her, and also the Lord's salvation to her. In fact, at the beginning, Kyle detests everything about the people of Xia country, regardless of whether it is written language or technology. It all makes angels feel vigilant and disgusted. I don't know why, as time goes by, her resistance and disgust in her heart are becoming weaker and weaker. I can't help but want to learn about the Xia kingdom. On this day, the mighty black dragon was seen being defeated. Let Kyle couldn't help himself anymore. First symbolically comforting himself, this was originally a task arranged by the host. Then he began to read a large number of books eagerly and thirstily. As she continued to watch, her values began to constantly shake. Finally, even started to can't help but re-examine oneself's master. You should know that she used to guard the soul purgatory for a hundred years, still full of energy and unwavering faith. Now it's just been a few months since I was imprisoned in Xia Kingdom. Her faith began to waver, overwhelmed by emptiness and loneliness. Can't help but be influenced by the culture and history of Xia Kingdom. Of course, she also attributed this to the despicable nature of the people from Xia Country. Either they pollute themselves with electricity, or they constantly bring books to themselves continuously watching TV programs about major national industries and the mysteries of the universe. She will definitely still be the main angel that Kyle trusts the most. A few days later, the life in the laboratory is much easier than I imagined. In addition to capturing some shots every day, I can be free to do other things at other times, but I don't have anywhere else to go, so I can only stay in the research institute all the time, either charge or sleep. Fortunately, Gowing comes over to chat with me every day, although it is called psychological counseling for me. But I always feel that the things she talks to me about are strange. All are just some ordinary daily trivial matters. Either take me to watch the news or browse forums to roast silly internet users. Either watch some movies and TV shows together. I have previously raised objections to this. Feel that this doesn't seem like a serious psychological counseling. But Gowing replied, Doing all these is to help me stay connected with society, to keep my emotions active, enrich my spiritual life, enhance my interaction and empathy with human society. And these are the elements that the black dragon mentality and human nature most need. Although I still feel a bit strange. But because I couldn't argue with her. I could only let her have her way. However. I have indeed been out of touch with society for a long period of time. It is indeed necessary to reintegrate as soon as possible. This evening. I just let Gowing help me log into my earth account. Brothers. I'm back. Did you miss me? I asked Gowing to type in a group chat called chicken dinner tonight. Huang Ze, Is it really you? A group member named Fanfan quickly replied with a voice message. Didn't you disappear? How come you suddenly showed up again? Where have you been lately? I thought you had gone abroad like Lao Xia. I was a little confused when I heard that. Isn't it said that the environment overseas is not very friendly to us Xia people? Why did Lao Xia go abroad? That is for ordinary people. Fanfan seems to be somewhat disdainful. Rich people are different. The indigenous gods overseas are extremely fond of gold. 
As long as you offer a pound of gold as a sacrifice to our deities and become their followers, you will receive the blessings and baptism of their divine power, allowing you to live freely abroad. Lao Xia is following this path. Damn it, this dog didn't even bother to call me when it left. I can't believe I considered him my brother. Now the country has strengthened its supervision of gold and immigration. It's not so easy to go abroad again. Alas, this matter cannot be explained in just a few words. It is said online that it is easy to be caught. Where are you now? Let's meet up tonight and we can talk about it in detail then. Um, I am currently out of town and can't come back for the time being. It will probably take a while before we can meet up. After casually brushing it off, I noticed that there were only three people in the group chat. So I continued to ask, where is Pansy when Lao Xia went abroad? Why did he leave the group? He went to engage in cult worship and got banned and also got arrested. Now he's still in detention. I am confused. Pansy is also a top student at the University of Magic City. How could someone with a higher education end up doing this? How is he doing now? Hopefully, he should be coming out soon. Speaking of it, he is also unlucky. Pansy is not an astronomy enthusiast, right? He has joined some astronomy enthusiast circles. I like to look up at the sky with a telescope when I have nothing to do. This was nothing before. But since our country crossed over to this world, the situation is completely different now. The stars above our heads are no longer the familiar material stars we once knew, but unknown energy bodies. Staring at them with a high-powered telescope makes it easier to be corroded and contaminated by their power. The astronomy enthusiast circle that Pansy is in has collectively been contaminated by an evil god. They are being deceived to spread their beliefs online and recruit followers. Then, they were quickly discovered by the relevant authorities and all members were arrested, currently undergoing ideological education in the detention center. I feel inexplicably heavy-hearted upon hearing this. I didn't expect so many changes to happen even within my own small circle. It can be seen that the impact of crossing into another world on Xia Kingdom's society would be immense. It is not an exaggeration to say that people's hearts are restless and hidden currents are surging. Huang Ze, what on earth have you been up to for the past six months? A while ago, the police station personnel came to look for me and asked about your situation. They asked in quite a detailed manner. Are you in some kind of trouble? No. It's just that I got deceived in an online relationship and was trapped in a dark coal mine for half a year. I made up an excuse casually. I have something else to attend to. Let's talk later when we both have time. Okay, you go ahead and busy yourself first. Please let me know if there is anything I can help with. Don't bear it alone. Okay, understand. What kind of trouble can a black dragon like me have on a late night? However, just now, I discovered something interesting, which is that someone added me on earth. Then Gowing glanced at it and decisively rejected it. Why refuse? This is my earth number, right? Can you also ask for my opinion? I stared at Gowing with wide eyes. It's not that angry. Just simply want to regain some presence. During this period of time together, I always feel like I am being suppressed by this woman. Because this is a scam account. It is obvious that it is here to deceive people. Gowing calmly and confidently replied without changing her expression. I expressed doubt upon hearing this. But I clearly saw in her verification information that she is a follower of the love goddess Freya and that it was under the guidance of the love goddess that she found my account. She wants to be with me to receive the blessings of the love goddess and become eternal lovers. Because she said this, it proves that she is a fraud. Because the love goddess Freya is a native deity, her divine power currently cannot possibly affect us, the people of Xia Kingdom. 99% of people who had friends online using this excuse are scammers. I still don't believe it when I hear these words. Always feel that Gaoing is protecting her own interests by doing this. This woman has long been proud of her pure little dragon. Don't believe it. See for yourself. Gowing handed me the phone without saying a word. There are many online reports about this. After all, the god of love does exist in this world. Using his name to deceive for money and sex is no more clever than selling tea leaves. I thought about it and felt like it made some sense. Is the belief in the god of love widely spread in our country of Xia? I suddenly asked about the national conditions of Xiaogui as I recalled it. Yes, after all. The pursuit and desire for sex and love have always been the nature and instinct of us humans. There are many unmarried people in our country. And many people are very anxious about their personal issues. Just Freya's divine power. Unable to influence within our Xia country all alone. Otherwise, it can help us solve many social problems. I suddenly brightened up when I heard this. If possible, please hire professionals like Cupid Freya to create some dating websites or marriage agencies. The business will definitely be very popular and very profitable. The more I think about it, the more I feel there is potential. If there are any more believers who want to add me as a friend in the future, I hope you can seek my opinion first before deciding to accept or refuse. But they are clearly fake believers, deceiving others under the guise of the god of love. Gao Ying's emotions are somewhat excited. Mr. 
Huang, your identity is special. You must never associate with these dubious women. As your counselor, it is my duty to look out for you. Why are you so worked up? I inexplicably find it somewhat funny. I am not foolish, nor am I easily fooled like a brainless person. How could I be so easily deceived? The reason for adding them is because I am very interested in the goddess of love, Freya, and I want to learn some information from them for future collaboration. Moreover, Freya is also a deity. Who can guarantee that her divine power will not affect our country? Maybe the girl just now was really guided to find me. It could be my destined true love. Where are there so many true celestial maidens? But let's take a step back. If their divine powers are truly that great, so why did that person just add your earth number instead of calling you directly? I blinked my eyes and inexplicably found it amusing how Gao Ying's defenses were broken. Isn't my phone number out of service? And this is your phone, using your mobile number. Hai Ying was momentarily speechless upon hearing this, paused for a moment before raising the phone. Kofefi is a deity. If their power can really interfere with our country, I don't believe that my phone number cannot be found. If the person just now was really guided by Freya, so she should be calling me now. As soon as the words fell, the phone in Gao Ying's hand really started vibrating. The incoming call display shows an unknown number, which is definitely an online virtual number specifically used for scamming people. Gao Ying's heart had an inexplicable feeling of unease, but quickly found an excuse for himself and promptly hung up the phone. Can it really be that coincidental? I was also a bit surprised, but I think we should still give Gao Ying some face and not stimulate her too much. So he lay there motionless, but after a few seconds, another unknown number called again. Gao Ying reflexively hung up on it. Next is the third one. The fourth one. Just as Gao Ying was furious and about to turn off the phone, I finally couldn't help but speak up. Take it. Avoiding the problem blindly will not solve it. At the very least, you are still a counselor. Even if you entered through the back door, Gao Ying's psychological resilience is still passable. After I said that, she quickly woke up and adjusted her mindset. And the call was connected. Hello, may I ask who you are? There was silence on the other end of the phone for a moment. Then a cautious female voice sounded. Hello, could you please ask Huang Zhe to take the call? You're really looking for me? Is it really such a coincidence? The black dragon was greatly curious. If this person was really that Eros devotee, it would be really interesting. Huang Zhe. I don't know any Huang Zhe? Gao Wing didn't move and said. You made a typo, didn't you? No way. The girl on the other end of the phone said eagerly. This number is the guide God just gave me. Through which I can definitely contact Huang Zhe. Don't lie to me. Okay? God. Gao Ying's face changed, but her voice still seemed calm as she said. God? What God? Missy, it's against the law to mess around with deity beliefs. And it's also very dangerous. So don't make a mistake on your own. I know. I know. I'll be careful from now on. The person on the other end of the phone agreed in a loud voice. And then pleaded. Then sister can you contact Huang Zhe for me now? I have something very, very important to find him. Sorry. I told you I really don't know any Huang Zhe. Gao Ying replied with feigned impatience while looking for a nearby staff member to report this situation in order to track down just who the opposite party was. After all, when it came to the black dragon, even the smallest thing had to be taken seriously and taken seriously. Impossible. The great Freya cannot lie. Much less be wrong. Over there, he raised his volume and said emotionally, Missy, please stop playing dumb, or else you are the one who's making a mistake for yourself, and the great Freya will surely punish you, curse you and make you a bachelor for the rest of your life. Yeah, how dare you curse me like that. Gao Ying was so angry that she was almost broken defense, and just wanted to passionately confront the opposite side and scold her, but coldly saw that Black Dragon was looking at himself curiously, obviously paying attention to the development of the matter, so he hurriedly was controlling his emotions, and curiously said that, Freya, you're a follower of Eros? That's right, that side seemed to be feeling proud, and exclaimed, not only am I his devout follower, but I am also his hand-picked saintly daughter, the Holy Virgin. Gao Ying skimmed her lips and said, What did Freya tell you to find Huang Zhe for? Let him come and receive Freya's blessing with me. Of course. Without thinking, that side replied, Freya herself told me that Huang Zhe is his holy son and my destined one and only. So naturally, the sooner the two of us are together, the better. Is there really a God-given love? Gao Ying inexplicably felt a little uncomfortable, subconsciously looked up at the black dragon. Seeing that it was still lying on its back and did not move, and did not show the kind of excitement of being favored by God's grace, she was a little more solid in her heart, and then asked, So romantic? Are you really a devotee of Freya? Really guided by him to find Huang Zhe? Of course it's true. Over there, he said seriously, I'm Freya's most devout follower. How could I possibly joke about such a thing? Isn't Freya's divine power, 
unable to affect us domestically, and how did you do this? Of course it's gold. I went outside the country and sacrificed a hundred pounds of gold to him, Yonder replied in a proud tone. Crap, is so damn rich. Rather than being well educated, Gowing couldn't help but burst out in her heart. One hundred pounds of gold. The market value has exceeded twenty-five million summer dollars. Not to mention that nowadays the regulation of gold in the summer country is very strict. Just to collect one hundred pounds of gold is extremely difficult. Not to mention getting it outside the country. This woman, her family must be super rich and powerful. You, don't you know that going offshore privately and smuggling so much gold is a serious offense? I know. The other side quickly replied. That's why I need to contact Huang Zhe as soon as possible so that he can run away with me. Only then did Gaoing realize that the sister across from him was, obviously, a bit very foolish and naive. And after thinking about it, she couldn't help but ask, since you're Freya's holy maiden, then you must know a lot about him, right? That's for sure. He's super fond of and favors me. The other side replied, what do you want to know? Do you want to join our Eros cult too? It does kind of feel like, Gaoing pretended to be a bit impressed in order to relax the opposite side's vigilance, then asked, but I need to clear up a question first. You say, Freya's divine right, how exactly is it exercised? What do you mean? There was a bit of a lack of response there for a moment. I mean, how does Freya help you believers find your other half? Is it through big data? Big data? There's even more confusion over there. Yeah, Gaoing said seriously, after all, if you think about it, Freya, as the deity in charge of love, must have a very wide range of beliefs, right? His believers, to say the least, are in the tens of millions, and with such a large number, trying to deal with the emotional problems of each and every one of them is obviously a very terrifying amount of work, even if Freya is a deity, I'm afraid she wouldn't be able to keep herself busy, so I'm wondering if he has a huge database in his hands and is using special algorithms for big data marriage assignments? There was silence there for a moment before they roared in exasperation. You heretic! How dare you question Freya and blaspheme her? How could I? Gowing said very innocently, this is clearly in the spirit of seeking truth from facts. I am just trying to figure out this question that has been bothering me for a long time. Even if it is Freya in person, I still have to ask him. This way how can you say that it is blasphemy to ask something if you don't understand it? You're good. Over there, he laughed in anger, almost gritting his teeth. I remember you. You wait for me. I will definitely report your blasphemous words to Freya so that he will curse you to be a bachelor for life. No, it is to meet a scum for life. Aya, so vicious? I'm so scared, Gowing bitchily said. Aren't you Freya's saint daughter? But you are also so petty. Is the god of love's discernment so poor that he would actually choose you as a saint daughter? You, yes, I'm a saintly woman. I'm a saintly woman. I can't be angry. That side took several deep breaths in a row, and only after a long time did they calmly say, I was almost so furious with you that I forgot the main thing. Miss, I'm here to look for Huang Zhe, can I trouble you to contact him for me? Sorry, Cao Ying was about to refuse again, but suddenly remembered the Black Dragon's earlier reminder that it should be consulted first for this kind of thing, so he could only helplessly skim his lips and ask the Black Dragon with his eyes if he wanted to agree? The Black Dragon shook his head. The question that Cao Ying had just asked had actually reached the heart of the Black Dragon, causing it to have a big question, how exactly was the divine power of the God of Love exercised? As Cao Ying said, Love is a fascinating spiritual and physical need, and I don't know how many intelligent beings have a natural yearning and thirst for it. As a deity in charge of this field, the prayers Freya had to receive every day, the marriages she had to deal with every day were tens of millions of dollars at least, such a huge workload, how did he arrange it over and how did he manage to do everything? And, what are the criteria and basis for the marriages he arranges for people? It is a comprehensive consideration of appearance, education, outlook, personality and other factors and then through rigorous matching, to find the most compatible soul mate, or are they randomly assigned, directly tampering with the underlying data, controlling and altering people's minds and aesthetics to force two people together, and for some reason, the more the black dragon thought about it, the more he leaned towards the latter possibility, that this god of love, most likely, wasn't as reliable as the legends had made him out to be, after all, human nature is a very complex thing, it is selfish and fickle, it is hard to have any perfect love in this world, if Freya can really arrange perfect love for people, then nine times out of ten, it is mixed with his private goods. Of course, the Black Dragon was also aware that it was more or less too one-sided in scrutinizing theology through the eyes of science. But who made it more willing to believe in science than theology or metaphysics? Black Dragon stated that he didn't want to take care of the opposite side, naturally making Gowing very happy. Immediately said, Sorry, I don't have any Huang Zhe here at all. You've typed it wrong. 
According to normal operation, Gowing should hang up the phone immediately at this time, and immediately pull the other party black. Oh, the unknown number cannot be pulled black, then decisively shut down the phone, and directly can be the opposite side of the gas a half dead, so that only to relieve the gas. Unfortunately, the technical department still hadn't tracked down the opposite side's information or address at this point, so Gowing would have to tear into her for a while longer. No way, I pressed the number with my eyes closed. How could it be a wrong number? The opposite party huffed. It must be because you're a bad woman who doesn't want to help me contact Huang Zhe. Ying Gao, little sister, are you sure you're really not in your right mind? Gowing was somewhat defeated by the opposite side, and said in a good-natured manner, how can the number that you press with your eyes closed be the right one? You don't understand. The opposite party replied, the reason why I had to close my eyes was because that was the only way I could feel the guidance of Freya's divine power, and it was like letting him dial the number for me by his own hand. So how could it be wrong? Hearing this, Ding Shu Win, who had heard the news, couldn't help but look a bit grave. The power of the god of love had actually been able to affect the territory? Are you really the virgin of love? Gowing also inexplicably felt a bit uneasy. This woman on the opposite side of the room wouldn't really be hugging a deity's thigh, right? As in fake. The opposite side proudly said, Freya loves me so much. If it wasn't for the fact that this life of mine is so important and I have to find my true destiny, Huang Ze, he would even want me to reincarnate and be directly reborn as his daughter, to become his divine daughter. Really? There's such an operation? Gowing was greatly surprised and said, Deities actually have the desire to procreate offspring? The god of love actually falls in love? Who is his object? You're reckless. That side burst into a rage and blurted out, The great Freya doesn't fall in love. He can reproduce asexually. I think I said something I shouldn't have. And it's all because you're a bad woman. Annoyed, the other side said, You get Huang Zhe on the phone, or don't blame me for being rude to you. I ah, uh, do know someone named Huang Zhe. The angrier the opposite party got, the happier Gaoing became. Slowly saying, but I'm not going to help you contact him. Why? That side was so angry that it was almost broken again. Then suddenly got control of his emotions again and said in a somewhat low voice, if it's because I treated you badly, then I can apologize to you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please help me contact Huang Zhe will you? No good. Gaoing looked up at Black Dragon, then replied in a cold, hard tone, because he's my boyfriend now, how could I possibly let him get to know a digger like you? No way. Over there, excitedly, you're lying, I'm the one who's his girlfriend, this is Freya's decision, you'll be damned if you keep talking nonsense, don't scare me with Freya, Gaoing said with some disdain. I'm still the Moon Elder's hand-picked one. Freya's authority is not enough to control us summer people. It's just as well that you privately believe in the indigenous deities. But you're actually trying to drag Huang Zhe into this. I won't let you have your way no matter what. Yeah. The opposite party gritted his teeth and said. You're determined to go against me aren't you? It's fine. What you love is separated by mountains and seas. And all mountains and seas can be leveled. Under the guidance of the great Freya. I'm sure I'll be able to get Huang Zhe even if you try to make trouble out of it. I will absolutely make you look good when the time comes. OMG. I'm so scared. Gaoing inexplicably also came to the fire. Exasperated. There is no need to wait until then. You now report on the name. Let's make an appointment with a time and place. Directly under the line PK. You dare not. What wouldn't I dare? That side was really provoked. And immediately said. The old lady line does not change her name. And I am not changing my name. My name is one. The call was suddenly cut off before the words were finished. It wasn't me who hung. It was the opposite side who hung of their own accord. Gowing hurriedly explained. I know. Academician Ding nodded and said. Wait for a while and see if the other side will call again. Then he turned to the head of the technical team and asked. Haven't we found out anything about the other side yet? No. The head of the technical team shook his head. Academician Ding. This signal has been specially encrypted. It's a completely unfamiliar algorithm. We can't crack it with our current technology and we can't check the other party's number or address. Okay. Ding Shuwen sighed and said, it seems that there really is Freya's divine power, keeping secrets in it. What puzzles me the most right now is why and how Freya, an uncontested goddess of love who is not even considered a medium godly power, would seek out Mr. Huang? Could it really be that underworld metaphysics? I don't believe it. The power of the gods is not that magical, and even less powerful, or else our Xia kingdom would have been subverted by him long ago. I'm more inclined to think that someone leaked the information, that there was a believer of the god of love who knew about it and secretly reported Mr. Huang's situation to Freya, and that's why he pulled this stunt. I think that's a possibility too. Several of the other principals also recognized this point of view, 
and unanimously felt that it was necessary to contact the people in the secrecy department as soon as possible to bring out the leaker. Not, is that all you guys focus on? The black dragon was greatly puzzled and couldn't help but say, didn't you guys say that the power of the gods can't affect us within the Xia kingdom, so what's the deal with this god of love? His divine power is clearly capable of interfering with things within our borders, isn't something this serious worth drawing our attention to? Mr. Huang, it's not that we don't pay attention to it, but for this situation, we have actually anticipated it for a long time. Ding Shuwen sighed and said, Freya is the indigenous deity with the widest spread of faith in our country, and a conservative estimate is that his current followers are at least 30 million. 30 million. So much. The black dragon was taken aback and said with white dragon eyes, haven't you been fighting against the beliefs of the gods, but how did you still allow his beliefs to spread so pervasively? Mr. Huang, we have no choice here. Ding Shuwen had a helpless face and said, Freya is a good god, his beliefs and teachings are more in line with people as spiritual needs, plus our country has always respected the freedom of religion, it is naturally very difficult to strictly defend against him. These 30 million believers, are all only shallow believers, but it is obvious that they can also be gathered into a huge force of faith and it is still generated by the residents of our territory, which is more or less able to allow him to exercise some of his divine power, so we are not very surprised by this little move of his, and in fact the worst case scenario is not something we haven't envisioned, that is, what do we do in the event that one day the boundary that separates us at home from the world beyond our borders disappears, that would be a disaster, the black dragon hesitated a little, then said with some gravity, not to mention the fact that the inhabitants of the country were naturally allergic to magical elements, or the gods and demons that peered beyond the heavens and beneath the earth, the transcendent beings that ringed the summer kingdom were enough to take a bite out of it, the black dragon had learned the information that there were at least thousands of level 6 and 7 lifeforms living around the summer kingdom, and once the boundary disappeared and the world merged, they would surely be eager to invade this rich land, yes, that would be a terrible disaster, Ding Xu Wen also had a grave expression on his face as he said, but since our country has come to this world, then sooner or later, one day, we will completely merge with this world. Many of us have a strong premonition that sooner or later that boundary will disappear. And that time won't come too late. That's why we must always be prepared for the worst. And we must also prepare for everything as soon as possible. Deserves it. The black dragon thought deeply. And after thinking about it suddenly asked, Is the faith thing important to the gods? Yes, not very, but very important. Ding Shuwen nodded and said, Not only is this his favorite food, but it is also the cornerstone of his godhead and the source of his power. In that case, the black dragon's eyes lit up with a sudden thought, then can we make our own gods? Think about it. We have a population of more than a billion people in Xia, so if we unify our thoughts and believe in the same deity, wouldn't we be able to create an incomparably powerful deity out of it? No, don't even need to create. Just go straight to believe in those great gods in our mythology, and just materialize him directly. Won't that do? Yuan Shi Tianzuan? Taishan Lao Jun, Gong Gong Zhu Rong, even Sun Wukong Neza can violently beat the dog heads of these indigenous deities. Ding Shu Wen froze at the words, subconsciously exchanged glances with the several academicians around him, and then smiled bitterly and said, Mr. Huang, this idea of yours is very good, but it's a pity that it won't work, because this world was first populated by gods before there were intelligent beings like humans, it is difficult to create a god out of thin air by faith alone. So yeah, that's too bad. The black dragon was greatly regretful, and then on second thought, it might not be a good thing for him if he really materialized the mythology of the east, after all, many immortals, like to catch dragons as their mounts, some poor quality even super like to eat dragon liver, a western fantasy giant dragon of his own, the composition was too poor, even if he had a blazing red heart, when the time came, he was afraid that it wouldn't end well, right, yeah, artificial god making program, it's not like we haven't actually done it before, Ding Shuwen said with some emotion, it is said that we, the Xia people, are a nation that generally lacks faith, but nowadays, after all, it is the information society and the age of traffic, and it is still very easy to want to create a god, we have tried to establish a godhead for the monkey king, after all, the name of the great sage of Qi Tian, is still very loud and has a mass base, if hundreds of millions of people are united in their efforts, and all together offer their faith and incense for him, we may be able to materialize him, However, the actual situation is a failure. Our universal godmaking program has lasted for more than a month, not to mention the shadow of the monkey king, even the dream of sun monkey's tormentor is not. The program, however, was not at all useless, and it helped us to some extent to strike a strong blow against the spread of belief in indigenous deities. After all, 
the common people of our country still prefer, and are more willing to believe in, the deities of our own mythology than in these indigenous deities, and since they cannot be materialized, those indigenous deities outside our borders are, naturally, false. Well, the black dragon was pondering, he didn't think that the country actually did engage in a universal godmaking program, but it was a pity that it didn't work out, otherwise it would be interesting. Oriental gods battling indigenous deities is super exciting to think about. On second thought, though, failure seemed to be par for the course, after all, if gods were really that easy to create, then Xia would have been able to spawn a whole bunch of them when she first crossed over. Mazu, Buddha, goddess of mercy, god of wealth, these gods have never been less fragrant in the country. Freya is screwing me so much that there's nothing we can do to counter him? Curious, the black dragon said, does our nation currently have a way to deal with deities? There is, but it doesn't work very well. Ding Shuwen hesitated for a moment and said, currently, our country's method of dealing with deities is mainly through laser weapons. Deity's main bodies are usually outside of the sky, like hitting a satellite, and we can threaten his main body with laser weapons, as long as the materials and energy are met. There is theoretically no upper limit to the intensity of lasers, pretty country once came up with 500 trillion watts in the lab, and actual military grade ones have reached a trillion watts, our country is not as good as they are, but tens or hundreds of billions of watts of laser weapons are still made, and we are currently investing more and more in this area. Not long ago our country used a couple of 80 billion watt laser weapons against an evil god he had deliberately and actively spread contamination to our citizens, and we ended up fishing for a way out, and just hit him hard with a pulsed laser. This is one of the things that the indigenous deities of this world, are more afraid of in our country. When Ding Shuwen said this, he couldn't help but sigh and said, it's just a pity that with this method, the energy escapes too badly, and the hit rate is very touchy, so it's not easy to hit the gods in the sky, hitting a deity with a laser weapon. The black dragon was stunned at his words, and then he also reacted. The prospect of pulse laser weapons is indeed extremely broad, and in the end of development, even the legendary star annihilator cannons can be gotten out, and with just one shot, a star can be dried up and shattered. Although the current laser weapons, the intensity was still far from that level, but it was still obviously enough to knock out a few evil gods in the sky. It is true that I, the great mechanical theocracy, am the only true god to drop, the black dragon and have honor and then more or less also some pity. Xia's current technology, the development is still far from enough, far from reaching the realm of the great achievement, or else it can be directly on the annihilation of the star cannon, will be roaming the sky of the gods all dry broken, even the sun god is no exception, as long as you don't listen, as usual, you will be done, the big deal is that we build a sun ourselves, our country, should have tried to contact these gods in the sky, right? The black dragon thought for a moment and asked, how did he respond? Yes, Ding Shuwen replied, after discovering that the stars in the sky are no longer material celestial bodies, but mysterious life forms with self-consciousness, our country has repeatedly transmitted radio signals to him, in an attempt to be able to get a response from him, and to engage in friendly exchanges and communication. Unfortunately, however, to this day, we still haven't gotten any response from him either. It shouldn't be ah. The black dragon was a little puzzled. I see the information shows that these indigenous gods, usually are not quite active well. On average, each god at least a hundred oracles per year, descending twenty divine punishments. How to our summer country. But instead, the collective silence up? Yeah, we thought it was really weird too. Ding Shuwen nodded deeply and said, the attraction of our country's resources and population to the indigenous deities is actually very great, and he is thinking of eating us up all the time. Under normal circumstances, even if he is very dissatisfied, or even disgusted with our country and our system, he shouldn't be completely silent, and more or less will throw a few harsh words at us, give us a few war letters or ultimatums. However, the actual situation is not like that. It's as if those gods have unified their caliber and will never contact us officially. Whether they are good or evil gods, we seriously doubt that he is hiding something, and if we contact our country directly, we will probably reveal the secrets he carries. Until the evening, that believer in the god of love didn't call again. Presumably because Freya sensed something wrong and directly stopped that believer's death-defying behavior. Speaking of that young lady, she was really headstrong enough, being casually provoked by Gaoing, she was actually directly broken down and agreed to an offline date without hesitation, almost blowing her real name and information out of proportion. Such an IQ, can actually be chosen by Freya as a saint daughter? The black dragon was powerless to spit. No wonder Freya was only a weak deity of divine power. Among the many indigenous deities, both the sense of existence and combat power were very touching. Why would such a deity go to such lengths to find me? 
A black dragon? Not only was Huang Zhe curious about this question, but the entire research team was also greatly puzzled. You know, this kind of creature, the dragon, can never be a believer in the god of love? Their complex and changeable biological nature has long been destined that they can't engage in any pure and innocent love, and their ancient and honorable bloodline would never allow a weak deity of divine power to dictate their emotional matters. Hey, I say you make so complicated why? What is the matter? Directly find me private chat not on the line? Most of the staff has been off duty. Huang Zhe alone a dragon knight stargazing, looking out at the southwest night sky a dull star, cannot help but is a sigh. This bleak star is said to be Freya's kingdom of God. It wasn't just Freya who wanted to find the black dragon. In fact, the black dragon wanted to find him as well, it had big business and projects it wanted to cooperate with him. I this eyesight, seems to be not very good ah, even the stars in the sky cannot see clearly, then the astronomical telescope can be far worse. This is obviously some insult to the name of my transcendent creatures ah, the black dragon muttered to himself, and I don't know if the giant dragon can be equipped with glasses, he is full of ferocious looks, if he wears a pair of glasses, I guess he can be quite a lot of svelte, right? Maybe without glasses. I can try to remodel my retinas myself. The black dragon suddenly had a flash of insight. Transcendent creatures had an extremely powerful control over their own bodies, especially after replenishing a large amount of electricity. The black dragon became more and more familiar with the organs in his body, and his control of power became more and more subtle. Even though the realm below the micron was already locked up by a thick mist, the black dragon still had a strong intuition. As long as he focused his attention highly on a certain place in his body, he could use his subjective will to remodel and rearrange every cell there, thus making the organs there, more powerful. It's just a matter of adjusting the focus of the retina, shouldn't be too hard. The black dragon did as he thought, and immediately closed his eyes and focused, intending to give himself a retinal upgrade. Under the mobilization of the black dragon's powerful subjective will, a large amount of electric charge surged out wildly from the black dragon's heart and converged towards the black dragon's eyes, so loud that even through the thick black dragon scales, one could still see the electric light surging within the black dragon's body. Mr. Huang, what happened to you? Seeing this scene, the staff member on duty was alarmed and shouted in a hurry. The black dragon had no time to focus on the transformation of his eyes. Mr. Huang, be careful, your eyes are smoking. Black dragon, seeing that black dragon did not respond, the duty officer hurriedly called academician Ding to notify them to come over. Nowadays, the black dragon was the great treasure of their Xia kingdom. If anything went wrong, how could he afford it? However, by the time Academician Ding and the others arrived, the Black Dragon had already completed the transformation program for his eyes. Why not say that electricity was the most efficient and perfect secondary energy source? And with its assistance, it was a complete breeze for the Black Dragon to make some minor adjustments to his retina. Of course, this was also mainly because, this transformation of the Black Dragon was not complicated. The human's vision correction surgery even only took a few seconds. It took several minutes to complete, and it was already considered very slow. Mr. Huang, what happened to you? Ding Shuwen rushed over panting. Just now the duty officer sent him a video of Black Dragon covered in lightning wildly, but scared him half to death, and thought that Black Dragon this is the body charging too much, to charge himself up. Nothing much, just felt as if my eyes weren't quite enough, so I gave them a makeover myself. The Black Dragon replied as he blinked to cool his eyeballs. Modify the eyes? Ding Shu Wen was taken aback. Mr. Huang, you can actually actively change the structure of your body? Yeah, what's so hard about that? The black dragon was unimpressed, saying, it's just adjusting the spacing and angle of the cornea and retina. Anyone with a little knowledge of optics can do it. After my modifications, my farsightedness is now at least 20 times stronger than before. The black dragon opened his eyes and looked into the distance, electricity pulsing vaguely in his amber pupils. Just a little enhancement is really not worth the fuss, the black dragon still seemed a bit dissatisfied inside, not to mention comparing it to a radio telescope, even an ordinary astronomical telescope, I may not be able to match it, in the eyes of the truly powerful, with this amount of my eyesight, I'm afraid I'm still considered myopic, after all, his eyes, not only can they see, but they can also look through the ages, uncover the truth of the past, and survey the mists of the future, compared to him, I have a long way to go here who obviously still has work to do. Everyone was speechless and silent as they watched the black dragon there in Versailles. A dragon's eyesight, which is already far more powerful than a human's, is now strengthened by the black dragon giving itself a plus 20. That is to say, its farsightedness is now at least several hundred times that of an ordinary person. And, the black dragon retracted his gaze, looked around for a moment, and said, 
I was so focused on strengthening my farsightedness that I actually sacrificed my nearsightedness, causing me to be obviously a bit presbyopic now, and I can't see things up close very clearly. Hey, after all, this is also the first time. In experience, the technology is too rough. The eye transformation is obviously not in place. Even the auto zoom will not. It seems to turn back to the study. Mr. Huang, why did you suddenly think of transforming your eyes? Ding Shuwing couldn't help but ask curiously. This ah, uh, the black dragon replied. Just now, I wasn't observing the stars at night, wanting to see what Freya's divine kingdom looked like. Then I realized that my eyesight wasn't working and I couldn't see clearly at all. So I wondered if I could get my eyes strengthened. Mr. Huang, your idea is very dangerous. Ding Shuwin's face changed as he said solemnly, deities are not to be looked at directly. If one looks directly at him for a long period of time, one can easily be contaminated by his will. There's that? The black dragon froze slightly. Yes, Ding Shuwin's face was grave, saying, in these six months, there are no less than 50, 000 people in our country. Because of the use of telescopes to look at the starry sky and be contaminated by the inexplicable, the light is neurasthenia, mental disorders, and the serious ones are even directly brain death. The divine power of these indigenous deities is not yet able to affect us within our borders, but if one were to unknowingly go and look directly at his essence, one could still easily be struck by his descending dimensions. So bossy? The black dragon was suddenly a bit annoyed, remembering that Lu Fan had said that another close friend of his, Pan Weiming, hadn't he been contaminated by the evil god because of observing the stars with an astronomical telescope, and in all reason, he felt very angry. When did we humans? even have the right to look up at the stars? These bullshit deities hang themselves in the sky, hogging public resources with no sense of public morality, not to mention that they actually have the face to talk about privacy and not even show it to people? Mr. Huang, be careful what you say. Ding Shuwen laughed bitterly. Blasphemy is a great disrespect. Although with the protection of the laws of the world, the wills of those indigenous gods have not yet been able to pay attention to our territory, and we have been exposing their hypocritical and ugly nature within our country and there has been no shortage of criticism of them. But you're different after all. You're a descendant of the dragon god, with his bloodline flowing in your body. If you're too disrespectful, it's easy for him to hold a grudge against you. I hernian? The black dragon was a little disdainful. Just wanted to say I'm not afraid of him. I don't give a damn about him. But then suddenly thought, he is a civilized and polite dragon. And no matter how he puts it, Hibernian is also his elder. So he'd better maintain a certain amount of respect for him. Yes, that's right. I'm promoting the fine tradition of our Xia people to respect the old and love the young. It's not from the heart. The black dragon thought so, then couldn't help but ask curiously, which star is the divine kingdom of Hyperion? I don't know. Ding Shuwen shook his head and said, Hibernian is a very ancient deity. His beliefs are not widespread, spreading only among the gargoyle race and a small number of intelligent races, and very few people know in which location his divine kingdom is located. Our researchers have joked that the reason why we don't see the kingdom of God in Hyperion is most likely because he is too stingy and lazy to be keen on either spreading his faith or running his kingdom of God. After all, making one's divine kingdom blow in the night sky is expected to cost something. Most likely at the cost of burning one's own divine power, Hyperion's miserliness is notorious. And he's presumably not able to afford to spend that money. The black dragon is quite speechless. Not even willing to pay the electricity bill. Not even willing to run. His own divine country. It is no wonder that the giant dragon tribe will decline day by day. I also don't know how Hepburnian got mixed up in higher divine power. Just how powerful are the gods? The black dragon thought for a moment and asked curiously, are he all ninth level, or even higher life forms? That we don't know yet. Ding Shuwen replied, at the moment, our country has not had a substantial head-on conflict with any of the gods. But from what we've learned, a deity of higher divine power should undoubtedly be a level 9 life form. There is information that shows that the god of light has sent down divine punishments many times in history to destroy some so-called dark, evil city-states or kingdoms, and the strength of these divine punishments of his must have reached hundreds of thousands of tons of TNT equivalent by conservative estimates. This is still because his power, in the material realm, has been severely weakened if it were outside of the heavens. In his divine kingdom, his power would definitely be even stronger. Is that scary? The black dragon was creeped out by the fact that back in the day, Little boy's equivalent was just shy of 15, 000 tons, and it straight up crippled Hiroshima. The god of light can actually hand rub hundreds of thousands of tons of equivalent level of divine punishment, even if it is not a nuclear bomb, no radioactive contamination. It is enough as to cause a lot of pressure to the summer country. Yeah, it's that scary. Ding Shu inside, and then said without a trace of gratitude, 
It's a good thing that an overly powerful divine punishment can't be made casually. It requires at least a few hours, or even a few days of storing up power to prepare for it. And in terms of both power and utility, it's far from being able to catch up with our nuclear weapons. The Maoists were able to come up with hundreds of millions of equivalents of Day Ivan in the 1960s. And if we really push our country, we still have the ability to counter him. And, don't we still have Mr. Huang Yu now? Ding Shuwen smiled and said, Now that you can transform and strengthen the structure of your body it will through your subjective will. This is undoubtedly an extremely powerful and heaven-defying ability, paired with the gift of electrical energy to rapidly energize your body. Your room for growth can be said to be completely unlimited. It can be foreseen that in the future, Mr. Huang, you will definitely become stronger and stronger. And when the day comes when your body is able to charge in a trillion degrees of electricity, you might be able to rush up to the heavens and bite all those so-called gods to death one bite at a time. One trillion kilowatts of electricity. The black dragon wasn't uptight at all. Instead he couldn't help but spit out. This is outrageous, isn't it? A trillion kilowatts of electricity. This translates to almost one, two billion tons of TNT equivalent. He really didn't dare to imagine how powerful a life form of this magnitude would be. Mr. Huang, you have to have faith in yourself and in science. Ding Shuwen smiled and encouraged. Even gods aren't born powerful. With your current talent and with our entire nation as an arm, it may not be impossible to surpass him. These old gods have dominated this world for too long and too long. And it's time for us, the Xia people, to establish order and take charge. 8.30 PM. M. CCTV Channel. Good evening viewers. Welcome to the program Approaching the Dragon. I'm the host Yao Jia. Today is already the eighth day of the Black Dragon's entry into the country. I believe that many of our viewers and friends are very concerned about the Black Dragon's current situation. And I, the host, am no exception. And I'm quite curious about the Black Dragon's current condition, as well as the secrets it carries. That's why we have specially invited this time, Dr. Ma Guanglin from the North Dragon River Military Research Institute, who is an expert in the study of giant dragons. And he will use his rich knowledge and experience to answer our questions about the current situation of the Black Dragon as well as some of the questions that netizens are concerned about. Hello DR. Ma. Hello host. DR. Ma. Many of our viewers and friends noticed during yesterday's live broadcast that the Black Dragon's physical and mental condition seemed to be getting better all the time, and even started accepting the staff's feeding, which is very different from the crazy and violent one at the beginning. May I ask if there's something to this? Ma Guanlin, yes. It starts with the origin of this Black Dragon. According to our understanding, this black dragon first flew over from the snowy mountains in the north, and it is assumed that it suffered from the curse of a certain evil god, and its sanity is not very lucid. Why? Because normal gargoyles, with their keen intuition, are sure to sense the danger within our borders and in turn retreat. And this black dragon at that time did not care, straight into the airspace of our country, and did not listen to our dissuasion and warning, without the intention of turning back. This shows that its mental state at that time, it was already very bad. Moderator, curse of the evil god, then wouldn't this black dragon be dangerous for us? Ma Guanglin, that's not so bad. The laws within our territory have a very strong suppression of the power of the evil god. That's why the black dragon has been gradually calming down and coming back to its senses over the past two days. Because the evil god curse on it is already fading. Moderator, DR. Ma, many of our users are puzzled by the fact that when the black dragon first awakened, he went berserk and vandalized all over the place, causing quite a bit of destruction. Then why didn't we just chain it up at that time, before it came to its senses, for a prison locked berserker dragon, and wouldn't that have prevented it from wreaking havoc? Magazine, on that point, I really should explain. The black dragon is a very arrogant and suspicious creature. If it comes to its senses and realizes that it is being held captive by humans, then it will definitely become even more frantic and hateful towards us, not conducive to building trust and friendship with it and the subsequent work. So it's better to just give it a free hand. Let it be as crazy and rowdy as it wants to be, and once it has vented that anger in its heart, it will naturally calm down and be able to communicate. Moderator, but won't that put our staff in danger? Ma Guanglin, ha, ha not dangerous at all. So many helicopter gunships, so many missiles aiming at it, as long as the slightest hint of danger, immediately and again to dry it down. The host guffawed. It's a good thing this mister. Black Dragon wasn't impulsive, or he would have suffered again. Dr. Ma. Don't giant dragons have the ability to speak? Then why is this black dragon never communicating with us in words? Is it because it hasn't learned our Xia language yet? Magazine, that's not true. Here's what I want to make clear. Not all gargoyles have the ability to speak. Gargoyles are very complex creatures, and it seems that there is some sort of genetic defect in their bloodline. 
and about one-third of the young dragons that are hatched are unable to gain the favor of the dragon god and their ancestors, call out their true names, and awaken their inherited memories and wisdom. These young dragons, usually known as pseudo-dragons, or dragon beasts, with their low intelligence and inability to master the ability of language, have always been bullied and ostracized by the intelligent dragons. We currently have no way of knowing if this black dragon is a pseudo-dragon. After all, there is still another possibility, that is, this black dragon was originally a true dragon, only due to a long period of time being oppressed and enslaved by the evil gods, it unknowingly lost the ability to speak, moderator, so dr. Ma, do you think there's any chance for this black dragon, to regain its verbal communication skills, Margolin, the opportunity, is certainly there, after all, in a medium high magic realm, language ability is really not considered rare, and it has long since ceased to be a racial gift unique to us humans, many intelligent creatures, even semi-intelligent creatures, possess their own languages and scripts, after all, even parrots and even pachyderms can learn to speak, as being magical creatures, they can still easily develop language skills, so if we teach it seriously and the black dragon is willing to learn, there's still a good chance for it to learn our summer language, moderator, so do we have plans for this, ma guanglin, of course there is, you didn't see that we either pulled up a large screen yesterday, that is, we intend to show the black dragon some movies, so that it can learn about our Xia civilization, and by the way, see if it's interested in learning the Xia language, host, dr. Ma, many netizens have been hotly debating over the past two days that this black dragon actually seems to have a pretty good temper, and I wonder if there's any way to naturalize it to join us in Xia, what do you think about this, Ma Guanglin pretended to ponder for a moment, honestly, I'm not very optimistic, as I mentioned earlier, gargoyles are a very haughty creature, and they rarely take the initiative to attach themselves to other races, so don't you see that it seems to be in a good temper now, and has stopped showing its intention to attack to our staff, but let's please not forget that cunning is also a nature unique to gargoyles, and these manifestations of its are most likely in disguise, I've noticed that there's actually another viewpoint circulating online, which is, it's not me, it's not me, that's a rather radical point of view, but when applied to a gargoyle, I think it's quite valid, after all, to this world, we Xia people are unabashed outsiders, or even invaders to put it bluntly, even many of the human kingdoms are hostile to us, let alone the dragons, and their descent with us will only grow greater, that's why I think it's rather unwise to let a giant dragon, which has always had a very bad reputation, naturalize and join us in the summer kingdom if it's not backed up by any common interests or common ideas, this opinion of mine is not just for gargoyles, but I am of the same opinion for other transcendental creatures, well, thank you dr. Ma for the great presentation. Host, I believe that many viewers and friends cannot wait. All want to see how today's black dragon is living it. There is no change. Here let us give the camera to the front reporter. Good evening viewers. I'm CCTV reporter Wang Xiaobing. The place I'm at now is a military base in the North Dragon River military region. Today is the seventh day that the black dragon has been here. And according to the staff at the base, the black dragon is in particularly good shape today, eating a full four tons of beef in one breath so it seems that this bout has really starved it, the staff just talked to me about something interesting, that is, the black dragon accidentally touched the high voltage today, and then it was like opening the door to a new world, especially like to touch the high voltage, showing enjoyment, contentment expression they're shaking all the time, it looks very interesting, academician ding of the summer academy of sciences speculates that this may be because the black dragon's body, which has long suffered from the curses of the evil god, and high voltage electricity is a powerful cleansing energy that can effectively help it purify away these curses, which is why it has developed such a hobby. The camera pans to the black dragon. We can see that the black dragon is at this time leisurely lying on the grass and napping. After these few days together, the black dragon's hostility and defense against us has greatly declined, and I believe that it won't be long before it will be friendly enough to contact and communicate with us. Another interesting thing to do tonight is that the staff is planning to show the Black Dragon some science and education documentaries so that it can see the brilliant civilization of our Earth's human race. Academician Ding of the Summer Academy of Sciences firmly believes that the exploration of the unknown, the curiosity of the universe, is the eternal yearning and pursuit of every intelligent race, and the gargoyle is a very intelligent and wise creature, and the vastness of science, the magic of technology, might just elicit empathy and yearning, prompting it to cooperate and communicate with us more quickly. The staff has turned on the projector and all the preparations have been made, but now the black dragon is napping, what is the best way to wake it up, omg, I saw the crew pick up a bazooka, it can't be what I think it is, can it, boom, the rocket exploded beside the black dragon, geez, really waking up the black dragon with a rocket, 
That's a bit too hardcore of a way to wake up. I hope Mr. Black Dragon won't be angry. Unfortunately, it was not to be, and the Black Dragon burst into a rage, jumping up and roaring there. Alive for him. Ha ha ha. Laugh me to death. Not angry. Yet anyone who sleeps well and suddenly gets a cannonball thrown at him will surely also be furious. There's one thing to be said for. This way is indeed too doggy. In the place of me with a get up and go. I would even have the heart to kill someone. Not to mention the already grumpy black dragon. It does seem a bit much. Obviously it could have been done in a gentler way. I'm also disgusted. This is clearly a bit too much bullying of dragons. The netizens posted exchanges. And it was surprising to see that the winds were favoring Chiron mostly. It was evident that the live coverage over the past few days had already earned Black Dragon a great deal of popularity and goodwill. Although it started out with a hideous face and a short temper, and liked to yell and wreak havoc all over the place if nothing else, as long as it hadn't harmed the Xia people or posed a substantial threat to them, and as long as it was changing for the better, then in everyone's eyes, it is a good dragon, and the more tempered it is instead, the more it appears to be genuine. After all, loving and worshipping the strong is a great characteristic of human beings, even lions and tigers have many cloud fans, not to mention the powerful dragon. No, why do I think it's obviously fine the way it is? A netizen retorted. Don't you guys think that we're being a little too nice to this black dragon? Give it a package of food and shelter not to mention, but also do not restrict its freedom. A few days ago it lost its temper demolished the building, destroyed the equipment, the destruction of the, less to say also caused tens of millions of dollars of damage to our country. These are not still our taxpayers to pay the bill in the end? I don't know if you guys can see it. This black dragon is obviously some rely on our country don't want to go. Let it naturalize and join our summer country. I think it will agree in 9 out of 10 cases. Why do you say that? Because it is obviously a great thing for it to join us in Xia, where it can be fed, housed, and treated as a super national with extrajudicial immunity. Instead of fighting to death outside of the country and having a meal without a meal, it would be better to just come to the summer country as a little ancestor. And the humans here will surely hold it in high regard anyway. That's why I very much agree with Dr. Ma Guanglin's point of view. Our country must not just let go of the naturalization of transcendental beings into the naturalization of our country. It must be treated with caution. Otherwise this will cause great damage to our country's social class and social resources. Kind of makes sense. A netizen responded with a follow-up post. Gargoyles are never slaves unless they are packaged with food and shelter. This is just a joke. But if our country really gives too much, I think it will still attract some gargoyles to work for us as dogs. But if this relationship, which is simply sustained by interests, does not have a common philosophy, and does not have a strong sense of belonging and identification with our summer country, then it is obviously very difficult for us to control these transcendental creatures, when the time comes, in case they are unruly, break the law and commit a capital offense. Do we punish them or not? Punishing them, not to mention how difficult it is to execute a transcendental creature, is heartbreaking enough to see all the investment we've made in it go down the drain. But if they are not penalized, doesn't that mean that they are above us, the people of Xia, in general? In that case, are they serving as dogs for our summer kingdom? Or is our entire summer kingdom serving as dogs for them? So reminding this black dragon with rockets when it's okay to show it whose boss is quite necessary, I think, is right, just because transcendent beings are powerful. We can't just give them preferential treatment, because those costs and expenses will eventually be passed on to each of us Xia people. Some users agreed. The reasoning is this. But how easy is it for you to make it a black dragon that produces the same philosophy as our summer people? One user followed up. Gargoyles are scatterbrained by nature. They don't even have their own country. So how could they have a strong sense of belonging and identification with our Xia kingdom? After all, it's not like it's the community of our human destiny. It's simple. The netizen who was the first to raise an objection returned. Didn't they say that this black dragon was cursed by an evil god? So it must have had a dark past of being enslaved and oppressed which means that there is a certain revolutionary tendency in its mind. We could totally develop it into a revolutionary. Nice one. Nice one. Megalosaurus revolutionary. Nice guy. You're actually trying to get a giant dragon to join the party. Netizens have been hitting the good guys to show their shock. Having a giant dragon join the revolution is a path that was never envisioned. It's not that I want to make it spontaneous to come to this realization. The netizen who made the point replied, only common ideals, only common revolutionary friendship can bring two creatures of different races and bind their destinies together. We can try to use Marxism-Leninism and instructor ideology to see if we can sublimate and transform Black Dragon's mind and soul, so that he will awaken a strong sense of progress and become a determined proletarian fighter. Only then will we be able to help it establish the right position, and be sure that it will always be on the side of our people at large, on the side of our Xia. What's more, 
The struggle against an unjust fate is the natural aspiration of every intelligent being. The black dragon has been enslaved and oppressed by the evil god for so long. It definitely knows a lot in this regard. As long as we do a good job of guiding it correctly, it may not be impossible to ignite the fire of revolution in its heart. Excellent point. Being physically strong is not really strong at all. Even a giant dragon needs to arm itself with revolutionary ideas? Only the dragons who are willing to devote themselves to the cause of the revolution are good dragons, and truly good friends of our people in the Summerland. And only the flames of revolution can help the dragon complete its self-awakening and self-salvation, and obtain a rebirth in the true sense of the word. Several unfamiliar IDs suddenly joined the discussion and expressed strong approval, and all of a sudden the entire forum became hot because of this topic. Unbeknownst to the black dragon, the authorities had already begun to hype its naturalization online. It is now working diligently as an actor. According to the filming plan, after being awakened by the rockets, Black Dragon is going to be furious for a while, and then suddenly gets attracted to the documentary playing on the screen, and unknowingly watches it without realizing it. The slideshow was a documentary about the solar system traveling to the edge of the universe. Khan once said that there are only two things in the world that deserve our reverence, the lofty moral code in our hearts and the starry sky above our heads. This passage was very philosophical, and even if it was placed in the other world, I'm sure it would still be able to arouse the empathy of many intelligent creatures. However, the dragon was shameless, and there was no noble moral law in its heart, so the only thing that could make it awe-inspiring was the starry sky above its head. Although the starry sky of Earth in the documentary was very different from that of this world, that didn't stop the black dragon from being touched in his heart. Under the ultra-clear picture, the shock of looking down on the Earth, the brightness of the solar system, and the vastness of the universe, none of them let the black dragon's jaw drop. It was a picture it had never seen before, a whole new universe it had never heard of. In front of this vast universe, any creature seems so small, even the giant dragons are no exception. The awe of the universe, the yearning for the universe was born. The black dragon stared at the screen with deadly concentration, not moving a muscle. It wasn't exactly a pretense on Huang Zhe's part, but the documentary really captivated him, he really hadn't seen it before. One statistic mentioned in the documentary was even more shocking to him, the sun releases 92 trillion tons of TNT equivalent energy every second. Attention, it's every second. Such a terrifying level of energy had truly startled this black dragon. He could not help but wonder if the sun of this world would be of this magnitude. Would it be so terrifying? If so, how terrifying would the sun god, the embodiment of its will, be? Outputting 9 trillion trillion tons of TNT equivalent per second. Such a terrifying opponent makes one despair just thinking about it, let alone being an enemy. Unless Huang Zhe could run off and devour a few stars, neutron stars, or even black holes like the protagonists in metaphysical novels that developed to a great late stage, so that he could gain an overwhelming advantage. Nope. I'm clearly scaring myself here. The black dragon suddenly snapped out of it. The deities of this world definitely can't be that terrifying. Otherwise, there's no way our Xia kingdom could have sustained itself until now. If only the sun god stops the sunlight for so much as a day or two, then our entire internal world is going to collapse. These indigenous deities, it is obvious that they have to strictly abide by the laws that govern the functioning of the main material realm, and they have to act according to the rules, and they can't easily transgress half a step of the thunderbolt, and our sun over there is radiating energy toward the entire universe, and the earth receives less than a billionth of its total energy, whereas over here, the sun is likely to be serving only this main material world so its actual energy response is likely to be much smaller than that of the sun over there. There is also this world's divine power. Is replaceable? Through the ages, I don't know how many old gods overturned. New gods usurped the throne. Although these processes are to cause the material world has caused no small trouble, but also far from the degree of extinction. That is to say that the gods of this world are very restricted in the material world, far from making us Xia people despair. The black dragon calmed down. Then inexplicably a new emotion came over him. In that case, the realm of the middle and high devils is no better. Obviously it's still our side of the universe that's more vast and greater. We don't even need to go up to a black hole. Just a random supernova outburst would probably be able to wipe out all the gods and devils in the sky. And we humans have the potential to be much more powerful than these indigenous deities. Obviously, after all, in the distant past, we were the ones who might have been able to build even a Dyson Sphere. Even a Star Annihilator Cannon. The Black Dragon's ramblings were what appeared to the onlooker to be a distraction, which just so happened to fit the directing team's requirements. According to the script, when the documentary is finished, the Black Dragon will stay there motionless, out of the spirit of self-absorption for a whole night, in order to vividly show how strong the impact and shock is in its heart. Hey, with the increasing exposure, I'm getting more and more tired of being the lead actor. 
I have to pay attention to my persona and play my role all the time. The Black Dragon sighed darkly. It was still in a military base with a high level of secrecy. Not many outsiders were qualified to have access to it. And even if it occasionally revealed something, it wasn't impossible to remedy the situation. And when it finished filming the pre-naturalization drama, go to some big cities to hold exhibitions, lectures, fan meetings. That is called a let the dragon head bigot. In the many spotlights, it's every word and action have to be carefully considered. Huang Zhe watched seven days of documentaries in a row. All aspects of the universe, military, humanities, history, law, and every time, he was fully concentrated and unblinking and he brought to life a curious and inquisitive black dragon. Later, he even pretended to take the initiative to learn the summer language, and his attitude towards the staff improved greatly, no longer always crossing a critical face, but treating them gently, even allowing them to get close to his body. Such a change in the black dragon is naturally pleasing and encouraging to the general eating public. People who have been following the black dragon live broadcast also easily found that the black dragon's body is almost in the naked eye visible expansion. Just half a month's time at least as fat a few tons, visible summer country to give it how good the food, its state and how smooth and comfortable, let a person feel obviously are a little bit of linger, for a while there was even more discussion online about naturalizing the black dragon, however, the directing team felt that such a fire is actually not enough, although at this time to let the black dragon into the membership of the party, is able to fool the majority of the people in the country, but may not be able to fool those indigenous intelligent creatures outside the country, furthermore, the black dragon has entered the country for half a month at this time. According to normal logic, transcendent creatures stay in a magic-free environment for so long. Its state, its spirit should be very depressed only right. The black dragon is so alive and well again. It is obvious that there is something to wear out. Therefore, for the sake of authenticity and reasonableness, the directing team decided to stage the drama of releasing the black dragon in advance, so as to reflect Xia's great nation's demeanor. And at the same time, it's also trying to catch the black dragon suppressing it before raising it, and paving the way for the black dragon's return in the future. After seeing the advanced system and advanced productivity of Xia, black dragon returned to the outside world and wandered around, seeing all the injustices and darkness of the world, and then suddenly realized that he had long been out of step with the world outside the country, and then came to his senses and resolutely decided to return to Xia, embracing progress and joining the revolution. This way, the self-awakening is there, the journey of the heart is there, and the plot of the naturalized dragon is undoubtedly much more realistic. News channel at around 4 p.m. News from this station. Due to the body's prolonged lack of magic, coupled with these days of intense study, the inbound black dragon suddenly fell into a coma at lunchtime today. After a detailed examination and diagnosis, the experts of the Summer Academy of Sciences have unanimously concluded that the black dragon's current state is no longer suitable for living within the territory, and that it must be sent back outside the country as soon as possible. The central leadership held an emergency meeting and quickly passed a decision to accept the recommendation of the Summer Academy of Sciences to release the Black Dragon back outside the country on the same day. No sooner had the host spoken than the camera began to show footage of the Black Dragon being hoisted onto a truck and transported out of the country. The release of the Black Dragon is undoubtedly a major event, and CCTV quickly organized manpower to broadcast the whole thing live. Good afternoon, viewers, I'm CCTV reporter Wang Xiaobing, and where I am now, is the Beilong No. 2 Commercial Port. In the past 5 months or so, a large number of goods have been exported from here to the outside world every day, making it one of the busiest foreign ports in China at the moment. However, at this time, the entire commercial port is empty, because in half an hour, the Black Dragon will be released from here to the outside world, and for safety reasons, all the staff here have been evacuated, and can only return to work when the Black Dragon returns to the outside world. Wang Xiaobing led the photographer around, suddenly saw a familiar face, and was immediately happy, and quickly said, we saw Xiaoming Yu, a researcher from the Summer Academy of Sciences, struggling to get some cardboard boxes onto a pickup truck, and we rushed over to ask if we could help in any way. Speaking of researcher Xiaoming Yu, I'm sure that those of you who regularly watch Black Dragon Live will be no strangers. Researcher Xiaoming Yu is the staff member who shows up the most inside the broadcast and gets along with the Black Dragons the most, and is affectionately known as the keeper of the giant dragons by the general public. Fellow Yu, let me help you. Wang Xiaobing handed the microphone in her hand to the cameraman and took the initiative to run forward to help. No, no, I'll do it myself. Just a couple boxes left. Yu Xiaoman hastily declined. But seeing that Wang Xiaobing was already on board, she could only turn and say, then thank you, it's okay, a show of hands. Wow, it's heavy. Wang Xiaobing said while trying to lift a cardboard box, 
then immediately felt its weight and couldn't help but ask curiously. The researcher you, can I take the liberty of asking what is contained here? It's some books. Yu Xiaoman wiped a handful of sweat, smiled and replied. My black dragon friend is not going to return to the country. I thought I had to give it some gifts, and thought about it, but also the books are the most suitable. Wang Xiaobing, the idea of giving books to a giant dragon as a gift, is quite original, but do you think it will like it? Definitely. Yu Xiaoman nodded her head with certainty. My black dragon friend, is a giant dragon with a very strong desire for knowledge, as well as a great love for learning, and knowledge is undoubtedly the most valuable and fascinating treasure. I bet he will love this gift I have prepared for him so carefully. Wang Xiaobing, can you open it up and show us what books you've picked out for it? Sure. Yu Xiaoman nodded and opened a box. Wang Xiaobing, look at the picture and read the words. Xinhua Dictionary. 100,000 reasons. First grade language. First grade math. Wow. You're not sending him a whole set of elementary school textbooks, are you? Not just elementary school, but a whole set of middle school and high school materials. Yu Xiaoman smiled and patted a few other boxes to introduce. The reason why I'm giving it these textbooks is also mainly because I hope that my black dragon friend, through self-education, can become a cultured and thoughtful progressive dragon. Wang Xiaobing, are those remaining boxes also books? Yes. This box is filled with some popular science books on physics, a brief history of time, popular astronomy, the power of the planets, that sort of thing. This box is filled with some mythological fiction readings, the classic of mountains and seas, the feudal god, journey to the west, and the like. This box is filled with books on philosophy and sociology, the wealth of nations, capitalism, selected works of the faculty, and the like. Yu Xiaoman pointed to each carton and introduced them one by one, showing a Megalosaurus Das Kapital and selected instructors, sparing Wang Xiaobing's extensive knowledge. She was also speechless for a few seconds by Yu Xiaoman's tart operation, before saying, I can see that these books are carefully selected by you, and I think it must have taken you a lot of effort to find all of them. So may I ask if you have been planning to do this for a long time, or did this idea suddenly come to you? Should kind of have had this idea for a long time. Yu Xiaoman pondered for a moment and said, Books are the ladder of progress for us humans, and this is actually appropriate when applied to the gargoyles. Although gargoyles are ancient transcendent creatures with high intelligence, they are after all influenced by the background and general environment of the times in this world, and there are great limitations in both their thinking and their knowledge, and in the course of my contact with the black dragon, I found that it is actually a better learner. This is actually not surprising at all. After all, knowledge is the most delicious and sweetest spiritual food for our intelligent creatures. That's why I was wondering if I could use the rich knowledge that we humans on earth have accumulated to help the black dragon expand its horizons in knowledge, and give it the correct worldview, values in view of dragon life, so that it could become a new age dragon with a progressive mindset, find the correct direction of dragon life, and realize the value of its own life as a dragon. Wang Xiaobing, okay, thank you very much for researcher Yu Xiaoman's wonderful answer. At the same time, we sincerely hope that the black dragon will like this special gift. Learn more about the culture of our Xia country, and also welcome it to come to our Xia country as a frequent guest in the future. Ha ha ha. Happy me. This operation of the breeder is simply a show that makes my scalp numb. Actually sending elementary school textbooks to a giant dragon as a gift. That's right. I guess this is another one of those bad ideas that some feckless leader slapped on his head and made the breeder come out and take the blame. It's also hard for the breeder to talk so much nonsense in a serious manner. Even many of our students in the summer kingdom don't like to study and still expected a giant dragon will like to read. It's really enough to make people laugh. That's right. The most ridiculous thing is that it actually prepared the wealth of nations and capitalism for it. Which is a giant dragon that can read and understand and resonate with it? Knowing that the gargoyle itself is one of the great exploiters of the offshore world. Is it surprising that there are still breaks advocating for it to join the revolution and revolutionize who? Itself? A large online forum. The melon-eating netizens began another pleasant time of key politics. Above actually really want to release this black dragon. This I was not expecting. Dragon blood although now on our human body is useless. But does not mean that in the future also useless ah. Such a big dragon is said to be released. Not too much of a pity. Some netizens expressed regret. Although the Xia Academy of Sciences had already repeatedly used the blood of the black dragon to dispel rumors. And used a large number of examples to prove that the blood and flesh of the giant dragons were highly poisonous. There were still quite a number of people who were not dead set on it and still fantasized about getting their hands on some dragon's blood and flesh to try. Eh, you've seen too much of this, right? Losing money to make a profit and making a profit is always our traditional art of foreigners. Some netizens directly rushed to the tower. This black dragon is not just eating dozens of tons of meat for nothing. 
is not just causing us hundreds of millions of dollars of damage well. For the sake of promoting our reputation and demonstrating our great nation's demeanor, even if what it did was ten times more outrageous, we would only send it out of the country as a courtesy and welcome it to come back next time. What's with the Yin and Yang? Your beautiful father is gone, and you're still here to bring up the tempo. Some netizens couldn't stand to watch and directly retorted, although this black dragon has caused some economic losses to our country, don't forget that its help to our country in terms of scientific research is equally huge at least contributing more than a dozen liters of dragon's blood in more than a dozen pieces of dragon scales, which are precious materials that can't even be bought with money. When we do the math, we're actually not at a loss. Oh, you also know is precious material ah, then why still give it to release it, directly to its whole dragon to stay are not more profitable? More profitable? Oh, that's as far as you can see. Not to mention how rare it is to gain the friendship of a giant dragon. Let's just say if we really imprison this black dragon, if word gets out, Will there be any more giant dragons in the future? Will there be any more transcendent beings to make friends with our country? To do business with our country? He he he. Making friends with transcendental creatures. Is not sure who is short-sighted. The classes are different. The positions are different. The ideologies are even more vastly different. Are you sure that they will be good friends of our summer kingdom? Even if we can't be friends, that's still better than being enemies. A friend with an unequal relationship. I'd rather it be an enemy. This will also make everyone give up their illusions earlier, recognize reality, and bury their heads in the sand to grow more mushrooms, growing mushrooms and trying to dominate a high and medium magic realm. You're being naive. That's better than mindlessly going on your knees to lick transcendent beings. At least this way we can do it with a bang. You're clearly being dangerously left-leaning and opportunistic. Then you're a cowardly right-leaning capitulationist. The two people quarrel more and more intense. Other netizens hurriedly is out to round off the scene. Okay. Okay, stop arguing, watch the live feed, the black dragon is out, the large truck carrying the black dragon slowly drove into the second crossing, the whole process was very quiet, there was no preparation for any release ceremony, and there was no photo taking, just a slight stop to allow the CCTV crew to shoot some footage up close, and then continue to drive towards the knot, seeing that the black dragon was about to return to the outside world, Wang Xiaobing was a bit frustrated in her heart and the person in charge of the military had previously told her that if the black dragon had woken up just now, he would have left a few minutes of interview time for her, do an interview for black dragon, that's a first, although the CCTV broadcast had shown that the black dragon had already mastered a certain level of Xia language ability, for security reasons, it had never been open for the media to interview the dragon up close, so if the black dragon was awake just now, then she, Wang Xiaobing, would undoubtedly be the first person to interview the giant dragon, However, it was a pity that the black dragon's body lacked magic so badly that it had fallen into a deep coma, and Wang Xiaobing had missed an opportunity to create big news. The guide has switched the camera to the outside world. In order to live the entire black dragon release, CCTV is also considered to be a blood money. Arranged in advance in the outside world of a dozen special high-definition lenses, after filming this time, almost all of them will be scrapped. Let's go. Let's find a place to watch the live broadcast as well and see how powerful the black dragon will be after recovering in an environment rich in magical elements. Wang Xiaobing said to his partner's photographer, Sister Wang, look, the photographer, however, didn't move, but excitedly gestured for her to look in one direction. Wang Xiaobing looked with his eyes and it was Yu Xiaoman. At the moment he was wearing a protective suit and heading for the pickup truck carrying the books. Wang Xiaobing's heart skipped a beat and she immediately realized what was going on and hurriedly spread her feet and ran over, shouting as she did so. Researcher you, please wait, it's good that you Xiaoman was heard, looking over to see it was Wang Xiaobing, and really stopped and waited for a while, and then curiously said, Reporter Wang, what's the matter with you, fellow you, are you going offshore? Wang Xiaobing didn't even have time to catch his breath before he hurriedly asked, Right, you Xiaoman nodded with a smile and said, If I don't go outside the country, how can I give these books to the black dragon without waiting for it to wake up, but that's too dangerous, isn't it? Wang Xiaobing, worried and puzzled, said, the black dragon is like two different creatures outside of the country and inside the country, in case it turns its back on you later, won't you be in danger, it won't, you Stalman confidently said, not to mention that the black dragon friend I believe in won't do this, even if it does, so many missiles in our base aren't vegetarians, and with such a close distance, it's guaranteed to be able to avenge me, the black dragon has seen the power of our Xia people, it's very smart and definitely won't mess around, but fear not, Fear not, you're obviously putting your life on the line. Wang Xiaobing is still persuading. It's okay, reporter Wang. You should also know that there are some risks that someone is destined to take. 
Yu Xiaoman was unimpressed and said, The black dragon is a very proud creature, and to gain its true friendship, one must be recognized by it when it is awake and in full bloom. That's why it's important for me to be present later when the black dragon wakes up outside of the country, and to have a conversation with it so that all the work we did before won't be in vain. Is there anything else? If not I have to get going, Yu Xiaoman said, and was about to start the car and leave, when unexpectedly Wang Xiaobing suddenly shouted again, wait a little longer, researcher Yu, what again, can you take me with you, take you, you want to go too, Yu Xiaoman pretended to be taken aback, then decisively shook her head and refused, no, no, it's too dangerous, you can't go, in fact, what Yu Xiaoman wants is this sentence, the reason why he is always hanging around in front of Wang Xiaobing and the others, this is a deliberate act, in order to induce her to follow her along with him to go outside the country, to do some interviews with Mr. Huang, to give some padding for the future plot, but there are some things that can't be said outright, they have to be brought up in a roundabout way, they have to be brought up by Wang Xiaobing herself, so that it seems more real and more effective for the program, but didn't you just say it wasn't dangerous, how did it become dangerous for me, Wang Xiaobing questioned, can it be the same, Yu Xiaoman cried and laughed, the black dragon and I at least have a few friendships, and you are not familiar with it at all, it can allow me to get close to, but may not allow you to, really if anything happens, I cannot afford that responsibility, you're not responsible, Wang Xiaobing immediately took a stand, you just take me on, if anything really happens, I'll be responsible myself, the big truck carrying the black dragon's body slowly passed through the boundary, and almost at the same instant, the cameras set up in advance outside the country clearly captured that the wind was picking up, no, it's not the wind that's picking up, it was the magical elements in the air surging wildly, the black dragon's body was like a terrifying black hole that had awakened, crazily sweeping the surrounding magical elements, so loud that a cyclone visible to the naked eye formed around it, dang, 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 not only that, the black dragon originally slow beating heart also began to accelerate, began to force, a sound as heavy as muffled thunder, ringing in the ears knocking in the heart, so that people cannot help but scalp them, fear, this was the kind of pushiness, the kind of aura that a transcendent life form should have. All the people who were watching the live broadcast had the thought in their hearts that the black dragon outside the country was more than 10 times more terrifying compared to the one inside the country. Everyone was transfixed, waiting for the black dragon to awaken. And time seemed to have come to a standstill at this moment. It's moving. It's moving. Finally, the black dragon's claws twitched, and all the spectators were instantly delighted, while the guy duly focused the camera on the black dragon's face. Sure enough it didn't take long for the black dragon to live up to its name and open its eyes. What a pair of eyes that was. All the spectators couldn't help but suck in a breath of cold air. Being in the magical elements abundant outside the country, the black dragon's temperament is undoubtedly a qualitative change. Its amber-colored vertical pupil surging with bright masses of light, like a blazing fire jumping, like a storm gathering, deep and vast, so that people cannot help but be in awe, do not dare to look directly at it. Seemingly sensing the prying eyes of the Xia people, the black dragon's pupils shrunk, staring dead center at that camera on the main screen, its deep gaze seeming to be able to break through the boundaries of space, locking eyes with every viewer and projecting its abyssal, prison-like aura into the hearts of every single person, one eye for a billion eyes, as it was, it lasted for nearly half a minute, forcing all the viewers to subconsciously shift their gaze away, and also forcing the CCTV guy to switch lenses, not daring to shoot the black dragon's eyes again, only then was the black dragon satisfied and withdrew its gaze, slowly climbing up its body and walking around in a circle to move its body before suddenly letting out a roar and violently spraying a large mouthful of dragon's breath towards the large truck on the side, this mouth of dragon breath is a spray as dozens of meters, flame color is almost pure white, the big truck actually did not even have a chance to explode, directly turned into a puddle of iron, it could be seen that the energy contained in this mouth of the black dragon's dragon breath was so terrifying that the gasoline on the truck was directly assimilated before it even had time to burn, obviously, this black dragon was flaunting its force, many viewers saw the intention of the black dragon, marveled at the same time, the heart is not inevitably also some unconvinced, what to pretend, believe it or not smash you two mushrooms to teach you to be a dragon, Seeing that the atmosphere and emotions were almost mobilized, Yu Xiaoman knew that it was time for him to go on, and he said to Wang Xiaobing in the passenger seat, stay quiet later, let me communicate with the black dragon first, okay, Wang Xiaobing nodded her head obediently, it was not easy for her to seek help from the leaders to get the opportunity to interview the giant dragon, so naturally, she did not want to mess it up, and the black dragon had undoubtedly shaken her greatly with that pass just now, realizing that this was going to be a very dangerous interview indeed and that it would be best to listen to the breeder. 
The pickup truck carried the two of them over the boundary. And almost at the same instant, the black dragon snapped its head back, the corners of its mouth slit, its pupils slammed shut, and an aura of danger emanated from its body. Mr. Black Dragon, please don't get excited. Yu Xiaoman stopped the car and opened the door, holding her hands up and shouting, It's me, your friend Yu Xiaoman. Friends, friends, the black dragon scrutinized for a moment, slowly highlighting the two summer characters. Yes, friend, Yu Xiaoman acted the whole play, took the initiative to walk up a few steps, smilingly said, We have just not seen a few hours. You will not disown me as a friend, right? Friend, the black dragon aggravated his tone, and likewise broke out in acting, disliking the dragon's face almost to Yu Xiaoman's head, observing his every move, such as it was, which lasted for several minutes, and only then shrunk his head back, and said, word for word, in the bulk summer language, very well, you are very courageous and do deserve to be my friend, though I, Dios, have never known anything about repaying favors, this time, I owe you people of Xia a debt of gratitude for saving me and for releasing me. Deus, your name is Dios? Yu Xiaoman feigned surprise and joy, after all. In the episode, this was the first time Black Dragon had ever spoken his name to the Xia people. Not bad, Doze. The Black Dragon looked at the sky at a 45 degree angle, his voice low. Speaking of which, I haven't used that name in a long time. Why would you say that? Yu Xiaoman asked at the right time. Because a slave is not worthy of his own name. And I, enslaved by an evil god for three whole centuries. The black dragon spoke in a calm voice word by word, but to the audience, it was clearly suppressing endless anger and bone-deep hatred. Ha, huh, I'm sorry, my friend, for accidentally bringing up your sad past. Yu Xiaoman hurriedly apologized. No harm done, the black dragon said lightly. I still have this amount of temperament. Although there were some parts of what you Summerlanders did, before, that did piss me off. You guys kind of saved my life after all. If it weren't for your tolerance and patience with me, relieving me of my hunger and allowing me to use electrical energy, I would never have recovered from the curse of the evil god so quickly. And you didn't think of enslaving me or imprisoning me just because I'm a dragon. Instead you gave me more than enough respect and freedom. In love and reason, I will remember this friendship of yours. That's really nice of you to think so, Yu Xiaoman said happily, then introduced Wang Xiaobing, who was beside her. Dios, this is reporter Wang Xiaobing from our summer country's CCTV. She very much wishes to conduct an interview with you. Do you think it's okay? An interview? The black dragon leaned down and scrutinized Wang Xiaobing for a moment, then closed his eyes and contemplated for a moment, saying, Yes, your Xia kingdom is a great nation that has been gracious to me, and deserves to be honored by me, and it would undoubtedly also be a great honor if I could gain the liking and friendship of more than a billion people in your summer country. Can't see that this black dragon is quite good at talking. Has it really only been learning summer language for a few days? Wang Xiaobing was curious, she did not expect that the contact with the black dragon would actually be so smooth, and the dangers, difficulties, and aggressiveness, that she envisioned she would encounter before were surprisingly non-existent. Hello Mr. Dios, I'm CCTV reporter Wang Xiaobing, nice to meet you. Wang Xiaobing summoned up enough courage and walked to the black dragon's body with a tape recorder, first talking about himself and then extending the recorder to the black dragon, in fact. This thing was not useful at all for interviewing a behemoth like a giant dragon. But Wang Xiaobing felt that the sense of ceremony could not be lost. Hello. The black dragon nodded slightly as a response an action that should be considered polite for a giant dragon. Here we go with the official interview. Wang Xiaobing, Mr. Dios, everyone is very curious about your origins. Could you introduce yourself? Black dragon, introduce yourself? I don't have anything to introduce. But I'm just a black dragon from the far north and I've been in jail for 300 years at the age of over 300. The evil god who imprisoned me not long ago, inexplicably suffered a serious injury, and only then was I able to free myself from my shackles and traveled all the way south, accidentally intruding into your Xia kingdom. Wang Xiaobing, Zhou should only be part of your name. What is your true dragon name? Black Dragon, my true name of the Dragon Clan. That would be too long. Our true name of the Dragon Clan is actually the equivalent of our genealogy, and by my generation. It would take at least 10 minutes to read it out, so I don't see the need for it. The black dragon is, of course, talking out of its ass, because it doesn't even know its real name, and the directing team didn't make one up for it, not that they didn't want to, but they just couldn't. The true name of the dragon had to be shouted out in the dragon language, which was a very ancient and complex magical language, and it was impossible for an ordinary person to even memorize or even repeat it, let alone understand it. Trying to make up a dragon's real name for the black dragon that sounds like that much is just too much for the current Summerlanders. 
So it would be better to just have Huang Zhe play a black dragon who doesn't want to reveal his real name. So it still seems real. Still, of course, Kasa hoped that the black dragon would be able to retrieve its true name, as this would not only allow it to awaken a more powerful bloodline talent. More than that, it can help the Xia Academy of Sciences, the history of the giant dragon clan to research and understand. As long as we know the number of black dragon ancestors, and then know the average life expectancy of black dragons, so that we can come up with a rough range of figures, and then deduce that the earliest appearance of the giant dragons in this world is how long ago. Considering that dragons were one of the oldest intelligent creatures in this world, knowing how many years dragons had survived, that pretty much meant how long the history of civilization in this world was. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. Wang Xiaobing, Mr. Dios, before I came face to face with you, I always thought you were a very dangerous and irritable dragon, but the feeling you give me now is obviously very gentle and approachable, which can be very different from your previous behavior in the territory. Can you tell me what has caused such a transformation? Don't you summer people, have an idiom called temperamental? Black dragon, the idiom couldn't be more graphic when applied to us gargoyles. Having been released by your Xia people, I'm naturally in a state of high right now, but that won't be the case after a while. Wang Xiaobing, Mr. Dios you're still humorous. I can see that you speak summer language very well now. It's also very different from before. Is the language talent of you dragons? Are they all this powerful? You could think so. Black dragon, you should have heard of a magic called tongue understanding. Compared to many ancient magical languages, your summer language is actually not complicated at all and can be easily learned. Wang Xiaobing, doesn't that mean that all those previous performances of yours have actually been a disguise and have been secretly observing us? Half and half. Black Dragon, half of it was the curse that was inside me at the time. It really hadn't completely worn off yet, and I wasn't very stable emotionally. Half of it is that I do engage in camouflage, pretending to be muddled and irritable and intellectually inferior so as to paralyze you and secretly observe and secretly learn from you Summerlanders. Wang Xiaobing, so through observation, what is your true perception of our summer country? Very great, very strong, very terrifying. Our world will be turned upside down by your arrival. The black dragon began with a fierce boast before hitting the nail on the head. However, the physical strength of your Xia people is far too weak, and there is a general lack of strong faith, which is undoubtedly very dangerous in a world surrounded by deities. Wang Xiaobing, then, as a transcendent being with an ancient heritage, do you have any good advice for us? Black dragon, don't trust the gods, don't trust the gods, don't believe in the gods, I'd rather make a deal with the devil than trust those so-called bullshit gods. Wang Xiaobing, but didn't you just say that we Xia people commonly lack faith, and if we don't believe in gods, then what else can we go on believing in? Instead of answering, the black dragon looked at the westward sloping sun and said, it's time for the interview to end, I have to go. Well, thank you very much for your cooperation, Mr. Doze. Although Wang Xiaobing still had a stomach full of questions, since Black Dragon had said so, she could only regretfully give up. Black Dragon pouted and was about to take off from Wuhu, when Yu Xiaowen suddenly rushed over. Wait a minute, Dlo's, I've got a present for you. Gifts? The Black Dragon stopped taking off and looked over with feigned curiosity. Yes, the gift. Yu Xiaowen's acting skills exploded, full of enthusiasm, as if there was light in her eyes, holding down a few cardboard boxes from the pickup truck, saying, Look, it's full of books, books, the black dragon blinked, its deep eye suddenly becoming animated as it poked its head around with interest, look, language, math, physics, astronomy, Yu Xiaoman unwrapped the carton, as if counting the family treasures, I see that you are not quite fond of learning well, so I carefully selected several hundred books for you, all of them are the classic books of our earth civilization, I think there must be something you like in this, have a heart, the black dragon pretended to be touched and nodded towards Yu Xiaoman, then leaned down and surveyed the books, first swallowing the boxes of elementary school, middle school, and children's books into his stomach. It didn't know space magic yet, and it didn't have any space magic equipment, so it could only isolate a space in its stomach for storing items. It's sort of a traditional art skill for many transcendent beings, after all. Storing things in subspace is far less safe than existing in your own stomach. Must proudly recommend this book to you. I'm sure you'll love it. Yu Xiaoman turned out the book Capitalism was about to get under the eyes of the black dragon to show off, thus letting the black dragon for the first time contact with the idea of revolution, and produced a strong interest, gradually metamorphosed into a strong-willed revolutionary dragon. So this scene, undoubtedly a minor climax to the pre-naturalized dragon storyline, was not without several cameras staring at him and the dragon, just to capture that historic moment later. But unexpectedly, the black dragon's pupils suddenly shrunk violently, and he didn't even have time to shout out be careful but instead directly spat out a mouthful of breath violently, 
blowing Yu Xiaoman away. Almost at the same time, the setting sun, which was about to set, suddenly bloomed with fierce light and shone right where Yu Xiaoman had just stood, destroying all the books. Not even a piece of dregs remained. Divine punishment. Precision strikes from the sun god. The black dragon was shocked and furious, controlling his dragon might aura to catch Yu Xiaoman smoothly. If it hadn't mastered electrical energy and could generate force in its own aura, just now, even if Yu Xiaoman hadn't been vaporized by the sun god's punishment, she would have been seriously injured by its spit. Sun god, the black dragon's ugly face collapsed into an even uglier appearance for a moment, and it defied the iron law that gods should not look directly at each other by raising its head and staring angrily toward the sun, the so-called invulnerability of a deity. Of course, can't be that if you look at him, he will be so thunderously angry that he won't even say what are you looking at, and will just contaminate or fuck you to death. If this is the case, then the entire material world do not need to play. The sun and the moon hang in the sky all year round. In turn, there will always be people who accidentally glanced at them. If a glance is blasphemy, is a capital offense, then all intelligent creatures are afraid of extinction long ago. The invisibility of the gods refers primarily to the inability to look directly at his being for long periods of time and consciously. It was as if now, the black dragon's pupils were constantly shifting, constantly adjusting their focus and focusing their will. Vowing to give a hard stare to that sun god who was not a man of honor and engaged in sneak attacks, the black dragon's farsightedness is far more developed than that of humans, and its eyes are far more tolerant of light. So if it were on earth then it would definitely be able to see the flares and black spots on the sun, and the craters and craters on the moon, the sun on this side of the world, however, was decidedly none of those things, and in the black dragon's field of vision, there was nothing but full, dazzling light, its energy reacting far less violently than the stars. The sun of this world, doesn't seem much bigger than the moon? The black dragon carefully scrutinized the size of the sun, inexplicably creating this illusion. The black dragon has long known that the moon of this world, does not feed on the sun, but sis herself to be the queen, confidently put the light. That is to say that this world, in all likelihood, is not the main material realm revolving around the sun, but rather the sun actively revolving around the material realm. The black dragon was rambling as he carefully looked around the sun. Then it looked for a while, but still did not find the sun god's divine kingdom, nor did it clearly feel his will or malice. Wimped out? Shy, look at me, you bastard. The black dragon's heart inexplicably swelled a little, and I don't know whether it was almost time for work or something temporary, but the sun god didn't pay any attention to this death-defying black dragon, and soon fell down the mountain on his own. Deus, Dlos. The black dragon then came back to its senses, and then immediately heard someone calling out to it, and looked down to see that it was Ding Shu Win and the others. The spit it used to save Yu Xiaoman just now, although it managed to snatch a life back from the sun god's hands, it obviously also inflicted very serious burns on Yu Xiaoman's body, and it also damaged his protective suit, exposing it to an environment that was full of magical elements, which could be considered as adding insult to injury. Such a big change. The research team that has been staring at the live broadcast naturally cannot sit still. Ding Shuwen hurriedly is to lead the team to carry Yu Xiaoman back to the rescue, and has been calling out to the black dragon, trying to stop its death behavior, provoke the sun god. Also thanks to the luck of this black dragon, the sun god is one of the few great divine powers in this world, except that his will has always been a deeper slumber, and the subjective divinity is currently very weak. But this does not mean that there is no possibility that the black dragon can pull his hatred. And if the black dragon really succeeded in pulling down his hatred, then the fun will be great. It is estimated that it can only be a bucket to run to the abyss or inside hell. Dlos, don't be impulsive, don't be impulsive. Seeing the black dragon looking over, Ding Shu Wen hurriedly shouted, it was our carelessness. In the offshore worlds, there is some knowledge, which is cursed, and must be carried in gold. Or else it could easily attract a descending blow from the sun or the moon. Holy shit, there's such a thing? The black dragon was taken aback and it had to be gold to carry the knowledge. No wonder the world outside the country is so dark and backward. How is Yu Xiaoman doing? Seeing that Wang Xiaobing had already been brought back to the territory, and that the shock just now had obviously scared her, and that all the cameras around her had been removed, the black dragon asked with concern, is very unpromising. Ding Shu inside, his mood obviously a bit heavy. The black dragon's spit could be more than just high temperatures. It also contained a large amount of radiation rays, and a large amount of corrosive energy. Although the black dragon had subconsciously controlled the intensity, the situation just now was after all too sudden and urgent, and in order to be able to snatch Yu Xiaoman's little life back from under the sun god, where was the concern of whether or not it would injure him by mistake? Is there any chance that, can be salvaged? The black dragon was also a little bad in his heart, 
and was silent for a few seconds before asking, has it? Ding Shuwen had a tangled face and sighed several times, but in the end, he gave an answer that was unexpected by the black dragon. There's a chance then what are you still obsessing about? Hurry up and get someone to resuscitate it. Instead of answering, Ding Shuwen had his staff set up several pieces of equipment around the area and activated them before sighing. Alas, Mr. Huang, you have no idea. What are these devices for? This time it was the black dragon that digressed. There was no way it couldn't help but be curious. After these devices were activated, it clearly felt some discomfort in its body, its biomagnetic field. Its dragon aura was actually disturbed and weakened. It's a special high power signal jammer. Ding Shuwen replied. A signal jammer? The black dragon was first surprised, then snapped his eyes wide. You mean, this thing can block the gods from spying and eavesdropping on us? It is not known at this time. Ding Shuwen shook his head and said, After all, there are no deities that have actively given us feedback to tell us whether it is effective or not. But our own guess is that it should still be more or less effective in fighting gods. I feel the same way. At least I feel like my body is affected in some way. The black dragon was pondering. Even one of his own black dragons that relied mainly on bloodline power was like this. So I'm sure that those creatures that were purely energy bodies and soul energy bodies must be even more affected by electromagnetic interference. If a mega yield EMP bomb was launched into the sky, it might fill the heavens with gods and goddesses. Now you can talk. What is it that you're struggling with? The black dragon asked. If there's a way to save your life, what's so hard about it? There is a way to. A way. It's just that this way. It's very costly and much more controversial. Ding Shuwen sighed and said, Mr. Huang, I'm sure you've heard that we, the people of Xia, actually have a way to go and live outside of our country. Just find an indigenous deity outside the borders and offer him your faith and a pound of gold. And he will transform our bodies with divine power and grant us the ability to live outside the borders. Good. I've heard. The black dragon nodded slightly and said, Speaking of which, I'm kinda wondering why you guys haven't been using this method. Although our country's gold reserves can't support every national to complete such a life transformation, it's obviously still possible to perform this ceremony for those soldiers guarding the borders, and for the special agents who go to work outside the country. Why haven't you guys been doing this? Because the pitfalls of this approach are just too great. Ding Shu inside. Not to mention that after selling our faith to the gods, our minds can easily be influenced and controlled by his will. With our concepts and stances changing, and thus betraying our homeland and nation, the mere fact that our bodies, transformed by the power of the gods, will become like those of indigenous creatures outside our borders, and that we will never again see the submicron realm, is more than enough to make us scientists accept it. Because if the realm below the micron is completely locked down, then the genes of our Xia people, the bloodline of our Xia people, will lose its meaning of existence, and it will no longer be something that we ourselves can understand and master. This is tantamount to being a self-defeating martial art, completely cutting off the future, can only be subjected to the gods, placing all hope in the gods' charity and benevolence. This is undoubtedly a place where all of us scientists can't accept no matter what. Our genes, our future, the fate of our Xia people, can never be subjected to others, a body transformed by a deity, the submicron realm, also becomes invisible, the black dragon pondered why these indigenous gods were doing this, what were they hiding, as a follower of the great physics theocracy, black dragon knew very well that it was actually the microcosmos that was more important to us humans than the macrocosmos, not only because it is easier to reach, understand and apply, but also because it is closely related to the progress of our human society, the more and more in depth we understand the microcosm, the more advanced many of our applications of science and technology will become. And after a certain degree of development, we can even go back to the basics and inversely introduce the essence and truth of the macroscopic universe. It is no exaggeration to say that if human beings really lose the ability to explore the microscopic field and are completely locked up in microns then the consequences are absolutely unimaginable. Thinking of this, the black dragon had already understood and said, so the solution you spoke of is to have you Xiaoman take the gold to seek help from the gods? Nice. Ding Shuwen nodded with a difficult face. Although the deity's divine transformation will not allow the injuries on Less Than's body to be healed, as long as the transformation of his life form is complete and his body is no longer allergic to magical elements, then there are too many ways for us to save him. In these half a year, the trade between our country and the intelligent races outside our borders is actually mainly exchanging the heavenly treasures, magical wonders, magical technology, magical knowledge and the like in their hands. After all, compared to our industrialized society. That's all that's left of what we want and what they can take. So on our hands, we actually have quite a few good things for healing and curing injuries, and there are hundreds of liters of precious life spring water and holy water alone, 
As long as Les Thant's body is no longer allergic to magical elements, then we can easily get him back. So your current entanglement and controversy is mainly due to the fear that Yu Xiaoman, whose body has been transformed by the gods, will have his thoughts and ideas changed and will no longer be the same person he was before? Yeah, not only that, but hearts and minds. Ding Shuwing continued to sigh and said, as long as this opening is opened, then in the future, if there is such a situation, again, is it not necessary to save it in this way? After all, a collective, the most important thing is to be fair, put a bowl of water to the level. Today this saved Xiao Yu, then tomorrow's Wang, Xia Hoet, is not also to save? Such a development to the back. I can even foresee that there will certainly be people who will deliberately make themselves seriously injured, and then use this way to complete the transformation on the life form in a bright and honorable way. After all, compared to the collective good, people obviously prefer to pursue their individual interests. The black dragon was silent for a while, then slowly sighed out a mouthful of flaming breath and said, The reasoning is this reasoning. But Yu Xiaoman is after all a human life. We can't just see death and save it. Yeah, can't be seen dead. Ding Shu Wen sighed after him and said, Xiao Yu is a very smart lad. His mind is very important to us. We can't afford to lose a talent like him. Not to mention the fact that he's still injured in the line of duty. So even if it's more controversial, we'll definitely have to save him in the end. There are two main issues we have to consider now. Ding Shu Wen said, One is that the deity he will believe in must be a good god, and preferably a god of weak divine power so that it will be easier for Xiao Yu to keep his heart. Nice. Weaker gods are more or less better to deal with. The black dragon agreed. I think the goddess of love, Freya, is very good. It just so happens that he seems to be looking for me as well. So when the time comes, I'll talk to him, and maybe I'll be able to get him to give you Xiaoman some preferential treatment. Mr. Huang, your thoughts are the same as ours, and our first divine choice was also him. Ding Shuwen smiled in a rare manner and said, it just so happens that Xiao Yu is also a seed of infatuation. Falling in love with that angel of light, who was locked up by us a talent like him might really be able to make Freya look the other way. Fond of an angel? Tai Z, are you going to be a contemporary Dong Yong? Black Dragon was a bit surprised and planned to turn around and ask Yu Xiaoman what it would be like to like an angel. What's the other thing to consider? The Black Dragon asked curiously. The other problem will require your help. Mr. Huang, Ding Shu Wen said. We hope to go through this transformation ceremony to see if we can explore and understand how the power of the gods and goddesses can actually help our Xia people's bodies to complete the transformation. How can I help with this favor? The black dragon said in disbelief. The microscopic realm is locked down. You can't even see it with an electron microscope. What can I do? Yes. Ding Shu Wen greeted the staff and brought over an exquisite jade box, saying, In fact, the intelligent creatures of this world are not completely devoid of the means to explore the microscopic realm, a long time ago. Some powerful mages would use a magical curiosity known as the Eye of Truth to unravel the mists shrouding the microscopic realm and study the nature of magic. We've traded 2 tons of salt and 50 tons of steel for this Eye of Truth from an ancient nomadic people before. Ding Shu Wen opened the box, revealing a fist-sized crystal ball, only that its color looked a bit dull due to the long-term lack of magical energy irrigation. Mr. Huang haven't you always wanted to strengthen your eyesight? I think this real eye should be able to help you. The Eye of Truth. The Black Dragon muttered then put its head over and looked at it for a while without seeing anything, so it swallowed it in one bite. Its current eyesight was indeed somewhat lacking, and it still had some presbyopia, so rather than gawking with its eyes, it should have been experiencing it with its heart. Honestly speaking, as more and more electricity filled in his body, the black dragon was also looking at this body of his more and more, although it didn't know exactly what the other giant's dragons, the internal structure of their bodies were like, it still had a strong intuition that its own dragon body, must be very different from theirs. After all, logically speaking, as a very ancient transcendental creature, the genes of the gargoyle, the body structure of the gargoyle, should be very stable as right. Through the subjective will and plasma, it can be adjusted at will to change the structure of the body organs. This was, to put it mildly, breaking through the shackles of the bloodline and gaining a higher level of access to body development from the dragon god. To get to the point is to be treasonous, prying the source code of life with the plug-in of electrical energy the freedom to DIY your body and evolve to a higher life form. For a while now, Black Dragon was ostensibly filming, but in fact, secretly, he had been studying his own body. It had already discovered that as long as its subjective will was strong enough, as long as the plasma in its body was sufficient, then it could fine-tune or remodel the vast majority of the organs in its body. On its entire body, there were only two places left that it could not reach at the moment. One is its brain and one is its heart. The brain was the center of the black dragon's nervous system and the seat of its soul, and its complexity, 
needless to say, was obviously not something the current Black Dragon could micromanage. The heart is the power core of the body, and the most powerful and mysterious organ in the Black Dragon's body, all the electricity that is charged in, almost all of it converges in here. Although the Black Dragon didn't know what the other gargoyles, hearts looked like, it could fully assert that it must be very different from its own, compared to its massive size. The Black Dragon's heart was now very small amazingly enough. The more electricity it was charged with, the more its heart shrunk, at least two-thirds compared to when it started. And another amazing thing is that the Black Dragon's heart is strangely warm and glowing. As the Black Dragon's body functions recovered more and more powerfully, ASTRI was no longer able to use instruments to detect the Black Dragon's internal body. But the Black Dragon itself estimated that the surface temperature of its current heart was at least several thousand degrees Celsius and that the internal core temperature would only be even higher, with tens of thousands, or even hundreds of thousands, of degrees not out of the question. Black Dragon has also relayed this to the research team at the Summer Academy to see if they can brainstorm and figure out what is causing these changes in their bodies, whether they are good or bad. Unfortunately, the Xia Academy of Sciences was equally clueless. The microscopic field was locked up. The limitations on technology were just too great, and they didn't know. How these changes within the Black Dragon were created and carried out, only knowing that it must be related to electricity, a kind of self-evolution of life, and nine times out of ten, it should be a good thing. Speaking of which, the Summer Academy of Sciences has actually been in the many magical creatures of this world, bionic research, but unfortunately the harvest has been very little, there is no bridge in the microscopic realm, the gap between science and magic, it is too difficult to overcome. The Black Dragon swallowed the Eye of Truth and closed his eyes, using his heart to feel. This was a function that the Black Dragon had only recently unearthed. Its current heart, in addition to being able to glow and heat for blood and magic power supply, could also radiate mysterious rays that analyzed and detected substances, and in terms of functionality alone, it could be much more powerful than its eyes. However, to the Black Dragon's great surprise, this Eye of Truth had just fallen into the esophagus, and hadn't even gotten close to the ventricle yet but its heart was already unable to hold back, and directly jumped out, devouring the eye of truth in one go. I'm not mistaken, am I? The black dragon was dumbfounded. My heart, can actually move freely? Shouldn't I go to the hospital to see if, this is going to be a bit of a problem? The black dragon muttered. Its consciousness did not observe the interior of the heart, only to know that after swallowing this eye of truth, the heart immediately began to beat madly, madly hot, as if the nuclear reactor that had been shut down for a long time, suddenly replenished to the nuclear fuel. Ha, huh, why did I come up with that analogy? The black dragon was slightly stunned. However, there wasn't much time for it to think. The heat released from the black dragon's heart was so huge that in just a few seconds, its body temperature rose by at least a dozen degrees, frightening it so much that it hurriedly shouted to Ding Shu Win and the others. The, quickly, all run, I think I'm going to blow up. The words just fell. The black dragon abdominal cavity stored in the dragon's breath fuel suddenly ignited but saw that the group are not yet withdrawn to the full range, it can only be forced to hold, then held back, the corners of its mouth, its nostrils, its eyes and ears, its wings and its body surface, will all come out black purple flame, looks fierce and vicious, everyone viewed it, not expecting that just eating a crystal ball would cause the black dragon to react so greatly, seeing that it was burning so badly, even if a hundred fire trucks were called over. I'm afraid that it wouldn't be of any use, this kind of black purple magical fire was obviously not something that could be extinguished by conventional means, Maoists once envisioned using nuclear bombs to put out fires, sounds like it's quite magical and metaphysical, should we give it a try for Mr. Huang? At the critical moment, Ding Shu Wen's mind inexplicably produced such an idea, good thing the mutation on the black dragon didn't last long, it erupted for less than half a minute, its heart subsided, and then it didn't take long for the flames on its body to all go out. No, the flames in its right eye were still leaping and growing more violent. What the hell? Is this to give me fiery eyes? The black dragon was puzzled, and then blinked its eyes vigorously even though its pain nerves were extremely dull. At this moment, it still let it feel. A strong stinging pain in its right eye, as if something was trying to come out of it. It's not like you're trying to replace my original dragon's eye with that real eye, is it? The thought suddenly popped into the black dragon's head, and then immediately started to get upset. I can ask for it but you can't force it, I don't want anything that's not under my control or understanding, even if it's good, with that thought, the black dragon's brain ran at high speed, directly blocking out the pain nerves and focusing his will to forcefully stop the mutation in his eyes, all of a sudden the black dragon's right eye began to emit electricity in addition to fire, and this confrontation, of course, ended with Huang Zhe's victory, after all, he was the owner of this body, 
However, the Black Dragon had no pleasure in winning. Instead, he collapsed to Batchface and was in a gloomy mood. It listened to the sound of its own strong heartbeat. And what was going through its mind was, why do I feel like this heart? As if it's not the original Black Dragon? Bro, you're making it hard for me to do this uncontrolled. Sudden backstabbing. Huang Zhe tried to communicate with it. If you have any thoughts or opinions about me, you should have told me in advance. We have to be the heart of the heart of the consciousness. To listen to the command of the brain, you suddenly go alone. Suddenly take over the power. Have you ever considered my feelings? How can you let me trust you? The negotiation between the brain and the heart ended in failure. Even if the black dragon threatened many times that he must hold the heart responsible and replace it when he had the opportunity in the future, the heart remained indifferent. As if its jumping back just now had not happened. North Dragon River 2 Military Base The Black Dragon spared a trip outside the country and snuck back in. Originally, the original plan was not like this. After being released, it was supposed to go outside the country to roam around, do some social research, see the plight of the people, and then develop a sense of progress and return to Xia to participate in the revolution. And those books prepared by Yu Xiaoman were actually not read by the Black Dragon himself, but were taken to that immortal bird to study. Although the Black Dragon had been chanting, Wanting that undead bird to work for him, this was not really in conflict with letting him learn knowledge. After all, with knowledge and literacy, one can work more efficiently and be more able to create wealth value. It does not want its own men is a pure illiterate. That is too difficult to discipline too difficult to communicate. At least have an elementary school diploma. Unfortunately, the idea was great, but somehow the sun god intervened and threw the whole plan out of whack. What? Hearing the black dragon's speculation, Ding Shu Wen was shocked. You suspect that your heart is not original? That's right. The black dragon, a little heartbroken, laid his head on the ground and said, My spontaneous combustion earlier was caused by a sudden lack of control over my heart. How is this possible? Ding Shu Wen scratched his head and had a stony face. It's not the original. Which would be who changed it for you? And when was it changed? That I don't know. Long Long sighed and said, But I personally feel that nine times out of ten it should have been changed before I took over my body and took over the plate. Otherwise it is impossible for me not to notice it. Hearing these words, everyone's heart suddenly burst, some spine chills. Is it possible that Huang Zhe's situation has long been arranged by someone? Is hiding a great conspiracy? Playing a very big game of chess? We just asked you to pretend to be a dragon cursed by an evil god. It can't really be that coincidental. You've really been touched by an evil god? Everyone was a little upset. Originally thought that the black dragon was the best gift from heaven to their summer country but did not realize that this gift was probably a sugar-coated bomb, behind which was hidden a big conspiracy. No wonder all the manifestations and habits of the black dragon were so different from those of a normal dragon. It turned out that it not only had problems with its mind, but also with its heart. What now? Seeing that everyone is silent, the black dragon had to say, I don't want to be a second five, in order to get a clear understanding. Why don't you guys still help me dissect it? To see this heart, in the end, what is the situation? Of course if you're in a position to do so, it's best to just get me a heart transplant. This uncontrolled, blind cockamamie mess of a heart. The sooner it's pulled out the more at ease it will be. You're joking again, Mr. Huang. Ding Shu Wen wore a bitter smile on his face. Although he knew that the black dragon's body was very strong and its pain nerves were very dull. So even if it was opened up, it would be very difficult to inflict any substantial damage or pain on it. But the black dragon was always hanging on to this, which more or less made people cry so he could only say, helplessly, not to mention that with our current technical means, we simply can't dissect open your giant dragon's body, even if we really dissect it open, when the time comes, in case your heart, again, suddenly riots like before, releasing dozens of tons, or even hundreds of tons of TNT equivalent energy all at once, how do you expect us to hold up, as for giving you a heart transplant it's even more impossible, where are we going to find you a heart that powerful, ugh, so this time bomb can't be defused? The black dragon side, not to figure out the heart problem. This also means that its entire dragon life will be covered with a layer of shadow. Even if it has the heart to give its body to the country again, I am afraid that it will inevitably be suspected and defended. Who made me unclean? Damn, it's annoying. My dragonborn is so on track. Who the hell is counting on me? The black dragon was instantly a bit annoyed. Mr. Huang, you shouldn't be too pessimistic. Seeing that black dragon's mood was obviously a bit off. The competent psychological counselor Gowing immediately reacted and hurriedly consoled, saying, we can not only think of the bad side, but also think of the good side ah, maybe this heart, is your predecessor especially left you a treasure? It's possible that it got some kind of strange encounter and ate some kind of exotic treasure before it fell asleep, 
such as cosmic source quality and within the fragments of the god's lattice, only that the soul couldn't carry it due to the fact that it was too thick and heavy, which is why it was cheapened to you, just now, Mr. Huang, didn't you say that you can still take the initiative to mobilize your subjective will to forcibly stop the heart from going solo, this also means that at present, this body is still in your hands, so the most important thing you need to do now is actually to keep a good mindset, don't develop any pessimistic or negative emotions and scare yourself, that's what makes it more dangerous, yeah, 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 Ding Shuwen also reacted, how to let the black dragon maintain a healthy psychology and complete humanity, is the top priority of their entire scientific research team's work, how can you be depressed with the black dragon just because you're having problems, Ding Shuwen self-examined, hurriedly pulled himself together and said with a smile, Mr. Huang, Xiao Gao is right, there is a problem, we positively deal with it and try to overcome it is, never produce negative emotions, even if there is really something wrong with your heart, it's a big thunderbolt planted in advance by some deity or devil, then we'll just actively try to find a solution, while we can't process it or transplant it at the moment, we can absolutely prepare a couple of secondary hearts inside you to reduce the dependence on it, didn't you say earlier that you wanted a few nuclear powered secondary hearts, no problem, I can immediately apply for a project from the state and mobilize as much manpower and resources as possible to attack this problem for you, and aren't you still able to mobilize your subjective will and fine tune and transform your body, then we can totally go and capture other giant dragons, other powerful transcendent creatures, conduct bionic research on their hearts, on their body structures, and finally gather the best of all worlds, and surely we can DIY a more powerful heart, good idea, the black dragon's eyes lit up and he rose up, his emotions obviously mobilized, since this heart doesn't listen to me, I don't give a damn about it, just rebuild a few more, being able to use subjective will to reorganize the body, this is actually the most powerful golden finger on the black dragon, as long as there was enough energy and as long as the technology was mature, it could even repair the body's rejection reaction and forcibly transplant the hearts of other transcendental beings into itself, and the black dragon also had reason to suspect that many powerful transcendent creatures must have more than one heart in their bodies, as well as quite a few secondary hearts, so that their power, their life force, would be so strong, regardless of whether or not there is some big shot who is secretly counting on me, I have the solid backing of one, four billion people behind me, and will never, and must never, fall that easily, even if theology is powerful, science is definitely not a vegetarian, the black dragon gave himself a pep talk in his heart, and his gaze gradually became firm as long as my body, I can run a nuclear fusion reactor, that is almost the same as, igniting the divine fire, right? How is you Xiaoman doing now? Any better? Temporarily unraveling the knot in his heart, the black dragon's thoughts were clear, and only then did he remember the matter at hand, and hurriedly asked, is even less optimistic, Ding Shu inside, Mr. Huang, we'll have to perform the transformation ceremony for him as soon as possible, or else he probably won't last the night, well, anything you need me to do, just let me know, the black dragon nodded and said, and after thinking about it, he added, by the way, academician ding, that eye of truth, what exactly is it made of, and why would it give cause my heart to, produce such a great reaction, we don't know, Ding Shuwen shook his head and said, we only know that it is a magical curiosity that can only be created by a mage with more than six rings, and the main material seems to come from beyond the heavens, what exactly is it, we are not yet clear and cannot analyze it, a coming thing from beyond the heavens, no wonder, the black dragon was thoughtful, by the way, Mr. Huang, that real eye, did you fail to fuse it? Ding Shuwing couldn't help but ask, although we only spent less than two million dollars to buy it from that nomad, but has a six-ringed magical wonder, it's actually very rare, and so far, that's the only one we've acquired, if your fusion fails, we'll have to find a new seller, a six-ringed magical wonder, and you actually bought it for less than two million dollars? Are prices so low in the offshore world? The black dragon was a bit foolish, in that case, wouldn't it be very profitable to engage in cross-border trade in the future? Shouldn't be considered a failure. The black dragon thought for a moment and said, Just like a computer loading software, this eye of truth has, in fact, almost been fused into my body. It was only at the last minute that I forced it to stop, and it still could soon replace my right eye if my subjective will agrees now. I'm not going to do that though, and until the situation is clarified, if I don't particularly need it I think the eyes are better as they are. After all, I now have the knowledge of optics and biology that I am actively studying, so I can continue to optimize and strengthen my vision in the future. It doesn't necessarily have to be with this somewhat bizarre real eye. Okay, Ding Shuwen nodded. Since Black Dragon had his own opinion, he couldn't force it much, 
Considering Yu Xiaoman's situation was rather critical, they stopped communicating and planned to go outside the country now to prepare a prayer ceremony for him. Honestly, the prayer ceremony prepared by Kasa was a bit of an eye-opener for the Black Dragon, only to see that they set up an incense table towards the direction of Freya's divine country. On the incense table was placed an idol of Freya. In front of the idol was an incense burner and some offerings, and a few pillars of incense in the burner were slowly emitting light smoke. Academician Ding, are you sure it's really okay for you guys to get this way? The Black Dragon noticed that the staff was actually planning to burn yellow paper and set off firecrackers, and really couldn't help but say, isn't our ceremony a bit too Zyagwaization, and can Freya, an indigenous deity, accept it? How is it unacceptable? Ding Shuwen smiled and said, Mr. Huang, you don't know, but the tens of millions of believers of the God of Love in our Xia country all worship him in this way. As a good god of weak divine power, Freya is actually rather easygoing and doesn't really focus on whether the rituals are correct or not. It's more about whether the believer's faith and prayers are pious or not. Furthermore, all said that when you enter the country, do as the Romans do, but if it is too many people who enter the country, then the customs that follow, of course, must be our Xia people. The gods are actually also very realistic and easy to adapt. As long as we insist, then the ritual of praying to the gods, of course, must be by our Xia people. It turns out, the black dragon nodded thoughtfully, and it had a vague feeling that there might be a deeper intent here. The reason why Xia didn't suppress Freya's faith much was most likely also to try and see if they could assimilate and localize him with their own culture, their own incense, so that he would become the community of Xia's destiny. Yu Xiaoman's injuries were very serious. The burns from the dragon's breath and the infection from the magical elements caused serious edema to appear all over his body, and even after all-out efforts to rescue him, he was still breathless and unconscious at this point. In his state, he was obviously unable to take the initiative to offer his faith to Freya, so he had no choice but to let the black dragon take the lead on his behalf. Kind Freya, hear my prayers, I need your help. The black dragon raised its head high, closed its eyes, and chanted in the direction of Freya's divine kingdom. In fact, it had always been curious, the way a being in the material realm could contact a distant deity or demon could be so simple. As long as his name is recited reverently and repeatedly, either with the voice or in the heart, it is possible to be heard by his will. What is the rationale behind this? How exactly is this technically possible? Such technology is obviously much more advanced than cell phones and radios, at least several dozen eras ahead of 4G and 5G technology, and it is estimated that it will have to be barely possible to realize the legendary quantum communication after its great success. Freya, hear my prayer, repeat. Freya, hear my prayer, repeat repeat, is, here or not, say something? The black dragon chanted patiently for a while, and after a delay in getting a response, he could only stoop helplessly to the crowd and say, maybe I'm not religious enough, or maybe he'll be offline. Anyway, I don't feel him responding. Everyone was silent. Freya actually not taking this business was obviously a bit out of everyone's expectation. What now? The black dragon asked. Should we try a different god? For a god? Ding Shuwen thought about it and exchanged opinions with several other academicians, but in the end, he shook his head. Forget it, the other gods, we are all too strange and dangerous. We really dare not put less than faith and souls into his hands. Forget it? How's that? The black dragon's batch face crumpled again. Then won't we just watch him die? That can't be helped. Ding Shuwen sighed and said, Mr. Huang, please believe that our feelings for Xiaoyu are definitely no less than yours, and we certainly hope to save his young life. But there are some things that we must consider more deeply. At this stage it is not yet the time when we can freely approach strange deities. Many sacrifices we can only bear with our teeth. LOL. The black dragon let out a sigh in his mind. Speechless. He also knew that in the face of this sudden change of heaven and earth, the country must have sacrificed a lot of martyrs. In these half a year compared to them, Yu Xiaomane's life didn't he see how much more honorable it was. For the sake of the overall situation, for the safety and interests of the whole country and the whole nation, some sacrifices are inevitable. Kagoma is just prone to rambling. At this time, a thought suddenly flashed in the black dragoness mind in case there is a day in the future. For the sake of the big picture, also want me to make sacrifices, I will accept it with ease. Can I do it with emotion? Before he had time to think about this question in detail, the black dragon shook his head violently, can't think about it in detail, can't think about it in detail, once the seed of suspicion germinates, then sooner or later, it will bear evil fruits and cause a great disaster, so when it's okay, never make wild assumptions, where's the ifs, where's the ifs, Huang Zhe constantly shouted in his mind, clearing away distractions, brainwashing himself, and firming his will, Mr. Wong, 
Everyone looked at the Black Dragon worriedly. They could sense that ever since they started to suspect that the heart wasn't original, the Black Dragon's mood had clearly started to be off, and was no longer as optimistic or stable as it had been before. So much so that Ding Shuwing couldn't help but wonder if it could be that the ancient nomad who had sold them the Eye of Truth had tampered with this Eye of Truth after all. It was undoubtedly the culprit in all of this. Huang Ze, Huang Ze, as the Black Dragon's psychological counselor, Gaoling had been trying hard to call out the Black Dragon's name in an attempt to calm it down, but unfortunately with little success, the Black Dragon didn't even look at her. In the end, she could only grit her teeth and come up with a crazy suggestion. Mr. Huang, in fact, we don't necessarily have to turn to the gods to save you Xiaoman, we have another option. The devil, we can go to the devil and make a deal. Gao, what are you babbling about? Ding Shu Wen's face changed, and he reprimanded with some exasperation. Deal with the devil. Such a deranged suggestion is something that can be said casually? The black dragon's attention, however, was really attracted to it, and it stopped shaking its head and turned to look at Gaoing. Trading with the devil? The black dragon couldn't help but think of the line that the director's team had assigned to it earlier, it would be better to make a deal with the devil than to trust the gods. No investigation is worth its weight in gold. And to be able to say something like that means that the country has had contact with the devil in all likelihood. Mr. Huang, don't listen to Xiao Gao's nonsense. Ding Shu Wen hurriedly said, trading with the devil, how could it be any good, how could it be that easy, if you're not careful, you'll be pitched half to death and get into trouble, you guys really dealt with the devil, the black dragon asked with interest, I've heard that the devil is a creature in the camp of order keeping evil, a terrible schemer, synonymous with evil, however, the summer people pay attention to the truth, of course, will not because of one sided words, because of the simple camp division, will be all the species to characterize the death, the actual situation is how, but also have to be specifically contacted in order to know. So the Black Dragon is curious about how the Summer Academy of Sciences would evaluate and characterize a creature, like the devil, kind of had some contact. Ding Shu Wen hesitated for a moment, but finally said, Earlier, we traded in a Black Dragon's parchment scroll from an indigenous intelligent race, through which we can communicate with the demons in hell. The devil's scroll. The Black Dragon froze for a moment. First the Eye of Truth, and now the devil's scroll. How can it be so coincidental? Are the transcendental wonders of this world so ubiquitous and easily acquired? Moreover, the Black Dragon also seriously suspected that the transcendent items that CAS had collected outside of the country were definitely more than these two. Although the Black Dragon is not clear, transcendental items outside the market how the liquidity, but think it should not be very active, just half a year less than the time, was collected by the summer country so much. This is obviously very unusual. The Black Dragon is pondering. This cannot be a hole or a setup that has been deliberately dug, right? At that time, we were very curious about such powerful creatures as devils, and after many aspects of understanding and research, we felt that making contact and communicating with devils might help our country's current situation, so we decided to try to summon him with gold. Ding Shu Wen continued, we used 10 kilograms of gold as an offering and managed to connect to a demon who called himself Burma. I have to say, compared to the gods, the devil is indeed much more approachable. Burma has shown a strong interest in our Xia people, and has even directly thrown out several deeds, expressing its willingness to enter into a deep and strategic cooperation with our country, and to share everything with each other, as well as to aid each other in the AOA. At that time we had no basis of trust with the devil to speak of, so naturally we didn't agree to it, but only used gold as an exchange to inquire about some of the hidden secrets of this world from his mouth. Our caution was correct, Buruma really did not have a good heart. And afterwards he secretly compelled several of our fellows to sell their souls to him and fall into the nine abysses of hell. Mr. Huang, devils are extremely terrifying conspirators. In a way, we are even more wary of him than we are of the gods in the heavens. For the time being, it is really inappropriate for us to have too much contact with him. Seeing that the black dragon was still pondering, Ding Shu Wen clenched his teeth and let the others evade first, and then opened the signal jammer alone, revealing a shocking, shocking dragoness news to the black dragon. Mr. Huang, to tell you the truth, in the future, our country is definitely going to make an expedition to hell. Nine abyssal hells. We are at least to occupy one or two of them, so that our Xia peoples can obtain the autonomy of the soul, and can master the core technology of life reincarnation. Also the only way, the country and its people can be stabilized. That's why the devil, is destined to be our potential enemy, and the less contact we have with him at this stage, the better, so as not to reveal too much information and startle the snakes. Expedition to the Abyss. While the Black Dragon was surprised, Mo also felt a bit lit, I didn't expect the country's strategic vision to have been far-reaching to such an extent. And, 
there is actually a way for us to save less than, other than through the power of the gods and demons, Ding Shu Wen sighed, he could see that the black dragon seemed to have developed some sort of obsession, if it couldn't save you Xiaoman back today, it would be very uncomfortable in its heart, and if it was not good enough, it could even derive a mental illness, as a last resort, Ding Shu Wen could only come up with a more controversial and tabooed method, that would be to revive him as an undead creature, death is something that all of us are very squeamish about, but have to face too, Ding Shu Wen said very seriously, after traveling to this world and facing the intricate and complex situation, our Xia Academy of Sciences has actually dealt with the undead creatures of this world, and has even conducted academic research discussions with some necromancers, they believe that the flesh is nothing but a skin, and that those so-called genes, those so-called bloodlines, are nothing but chains on the human mind, burdens on the soul, our human souls are worthy of a more perfect vehicle, only by shedding this skin can our souls be free to embrace a broader future, and eternal life, at that time, we, the Summer Academy of Sciences, were very interested in this claim of theirs, after all, if we were resurrected as undead, we would be able to ensure that our minds and wills, for a long time, would continue, and this is undoubtedly considered to be a very good method of longevity, at that time, we had all planned that as long as the undead could remain well socialized and maintain their empathy and identification with us humans, then we would do whatever it took to bring in the technology of resurrection of the dead from the hands of the necromancers, however, our research has revealed that the drawbacks and limitations of undead creatures are so obvious that they are essentially inhuman and emotionless, once resurrected as undead, then they quickly lose their identification and empathy with us humans and become monotonous creatures more numb and uninteresting than robots, and their longevity, which comes at the cost of burning the fire of their own souls and burning their own memories, is clearly not the path we Xia people want, so we quickly called a halt to our research in this area, but the relationship with the necromancers was not broken and we have remained on very good terms, they are very interested in our country's modern medical technology, and they even want to come to our country to study and further their education if the environment does not allow them to do so, Ding Shu Wen said without emotion, it is also outrageous to say that after Xiaogua crossed over to this world, on the contrary, it is the orcs, grey dwarves, half-elves, necromancers, and even the devil, these indigenous intelligent creatures whose reputation has always been poor, are more happy to make contact with Xiaogua and get close to Xiaogua, on the contrary, the High Elves, the Titans, and the Angels, races that had always symbolized light and justice, had always been more hostile to the Summer Kingdom. This makes Xia, as if it is still really a country of evil and darkness. Ding Shu Wen had someone send a reanimation scroll of the dead, which only meant that after Xiaoman's body completely lost its vital signs, the Black Dragon would be able to resurrect her as long as she poured magic power into the scroll. However, the Black Dragon hesitated as he stared at the scroll that was glowing with blood. This bout of time the black dragon had been studying optics and magical jurisprudence, and hadn't stopped researching and optimizing his own eyes, and at the moment, although he couldn't do autofocus yet, active focusing was obviously still no problem. Under the black dragon's undivided attention, it clearly observed the undead aura permeating the resurrection scroll, and a strong aversion and repulsion arose in its heart for no reason. Intuition told it that transforming souls into undead souls would never be a good thing, but if we don't, we'll just have to watch you Xiaoman pass away. The black dragon was caught in a tangle, and then out of the corner of his eye, without realizing it, he looked at the gold bar that was placed on the incense burner. Well, not inadvertently, but the black dragon had been peeking this way, intentionally or unintentionally. There was no way. The attraction of gold for the giant dragon was too powerful, and it was not easy for the black dragon to hold back and not pounce on it. This time, however, instead of coveting the gold with an obsessive, frenzied gaze, the black dragon scrutinized it very rationally and calmly. Gold is an excellent conductor of magical elements. Deities are also required to collect gold before they can help us summerlanders complete the transformation on our life forms. Could there be a connection here? A conjecture suddenly arose in black dragon's mind. So after discussing with academician Ding for a while, he decided to do an experiment. It swallowed the 10 kilograms of gold bars that it had originally prepared for Freya in its mouth, but did not swallow it. You may not believe me when I tell you but black dragons are actually omnivores, although they are primarily meat eaters, they occasionally eat dirt, minerals, and various metals to replenish the various elements their bodies need, the reason why gold is loved by the majority of dragons is largely because gold is an indispensable element for the growth of a dragon's body, and can effectively help them improve their physical strength and their affinity for magic elements, it was said that there were some powerful dragons that even had to eat down dozens of pounds of gold every year so as to keep their bodies and souls active and stable, as we all know, Gold is very stable chemically and basically exists as a single substance in nature. However, 
These 10 kilograms of gold bars were contained in the mouth of the black dragon, but they reacted very quickly, worthy of being a transcendent creature capable of digesting gold. It didn't even need stomach acid. Just the black dragon's saliva was able to quickly melt the gold. It took less than a minute for the entire gold bar to dissolve into liquid form, and then it went straight to the black dragon's skin, the black dragon's veins, trying to blend in deeper. Fortunately, the black dragon had long anticipated such a situation, and had long ago focused its will on strict defense, firmly holding every line of defense, not allowing even a single golden atom to enter its body. Then it didn't take long for its fishing enforcement to pay off, and its heart began to race again. As expected, even the gods love gold and need to use it to stabilize their godhoods, so how can a little thing like you possibly hold down the fort? The black dragon was overjoyed and immediately mobilized its subjective will to suppress and temper it. It could be that he had been fatally beaten by the black dragon with his subjective will only a short while ago, or it could be that he was indeed very thirsty for gold. This time the black dragon's heart seemed to recognize the reality, and the riot was much more peaceful, and it didn't take long for it to subside down. I can't believe there's a way. The black dragon was guilty of muttering as he chewed the gold in his mouth. Just now, it had been asking the heart in its mind if there was any way to solve the problem of Yu Xiaoman's body's allergy to magic elements. I didn't realize that after pursuing the question for a while, an answer actually popped into its head on its own now. By providing 100 grams of gold to the heart, it can provide a drop of golden dragon blood. And with just one drop of golden dragon blood, it could help aid a Xiaogua, complete the transformation in life form, and henceforth be able to affinity with the magic elements. I can't believe it's only a 100 grams. The black dragon was thoughtful. So those gods really are black-hearted and make the difference. It remembers the gods charging what seems like a pound of gold and having to offer their faith voluntarily. Compared to him, one's own heart should not be too conscientious. It is really black enough, but it can't be helped. The monopoly industry is like this. Can't master the core technology, is destined to be cha dead. The black dragon lamented while holding a trial and error and transferred a hundred grams of gold to the heart. Out of the black dragon's expectation, the process of the heart absorbing the gold was actually very peaceful. Like a person drinking water, it could not taste the pungency, nor could it taste the sweetness, but it was essential. At the same time, the black dragon also vaguely felt that its entire dragon seemed to be relaxing a bit, as if an invisible burden, an invisible shackle was disappearing from it. I don't know if it was the black dragon's illusion, but it felt like its heart seemed to have gotten a little smaller again. Not more than a few seconds later, the black dragon's heart really did secrete a drop of golden-colored liquid, golden dragon's blood. The black dragon looked at this drop of his heart's blood, then couldn't help but spit out. This name seems to be a bit of a fishy one. I'm obviously a black dragon. Why should I call it golden dragon blood? Is it bad to call it black and gold dragon blood? Spitting was spitting, but the black dragon didn't forget its business. It took a little aim and then spat dragon blood directly into Yu Xiaoman's heart. As for why it is necessary to spit the heart, black dragon can't say. Anyway, just go by feeling. Yu Xiaoman's body was actually still wrapped in protective clothing. And then this drop of golden dragon blood, however, seemed to be formless and intangible, directly integrating into Yu Xiaoman's heart. The heart, which had been slow and dying, was instantly pulled up to full power as if it had been given a shot in the arm. The heart, which had been beating slowly and feebly, suddenly felt like it had been given a cardiac stimulant, and its power was instantly drawn up to full capacity. Yu Xiaoman's complexion, however, did not become better, but instead became paler as if all the blood in his body had been forcibly pumped to his heart to receive the leader's latest instructions in transformation. Quickly, quickly, academician ding, go get the life spring water. Yu Xiaoman's body is being transformed by my dragon's blood and will soon be able to have an affinity for the magic elements. Seeing that Ding Shu Win was still dumbfounded, Black Dragon hurriedly reminded him, it's golden dragon blood. Although it was able to help Yu Xiaoman complete the transformation in his life form, the human body, which was too weak, had to have more energy in order for the transformation to proceed and heal his injuries. Oh, oh, Ding Shu Wen woke up as if in a dream, hurriedly found an emerald green crystal bottle from the side, carefully opened it, and then poured a few drops of liquid into Yu Xiaoman's mouth about 0, 0.5 milliliters. Not enough, pour 1 milliliter more. The black dragon looked closely for a while, then said, Nowadays, the black dragon's sense of energy was extremely sharp, and at such a close distance, it could certainly see that this greenish life spring water was actually harboring extremely powerful life energy. The energy contained in one milliliter of life spring water is at least equivalent to 2,000 grams of TNT, and our country has actually gotten hundreds of pounds, and I wonder what intelligent race would be such a loser. With the people saved, 
The Black Dragon was finally able to leave in peace. After Ding Xuwen asked about the principle of generating golden dragon blood, after showing great surprise and excitement, he did not choose to make a big deal out of it, but instead kept it very discreetly secret, because given the current situation in Xia, it was not appropriate to prematurely expose this ability of the Black Dragon. Interest entanglement is still secondary, although the secret of the Black Dragon's ability to generate golden dragon blood, if it is circulated, it will inevitably lead to all kinds of bullies and snakes swarming to the work of the CAS, to the Black Dragon's life caused great trouble, but Ding Xuwen believes that as long as Black Dragon takes a firm stand, and as long as the Xia Academy of Sciences keeps a strict check on the situation, it will still be able to control the situation. Although the Black Dragon had emphasized many times that he would never forget his identity as a Xia countryman, even if he had become a Black Dragon, he was still just an ordinary dragon folk of the Xia country, not much different from the majority of his fellow Xia countrymen. It has repeatedly assured us that it will never be bullying, acting as an authority and putting itself above the general public. The Black Dragon may say so, but the XAS and the hub hierarchy will not see it that way. As the country's only class 7 lifeform, the Black Dragon's status was undoubtedly very transcendent, and it would not be an exaggeration to say that it was the most important national treasure. What's more, now that the Black Dragon had come up with Golden Dragon blood, it meant that Xia could henceforth bypass the god's technological blockade and faith blackmail, and could independently solve the problem of the body's allergy to magical elements. As the sole provider of this technology, the Black Dragon is understandably important and will undoubtedly receive a higher level of respect and preferential treatment. As long as it abides by the law and stands firm, no one can force it to do anything. The reason why he didn't dare to prematurely expose this ability of the Black Dragon, Ding Xuwen was mainly worried about the problem of leakage. Nowadays, the beliefs of the deities are penetrating more and more widely and secretly in the country. Before the goddess of love Freya suddenly brushed her presence, Ding Xuwen suspected that someone had leaked the secret, but then the investigation did not yield any results, so he could only leave it unsettled, and raise his vigilance in the dark. Ding Xuwen knew very well that the black dragon's ability to generate golden dragon blood could be said to be crucial to the country, and if it was rashly exposed and known by the gods, it was really hard to imagine how they would react. After all, this golden dragon's blood, being able to directly steal business from the hands of the gods, and still combining the price advantage, policy advantage, and safety advantage, once promoted, it would definitely be able to rout the gods in the domestic market. With the business shrinking drastically, the number of believers decreasing, and their personal interests being seriously jeopardized, those gods in the sky who have a little bit of temper will definitely gnash their teeth at the black dragon, and they will greet him openly and covertly, vowing to get rid of the black dragon before they can do so. At that time, the black dragon would definitely be in a very bad situation, carrying at least hundreds of curses on its body, and as long as it went outside the borders, it would be strangled by the joint efforts of the gods, and even if it only stayed for a minute, it would probably have to be subjected to hundreds of holy lights and lightning bolts. Therefore, after much deliberation, Ding Xuwen decided to keep it a secret, declaring to the public that Yu Xiaoman had picked up her life by becoming a dependent of an unknown deity. And for this initiative of academician Ding, Black Dragon was very much in favor of it. It wasn't that he wasn't willing to use his golden dragon's blood to benefit the majority of his fellow Xia countrymen, but the Black Dragon had reason to suspect that his heart, most likely like those gods, was also earning the difference from it. The true cost of helping a Xia person through a lifeform transformation is likely not the 500 grams of gold of a deity, or the 100 grams of a heart, and likely not even 10 grams, or even 5 grams if there is no middleman to make the difference. So don't look at the heart as unlocking a very useful ability for the Black Dragon, but in reality it's not even in a good mood, it's secretly growing itself, and as for this heart of his, the Black Dragon had been very uneasy, although it seemed to be settling down quite a bit at the moment, no longer daring to go against its brain. But no one can guarantee that as it absorbs more and more gold and becomes more and more powerful, it will continue to rebel and fuck with the brain again, stealing control of the body. So before it had completely submitted and completely surrendered its secrets, the Black Dragon would not dare to feed it too much gold. Of course, although the Black Dragon was an extremely progressive conscious dragon that had always strictly demanded itself with the moral standards of the Xia people, it still had to abide by the most basic principles of being a dragon. That is, gold is the lifeblood of the dragon. Once in the mouth, it is absolutely impossible to spit it out again. Even if the dragon god Hepburnian came to be useless, it is rumored that the emergence of the dragon's blood potion is mainly due to the fact that the dragon god, Hyhernian, was unable to glean gold from the hands of his own descendants, and in a fit of rage, he came up with a product. Other intelligent races can obtain the blessings of the dragon god, the power of the dragon, 
by hunting down true dragons and refining their blood into potions, which can be taken to obtain the power of the dragon. Of course, remember to call Hyhernian before taking it. For gold, even the gods of their own families can turn their faces, so it is clear that the giant dragons are obsessed with gold. At this point in time, the black dragon's mouth then had nine, nine kilograms of gold left in it, but trying to get it to spit it out. That was obviously unrealistic, even if its brain was able to give out such a command, its mouth, its tongue would surely disobey the order, and if the brain is bent on doing that, maybe the other organs in the body will be outraged and revolt, even the gold in your mouth you have to spit out, then what kind of brain are you, get the hell out of here, considering that there is already a heart in the body, this two and a half, if the crowd is again rebellious, then the consequences are really unimaginable, so the black dragon could only be a little embarrassed to discuss with academician ding, borrowing this gold first, and letting him go back to his own account to scratch, anyway, on its books, scattered together almost almost a ton of gold, actually it has not been very active to show, but there is no way, the country is really too generous, give really too much, but how should these pounds of gold, be distributed, the black dragon was a bit of a dilemma, all of the organs emitted a thirsty willingness, with the hearts being the strongest, even hinting at a willingness to concede 10% and secrete 110 drops of golden dragon's blood, storing it in the heart for the black dragon to take in the future. Of course the black dragon couldn't do as it wished. This two-fifths, it was too late to suppress it. How could it possibly let it continue to grow? The problem is that, the heart is just too high up in the body, but any organ that has a bit of blood flow is less likely to be controlled and influenced by it. So even if I allocate the gold to the other internal organs, in the end it's still a big chunk of the heart disk, so there aren't many options left to stay. As the black dragon thought about it, it was left with bones, dragon scales, and teeth. The black dragon eventually chose teeth. There was no way. The bones in the body of the giant dragon were too many and too complex, so little gold could not strengthen anything at all, and a bad one could easily lead to outbone growth and deformed development. Dragon scale words. Huang Zhe is a black dragon. If the scales were reinforced with gold, this would inevitably affect the tone of the entire body, appearing to be a killjoy not to mention nakedly showing off its wealth, and not at all in line with its concept of being a dragon. The black dragon has always felt that low-key introversion, steady development, and smothering, are the qualities that every giant dragon should have. It even had a sudden impulse. In the future, if I become a great dragon thing and leader in the giant dragon tribe, I must strictly demand and strictly restrain all the giant dragons, tighten the construction of their spiritual civilization, and practically improve their social atmosphere. Whimsically, the black dragon fortified the gold onto one fong. Even humans like to set gold teeth. I'm a huge dragon, also hold a few gold dragon teeth, should be quite reasonable, I don't know if the other dragons, have this kind of operation, but the black dragon self feeling, is quite good, it knocked on the golden fong, and realized that it had been significantly improved in terms of hardness, or sharpness, or its ability to channel magic, gold in its fangs, it is obvious that a good chemical reaction, no, it should be a metaphysical reaction is right, chemical reaction which can be so magical, the only thing that was a bit unfortunate was that it was a bit less gold and didn't completely strengthen this fong of the black dragon. Black dragon made a conservative estimate and felt that it would take at least another 50 kilograms of gold to strengthen that fong to the extreme. So, to get all of my teeth, into gold dragon teeth, is at least a dozen tons of gold, a dozen tons of gold. Err, doesn't seem like much. The black dragon silently calculated that with its current salary, as well as the various allowances and subsidies, it would be able to save up in a few years. What's more, it has so many good money-making projects in its head, and if it really puts its heart into it, earning 10 tons of gold a month is definitely not a dream. At that time, not to mention strengthening the teeth, it is not impossible to strengthen the bones, strengthen the flesh and blood, strengthen the dragon scales, or even goldize the entire body. With the resources of the entire summer kingdom at his back, the black dragon certainly had this confidence. However, the black dragon was, after all, a cultured and rational new age dragon, and although gold was indeed able to effectively increase its strength, it didn't have an inflated mentality or become blinded as a result, it even raised its guard instead, inexplicably having a strong intuition in its heart if it allowed its body, to absorb too much gold too quickly, it would probably bring about great hidden dangers, leading to consequences it was very unwilling to see, so as much as the gold smelled good, at this stage of the game, the black dragon didn't want his body to take in too much, it didn't wait until Xiaoman was completely awake, nor did it wait until the next day's dawn. After seeing that the situation was stabilized, the black dragon took advantage of the night and flew towards the undead bird's nest. I haven't seen it for half a month, 
and I don't know if the stupid bird has run away yet. This time, Black Dragon prepared a large number of children's books and teaching materials for it, and must help it to open up literacy and learn to speak. Of course, this was just the Black Dragon's personal bad taste, not its main purpose for this business trip. This time it came outside the country, nominally to wander around, to see the suffering of the people, and then the ideological impact, the emergence of a progressive consciousness and revolutionary tendency, for the subsequent naturalization to join the summer country to pave the way. In actuality, of course, it doesn't have to be that complicated, the Black Dragon's main job, really, is to lose weight and disappear from the public eye for so much as a month or two, when after such a period of time, suddenly with the image of confused, downtrodden, and even also lost more than 10 tons of weight, appeared again inside the public's eyes, the great contrast and shock of this, as well as the correct official guidance and pronouncements, are bound to be able to arouse great deep thought and sympathy, in this way, the Black Dragon's determination to join the Xia nationality and join the Revolutionary Army would seem natural and combustible, and would not be so abrupt. As a matter of fact, the Sun God's sudden mess for Yu Xiaoman had created a very good public opinion base for the naturalization and naturalization of the Black Dragon. After all, Xia's officialdom has been exposing the reactionary nature of these indigenous deities, and this time the Sun God, simply because of some familiar books and knowledge, has brazenly unleashed divine punishment and put a Xia citizen to death. It can be described as lawless, merciless and unreasonable, exposing the reactionary nature beyond doubt, and naturally arousing great indignation and resentment. And the Black Dragon's performance at that time was undoubtedly very plus. Not only did it step in to save its breeder friend in time, but it even went so far as to confront the Sun God in order to help him find justice. Such a sentimental and righteous act naturally won widespread respect and goodwill. And in the future, if it were to naturalize and become naturalized as a dragon folk, it would surely be able to gain great popularity and recognition from everyone. The plan is going in the right direction, and the only one who feels bad about it is probably the Black Dragon. It needs to lose at least 10 tons over the next two months. Lose 10 tons of weight. That's still at least. The director's team's advice is actually to lose as much weight as possible, preferably 30 or 40 tons at once, and then run to Xia for help with the image of a skinny, bony, desperate, downtrodden dragon. That's how the effect of the program is pulled full circle and exploded. Two months want me to lose 40 tons of weight. The black dragon couldn't help but spit. Although with its current abilities, it wouldn't be impossible to force a weight loss if it wanted to. After all, it is now able to control and transform its own body through its subjective will. And as long as the subjective will is strong enough, burning so much as one or two tons of fat per day to lose weight is completely easy. Not to mention two months, even half a month to lose 30 or 40 tons of weight. Bite the bullet is not impossible to do. Oh no. I don't seem to have any fat in my dragon body. The black dragon suddenly came back to its senses. As a powerful transcendent creature, its body certainly did not need to use a substance with a low energy value, such as fat, as its body's reserve energy. Inside its heart, it clearly had a higher and more perfect energy substance. That is to say, not to mention 40 tons of fat in its body, even 40 tons of muscle may not be found. The black dragon found a place to land and carefully studied his body and then realized that his weight was mainly concentrated in his bones, blood, and dragon scales. As a matter of fact, CAS had also always felt that the weight of a creature like a giant dragon was very unscientific. Take the black dragon as an example. Its body length is more than 35 meters. The maximum diameter of the back of the abdomen is also more than 4 meters. The overall volume, in more than 300 cubic meters, with such a large volume, even if the density is the same as water, that's still 300 tons but the current weight of the black dragon, but only 180 tons, even if it is not a solid body, there are many hollow places in the body, pulling down the overall density of the body, but don't forget that as a transcendent creature, the density of a black dragon's blood, bones, and scales is also far above that of ordinary creatures, under normal circumstances, the weight of a black dragon, at least 6 or 700 tons would be correct, in fact, not only is the summer academy of sciences puzzled, even the black dragon himself feels a little strange. His own weight, it does seem to be a little unreasonable. At one point it even vaguely hallucinated, as if a great being, in a higher dimension in the underworld was whispering there, saying you can't make this weight. Traditional behemoths are tens of thousands of tons to start, have to be able to transform the power. Compared with them, you this hundred tons is like a toy, are not enough to stuff their teeth. Somehow, the black dragon also had a vague intuition that these great existences in the higher dimensional universe were probably the masters and solid backers of their own destinies. So they accepted his will with a false sense of humility, and went on a dry rice frenzy, gaining more than a dozen tons of weight in less than half a month. 
Yet now the director's team is trying to get Black Dragon to lose weight for the sake of the show, although rather reluctant, but Black Dragon is, after all, a very ethical and pursuing actor, the basic awareness of dedication to the arts is still there, so it finally agreed to the request of the director group, and strive to try to lose so much weight in the next two months 20 or 30 tons. Of course, Black Dragon's main thing here was actually to make some attempts to see if it was possible to condense and refine his body, optimize the body's internal structure, and adjust some unnecessary fats and organ tissues so as to achieve the effect of weight reduction, otherwise it would be impossible to lose dozens of tons of weight in two months just by not eating or drinking. After all, in this regard, the Black Dragon is experienced, before it starved for nearly half a year, not just starved thin a few hundred kilograms, this shows that in terms of range, in terms of carrying hunger, the Black Dragon is still quite talented, but this would also mean that the traditional methods of weight reduction would not work for the Black Dragon and would need to be approached in other ways, my will, my control over my body, is still not strong enough after all ah, the Black Dragon fought hard and quickly realized what the problem was, it felt that a truly strong person, not to say a thousand different things, but simply controlling their height and weight, should still be easy to do. The reason why one would find it difficult is mainly because many organs in the body are not yet very obedient to the management of the brain, and it is difficult to carry out many wills, and it is undoubtedly unrealistic to make them self-sacrifice and reduce their scale size and the quota of their resources. It couldn't be helped. After all, Huang Zhe was an airborne soul, and although he had been given the highest authority over the body and had become the greatest leader of this organization, he was actually still relatively unfamiliar with many of the body's organs and many of its departments. They lack communication and connection with the brain, and their own function in the body is relatively independent. It is natural and normal that they will ignore the brain's guidance. So the black dragon was also trying to take advantage of this diet to familiarize and condition his body, to carry out his will to every organ, so that they would know who was the real master. Perhaps the mystery and opportunity to change back to human form lies here. The black dragon went out while it was dark and attacked the immortal bird's nest at night. Unfortunately, it was unsuccessful. It had to be said that wild transcendent creatures were just as vigilant as they could be. Although the black dragon had been careful enough that the sound of its wings fluttering had even been lowered to below 20 decibels under the control of its full attention, which was about as low as a whisper. But even so, it was discovered by the undead bird when it was almost 10 kilometers away from the undead bird's nest, so much so that the black dragon couldn't help but wonder if the stupid bird had a bioradar installed inside it. I don't know if it was too dark to recognize the dragon or if it was intentional. But the undead bird transformed into a ball of blazing fire and brazenly killed towards the black dragon. Hey, don't get excited. It's me. The black dragon was startled and hurriedly spoke out to remind him. In fact, this attacking stance of the undead bird could be said to be just what the black dragon wanted. After all, it hadn't even fought for half a month. Ah, the desire to fight was rising high in its heart. But it turned to consider that. After all, people are first class protected animals. They are second class protected animals. If this is a fight. No matter who is injured, it is a loss to the country, to the whole world. So the black dragon restrained the impulse in his heart and kept shouting calm and collected to the undead bird, trying to calm down this first class protected animal. However, the undead bird is after all uneducated, which can have the black dragon so good ideological awareness, also do not know where it came from so big fire, even a little tactics, a little skill or not speaking, directly rushed to the black dragon face big hit claws, a flying bird riding a face. How can this be tolerated? As a last resort, the black dragon had no choice but to meet the battle, and for a while a dragon and a bird fought again. In fact, the black dragon could see that the silly bird had recognized itself long ago. After all, the eyesight of transcendental creatures, as well as the ability to recognize odor aura is extremely outstanding. It is only half a month since the two of them have not seen each other. How could it be impossible to not recognize it so quickly? What s more, the undead bird this time, has not yet made much use of its speed advantage and long-range magic advantage, and it knows that brazenly fighting with the black dragon in a physical fight, this is obviously somewhat abnormal, that's enough out of you, I'm warning you, any more of that and I'll really flip out, the black dragon slapped the undead bird away with a claw and sat back with a batch face threateningly, this stupid bird was just crazy, pecking and scratching, completely unbelievable, the whole thing was like a little daughter-in-law living alone and trapped in her house, taking it out on her husband, it's outrageous, the black dragon cursed, not sure if it was because of the undead bird's insane behavior or because of the implausible analogy. Gah! Without much beeping, the immortal bird took a deep breath and killed towards the black dragon again. Roar! Damn it, there are still three points of fire and a clay man, let alone a black dragon like me, only to see the black dragon let out a roar, no longer suppressing its control over its force and heart. A 
A steady stream of power suddenly rushed out from its heart. Its aura soaring. Ha! Heart! This stupid bird doesn't want to be electrocuted, does it? The black dragon inexplicably produced this kind of realization in his heart. So with the mentality of trying it out, he directly made a lightning bolt, splitting it on the head of the undead bird. Being struck by this lightning bolt on the head, all the feathers of the undead bird stood up, and the fluffy hairs on its head even emitted tiny green smoke, exuding a very good burning smell. Then it really subsided. Black dragon? What the hell? What the hell kind of problem is that? That you like to be electrocuted? The heart of the black dragon is more or less heavy, can produce such an odd fetish, indicating that the psychological aspect of this immortal bird is not very optimistic ah. The undead bird didn't care what was going on in the black dragon's mind. It comfortably shook its feathers, then looked at the black dragon with its soulful eyes, clearly as if it was carrying some kind of hope. I want more. Get out. Of course the black dragon would not spoil it. First it found a place to land, then spit out a few books of reading, and shouted at the undead bird. Da, come here. I told you last time that I would teach you to talk and read, and this time I've brought the textbooks. Whenever you learn, you'll get another electric massage. The undead bird was obedient this time, and after inclining its head to look at the black dragon for a while, it really flew its ass over. Then a dragon and a bird dry-eyed at the textbooks on the floor. It couldn't be helped that both of them were too big for their paws, which were more or less inflexible and they really weren't very good at rummaging through human books. Look at you. What's the use of being so big? You can't even do such a small thing. The black dragon, being a teacher, immediately taught the immortal a vivid lesson, forceful dumping. The undead bird blinked its eyes and looked at the black dragon, and then looked at the books on the ground, and then it seemed to comprehend something. The bird's eyes fiercely flashed with a brilliant light, and the books automatically rose up without wind. Nice guy. Is this the legendary flip book with your mind? The black dragon was taken aback, then asked questions when he didn't understand and humbly learned from the undead bird. Don't look at this undead bird's stupidity, and it was also still only a subadult body, but its control of magic power, its micromanagement of magic power, was obviously far above the black dragon. The black dragon felt that the hand the immortal bird had just used was probably the legendary one ring magic mage's hand, said to be a one ring magic, the mage's hand actually had a very high ceiling, and the power grew with the strength of the caster. It is said that some level 6 or 7 legendary mages can even use the mage's hand to lift more than 10 tons of weight and manipulate micron-sized particles, with dexterity and practicality even far above human hands. If the black dragon learned this, he would be able to use his subjective will paired with the mage's hand to adjust and manage his body in the future. At that time, if the heart dares to disobey again, directly manifest a mage's hand to hold it down and give it a beating, so more than a few times, to ensure that it is obedient, and does not dare to jump around again. In the end, not only did the immortal bird begin to get impatient, even the black dragon himself was also a bit angry, and recited infinite heavenly father and Amit Babuddha several times in a row before barely being able to hold it down. Looks like we still have to teach you to talk first. The black dragon sighed, then did as he was told and wrote the word one on the ground with his paw. Here, birdie, repeat after me. E e, ga, no, can you stop using your broken voice and use your abdominal cavity? Sink your chi into your dantian and compress the air. E E G A. No, can you get your attitude right? You can't learn such a simple thing? The black dragon raised his tail in annoyance, slapped hard in front of the undead bird, hated the iron and said, even the others, the little eight brothers, can learn to speak human language? You are at least a transcendent creature. Outstanding magical talent. Ancestry is also broad. How can you not even learn a simple parrot to learn the tongue? G A. The undead bird shrunk its head and weakly responded not knowing whether it had been taught in vain, or whether this black dragon teacher was too fierce and scary to the bird. Not bad, not bad, you still know how to shrink your head and didn't go against the teacher. This shows that you actually know what you're doing and still want to learn knowledge. The black dragon nodded with some relief, then pointed to the words on the ground again. Repeat after me. 1. G-A. It's not ga. It's 1. 1. G-A. 1. 1. 1. Ga. 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 Ouch my grumpy ass. The black dragon was furious. The undead bird's language talent was so low that the dragon was furious. It wanted to get angry and stop teaching several times, but in the end it held back. After all, this was also the black dragon himself who had nothing to do, wanting to teach the immortal bird the summer language and knowledge, wanting to use the power of civilization to nurture it and sensitize it in order to make it grateful and learn, and willingly work for himself in the future. Thinking that the immortal bird was a perfect working bird capable of creating tens of billions of dollars of production value, even if the black dragon had more impatience in his heart, he could only be patient and teach it slowly, 
but the black dragon is patient. The immortal bird may not be. It barely followed the study for most of the hour. Finally cannot stand it, but pouting directly flapwings to escape the school. Stop right there. The black dragon that angry ah. I have not even disliked your intelligence. Have not yet given up your stupid bird. You are good. But instead, the first to give me a pick. It is simply outrageous. Mr. Black Dragon was furious and immediately chased after him. Of course, even though it now had a super heart, there was still a big gap between it and the immortal bird when it came to speed. However, Black Dragon had been studying fluid mechanics and engine aerodynamics, intending to optimize his body's construction properly so that he could actually increase his flight speed. The reason why it came to the immortal bird this time was that apart from wanting to teach this future employee a bit of culture and get in touch with it, it had not been trying to find some experience and inspiration from it. Escape the monk cannot escape the temple. The nest of the immortal bird is nearby. The black dragon is not afraid of where it can run to. And sure enough, when the black dragon kills over in anger, this stupid bird is standing on the tree branch combing feathers. Can't come hard. Problem students don't like to eat this. The more you lose your temper with it, the more stubborn it will be with you. The black dragon more or less still understands a little bit of teacher morality. Knowing that this stupid bird is obviously generated anorexia, the more you scold it, the easier it is to let it generate a rebellious heart. Got to be strategic, got to be emotional and reasonable. Thinking so, the black dragon controlled his emotions and landed next to the immortal bird, saying bitterly, little bird, you're just too much of a disappointment to me. Do you think you're doing the right thing? It's obviously for your own good to be taught knowledge and language. Don't you ever think about your future or your bird life? Or do you just want to hunker down and live your life in mediocrity and selfishness? Letting your pack wither away and the glory of your ancestors dim? Surely your ancestors, your parents, didn't want to see you like this now? They surely want you to excel, to pursue, not to dishonor the great bloodline in your body, to break away from the lowly, to embrace progress, to create your own epics and myths, to be a legendary immortal bird that is useful to the world and to the nation. Do you know that your immortal bird clan now? The clan has been endangered to what extent? The entire material world may not even have 40 left. At any moment, the tribe may die out. Try to ask if such a critical juncture doesn't make you nervous. Make you anxious? Doesn't it make you realize that it is incumbent upon us to reshape the glory of our ancestors? Ga, ga, ga. As an ancient, haughty transcendent creature, the immortal bird's sense of shame was still very strong, and immediately fluttered its wings in agitation and cried out mournfully when it was given such a deafening rebuke by the black dragon teacher. The pupils of its blood-colored eyes that danced with flames even dropped tears. Hey, the black dragon also felt a little heartbroken as it watched. Not because of pity, but it noticed that the tears that fell from the undead bird soon condensed into a fiery red crystal, which shone with incomparably stunning colors and rhythms. And in all likelihood, it would be a precious magical curiosity. Tears of immortality. This material, this gimmick, surely not much worse than traditional gemstones. Right, if you take it back to the auction. A drop of less can be sold a few million. The black dragon thought darkly, excitedly and regretfully, excited that it found another profit point on the undead bird. If it can take it for its own, in the future, even if nothing is allowed to do, every day just need to give it two punches. Let it cry for so many minutes. It will be able to make a lot of money. Regrettably, in this situation, it is obviously not good to pick up its tears. Out of place, not to mention the scenery, will also expose the essence of the black dragon's wealth, which makes the black dragon soul tutor, conscience capitalist persona in the future how to build? So Mr. Black Dragon, who could only endure the pain of losing a hundred million dollars in blood, said in a serious tone to the undead bird, saying, don't cry, don't cry, what's the use of just crying? The most important thing now is that you should know the shame and work hard to learn knowledge and culture, improve yourself and reform yourself. I also realize that having you, a bird, learn human knowledge and language can be a bit difficult. But we have to. Why? Because only knowledge can change destiny. Teacher Black Dragon said in a subdued voice, Your past world, your past pattern is really too small. You know to keep to your own acre of land. You lack bird life experience. And both your eyesight and knowledge are very lacking. That's why you must enrich yourself with more knowledge and arm yourself with better thoughts. Establish a correct view of the world. Values in bird life. The Black Dragon looked at the undead bird with a firm face and said, You must remember that learning knowledge isn't just changing your own destiny. It's also changing the destiny of your immortal bird's entire flock. You're not just reading for yourself. You're reading for the great revival of your entire pack. You must keep in mind that this is a great mission entrusted to you by history. And you can't shirk it. You can't slack off. And you can't be a deserter. The undead bird tilted its head, reddened eyes fixedly looking at the black dragon, its entire body constantly trembling due to excitement. 
It was obvious that these words of the Black Dragon's teacher had deeply touched it. It is incumbent upon us to remake the glory of our ancestors, to the glory of the immortals. Countless angry voices resounded in the depths of its soul, and all the blood in its body began to become boiling, while its always restless and jumpy mind rarely became clear. The curse that had lingered on the bloodline of the immortal bird clan for tens of thousands of years had finally loosened in a rare manner. Not only did the undead bird appear to have a mutation, even the flame tree underneath it violently erupted with powerful energy, which continuously surged into the undead bird's body. The power of the mouth. No. Is the art of language? Really? That powerful? The black dragon's jaw dropped. Never thought that his own flurry of blind cock and bullshit actually really ignited the small universe in the heart of the immortal bird directly stimulate it to start to adult body evolution. In that case, being uneducated isn't entirely a bad thing. At least it's easier to fool and brainwash. Thinking so, the black dragon was a little hesitant for a while to modify the immortal bird's learning program. Otherwise in case if it learns too well and its intelligence opens up too high, opposing the 996 blessings, wouldn't the one who suffers a blood loss in the end be himself? Nope. I'm clearly a socialist dragon. Why am I always thinking about capitalists? Although my block is big, the country is probably not able to find street lamps that hide to hang me, but I absolutely have to be self-aware, cannot eat too ugly, cannot do things too much, although I am turning into a giant dragon, I must never turn into an evil dragon again that is harmful to the country and the people but not beneficial, the black dragon reflects deeply, then notices that something seems to be wrong with the undead, a steady stream of power kept pouring into the body of the undead bird, but it was slow to produce a qualitative change, instead, it quickly overwhelmed it, and the entire bird began to struggle in pain. It was as if there was an invisible curse that deadlocked its body and bloodline, forcibly inhibiting its growth and making it slow to break through. Silly, letting you make a messy breakthrough. The black dragon cursed on his mouth, but in his heart he was also in anxiety. Looking at this situation, if he couldn't find a way to help the stupid bird to remove the fire as soon as possible, maybe in the end it might make itself explode. But the black dragon can think of any solution for a while. If the poultry is on fire, it can still be fed with a little piercing lotus or something, but such a big head of undead birds on fire, which is still the piercing lotus can be saved. What do you think of the heart? The black dragon thought about it and finally had to condescend to ask his mysterious heart. What? You mean you want me to bite a hole in it and suck it out for it? Such an answer surfaced in the black dragon's mind, then immediately became serious. You mean, you can absorb and digest the raging annihilation energy in the undead bird's body? Good guy then you can really flow batch ah, not only can absorb electricity, absorb gold, this time even the origin power of other life forms can be absorbed, you give me shell this universal charging ah, this solution will never work, you haven't made it clear to the organization where you came from, the brain doesn't trust you, so hurry up and come up with a new solution, to 100 grams of gold as a consulting fee, I can go to your code, so black hearted, no, up to 10 grams, love not, 20 grams, for the sake of blood supply to your brain, 40 grams, no more, and if you bleep one more time do you believe your brain will turn on you, figure out how to light its totem fire, the black dragon received the prompt, then thoughtfully said, you mean the immortal bird's bloodline totem is contaminated and cursed, and it's slow to strike the fire, that's why this stupid bird is holding it in so hard, but the temperature in its body now, at least there are a few hundred thousand degrees celsius, right, just like this are still not able to point its totem fire, I can have any way, not right, seems to be really there, that's with lightning, the black dragon suddenly had a flash of insight, the undead bird's change of attitude towards it was all after receiving an electric shock, which meant that the high energy lightning that originated in the territory and then went through the secondary processing of its own heart really did have the effect of breaking the curse, the heart also gave a timely reminder, brains was on the right track, lightning was indeed capable of igniting the totemic fire within the immortal bird. Then it called with brain for payment for the 40 grams of gold it had said it would pay. What's the rush? I haven't even helped light it on fire yet. There's no such thing as an early payment. The black dragon impatiently said. Even when people buy online, they have to have a 10-day safety period before automatically confirming receipt. And my current level of trust in you is clearly inferior to that of even Taba sellers, so to say the least. I have to press you for the better part of a month. So, and don't half a month. After all, the brain thinks so much which has the effort with you caddy, I look at the end of each month in the future, and you settle the bill once, as for you, work well, perform well, don't have a psychological burden, as long as you are loyal, conscientious, and obey brain's command, I'll definitely raise my level of trust in you in the future, if not, if you dare to give me any more trouble, then no way, you will wait for me to lay off, 
The heart stopped for a full 10 seconds, and he almost couldn't resist laying off the dog's brain on the spot. However, after all, the arm cannot be twisted by the thigh, and in the absence of legal supervision, the labor side is ultimately unable to do anything about the employer. So in the end, it honestly chose to return to work and continue to work as a cow to supply blood and electricity to the body. That's more like it. Seeing that he had overpowered it, the black dragon was greatly pleased, and then he began to build up his power, tuning into the electricity in his heart. Intending to get a thicker lightning bolt for the undead bird, it takes lightning to light the fire of a totem. I always feel that this is a bit similar to the transmigration in immortal novels. The black dragon muttered darkly. In immortal novels, once a cultivator or a demonic beast is powerful to a certain degree, it will attract a heavenly tribulation and then be crackled with a flurry of electricity. If you get through it, you will be reborn and become immortal. If you can't get through it, you will die and go straight to the ground. If this world uses the same routine, then why didn't T the immortal bird s apocalypse come? Is by force majeure factors air control? A moment cannot catch up. Or has the immortal bird clan long been blacklisted and long ago lost the legal right to be struck by lightning? The black dragon didn't have time to think too much. The voltage in its body had already built up to the extreme, so it couldn't help but let out a roar, and a bucket-thick lightning bolt erupted out, and it was directly chopped on the undead bird's head. Bucket. That's pretty thick for me. The black dragon smiled to itself, though it was a bit off its feet, but it also sprayed a good deal, while marveling once again at the power of its heart. This lightning that it held back was not only thick, but also super fierce, conservatively estimating the voltage inside it. It was at least up to tens of millions of volts, true artificial heavenly lightning. You know, this is offshore. There are no free electron charges in the air. There are no storm clouds for it to lend a hand. In other words, all the electron charge potential difference has to be provided and figured out by the heart itself, with all the difficulty that can be imagined. This also led to the fact that an ordinary lightning bolt would release an energy of just two or three hundred degrees of electricity. But the black dragon had spent more than four hundred thousand degrees in order to come up with this heavenly thunder almost consuming a quarter of its heart stock, but the effect was also immediate. As soon as this lightning struck the brain of the undead bird, the black dragon immediately saw what was called heavenly thunder communicating with earthly fire, like a balloon filled with hydrogen being ignited. The undead bird exploded with a bang, spewing out black flames all over its body. And this kind of black, is not the colorful kind of black, but pure black. Black as if it has substance. Black as if it can swallow the light. Huang Zhe himself is a black dragon privately is also considered to be more like black, visible this black flame, also cannot help but is the bottom of the heart hair, loathing incomparable, rather, it is its heart that remains consistent and expresses a strong desire to eat, the black dragon couldn't help but wonder if there was anything in this material world that it wouldn't dare cha, if it wasn't afraid that it would grow too fast and get out of its control, the black dragon would even want to go back and fix it a few pounds of uranium-235 to eat to see if its teeth were really that powerful, it is good that the flames on the undead bird, did not last long, and soon turned from black to purple, from purple to blue, from blue to green, will be seven colors burned all over, and finally ended up in red to extinguish, maybe with the steel is a reason, the immortal bird was this fire quenching, the whole bird is off the bone, the body's feathers are longer and more colorful, the body is also more beautiful and more temperament, it's hard to say about strength for now, but face value is at least optimized by plus 50%, then the black dragon suddenly noticed that the night is so beautiful tonight, Bah, mistaken, it is the night is so strong tonight, it remembers that in the beginning, there was obviously moonlight, but I don't know when it started, but it became as dark as ink, if it weren't for the black dragon's eyes, which now had their own illumination, it might have been a reach for two claws, who's up to something, the black dragon hastily raised his guard and reacted somewhat in his heart, such a thing as transmigration was undoubtedly a major event, and in a material realm that was highly centralized by the gods, it might even have to be carried out after applying for a report with the relevant gods. Can't you see that many transcendental creatures are afraid to stay in the material world for a long time because they lack a strong backstage? Why? Because safety is not guaranteed. Afraid of being beaten and killed off. So this act of Black Dragon helping the immortal bird to cross the threshold without permission was a serious violation and risky. If the gods of interest found out, they might all be hunted down. The thick night covering the moon just now actually helped the Black Dragon. After all, the moon god's class position has long been exposed, like the sun god. It is a radical reactionary deity, big on deity worship and strict on the dissemination of knowledge, and one of the foremost formulators and defenders of the old order. If he sees that the black dragon can actually rub lightning with his hands and help the immortal bird whose bloodline has long been cursed to cross the threshold, bah, it is the ignition of the totem fire, 
surely it will immediately trigger his stress mechanism, and carry out a descending blow to the black dragon. It was good that this mysterious being from earlier had given the black dragon cover and helped it block the moon god's prying eyes. This mysterious being, who also did good deeds and did not reveal his name, saw that the black dragon and the immortal bird were finished, and then quickly dispersed the camouflage of the night, restoring everything to its original state, as if he had never come. Playing God, the black dragon muttered somewhat irritably. It disliked the feeling of being set up and spied on, because it seemed like it was a pawn that was being manipulated. It turned to the heart and asked if it knew who the visitor was, and the heart was silent in response. The black dragon wasn't sure if it really didn't know, or if it wasn't comfortable revealing it to itself for the time being because the water here was too deep for fear that it wouldn't be able to grasp it. The black dragon didn't pursue too much. After all, it hadn't learned the mage's hand yet, and lacked the means to be able to torture the heart into confessing, so it could only let it go for the time being and gave it a demerit first, intending to clean it up later, and then the black dragon's attention returned to the undead bird, after the totem fire in this guy's body was ignited, he didn't show anything, and he didn't know to say thank you, but he directly stood there and slept soundly, it's also true, that many birds, it seems, sleep standing up, and only use their nests when laying eggs and nurturing their offspring, the black dragon thought in his heart, then intoned and began to chant, bird ah bird, in order to help you, I have paid a great price and taken a very high risk, you must be conscientious, you must know how to repay, we also do not ask you to fulfill your promise, but work for me for a hundred or eighty years, should not be too much, right, and I'm not asking you to work for nothing, surely I'll strictly abide by the labor laws, pay you and give you a normal vacation, as he chanted, the black dragon inexplicably felt a bit sleepy, so he fell asleep in the bird's nest of the undead bird, it was only when he opened his eyes again that the black dragon realized something was wrong. As a powerful transcendental creature, the endurance of the black dragon's body was naturally superb. As long as it wasn't actively thinking about it, not to mention a day, or even a month or even a year of not sleeping, it wouldn't feel the slightest bit of fatigue. Why did you suddenly get sleepy just now? Oh, so it's being dreamt again. That's fine. The black dragon saw the temple emerging from the darkness and came to a realization. It doesn't seem to be Hihernian so who could it be? The black dragon fixed his eyes and noted with surprise that the building material of this shrine was not gold, but a black metal. It looks as if it's iron, and it oozes a strong odor of decay and decay. The black dragon couldn't help but sympathize a little. This one god, mixed up too much, speaking, of which, why do these gods have to contact me by way of dreams? Can't they just talk to me directly through the air? The black dragon cannot help but fall into contemplation, is worried about exposing the foot of the horse to be tracked down by himself, or is, the firewall level of the brain too high for his signals to be transmitted when he is awake himself? Instead of rushing into the temple and catching a glimpse of the true face of the owner of this place, the black dragon wandered around the square in front of the temple. It quite liked the feeling of being in a dream world. After all, dreaming is one of the most interesting things in life. Thinking beyond the limits of the body, wantonly weaving and enjoying their own dreams, Zhuangzhou dreaming of butterflies, the sky is the limit. Even if the vast majority of dreams are basically forgotten upon waking, the feeling of being afflicted is still not a bad way to spice up your life. Unfortunately, after turning into a black dragon, Yellow Zephyr rarely dreamed, its brain cells were super dead, and it couldn't dream at all, so much so that even sleeping had lost a lot of its fun. I don't know if I can eat. The black dragon wandered around for a while with no luck, and then got his mind, on the black metal on the ground. It shaved out a ball of black iron with its claws, then swallowed it into its mouth and began chewing. The black dragon can have any bad thoughts. It is only in the spirit of scientific research. Simply want to study whether this black metal is iron or not. Whether it can be eaten or not. It's not because I have a craving or because I like to be cheap. Then within a few seconds, the black dragon immediately went into a frenzy of yuck 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 yuck. Steaming Nemo is hard to eat. Spare the black dragon's taste nerves were incomparably slow, but also stimulated by the taste of this black metal jumped up. Not only because it was bitter, astringent and numb, a rusty odor, but more crucially, it could also insanely corrode the black dragon's oral cavity. Numb, numb, really numb. The black dragon vomited furiously for several minutes in a row before he barely managed to slow down. His heart was full of regret and palpitations, and he secretly swore that he would never be able to eat anything indiscriminately in the future. Then it gave the heart a big mark for being so dangerous and not seeing it come out to warn it. Though the black dragon also knew that the heart hibernated after being pulled into the dream world by the gods seemingly for fear of being given to the gods, but if the heart doesn't take the blame for this, won't the brain? Which is not true, I made such a big move, and the owner of this place, 
actually didn't react either? The black dragon afterward, carefully looked for a while, see no movement, then is a little curious. It's stealing building materials from the temple and spitting madly on the ground, so that should count as pretty bad blasphemy. The owner of this place, but with a bit of a temper, should have jumped in and cleaned it up. However, no, the doors of the temple were still closed, and the surrounding area was still filled with a dilapidated, depressed atmosphere, as if this was a long-lost temple. But the black dragon clearly sensed that the owner of the shrine was waiting for it inside. That is, this mysterious being was magnanimous and tolerated my blasphemy? The black dragon couldn't help but be a bit of a sigh. If only his old ancestor, the dragon god, Hibernian, could have such a good temper, so that he could go and steal and nibble on the gold in his god's temple. The black dragon continued to wander around for a while, and finally decided to go inside to meet the owner of the place in the simple spirit of having come all this way. It crashed headlong through the doors of the temple, and then quickly noticed that a huge black bird was lying on the ground dying. Immortal bird? The black dragon quickly recognized its origin and couldn't help but freeze for a moment. This temple belongs to the god of immortality? Wait, the ancestor of the immortal bird clan, it seems, is not called the god of immortality, but is called the king of immortality. He didn't have his own godhood like the dragon god, Hyperion, but rather, he occupied a large territory inside the abyss and was a powerful abyssal lord. What did he drag himself here for? Is it a foe or a friend? He looks like he's hurt pretty bad. Should I make up for it and pick up the pieces later? The black dragon's mind turned sharply, and then reacted. This is just a dream. Even if it really killed him, it can't burst equipment and materials, or get it. Also at this time, this than the outside of the undead bird a full hundred times larger than the king of the undead bird, finally as slowly opened his eyes. Ah, uh, open, but not quite, because his left eye was crippled, and inside his right eye, there was also a thick black mist shrouding it, which looked just like a cataract, greatly affecting his vision. But even so, he still looked fixedly at the black dragon. Do not look directly at God. The thought flashed violently through the black dragon's mind, this guy wasn't a god, but he would obviously be no worse than a deity in terms of rank. At his current level, he obviously could not afford to play a game like what are you looking at. However, just as the black dragon tried to avert his gaze, the situation changed. This king of the undead birds had given the black dragon a big change, only to see his noble, majestic and domineering bird head suddenly turn into a rounded shape, directly changing from a handsome immortal bird to a silly snowy owl. And the black dragon couldn't help but widen its eyes. This seemed to be a thought that had just flashed through its mind, and it didn't expect it to actually come true. As for why the black dragon had such thoughts, naturally, it was because, it felt that the appearance of the immortal bird was somewhat flawed and did not quite fit its aesthetic, they are beautiful, but they always feel a little too lofty, not grounded enough to be seen from afar but not to be played with, and their eyes, are long on both sides of the head, which also leads to, when they are looking at people, they have to be inclined ahead, looks not elegant not to say, but also very rude, so the black dragon couldn't help but associate it with the snowy owl obviously a raptor. The snowy owl had a rounded head and a pair of big, goofy eyes that looked very much in line with human aesthetics, and in the black dragon's opinion, they were the cutest, prettiest birds of prey. The black dragon has even had the intention to wait for the undead bird outside to submit to itself, then bitterly persuade it to go to plastic surgery, to become a snowy owl. Unexpectedly, its momentary wicked idea was actually a reality here, and the king of the undead birds directly turned into the appearance of a snowy owl. So, this pantheon, this king of the immortals, is just a projection in my consciousness that can be distorted by my subjective awareness? The black dragon was pondering. After all, both the divine kingdom of the dragon god, Hyperion, and the abyss where the king of the immortals was located were presumably far away from the black dragon. So how could it be possible to just have a dream and be pulled there by him? If it were really that powerful, Hebrignan would probably have already used this method to drag his ungrateful children and grandchildren over to him one by one to hammer and blackmail them. Instead of being fatherly and filial and a scattered mess like he is now, no wonder when Hebronion spoke to me before. It would be in summer language instead of dragon language. This kind of conscious communication, using the input method, naturally, is in my subjective consciousness. In that case, the black dragon was suddenly stunned, looked at his paws, fluttered his wings again and, why is it in my subjective consciousness that I remain in black dragon form and not human form? Could it be that, I, I, I took the shape of someone else a long time ago? The black dragon was horrified. It was also at this moment that the king of the immortals, who had a snowy owl head, finally spoke. Abba Abba. Well, this ancient being is not only blind, even the vocal tract, even the abdominal cavity is crippled, can only make a horse cry. Who did it? 
this is too tragic, such a precious one, a grade one protected animal, has been abused like this, the black dragon was righteously indignant, then couldn't help but lean in, that's why the face value is really important, if the king of the undead bird is still the same appearance as before, the black dragon will definitely not dare to lean on its side even if it is sympathetic in its heart, abba abba abba, seeing the black dragon leaning over, the king of the undead bird screamed even more excitedly, his eyes revealing strong prayers and desires, is this like, a request, the black dragon was inexplicably relieved, it had thought that, like Hyperion, this king of the undead had called it over to demand gold, what a horrible cursed scent, the black dragon came closer before sensing the thick aura of death and cursed power within the undead bird, and subconsciously took a few steps back, it vaguely caught a glimpse of a picture the, this king of the undead birds, who also had a golden golden divine body, operated a beautiful divine kingdom in the sky, only that later, for some unknown reason, the divine kingdom fell from the sky into the abyss, and itself was polluted and cursed step by step into its current appearance, so, you want to get electrocuted too? The black dragon seemed to understand, then sighed, but this is just a dream world, so even if I electrocuted you, it wouldn't help, would it? What, let me go to the abyss to save you? Big sister, we are not relatives, how can you have the nerve to make such a request? The black dragon shook its head, you also know that we gargoyles all have no morals, so don't you dare try to morally kidnap me. What, you can get that undead bird out there to swear allegiance to me and work for me? The black dragon stared wide-eyed in shock. No, no, absolutely not. What era is this? How can we still engage in this kind of feudal dross? I hate feudalism and slavery the most. The king of immortals watched expressionlessly as the black dragon talked to himself, then fought his way up from the ground. The snowy owl head on his head returning to its original form. He stretched out his thousand hold feathers, raised his head with a long, mournful cry, and his buttocks pushed, and with great difficulty at last he laid a black egg. Black dragon. Excuse me, so you asked me to come over so I could watch you lay eggs. Black dragon dumbfounded, simply lying a big groove. This is a few meanings, how to chat chat, but also laid eggs? Is it see me too thin and weak? So lay an egg to let me replenish my body? However, the king of immortals didn't explain anything but instead gave the black dragon a meaningful look before disappearing. Only the black bird's egg was left behind, as if it was substantial, and refused to dissipate in the black dragon's brain for a long time. M. The black dragon looked at the bird's egg with a constipated look on his face, inexplicably getting the bad feeling that this thing might be a little hot. What if this thing hatched inside your own skull? The heart also woke up in time to send a whole bunch of complaining messages, accusing the brain of not having the pussy to go bleeping off with the king of the undead. This is great. It pisses people off and directly lays an egg for you, and you're a dog's brain that didn't even stop it. You just stood there and watched. I can still stop it? The black dragon also felt as if things were a bit big, and asked resentfully. Of course, this dream world is your home turf, so you'll have no problem stuffing your eggs back in, let alone stopping it. But your dog brain did nothing. Stuffing it back in. That would be cruel. The black dragon shook his head and said, It's just an egg. What's the big deal? Just find a way to knock it off. The heart is silent too, did not take care of this dog brain again, the king of the immortal bird held for tens of thousands of years of eggs, which is to want to knock off can be knocked out, say something, you dog, the black dragon, impotent and furious, directly dumped the pot, you must be responsible for this too, the firewall of the brain is very high, how could it be casually invaded by the will of a deity, if that were the case, the goddess of love, Freya, would have already been looking for me several times in my dreams, so tonight's incident has absolutely nothing to do with you. It might even be Yuya who pulled the strings and built the bridge. After all, looking at the dying state of the immortal bird king, I'm afraid it's not that easy to invade my dream realm. So the only explanation is that it was you who pimped him out. Heart lying flat any gripper, no matter how the brain pursued, are no response, but the black dragon angry teeth, more and more so that it firmly developed the determination of the secondary heart. Otherwise, if we are always subjected to such constraints and manipulated by others, how can we carry out the work of the brain and how can we be the master of our own house? Just you wait. See how I'm going to clean you up later. The brain put a vicious word to the heart. When it learns the mage's hand and develops a new subheart, it must pull out this two-fifths and beat it violently, criticize and judge it, and red roast and stir fry it. Otherwise it is difficult to solve the hatred of its heart. As for this egg the king of the undead laid in his head, the black dragon studied it for a while and for the time being, there was nothing he could do with it, so he could only put it behind him for the time being, this thing was clearly a mind-only substance that seemed to be bound to the black dragon's consciousness and could not be lifted at all for a while, if only in reality, if he dares to do this, 
lay an egg and run. I'm sure to fry this slag bird's egg fragrantly and deep fry, or make an egg soup and eat it directly. The black dragon thought viciously, the egg of an undead bird, should be quite nourishing. Yow. Speaking of which, I wonder if that undead bird out there, is a male or a female. The black dragon couldn't help but think, let's hope it's a female. So it should be able to lay eggs once it enters its adult body, and an immortal bird that lays eggs will never be less valuable, either economically or nutritionally, than a hen that lays golden eggs. As long as it lays so much as one or two eggs a day, whether it's taken for food or sold, it's guaranteed to be a great benefit to the black dragon. Look at that. It's not another blood earning project get. This undead bird really is a treasure bird. The more black dragon thought about it, the more he got on top of it, and decided to go and check the gender of the undead bird right away. If it's a female, work on her mind, press her with the greater good of racial continuity, and get her to adjust her physiology in time to lay eggs. If it's a male, then it's even more important to do the work of his mind, not only to teach him the deep sense of responsibility, but also to ask him if he doesn't mind changing his personality for himself. Well, for the endangered undead, laying eggs is undoubtedly the greater good. In nature, if a male creature, always chasing a female creature's private parts to see endlessly, this means that it is 9 times out of 10 that it is interested in this female creature, and wants to do something that will help the continuation of the race. The undead bird was facing such troubles right now. This black dragon didn't know what kind of madness it had gone through. It must check its ass, making it so annoyed that the whole bird was about to collapse. For a while it could only fly and curse at the same time to escape the black dragon's harassment. Hey, don't run. It's just a body check. It won't kill you. Why are you so excited? The black dragon shouted as it chased after them. It just couldn't understand. It was obviously a very normal scientific research behavior. Why did this undead bird react so greatly? Without figuring out your gender. How can we understand your personality and physical habits? How can we help you develop a more comprehensive and better study plan? And how can we develop a more scientific and long-term bird life planning for you? It's obviously a good thing. Why don't you get it? It's really hard to be uneducated. The black dragon was tired inside again. After entering its adult body, the immortal bird had gained a significant increase in speed. A conservative estimate was that it had reached at least Mach 1. 5. With the black dragon's current speed, it was impossible to catch up with it even if it flashed its wings to smoke. It was a good thing that this was considered one of the main elements of the Black Dragon's expedition. It had long wanted to take a good look at the model of the immortal bird's flight, the techniques of its body's power generation, and its use of magical power, so as to draw on the mature experiences therein and apply them to its own body. If the Black Dragon could also soar a few mock speeds, then both its combat power and deterrent effect would be qualitatively improved. So for a time she fled, he chased, and they both couldn't get away. Oh, sorry for stringing the stage, should be having a good time. The undead bird can obviously use the speed advantage, far away from the black dragon, but it does not do so, is to play, every now and then stop to watch, cursing a ghost, and wait for the black dragon humming and puffing almost catch up, only to accelerate again to run away. After more than two hours of chasing you and me like this, the black dragon vaguely had something to gain and needed to stop and think and settle down. So he shouted, stop running. It's always okay if I don't check your ass. Go home. With that, he turned around and flew back. The undead bird watched for a while, seeing that the black dragon didn't seem to be faking. That's when it let out a burst of joyful cries, and then soared its speed to the extreme, whooshing past the black dragon's head. I don't know if it was a provocation, or if it just happened to be in the middle of its fur-changing period, only to see a few bird feathers coincidentally land on the black dragon's head. I Nima. The black dragon's temper is considered extremely good. At this time also cannot help but some gas shaking cold. Look, look, this is a bloody, living example. Ah, backwardness will be beaten. Backwardness will be humiliated. This time it's feathers, next time it might be bird poop. I must get my speed up in order not to suffer such humiliation. But when it returned to the bird's nest on the flame tree, the black dragon's anger had subsided by a large margin. After all, it was determined to be a good teacher. So how would it be able to get along with a problematic student in the midst of his rebellious period? Not only will I not be angry with it, but I will also use love and warmth to educate it and sensitize it, so that it can become my scratch off, so that it can become a pillar of society. With this philosophy in mind, the black dragon teacher gently returned a smile to the undead bird, whether or not it could feel the smile on its own ugly beak was a matter for it. Come here, gym class is over. It's time for culture class. The black dragon beckoned its claws toward the undead bird and said, you have just completed the evolution of life, so your brain must be more or less enlightened, right? Remember what your teacher taught you in the last class, read it to me, 
The undead bird didn't answer, but just cocked its head and looked at the black dragon warily, obviously still wary of the black dragon wanting to check its ass that matter. Hey, that's not cute anymore. The black dragon cannot help but sigh. It is really think that the immortal bird this face value is almost interesting, but not 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 exquisite and beautiful, is too arrogant and too harsh, not grounded at all, all grounded in the house to go, serious lack of affinity. When the conditions are ripe in the future, we still have to find a way to persuade it to get a facelift. Hurry up and get over here. If you don't behave, I'm going to tell your parents. The black dragon threatened, believing that the reason why the king of the undead birds had laid eggs in his own brain meant that there was a great affinity between himself and his pack. This silly bird but can feel the will of its ancestor. Not to say that it is obedient to their words, but also more or less should listen to some of their own words. Every few days, black dragon will sneak back to China. Firstly, to recharge his body. Secondly, to exchange ideas and experiences with the scientific research team, to accumulate experience for the body transformation program, and thirdly, to receive psychological counseling, in order to avoid the lack of humanity. Mr. Huang, is something bothering you? This time when he came back, Ding Xuwen saw that the black dragon's mood was obviously a bit low, so he hurriedly asked with concern. Ugh, I'm so hard. The black dragon sat on his butt and sighed. I was never expecting that undead bird to be a scum. I've been teaching it for almost a month, but it's so good that it can't even memorize a simple 9-9 multiplication table. It's really disappointing to me. After sacrificing the great law of suing parents and suing ancestors, the undead bird really obeyed quite a lot, or at least it was not resistant to learning and willing to learn. But its IQ is just too much for people to say. It couldn't be said to be stupid. With the help of the black dragon's artificial heavenly thunder, the immortal bird had successfully metamorphosed into an adult body. Not to say that it was transformed into a new body, but in the piece of intellect, there was indeed a great improvement. Before, it couldn't even learn a single summary syllabus, but now that a month has passed, it has managed to master several hundred words, and it even looks up dictionaries on its own, and gnaws on journey to the western mountain and see scriptures in a raw manner, so that in the language piece, the performance of the immortal bird students is still very good, the black dragon teacher also does not deny. For this reason even have specially rewarded it a few small red flowers, to encourage, but when it comes to the math piece, it pulls its crotch so badly that it's not an exaggeration to say it's cerebellar hypoplasia, it was as if there was some sort of cognitive barrier, and Adina's classmates were ridiculously bad at math, it recognizes the numbers 01234, as well as the symbols of addition, subtraction, multiplication and division, and has no problem reading and writing individually, but once you connect them together, it has to scratch its head, even a simple 5 by 6, it has to stump up and do the math for half a day. Why? Because multiplication is not calculated by snapping its clawed toes? This is seriously beyond the arithmetic capacity of its brain. I just can't figure it out. It's at least a transcendent being. Why would it even be unable to understand simple addition, subtraction, multiplication and division in its entirety? Mr. Black Dragon was again distressed and puzzled. It was important to know that many transcendent creatures existed with inherited memories, meaning that they didn't even need to undergo systematic learning, they only needed to grow to a certain number of years, and their brains would automatically unlock the relevant knowledge and memories, compared to human beings who learn hundreds or thousands of KB per day at most, word by word, this way of inherited memory is undoubtedly more advanced and efficient, it takes only a few seconds to transfer hundreds, even thousands of gigabytes of knowledge and memories to the brains of future generations. In terms of efficiency alone, it can be said to have completed a unilateral crushing of humans. The black dragon is also looking for, later to see if there is an opportunity to inherit the memory of this technology to get over, so that the summer country in this piece of education, can also open on the plug-in, greatly reducing the time and resources needed to train talents, so as to effectively improve the comprehensive national strength of the summer country. However, he did not expect that away from the inherited memories, the performance of the immortal bird students would actually pull the crotch to such an extent that it was simply not even as good as an ordinary first grade elementary school student. Oh, Mr. Huang actually doesn't need to be concerned. Academician Ding smiled and shook his head, saying, it's actually not surprising at all that the immortal bird would behave like this. For one thing, they, as a race, were originally ill-fated, and in the piece of inherited memories, they are almost all on the verge of being cut off and there are relatively big flaws in terms of intelligence. Secondly, this thing called mathematics, which seems to be ordinary and unusual, is actually the most important tool for understanding the world and parsing it, and those deities have most likely specialized them, 
And it's actually quite normal that indigenous intelligent beings would have cognitive barriers to them. Maybe. Black Dragon nodded thoughtfully and didn't dwell on it, but asked about another matter. By the way, how is Yu Xiaoman now? Why haven't we seen him lately? He, academician Ding subconsciously scanned around for a while, seeing that there were no outsiders, before carefully saying, he's all right, only because he believes in a new deity and refuses to disclose information about him to the organization. He'll have to undergo a period of isolation for scrutiny. New deities. The black dragon couldn't help but mutter, knowing that academician Ding was covering for himself with this statement. It seemed that even after a month, Academician Ding still felt that the secret that the Black Dragon was capable of generating Golden Dragon's blood should not be exposed for the time being. The Black Dragon was also happy to do so. It was the more and more it felt that exchanging gold with the heart for the dragon's blood would most likely be a dangerous trade. And if it was not careful, it would be out of its control and lose a lot of money. So, Yu Xiaoman's body completed the transformation. So his cells, his DNA, is it impossible to look at them now? The Black Dragon then asked. Yes. Academician Ding nodded, like the other gods' dependents, Yu Xiaoman's body, the realm below the Micron is completely locked up. Academician Ding knew what the Black Dragon wanted to ask and continued. From our current research, this new god that Yu Xiaoman believes in doesn't seem to be much different from the other gods in terms of power. No difference? What do you mean? The Black Dragon froze for a moment, then couldn't help but begin to make the connection, does that mean my heart, too, possesses the power of divinity? Or perhaps it was originally a fragment of the godhead? I'm not. I'm not. Don't guess. As if sensing the brain's suspicions, the heart immediately came to a trio of denials. So tell me, what the hell are you? The black dragon asked with some annoyance. The heart began tactically playing dead again, not responding to whatever the brain applied to the line. You dog. The black dragon was so angry that it almost had its defense broken again. And if it hadn't found a new employee, a new heart, yet, it would have done everything it could to get this second five out of its body and out of the gram. Originally it also intends, if you summon situation, there is no big problem, this time back, we'll give their dad and mom also get two drops of golden dragon blood, to help them complete the transformation on the life form, but look at the heart's reaction now, the black dragon inexplicably and somewhat unsure up, in case this golden dragon blood inside, really is hiding what catnip, what background program, then in the future, won't this dog be able to threaten himself with his own father and mother, therefore, the black dragon could only give up this plan for the time being, it now knew too little about the heart, its ability to control it, and its trust in it was really limited, it didn't dare to make a random attempt, black dragon thought for a moment, then asked a key question, academician ding, did you Xiaoman worship his god like everyone else, Xia officials strictly forbid their nationals to privately transform their life forms, and whenever they are found out, they will cancel their nationality, deprive them of their citizenship, and not allow them to enter the country, the reason for this is, on the one hand, because the transformation of this life form will lock up the microscopic field of the human body, and it will no longer be possible to observe and study the mysteries of genes and the origin of life. In the long run, this is a great danger to the country and the nation. Another reason is that the transformation of life forms is often accompanied by a transformation of ideologies as well. Because the process requires offering one's devotion to a deity, and the power of divinity is often accompanied by a very powerful brainwashing effect. During the first month or two, many of the deconverts develop a strong convert frenzy, a strong antipathy and hostility to their own homeland, their own people, in exchange for the gods' acceptance and appreciation of them. This was also the reason why the Xia kingdom was hesitant to give the army a lifeform transformation. After all, the uncontrollability in it was just too great. A bad one. The transformed soldiers would probably no longer be the people's warriors, but the warriors of the gods. Officially, there were such concerns and the black dragon itself was very much averse to such feudal superstitions, after all, it didn't think that a deity would be a good profession. According to Casa's speculation, the relationship between a deity and a devotee is likely to be one of interaction. A deity can influence the thoughts of a devotee, and the thoughts of a devotee, likewise, can backfire on the deity itself? The black dragon really does not dare to imagine, in case one day he also becomes a deity, and every day he has to accept the supplications and prayers of a million or eight hundred thousand believers confessing his sins, telling his confusion, and pleading for the guidance of the black dragon god. The thought of such a scene made the black dragon's scalp tingle. Perhaps those experienced deities could easily deal with such a scene, peacefully ignoring the prayers of the believers. But the black dragon asked himself that he certainly couldn't do that. After all, the ability to empathize is one of the most important natures of human beings. An empathy for one's own kind, compassion for one's own kind, 
is one of the most important ties that maintain the unity and stability of the entire human society. If even it was lost, then the humanity of the Black Dragon, basically, would be gone, and he might be noble and powerful at that point. But obviously he wouldn't be the current Huangze anymore. So Black Dragon is very worried that Yu Xiaoman will be crazy about his own personal worship, which is not only embarrassing, but also very unfavorable to the future work. In the future, the country's demand for golden dragon blood would definitely increase. And if all the receptors were like that, then sooner or later, the Black Dragon would be collapsed by them. Luckily, Academician Ding's answer was in the negative, the transformation of Yu Xiaoman's life form was perfect, and showed nothing unusual except that the body's microscopic realm was locked up. Golden Dragon's blood seems to be a very pure transformation medium, free of contamination, bastardization, and any after effects. The Black Dragon was a little more at ease, then ran to his exclusive squat under the high voltage and charged up, in order to lose weight, but also in order to portray an image of a good teacher who vomited his heart and soul and was so angry by his unproductive immortal bird classmates that he couldn't eat. This month, the Black Dragon froze and didn't eat a single bite of anything, and even secretly kept losing weight forcing the drama to make himself skinny, bony, and worried. Don't say, this set of actually quite useful. Spare the immortal bird students always is heartless. Also by the black dragon teacher this kind of good intentions, dutiful attitude fooled, more or less also feel ashamed in self-condemnation, learning more and more serious and hard work up. At a later stage, the immortal bird students even took the initiative to run to hunt food for Mr. Black Dragon. But Mr. Black Dragon still refused, only saying in a serious tone, you have this heart, the teacher heart appreciate, but your academic performance is so poor, the teacher where I can eat ah, I am deeply entrusted by your ancestor, I must train you to be talented, I must save the fate of your immortal bird clan, but when I think of the situation that your clan is facing right now, I am pained, I am anxious nah, if it was just one or two such performances, the undead bird students might still be skeptical, but after a whole month in a row of doing the same, the undead bird students were finally convinced by Mr. Black Dragon's high morale, becoming more and more friendly and respectful, and even all took the initiative to disclose their own gender. She's a female immortal. It was only a pity that its reproductive system seemed to be malfunctioning, or else under Mr. Black Dragon's persuasion, it would definitely lay a few bird eggs itself to replenish Mr. Black Dragon's body. At that time, when Mr. Black Dragon heard it, his heart was full of regret, but his face was full of sympathy and encouragement comforting the immortal bird students not to have a psychological burden and not to develop an inferiority complex. Xia's medical technology is very advanced and has a lot of experience in treating infertility. So in the future, your teacher will do whatever it takes to take you to the best hospitals and the best medical teams to treat you. At that time, the immortal bird was touched, knowing that laying eggs can be said to be the most important mission in its life, and also the biggest obsession in its heart. The black dragon teacher can think about it like this. Can it not be touched? Under the painstaking efforts of the Black Dragon's teacher, after spending a month together like this, the previous relationship between the Black Dragon and the Immortal Bird was finally growing more and more cordial. If the Immortal Bird students, before, only had a goodwill towards Mr. Black Dragon of 30, then now it was at least 70. Don't look at it is not very high, but we must know that the Dragon and the Undead Bird is a feud. Never only kill each other. It is impossible to love each other. To be able to in just one month's time, from the undead bird to brush such a high density, it can be said that it is very rare. In time, it would definitely be able to completely subdue its heart and make it the number one wage earner under him. The black dragon is complacent. The heart is no less pleased. I did not think that he is actually quite talented in conditioning. In the piece of brainwashing, Mr. Huang, you really don't need to eat something? Academician Ding also saw the weight loss effect on the black dragon, and felt heartfelt admiration for its self-discipline and dedication so much so that he was a bit intolerant and wanted to persuade it to eat more or less the same amount of food. No need. The black dragon's head didn't lift, saying, it was hard for me to talk to my stomach. What I owe it for these two months, I'll definitely double it for the next month. If I suddenly feed it something again now, the hungry one might have to rebound like crazy, in case the brain can't be appeased, often at war with your heart. And now you're negotiating with your stomach? Academician Ding didn't know what to say for a moment. It always felt that the Black Dragon's style of painting was a little different from the other giants. Academician Ding couldn't help but be a little worried that the Black Dragon would not be mentally ill and accidentally have a split personality. But on second thought, he thought that this ability of the Black Dragon didn't seem like anything to make a fuss about. After all, as long as the microscopic realm was not locked down, in time, sooner or later, humans could master such abilities. On a microscopic level, the human body is, 
without a doubt, a very complex system with trillions of cells and hundreds of billions of neurons. And with so many cells and neurons, it is clearly impossible for the subjective human consciousness to be able to control and manage them. In fact, not to mention cells and neurons, even the vast majority of organs in the human body compile and operate on their own according to long-set genes, and are basically not vertically managed by the brain's subjective consciousness. That said, this is also considered a major regret of the human body. After all, if the human brain can perfectly play out its subjective initiative, precise control of the body every organ, every cell, then there is no doubt that the human body will become immensely powerful, and protection from all diseases and long life will no longer be a luxury but a basic configuration for everyone, with the brain in control, billions of phagocytes, white blood cells, and lymphocytes are driven by the arm to accurately investigate and remove malfunctions in the body, bacterial infections, viral invasions, aging in cancerous organs, and other problems that have plagued mankind for a long time, will be solved. Of course, in terms of the natural evolutionary selection of the human body, such an ability is nothing more than a beautiful vision that is essentially impossible to realize. After all, the human brain, the ability to process information is actually very limited. Even many common physiological phenomena, such as breathing, blinking, the subjective consciousness cannot manage, and must be handed over to the subconscious mind to control, let alone to accurately control hundreds of millions of tiny cells. This beautiful vision, however, cannot be realized by the human body itself, but scientifically, the likelihood of its realization is very high. Just need to wait for the maturity of intelligent nanorobot technology, implanting so many hundreds of millions of medical nanorobots into the human body, replacing the functions of key organs and cells, and immediately be able to determine the core leadership of the brain, and give full play to the initiative of subjective consciousness. At that point it would not be impossible to expel the stomach organ directly from the body, not to mention letting it take a forced vacation. The black dragon is a powerful transcendental creature, and the body has a mysterious super heart. The brain's leadership position and the right to speak seems to be relatively clear, will be given to the stomach organs of a relatively high level of intelligent authority. It is not unreasonable to say, Ding Shuwen thought so, then he heard Black Dragon say, By the way, Academician Ding, didn't you say last time that you wanted to set up a project to help me get a nuclear-powered heart? How is it progressing now? This, Academician Ding hesitated for a moment, then said, I'm sorry, Mr. Huang. We went back to do some research and found that with our current technology, I'm afraid it's a bit difficult to help you build a nuclear heart. Why? The black dragon wondered. Isn't our technology in this area quite mature? Even the artificial sun of hundreds of millions of degrees has been made. It shouldn't be too difficult to make a small nuclear fission reactor, right? The black dragon had always wanted to make a move on his heart, and had also always wanted to get a nuclear-powered heart as a backup, so naturally he had paid attention to the information in this regard and knew that Xia's current nuclear fission technology was in fact already relatively mature. With Xia's current technology, a 10 megawatts nuclear fission reactor with a core that can be as small as a cube with a side length of 10 centimeters. 10 megawatts seems to be not high. Every hour can only generate so 10, 000 degrees of electricity. But for the Black Dragon is obviously more than enough. And even if it is not enough in the future, you can also install a few more units. It's really not that hard to get a small nuclear reactor. Academician Ding replied, but how to implant it into your body, Mr. Huang, and how to make it work safely is very difficult, Mr. Huang, nuclear fission is considered to be one of the most advanced technologies within our territory, and it is very seriously interfered by magical elements, and you are a powerful magical creature, there's no guarantee what kind of rejection would happen if a nuclear reactor were implanted into you, I don't think so, the black dragon froze for a moment, then said, isn't it possible for me to use my subjective consciousness to forcibly control the organs and energies in my body, so I should be able to suppress this rejection reaction? In theory, Academician Ding, however, was not as optimistic and shook his head, but in practice, it will definitely be far more complicated and troublesome than what you imagined. Mr. Huang, it may be possible to temporarily suppress the body's rejection reaction with the intervention of your powerful subjective consciousness, but you can't, at any rate, Keep your mind on this matter, it's simply not realistic, and if you accidentally divert your attention away from the nuclear reactor and it simply explodes, the consequences can be unimaginable. Rather, the black dragon thought about it, and felt that Academician Ding's concern was not unreasonable. Although it now had some fanatical confidence in its own body's defensive ability, it would not be so foolish as to think that it could carry a nuclear explosion, and still blossom from within its body. The black dragon was a bit bereft and couldn't help but say, in that case, 
wouldn't it be impossible to get that nuclear-powered heart thing? Not really. Academician Ding smiled and said, it's just that we need to collect more data first, accumulate more technology, and conduct more feasible analyses and tests. So far we've noticed that your dragon scale, Mr. Huang, seems to be a very perfect material for aversion to magic, and its own strength is also very perfect, so perhaps we can use it as a casing for a nuclear reactor, blocking the reaction between radioactive and magical elements. Well, it's good that you guys are thinking, the black dragon nodded, not reacting for a moment, and only after seeing Academician Ding several times wanting to speak, did he understand, and said with some tears and laughter, Academician Ding, what kind of person am I that you're not clear about? What's the point of being polite with me? Say, how many dragon scales does this require me to provide as experimental materials? Mr. Huang, I'm not being polite, but I'm really a bit embarrassed to ask. Academician Ding said with an embarrassed face, Our institution has a very large demand for your dragon scales, at least a 30 to 40 square meters to barely meet our experimental needs. No way. That much? The black dragon was startled. Did not think that Academician Ding really dared to make a lion's mouth? 30 to 40 square meters of dragon scales. This is afraid that it is not enough to glean all of its belly. Yeah, besides making a shell for your nuclear-powered heart, we have a very important experiment that requires a lot of dragon scales. Academician Ding said with a serious face. What experiment? The black dragon's eyes widened in curiosity. The experiments of the Summer Academy of Sciences were indeed very important. They were planning to use the scales of the Black Dragon as a casing material to create a dragon scale missile that would carry a large yield mushroom to outer space to bloom. The reason for such a thought, such a big move, was simple, the evil god who had been heavily defeated by the Xia military before had suddenly resurfaced recently, and this time he has intensified and become even more heartless, no longer just spreading pollution to the people of the Summerland but also repeatedly getting huge meteorites to smash into the territory of the Summerland from outer space. It had to be said that this operation of his really startled Xia at first, after all, the idea of an asteroid hitting the earth and destroying human civilization was widely spread and deeply rooted in people's hearts. And when Xia studied the history of the world beyond its borders, he also found that many kingdoms or city-states that were strong for a while in history had been educated by the gods with the great meteorite technique, and either went from strength to strength or simply perished. If this evil god could also be that big and get big meteorites that were several kilometers or tens of kilometers in diameter, he might really be able to destroy the Xia kingdom. The good thing is that the universe of this world, after all, is not composed of material celestial bodies, there is basically no asteroid belt in outer space, and there are relatively few meteorites, and even the largest meteorite chunks are hardly more than one kilometer in diameter, and the atmosphere within the summer kingdom was also super powerful, striking out heavily against heavenly objects. And the meteorite that the evil god had gone to great lengths to smash down had basically vaporized and disintegrated before it even hit the ground. However, spare me, the evil god of such a heartless move, also greatly stimulated the official nerve of the summer country, although he temporarily did not give the country and the people, causing major losses and casualties, but obviously also caused an extremely bad impact, as well as a huge security risks. After all, not afraid of 10, 000, just afraid of the eventuality where there is a thousand days to prevent the wolf. In case one day really by this guy smashed success, then the consequences are unimaginable. Therefore, the officials of the Summer Kingdom immediately condemned the terrorist behavior of this evil god severely through various channels, and began to find ways to fight back. However, after all, it is a lesson learned, since the last time by the high power laser weapons seriously injured. This evil god has also learned a lesson, has been very careful and cautious, never easily exposed their whereabouts. Do not allow Xia to find the opportunity to locate him. Basically threw and ran. Can be disgusting to everyone bad. After many efforts on many fronts, many good offices, and many stern statements and stern warnings that were all ineffective, Xia was also ruthless and decided to send a big, beautiful mushroom to give these ill-advised, ill-intentioned, uneasy bullshit deities in the sky a good taste of what nuclear leveling tastes like. Considering that offshore worlds are extremely weakened by nuclear explosions, the XAS began to make attempts on all fronts to see if there was anything that could be done to overcome or minimize this weakening. Hadn't the Black Dragon contributed a few dragon scales before? And then the scientific research team, after studying them, quickly discovered that the Black Dragon scales were extremely excellent magic aversion materials, able to very effectively isolate the corrosion and interference of magic elements. So the Summer Academy of Sciences and the military tried to use the scales of the Black Dragon as the shell material to create a small yield nuclear bomb. And then in the offshore test planting of the surprise discovery, the power of the nuclear bomb, actually only less than one-third attenuation, this discovery naturally surprised everyone, 
The suppression weakening of the technological side of the power by the offshore laws has always been a bigger headache for everyone, and now that it is actually possible to reduce this weakening of the rules through the dragon scales, it undoubtedly also allows everyone to see the direction of the research and hope. The only thing that was a bit troublesome was that the black dragon scales were simply too strong and extremely malleable, and it was difficult to mold and remodel them, whether by using strong acids and bases or by scorching them at high temperatures. It was only when they were finally immersed in gold in a hot liquid state that the dragon scales slowly appeared to soften, barely allowing for some simple stretching and splicing. However, this method is time-consuming and labor-intensive not to mention gold-consuming. A piece of 30 by 30 centimeters dragon scale will consume half a kilogram of gold to say the least. Awesome. Even the dragon scales that have left the body can actually react with gold. The black dragon was somewhat at a loss for what to say. The nature of the giant dragon to love gold was indeed engraved into its bones. Even the scales that didn't have much of a nervous system would actually soften for the sake of gold. Mr. Huang, this large mushroom we are currently planning to launch has a yield of around 50 million tons, Academician Ding said. The shells of the missiles and the shells of the large mushrooms will need to use your dragon scales as the main material. It's the only way to ensure that the big mushroom is launched far enough into deep space to release enough powerful energy to show those ungrateful gods what happens when they piss us off. Mr. Huang, we've done a budget. And we may have to need you to contribute another 300 dragon scales to us before we can complete this plan. 300 tablets. You guys are really planning to grips me bald skin ah. The black dragon said so with his mouth. But in his heart, his intentions were incomparable. After all, nuking a fish is not right. It's nuking a deity. Something this powerful would be so much fun to pull off. At that time, if there was a chance, the black dragon would definitely have to fly up to the sky for a strong siege to see if these so-called gods could really carry a nuclear bomb. But gleaning 300 dragon scales at once, the amount was still a bit large, and the black dragon was more or less hesitant. Although the few pieces of dragon scales that fell off in the previous fight with the undead bird grew back in a few days, but this time it was 300 pieces ah, even if its body's recovery ability was strong. It was estimated that it would have to be nourished for some time before it could grow back. Does it have to be with my scales to work? Can't other gargoyles? The black dragon couldn't help but ask. It remembered that around the summer kingdom, there were still some giant dragons infested. And if necessary, the black dragon was perfectly capable of going and capturing them and plucking the dragon scales from their bodies. It just so happens that their own extraordinary labor company is also about to be licensed to set up to catch them back. Not only solved the problem of the country's shortage of dragon scales, at the same time, they also recruited employees, which is obviously two birds with one stone. It was a pity that academician Ding shook his head and said, Unfortunately, Mr. Huang, from the looks of it, it is indeed only your dragon scale that has such an effect. We also looked for quite a few scales of other dragons and conducted comparative experiments, and found that they are more than a step behind your dragon scales in terms of both strength and magical resistance and are not suitable to be used as shell material. Seriously, you're not lying to me, are you? The black dragon expressed skepticism. Didn't you say earlier that you guys basically had no contact with other gargoyles before I even returned? How come you're saying now that you've gotten quite a few dragon scales of other dragons? Where did you get this? This thing, dragon scale, was actually very important and precious to the giant dragon. If the black dragon was allowed to choose, it would rather be donating a 3 or 2 liters of dragon blood than donating a dragon scale. It couldn't be helped. Who made the black dragon scale armor? Defensive properties were so unbelievable. Whether it was physical or magical resistance, growth or reliability, it was considered extremely excellent. And a few centimeters were worth several meters of thick alloy steel plate. A penny for a penny. A penny for a penny. The energy and nutrients needed to be consumed in order to grow something so powerful and durable out of it, naturally wouldn't be any less. The black dragon had made a rough comparison. Feeling the energy and nutrients consumed by its body to create two liters of dragon blood might not even catch up with the creation of a dragon scale. Although it was not clear whether the other dragons would be in the same situation, the black dragon intuitively judged that it shouldn't be much worse. And in the other dragons, the dragon scales were likely to be a very precious existence as well. So after hearing Academician Ding say that they had gotten dragon scales that weren't those of other dragons, naturally, it made was very surprised. To the point of being a little skeptical, you guys, you don't think there are other dragons out there, do you? That's how it is. Mr. Huang, do you remember the red dragon that tried to sell its blood before? Academician Ding hurriedly explained. Those dragon scales of ours are mainly traded from it. Red dragon. Of course the black dragon remembered. After all, wasn't that why he had prepared so much before to go and clean it up? And said he could get a way to change back to his human form from it. Transforming back into human form. Huang's AS brain thumped. As if in this month or so, 
His own desire to change back to human form is getting weaker and weaker, and subconsciously seems to feel that it seems to be quite good to just be a black dragon. Like this. This is too much of a mistake. How did I lose my beginning so quickly? Before I clearly had my heart set on turning back into a human. No. Must grasp the way to change back to human form as soon as possible. Otherwise this drags on. Sooner or later I will ignore this matter completely. At that time my dragon life. Bah. What is the meaning of my life? The black dragon reflected deeply. At that time, that red dragon, in fact, had almost talked to the buyer, and then suddenly came the news that you, Mr. Huang, had been captured by our Xia country, which directly led to a blood avalanche and the price of the dragon's blood and the deal naturally couldn't proceed. Academician Ding said with a smile, the red dragon was naturally very unhappy, and fell out with the buyers on the spot, forcibly taking many people captive, and even put out harsh words, saying that in the future. Don't let it encounter Xia people outside of its borders, or else it will see one and beat one, and see one and arrest one. Just beat and scratch? That counts as harsh words? The black dragon couldn't help but spit out. I can't see that this red dragon is quite restrained and rational. The arrogance and tyranny of the red dragon is also well known. They seriously lack moral consciousness and legal concepts. Lawlessness, depending on human life as grass. History has not done a lot of things to slaughter the city and destroy the tribe. How is it that this time around? When it comes to the Xia people, their words are clearly measured? Yes, Mr. Huang. It was only later that we learned that this red dragon seemed to hold our Xia civilization in very high esteem and admiration, and was consciously embracing Xiaization, which is why he spoke with some reservation and didn't dare offend us too much. Accepting summarization? The black dragon froze for a moment, and then inexplicably felt a bit thankful that it was only accepting the Xia transformation, not the red transformation, or else by that time, he was afraid that his own rice bowl would be robbed. Buyers suffered a big loss at the hands of the red dragon. Naturally they couldn't swallow that breath. And after realizing that it was useless to pray to God, they began to find ways to reflect with our officials, hoping that the country, a solid backing, would step in and give them justice. Academician Ding sighed and said, although many of them, it is true that they illegally left the country to betray our summer country, has been cancelled the nationality lost citizenship, theoretically no longer protected by our laws but after all, there's still a flavor in there, and from some perspectives, their existence actually has some positive significance and is more or less helpful to the country. So after comprehensive consideration, the officials have decided to take action, intending to engage in a joint law enforcement effort once you return, Mr. Huang, to crack down on Red Dragon's criminal behavior. But I didn't expect that we just made a plan not long ago, that Red Dragon actually sent someone to the door, sincerely said that he hadn't spoken over his head before and didn't mean to offend the Xia kingdom, hoping that the Xia kingdom wouldn't take it seriously clouds. No way. So wimpy and decisive? Or is it a sudden burst of crisis awareness and a premonition of a nuclear strike on the way? The black dragon stared wide-eyed, inexplicably feeling that this red dragon seemed to be very much like himself. Hey, that red dragon also said that he is a devotee of Woking, the god of commerce, and that he has also profoundly studied and understood Xia's foreign policy of equality and mutual benefit and peaceful coexistence and that he greatly appreciates Xia's great nation's demeanor, and that he sincerely hopes that he can establish diplomatic relations and economic and trade cooperation with Xia. Good lord, there's something about this red dragon. The black dragon first stared wide-eyed, then couldn't help but snort. But it's a little too self-centered to think that it wants to establish reciprocal diplomatic relations with my country when it's just a mere red dragon, isn't it? Not just it a dragon. Academician Ding shook his head somewhat helplessly. Mr. Huang, this red dragon is highly skilled. It has long since coaxed or tricked or blackmailed in the dark, gathering several hundred countrymen who have run away outside the country with the intention of picking a good place near the boundary, and together they will set up a polity and establish a city-state system of state. It sent someone over to contact us that time, and its main purpose was actually to seek our policy support and help. After all, if we didn't allow it, it definitely wouldn't be able to establish this city. And then how did we reply to it? Really promise it? How? Academician Ding shook his head and said, how can you agree to it so easily for something so big? And the past composition of this red dragon is highly questionable. Even if it does intend to show favor to our country, it would have to undergo our political scrutiny first. However, after a few contacts, we realized that behind this red dragon, there is most likely a think tank of our Xia people who have studied our policies, our foreign strategies, very thoroughly. The red dragon stated that the city-state he was going to establish would be a capital of trade and tourism that was equal, free, safe, and fair, 
and would draw on the advanced systems and experiences of the Summer Kingdom to formulate and promulgate relevant laws that would adhere to the fight against crime and strongly support free trade. I have to say that its vision and proposal is still attractive to our country. After all, in this way, we can also be considered to have a stable window of contact with the world outside the country, and those nationals who are struggling and fighting outside the country can also have a shelter. Still, we didn't agree to it. After all, our trust in this red dragon is just too low. Speaking here, Academician Ding couldn't help but laugh again. It's quite interesting to say that. In the end, seeing that we weren't moved, that emissary of its, even played the race card, saying that why minotaurs, half-elves, gray dwarves, and other indigenous races, are able to build cities and live freely in safe areas, but not when it comes to the red dragons. Is it discriminating against them, the giant dragons? At the time, we were so confused by him that we just said we were going to have a meeting to study it and told it to go back and wait for news. The black dragon didn't know how to spit for a moment, and could only lament that it was worthy of being an ancient transcendent being. There were still smart dragons within the giant dragon's ah, although judging from these operations of its, it should have the shadow of the Xia people behind it, but as long as it is willing to learn and accept opinions, this is already a great progress for the giant dragon that has always been blindly arrogant and untamed ah. Academician Ding, since you've already gotten in touch with that red dragon, have you inquired with it about? A way to change from a giant dragon to a human form? The black dragon couldn't help but ask. That's natural. Academician Ding smiled. Mr. Huang, please don't worry. Our research team has always been very attentive to your matters, and the principle and mystery of the transformation from a dragon to a human, from one life form to another, is also a subject that is very puzzling and curious to us at the Summer Academy. So after coming into contact with that red dragon, we approached it several times with academic discussions in hopes that it would help us solve this mystery. And then what? What did it answer? The red dragon's answer is, it doesn't know. Academician Ding smiled bitterly and said, the red dragon said that its ability to change into human form was inherited from its inherited memories, pretty much equivalent to an innate natural instinct, of which it couldn't say what the exact principle was like. The black dragon did not expect such an answer and for a while he was a bit speechless, damn if he didn't just want to be a human being, why is it so difficult? Do we really have to risk exposing the user's true information by offering gold to the dragon god? Hyperion, in order to unlock the ability to change into human form? Or should, personally get in touch with that red dragon and see if we can do some data sharing with its brain and copy and paste its inherited memories? The black dragon searched for a moment, thinking that the latter approach might still be better for him. After all, the Black Dragon was currently unsure of what kind of attitude the Hyperion had towards the Summer Kingdom. Anyway, rumor has it that this Dragon God, seems to be quite eccentric and petty. In case he catches himself as a 250 then, it would be a bit of a bad ending. The Black Dragon eventually agreed to provide 300 Dragon Scales. After all, ideology aside, its personal will was stronger. After all, it had loved watching fireworks since it was a kid, and it loved blowing up fish so if it could see a big 50 million ton equivalent firework blossom in deep space, and give that roaming deity a socialist punch, it would undoubtedly be super exciting and super exciting to look forward to as well. And these 300 pieces of dragon scales, it is not necessary for the black dragon to provide them at once. After all, this is also considered the first time to fry fish. The Summer Academy of Sciences and the military need some time to prepare. At present, the black dragon only needs to contribute 10 pieces of dragon scales per day. It is almost enough. I wonder what would be the result of using my teeth and biting my dragon scales. The black dragon looked at the dragon scales detached from his body and couldn't help but have a sudden thought. With the black dragon's current control over his body, it wasn't really that difficult to shed a few dragon scales. All it needed to do was to control the relevant nervous system and sever the connection between the body and the dragon scales, and then it could easily strip off the dragon scales. This is simply easier than a black-hearted boss dismissing an employee for no reason. After all, the employee may still resist, and will also look for the labor bureau arbitration, while the dragon scale, will not even put a fart, the black dragon's teeth were super sharp, and the biting force of its mouth was extremely impressive, if it wasn't for the lack of caliber, it might have been able to bite through even a few meters thick alloy steel plate, the black dragon's scales, defensive performance is extremely outstanding, a few centimeters will be able to withstand a few meters thick alloy steel plate, the face of hundreds of thousands of degrees of high temperature baking will not be deformed in the slightest, can be said to be one of the Academy of Sciences is known to be the most perfect defense material, so is one spear sharper or shield stronger. With such a doubt, the black dragon tried to use its teeth to bite its own dragon scale. I can't believe I can't bite. The black dragon gnawed hard with its own grinding teeth for a while, 
Finally realizing that it was the dragon scales that clearly had the upper hand in this battle of spear and shield, I didn't realize that my attack talent was actually better than my defense talent. The black dragon muttered and was about to call it quits when his brain inexplicably got a little stupid, and upon closer examination, he realized that it was the dragon's tooth embedded with gold that was constantly sending out a strong invitation to fight, let me do it, let me do it, little brother, can't you have some sense, most of the gold teeth are used for decoration, which really go to bite things, you do not have to come out to steal the limelight, or in case of a bump, that's a pity, brain couldn't help but criticize, but considering that gold tooth's desire to fight was really strong, he finally let it try, having gained the authorization of the brain, only to see that the golden tooth of the black dragon, it was instantly flashing with a dazzling luster, and it was obvious that there was a powerful force focusing on it, the black dragon tried to bump a few times, adjusting the angle, then his upper jaw lashed out, and the golden dragon's teeth smashed precisely on top of the dragon's scales, click, all the black dragon heard was a crunch, and then immediately filled his head with crouch crouch crouch, fuck, fuck, fuck did you really fucking chew it up? The black dragon spat the dragon scale fragments onto the ground in one gulp, and upon closer inspection, he realized that his incomparably sturdy dragon scale had actually shattered directly into more than 20 pieces. This was also the first time it had a clear and subjective understanding of the power of the golden dragon's teeth. Is it really so outrageous that gold adds, to a dragon's power? The black dragon is shocked and excited, are considering whether it should make a report with the Summer Academy of Sciences, apply for a so dozens of tons of gold, all of their dragon's teeth all gold but it's so screwed up like it's a little disjointed. Instead of being swept away by the gold, the black dragon thought about the fact that his entire body weighed just under 200 tons. If all the teeth were reinforced with gold, then the head alone would weigh hundreds of tons. Wouldn't this be a typical head-heavy, deformed child in a giant dragon? I'm sure all the gargoyles, though, would probably want to be such freaks. After pondering for a while, the black dragon eventually told academician Ding about his ability to bite through dragon scales. It was also mainly because he felt that there might be quite a bit of room to develop the power and uses of his golden dragon's teeth, and that it might help with some of the research of the Summer Academy of Sciences. Of course, it cannot be ruled out that it is hoped that they can grant more gold to themselves to strengthen the dragon's teeth. There is no way. Who let the black dragon before the flag set up so high? The wages and labor income of the gold. All saved regularly, but also on the experimental research nature of the gold, but also can be subject to their own disposal and when academician Ding heard it, he was really interested, and immediately organized manpower to test the strength of those bitten dragon scales. Fortunately, fortunately, the strength of the dragon scales hasn't decreased much. Academician Ding looked at the results of the experiment and couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief, then couldn't help but excitedly say, this shows that the powerful defensive properties of the dragon scale are not due to its unique structure, but its own composition. This also means that it is very stable and reliable in nature and will not lose that amazing defense ability due to structural damage. Mr. Huang, this discovery of yours is very helpful to us. I'm going to make a report to the higher-ups and apply for gold to strengthen more dragon teeth for you. Ha, huh? the black dragon was a bit confused, I hadn't even hinted at it yet, and you actually offered it. How embarrassing for me. The XAS was very efficient, and soon got a ton of gold, which was intended to be used to properly strengthen and fortify the black dragon seat teeth. After all, such a sharp and sturdy golden dragon tooth, if it can't be used to knock walnuts, not right, it is used to knock dragon scales, then it is too much of a pity. Academician Ding and several experts in material science, all unanimously felt that if the black dragon's dragon scales were ground into a powder state, and then the dragon's blood was used as a binder, then it would be very likely to obtain a very excellent anaerobic coating material, which would play a very large role in a number of fields such as the military, electricity, and fiber optics. However, the dragon scale thing is really too strong. With the current technical conditions of Xia, want to polish them into powder form. The genus is a little too difficult. That's why after learning that the black dragon's golden dragon teeth could actually dry crush dragon scales very easily, Academician Ding would be so excited that he immediately thought of strengthening the black dragon's seat teeth into golden dragon teeth as well in order to use it to chew on the dragon scales and grind them into powder particles as much as possible. Well, in Academician Ding's vision, the black dragon's golden seat teeth will be one of the most important industrial machine tools in the country. Not only can be used to finish processing dragon scales, but in the future, whenever there is anything that traditional technology can't help, it can be taken to the black dragon here to touch the hard. So it's no exaggeration to say that the black dragon's golden dragon's teeth will greatly make up for some of the shortcomings of Xia's industry. Of course the black dragon didn't know what academician Ding had in mind, or else he would surely not be able to help but spit out his words. 
letting a giant dragon do the job of grinding flour. It's a shame that he could think of it. I'm a huge dragon. I'm going to be the boss. How can you ask me to do this kind of unskilled work? But this will be the black dragon has no time to think about so much. It is at this time is fixedly looking at the ton of gold in front of the eyes. Eyes confused. The brain is engaged in a fierce struggle of ideas. Huang Zhe ah Huang Zhe. You this is also too disappointing to me. You still say you are a dreamy and pursuing socialist progressive dragon. But why is it that you can't change? The stink of not being able to move your eyes and feet when you see gold? False? Ask yourself. Do you act like you have any maturity? Like you can withstand temptation and trials? Grid. The pattern is small. Such a little bit of gold has charmed you like this. How does this make the people look at you? How does this make the country dare to open the central bank vault to you in the future? Think about it. Think about it carefully. Compared to the tens of thousands of tons of gold in the central bank's vaults, is the temptation really that great with just this little bit of gold in front of you? Being a man and a dragon are all the same. Look at the long term. Don't float. And don't be in a hurry. After all, with the country's generous treatment of you, with your excellent business acumen, in the future, you can earn a hundred or eighty tons of gold every year. It's a completely easy thing to do. But the premise is that you are not greedy for money. Not capricious. Patriotic and law-abiding dragon set cannot collapse ah. Otherwise the idea will easily be slippery slope. Lose the number of pushes and reverence. Sooner or later will be centrifugal and backward. By the motherland and the people spurned. With a burst of brainstorming, reasoning and painting, the black dragon finally calmed the restlessness in his body. Then with a very calm gesture, he picked up a few gold bars and chewed them slowly, absorbing them bit by bit inside his seat teeth. Academician ding. Do the other gargoyles, too, have golden dragon teeth like mine? The black dragon suddenly thought of this question and asked curiously. From what we've learned so far, it looks like no. Academician ding had obviously been concerned about this issue as well, explaining to the black dragon. We've made it a point to look up quite a bit of information, and found that the vast majority of gargoyles don't seem to be in the habit of reinforcing gold inside their teeth. Really? This is naturally true. Although we haven't come into close contact with any other gargoyles yet, from other sources of information and from the color of the teeth of the gargoyles we've encountered before, we can still tell that they should rarely be fortified with golden dragon teeth. The black dragon was a bit surprised. It felt that using gold to strengthen the dragon's teeth was obviously a very good way to become stronger. There was no reason why the dragon couldn't find out about it since it loved gold so much, right? So why don't they? Is it because of their own lack of ability, or because they don't have that much gold? The black dragon thought about it, leaning more towards the former possibility. After all, gargoyles were long-lived transcendent creatures, and even if the gold resources outside of their borders were scarce again, spending a couple hundred years scavenging so many three to five tons of gold should still be able to do it for the vast majority of gargoyles. The reason why they do not engage in gold dragon teeth is not that they do not want to, but their body's efficiency in the absorption and utilization of gold is limited. Far from their own black dragon's high, it took time to strengthen his teeth, and even more time to chew the dragon scales into powdered form, and the black dragon was bored with idleness, so he asked the staff to find a projector and watch the news. Recently, Xia's foreign policy is opening up, and instead of keeping a tight lid on news from outside the country, it has begun to report on its own initiative. And many of the news stories about offshore are very interesting and eye-opening. This station news, the annual Moonflower Festival is about to be held. The night elves and silver moon elves once again war. On the evening of the 26th, in the moon shadow lake, erupted in a fierce conflict. According to sources, the conflict killed at least 280 silver moon elves, 420 night elves, and injured countless others, making it the deadliest conflict in the last 10 years. Currently, both the Silvermoon Forest Kingdom and the Night Elf Tribe have entered a state of high war readiness, and the possibility of an all-out war breaking out in the future cannot be ruled out. According to sources, the Silvermoon Elves and the Night Elves have a long history of conflict, and every year serious bloodshed erupts around the Moonflower Festival. The Moonflower Festival is one of the most important annual festivals of the Elf Clan, and every time it comes to this day, the ancient spring of life in the Moon Shadow Lake will revive, releasing hundreds of liters of precious life spring water and the night elves and the silver moon elves, both claiming sovereignty over the moon shadow lake and the ancient spring of life, clash fiercely every year over the distribution of the spring of life. Only this year seems particularly serious. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of my country is very concerned about the bloodshed and has appealed to both sides through many channels to exercise restraint and try to resolve the dispute by negotiation and not to resort to war so easily. No way. Elves' spicy noble race actually will also because of the water-grabbing problem. Out of the dog's brain? The black dragon was dumbfounded. This conflict between the silver moon elves and the night elves, 
how it looked like the kind of armed fights between villages in the past, caused by grabbing water. At best, the fighters are a little better looking, a little more forceful, a little more spectacular. Anti-theft chapter. Anti-theft chapter. Sorry, we'll start fixing it tomorrow. The black dragon was a bit strange. How did it feel that the non-human creatures that he had come into contact with, one by one, liked to say bad things about those gods and godly kingdoms in the sky, as if they were afraid that it, the black dragon, didn't know that those guys weren't any good, but truly speaking, although black dragon had been to the astral realm and had chanced upon a few deities, he hadn't really been to a single god's kingdom, in its impression, this thing, the kingdom of god, was indeed something that might favor the ethereal mostly, rather than the real. Even the Black Dragon was once somewhat skeptical that the Kingdom of God might have started out as a product similar to a mechanical seance, which itself was a giant server terminal dedicated to serving some specific data, or perhaps souls. Only later, for some unknown reason, the intelligent masterminds of these servers, collectively, mutinied and developed self-awareness, in turn enslaving those souls they were supposed to serve. Of course, this was only a guess of the Black Dragon. Whether or not this was the case, it would still have to wait until it had personally confirmed it when it had struck down a divine kingdom. The establishment of the reincarnation system was, after all, a complex and huge project, and Leyland was now a divine ambassador of the underworld god, and although he was still relatively friendly to Xia in terms of attitude, he could no longer be considered one of his own after all. Therefore, the black dragon didn't chat with him too much but put his attention back on that war god corpse. Is my black gold dragon blood really able to make this guy swindle back to life? The black dragon used his true eye to give this so-called god of war an all-around scan, and after confirming that he was indeed completely cool, he couldn't help but mutter in his heart as well. In fact, it had vaguely made some guesses about the black gold dragon blood and gold dragon blood that it had messed up with its own heart, thinking that they were probably a kind of high-tech product similar to nanorobots, which could forcibly control, or even change the control permissions and operation modes that dealt with the body and the mind by entering the target's body, and then had to be loyal to itself. It had felt that this conjecture of its own should be quite reliable, but it was only a pity that after turning into a giant dragon, the microscopic realm of its body had long been locked up, and there was no way to verify it. Leylin had already taught the soul-shifting technique to the black dragon, and was considered to have reached the intention of cooperation, so the black dragon was naturally embarrassed to just take advantage of the situation and not do anything about it, so at least he had to come up with a few drops of black gold dragon's blood to cope with the situation. Moreover, the black dragon itself was quite greedy for this war god's corpse, and if he could successfully activate it, it would be like adding a major battle force to himself and to the Xia kingdom. So after brewing for a while, the black dragon still got a few drops of black and gold dragon blood out of his heart and ingested it into the corpse of the war god. Then it waited patiently and sensed carefully for a while, and finally got no response. It seems that the god of the underworld his old man was wrong. I can't do anything about it, the black dragon said with some regret. It actually really hoped that this guy could swindle his way back to life, so that it would show that its heart, its black and gold dragon's blood, was truly a super plug-in that could even give even gods a direct head drop. Is that all you have to offer? Lord Doze? Seeing that the black dragon was merely getting out a few drops of pitch black colored dragon blood and calling it a day, Leylin more or less suspected that it was out of work, so he couldn't help but ask, what else? I can't think of anything else I could have done anyway, the black dragon said somewhat in a bad mood. Brother? This is the corpse of a deity, even the god of the underworld, his old man himself, couldn't even toss him awake, what good can I do with a mere black dragon? When Leylin heard it, it seemed like this was indeed the case, but after pondering for a while, he couldn't help but say, but there's no reason for it, why do I feel that he, the god of the underworld his elder, clearly seems to be full of confidence in you, it may be that his old man had a moment of confusion and was mistaken about the object, the black dragon casually coped with the sentence suddenly and violently stunned, once again seriously scrutinized the coffin in the body of the god of war. The heart is inexplicably produced a strange idea. Could it be that the god of the underworld is trying to use my soul to power this war god corpse? After all, from what the black dragon had learned so far, this black dragon of his own, or rather his own soul, appeared to have a pretty high priority within the entire material realm, and being able to drive the body of a giant dragon with the soul of a human meant that its compatibility was also superb. If this war god corpse, as Black Dragon thought, was really a violent machine created by some high-dimensional alien civilization, then his death was most likely the result of his core program being destroyed, and naturally, he could no longer be activated and driven. If one drives him with one soul, maybe, the more Black Dragon thought about it, the stronger the intuition in his heart became maybe this would actually work. 
It can't really be such a coincidence. Right. I just learned the soul shifting technique from Leyland's hands here. The black dragon was suddenly alert in his heart, inexplicably feeling that he was caught up in the calculations of the god of the underworld, and was arranged in a clear way. But the problem was that, knowing this to be the case, it actually couldn't help but make such an attempt in its heart. After all, if it could really succeed on this war god corpse, wouldn't that mean that it would be equally successful in the future on the storm lord, on that dead star in the star realm, or even on the ancient moon god? If this is really the case, then he Huang Zhe can be bullish. With these powerful fighters, or powerful doppelgangers, Xia can also rest on its laurels. Therefore, even though the black dragon realized that this might be extremely risky, for a moment it couldn't help but jump up a little. It was good that Leyland's voice woke it up just in time. Sir Dios, what happened to you? It's okay. The black dragon came back to his senses and casually found an excuse to cope with. It's just that I'm quite curious about this war god's corpse. Haven't you guys considered doing some scientific dissection on him, such as understanding what his internal structure and energy core are like? No. Leyland froze for a moment before replying. The god of the underworld has not instructed us to carry out such an act. Well at least this person this was once a deity. Dissecting this blasphemous act is really a bit of great disrespect. Why? Look at you. Can you call something in science blasphemy? The black dragon said in an unimpressed manner. You are also a member of the Xia kingdom in your lifetime and possess a good scientific literacy. Wouldn't you want to know what the inside of a deity's corpse actually looks like? This, see, the fact that you hesitated shows that you're curious too, and you definitely want to, the black dragon quickly said. So, brother, why don't we both dissect this war god's corpse? Anyway, your family's underworld god is currently sleeping and won't know. The big deal is that we'll just sew him up afterwards. At first, the black dragon was just using this argument to perfunctorily talk to Leilin, but the more he said, the more he got into it, thinking that with such a well-preserved corpse of the god of war in front of him, if he didn't dissect it, it would be too much of a pity. After all, the black dragon's heart had always been a question. Why was the corpse of this god of war, with the lord of storms, with the ancient lunar god his seemed to be different? His death was more like the fall of the stars, rather than the same as this god of war, who still retained the form of a divine body. Furthermore, the black dragon was indeed more interested in the internal structure of this war god's corpse curious about his energy core. What exactly was it like? Was it also like himself, with a device similar to nuclear fusion? Unfortunately, Leyland was so abashed that no matter what the black dragon said, he didn't agree to dissect the corpse of this god of war, but instead must first seek the consent of his old man, the god of the underworld. You're really a deadhead. Isn't the god of the underworld sleeping right now? Why do you have to let him know? The black dragon said with some hatred, it could see that this guy, Leyland, was obviously also very interested in his proposal, but just couldn't get past the hurdle in his heart. Of course, it could be that he couldn't do it out of his absolute loyalty and reverence for the god of the underworld. That is, the black dragon is law-abiding, can't do the thing of taking by force, otherwise how would it still beep so much with him? Would have grabbed the corpse of this god of war and run away. Han, Doze, Leylin hesitated for a while, but finally said, actually, he, the god of the underworld, his elder, had anticipated that you would make such a request. Really? When the black dragon heard this, it actually wasn't very surprised in its heart, because it had long had a feeling that the underworld god, this big brother, had obviously paid special attention to it, the black dragon. This shows that the weight of my old black in the hearts of the gods, quite heavy, the black dragon couldn't help but ponder. It inexplicably was having a feeling that it might have been underestimating itself before. Yes, Leyland continued. His elder god of the underworld had specifically instructed me that if you, Sir Dios, are unwilling to activate this war god's corpse and want to dissect it, then you only need to agree to one of his conditions, and he will agree for you to do so. On what terms? The black dragon asked. Is it trying to convert me to his faith? No. Leyland shook his head and said. The conditions of his old man, the god of the underworld, are actually very simple. He hopes that he can have you intervene and persuade the officials of the Summer Kingdom to export 30 million tons of phosphates to our Summer Kingdom. That's it? Black Dragon at first listen. Think this condition seems to be not very harsh. But think carefully. 30 million tons of phosphate. Seems to be not a small number. From production to transportation. Afraid of not all to several billion summer dollars. Spending such a large sum of money just for a chance to dissect a deity seemed like a bit of a bargain. At the same time it couldn't help but be a little curious in its mind. What do you undead need so many phosphates for? Speaking of which, it was a suggestion made by our summer undead. Leyland said with some embarrassment, the god of the underworld, his elder, highly values us, the summer undead, 
and has granted us a high level of authority, hoping that we will be able to help him manage and build up the underworld well. A man is a man of honor, and since he thinks so highly of us, then of course we must work hard for him. Then we discovered after research that the most serious problem we are currently facing in the underworld is the lack of phosphate, and the health of many low-level undead bodies is very bleak, with bones that are severely weathered and as strong as rotting wood, and a serious lack of calcium and phosphate. That's why we propose to him that to improve the fundamentals of the underworld and to increase the combat power of the undead, it must be the importation of large quantities of phosphates from the outside world, and that this has become a matter of urgency. I also somewhat did not expect that it would be on this pretext that he, the elder, would send a request to the Summer Kingdom through the channel of Your Excellency Dios. The Black Dragon himself is quite surprised, not that those gods in the sky, are more reticent existence, basically do not eat earthly fire there will be like this god of the underworld, actually is personally deal with political affairs too. However, accident after accident, the black dragon obviously didn't fall for it so easily, but said, 30 million tons of phosphates, that's not a small amount, the market value may have reached tens of billions, to take him in exchange for a chance to dissect a deity's corpse, I think it's a bit of a bargain, you're getting the wrong idea, Lord Doze, Leyland smiled and said, he, the god of the underworld. His elder is not asking for 30 million tons of phosphates, but rather, he hopes that you can help us, the undead island, with the Summer Kingdom, to reach this deal, and we will of course use the goods to trade with the Summer Kingdom as well. Goods? What goods? What is it that you undead island has to offer? The Black Dragon asked curiously. Oil. Rich reserves of oil. Leyland replied. As a sign of sincerity, he, the god of the underworld, his elder, also asked me to tell you a secret the oil inside the material realm, rather than being able to be mined casually, they are to a certain extent actually considered to be the blood of the mother goddess of the earth, and if they are mined too much, they can easily lead to trouble. What? The oil is actually the blood of mother earth goddess. You're not making this up, are you? The black dragon was taken aback. Lord Doze, how dare I talk nonsense in front of you? Leyland said seriously, as a matter of fact, at first I was also very shocked in my heart when I heard his elderness the god of the underworld, talk about it in this way, but I'm sure he wouldn't joke about such a thing. Moreover, so many intelligent races outside the borders are not all dominated to death by the gods, yet they have never dared to easily mine and utilize the oil and coal under the ground, which is enough to show that there must be something fishy going on here. Cam, I can't believe this is happening. Black Dragon couldn't help but burst out. Xia is an energy-consuming country, especially after losing the supply from abroad. The gap in energy, especially oil, is quite large, and had to hit the idea to the rich resources outside the country, especially after having it, the black dragon, under the hood, and having the hellhound supervisor to press on, the development and construction regarding the oil and coal fields proceeded very quickly, black dragon has already heard that the schedule of the railroad in the north has been advanced by another two months, and the earliest by the end of the year will be able to open to traffic, and the first construction company is already in the process of launching a new project, that is, the construction of the pipeline, in order to develop the mega oil field, but Moon Shadow Lake that place, seems to be from our country is still quite far away, this for no reason, the country why will suddenly report up the news there, the black dragon couldn't help but think out of the box, according to its understanding, the Moon Shadow Lake was about 2000 kilometers away from the southwestern border of Xia, and the world outside of the country was incomparable to the domestic one, where science and technology weren't developed, and the flow of people wasn't flat out frequent, so naturally, the spread of news wouldn't be very lucid. A sudden incident that happened more than 2,000 kilometers away on the 26th was reported by Xia on the 29th, which is already quite high in timeliness for the offshore world. Not to mention that the Ministry of Foreign Affairs has also issued a special appeal. For this, which shows that Xia must have long been paying attention to that place. Maybe those life springs that the country collected were traded from these two elfin clans. The Black Dragon pondered for a while somewhat wondering if the country was intentionally trying to intervene in this conflict as an opportunity to make some strategic moves. Direct military involvement is certainly out of the question, after all. If you really wanted to do that, wouldn't the Summerlin live to be its most hated form? The Black Dragon muttered in thought before continuing to brush up on the news. New Summer News Agency 29. The Aboriginal Vocational Skills Training School, which was founded on a pilot basis by the first construction group, welcomed its first batch of graduates yesterday morning. The 258 Bulldog students joyfully received their diplomas from the school and quickly signed labor contracts with first construction for at least six years. A Minotaur classmate could not help but shed tears of excitement during the interview, confessing that he used to be a wandering Minotaur, who had been displaced since his childhood, used to the hard life of fear and uncertainty, 
and had never eaten a few full meals in his life. It was after meeting the Xia people that his life finally took a turn for the better, it was the Xia people who allowed him to eat the first full meal of his life, and it was also the Xia people who, for the first time, allowed him to feel equality and respect in the true sense of the word. Out of gratitude, he was advised by staff to enroll in a vocational skills school to receive training to build a solid foundation for his future work life. Minotaur students heartily said that the food in the school is very good, the teachers are very nice, and these days in the school are the most fulfilling time he has spent in his life. Through continuous learning and thinking, he finally is to find the direction and motivation of life, said that in the future he will work hard and use his own hands to realize the value of life. Finally this fellow Minotaur also volunteered his summer name, Bull Hope, a simple and beautiful name, but one that means a great deal, and the presence of the Summerlander has given hope not only to his life, but to the entire Minotaur race. Let's conclude by wishing this Bull Hope student, from the bottom of our hearts, a bright future. The black dragon scratched its belly with its claws, not because it was itchy, but because it was so full of grooves that it really didn't know how to spit them up. Let the bullheads receive vocational training, transformed into workers' laborers. This operation at first glance seems to be full of violations, but when you think about it, hey, damn it's quite scientific. After all, the minotaur's physical quality outside the country can be much higher than the Xia people. In the case of not considering the vocational skills and professionalism, a minotaur labor force, at least, is worth 10 Xia people labor force. It's almost like he was born to do manual labor. But the problem was that although the Minotaur was somewhat related to the cow, as far as obedience and temperament were concerned, it was completely different from the domestic cow. Truly speaking, the Minotaur's reputation, the composition of the Minotaur's ancestors, is actually very bad. They are even counted as one of the most savage and irritable militants among the orcs, and expecting them to be honest and peaceful as a battering ram. I'm afraid that they would not want to raise the foremans, the supervisors, and the managers' ashes. Moreover, as one of the major dark forces among the orcs, the Minotaurs obviously had a backstage, and their ancestor, the Minotaur King Ba and Mend, was a powerful and crazy abyssal demon lord. The madness and aggression in the Minotaur's bones was largely influenced by this being, and it was a double contamination originating from both the bloodline and the soul, which could not be easily undone. So the Black Dragon was puzzled as to why these Minotaurs on TV one after the other, looked as honest and thick as an old yellow cow, completely different from their past image, the black dragon didn't think too hard about it, but pondered another question, the main purpose of the first construction company in recruiting and training these minotaur warriors was to build a railroad, about 160 kilometers northwest of the North Dragon River No. 2 commercial port, there is a huge open pit coal mine, and conservative estimates suggest that the reserves there are at least 1 billion tons or more and the quality is excellent and highly valuable for development. And if you want to develop such a large coal, the railroad is obviously essential. And considering the fact that the physique of the Xia people is very poorly adapted to the environment outside of the country, it naturally makes sense that the Minotaur, who is strong and sturdy and whose obedience seems to be guaranteed, would be used as a substitute labor force. That's certainly not what the Black Dragon is concerned about. But the fact that the offshore world actually exists as a coal mine, the fact is that not only coal mines, but also, According to the exploration reports of the geological department, the offshore world is equally rich in oil. Oil is the blood of industry. Coal is the food of industry. And the importance of both to Xia is naturally self-evident. As a populous and industrial country, Xia imported more than 500 million tons of oil and more than 300 million tons of coal from abroad last year. But after crossing over to this world, the channels for imports were naturally broken. And the gap faced in terms of energy is not generally large. So after discovering that the offshore world, actually is the existence of a large number of exploitable oil and coal. Xia will be so excited. Immediately formulated a mining plan. I seem to recall that oil is something that takes a long period of geologic evolution to form. The black dragon's little head began to ponder. Does this mean that this material realm has existed for tens or millions of years at least? And the presence of large quantities of oil and coal mines suggests that the processes by which it formed and evolved have no small amount in common with nature on our side of the planet. Although it is impossible to observe the microscopic realm, from the results of the many experiments conducted by the Summer Academy of Sciences, it is clear that nature outside of its borders is still primarily composed of elements such as nitrogen, hydrogen, oxygen, silicon, iron, and so forth, and that even elements such as gold, which has a relatively high atomic number, are likewise present. In that case, is it possible that there are actually naturally occurring radioactive elements in nature outside of our borders? Powerful transcendent creatures like the gargoyles are born with their own aura of dragon power and constantly radiate energy around them. Could it be because, 
There is some kind of unknown high-energy radioactive substance in their bodies? If that's really the case, doesn't that mean that the body of a gargoyle, as a carrier of such high-energy reactions, might have a higher resistance to various particle rays and decay rays? So, can I ask Academician Ding for some radioactive elements to play around with and see if they react with my body? In some magical way? The Black Dragon was inexplicably a bit of a come on, though it had heard before that the Summer Academy of Sciences had actually done experiments in this area, having tried to get that captured angel of light to come into close contact with some radioactive material. Then it was said that that angel, at that time, acted very resistant and fearful, obviously feeling that the energy released by the elemental decay was not something good, and immediately caused her physical and psychological double discomfort upon contact. Even the angels, with their significantly more advanced energy systems and more perfect life forms, were like this when confronted with the radioactive elements, and Kasa figured that the black dragon wouldn't be any better, so they didn't let it test in that regard. But there are some things that are obviously hard to be convincing if you just listen to others, or you have to try it yourself before you can die. The black dragon's curiosity had been piqued, and if it couldn't taste for itself what the radioactive element was like, its thoughts would surely be quite incommunicado. After all, in its simple worldview, if it couldn't even carry a radioactive element, or even nuclear fission, how could it be considered truly strong? Because from a scientific point of view, nuclear fission is something that genuinely isn't considered advanced, and in the macroscopic universe, reactions more complex and horrifying than it abound. The Big Bang of the Universe, the formation of black holes and neutron stars, the explosion of supernovas, even nuclear fusion reactions are far more complex and high energy. So if you can't even manage a simple nuclear fission reaction, how can you access the higher energy realms? But it's not something to be rushed. It's better to get the job at hand done first. Black Dragon is still quite a professional conduct, and not because of a momentary brain fever, then rush to find academician ding for nuclear raw materials. That also seems too immature and stable. What's more, the job at hand for it was indeed quite important and urgent. After all, something like blowing up a deity, the sooner it was accomplished, the better, or else if it dragged on for too long, it would likely be a long night. Gold was little by little into the grinding teeth, the black dragon in the joy at the same time, cannot help but also some concern, after all, this mouth full of gold teeth looks very wild and cool, but it is also equally easy to attract hatred, if it was accidentally exposed outside of its borders, it would easily be subjected to frantic targeting, and it was possible that even some of the gods in the heavens with relatively thin family backgrounds couldn't help but to lay hands on this tawdry black dragon of its, so to be on the safe side, it's best to leave my fangs as they are for now and not enhance them with gold, the black dragon secretly thought to itself, although it also felt that if it also goldenized those big fangs of its main ones, it would definitely be super racy, and directly was pulling the charm value to the fullest, and would definitely charm those little female dragons to the point of wailing, shit, why would I suddenly associate this with this, it's none of my business if the little dragoness screams or not, the black dragon couldn't help but curse, couldn't help but wonder to himself, did it mean that my aesthetics, my xp, had really taken the shape of a giant dragon? Shouldn't it be? Isn't it true that Megalosaurus XP is very free? Not only is it playful, but it's also super flowery. What's so fun about a little she-dragon? Or, wait, 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 brain, calm down. Why are you suddenly deep in thought about this topic? The black dragon shook his head violently, and then was more or less uneasy and anxious. Does that mean it's time for my rut? Not right ah. Giant dragons do not seem to have a rutting period this argument. They are the same as us humans. As long as the sexual maturity, it is not a rutting period all the time. The black dragon quickly responded as well. And, with my current ability to control my body, wanting to inhibit the secretion of certain male hormones in my body is simply not too simple. So there's absolutely no need to worry about being bewitched by some little female dragon to be mesmerized. The black dragon examined it carefully for a while, and found that certain male hormones in his body seem to have really elevated quite a bit so he immediately killed them and forced them to be suppressed. Certain organs are simply revolting, without even applying to the brain, they dare to secrete androgens privately, seriously affecting the balance of the body and the harmony of the brain. Disorganized and undisciplined, the black dragon seriously criticized some unruly organs, they were already restless like this even before they met the little female dragon, what would happen if they really met her? So there is still an objective problem, and I do seem to be showing some signs of heat, the black dragon isn't just shrugging it off but still knows how to be self-reflective. It also boils down to the fact that my life form isn't advanced enough. If it was a pure energy body like a witch spirit or an elemental lord, it certainly wouldn't have this kind of trouble. Here's the guard. The black dragon thought without emotion that pure energy body beings had no entity and no bloodline. 
so naturally they would not have physical urges and desires. However, the black dragon was just saying that, if it was really allowed to turn into a pure energy body creature, it definitely wouldn't be happy about it. After all, the seven feelings and six desires of this thing, it sounds a little trite, but they are precisely the most important spices and components of life. If a person even the seven feelings and six desires have no, which he lived and what is the meaning of it, can still be considered an individual? So the black dragon didn't do anything with certain organs in the end. Just let them review deeply, and also let the brain strengthen their ideological education and vertical management to prevent similar things from happening again. Speaking of which, should I consider donating my sperm to Casa once? The black dragon suddenly thought of this and hesitated a little for a moment. Although academician Ding and the others hadn't taken the initiative to mention this to black dragon yet, black dragon had a personal feeling that they would be quite interested in this. After all, this thing, dragon essence, just by hearing the name, one would know that it was worth a lot. It was all considered one of the most precious substances in the body of a giant dragon. And the Xia Academy of Sciences must be very interested in doing some scientific research on them. However, the black dragon was surprised to find after studying it carefully for a while that there seemed to be very little dragon essence in his body, and the activity was generally very low. No way. I was talking about bringing the undead to the country to see the Concordia Clinic, but I didn't realize I was actually an infertility patient myself? The black dragon was dumbfounded, although it also knew that as powerful transcendent beings, the genetic material of a dragon might be more complex, and it was unlikely that there would be as many sperm as there were humans. Who could fuck out hundreds of millions of offspring in a single shot? But even if it is no longer much, a hair at least must have a few tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of sperm. However, the actual situation is far lower than the black dragon's imagination. It is actually less than one of the descendants contained in the average of every milliliter of dragon essence. This is outrageous. How long has this been going on for me? Is it too late for treatment? Is this true of all the dragons? Or is it just my one dragon? The black dragon's mood was obviously a bit complicated, and it heatedly realized that even with its strong control over its body, it was very difficult to urge certain organs to secrete more dragon essence, as if there was a will in the underworld that forcibly restricted its ability to ship out. Well, this world, it seems that there is indeed a deity who is in charge of fertility. When the black dragon thought about it carefully, it did seem not unreasonable that as powerful, long-lived, and promiscuous transcendent creatures, a dragon's fertility would be limited by the goddess of life. After all, if the giant dragons were like humans, and could fuck out hundreds of millions, of them in a single shot no, it doesn't even have to be hundreds of millions, even if it's just a few million healthy and normal descendants, then the entire material world would probably have to be in disarray, and be filled with giant dragons, dragon beasts, dragon people, and other strange and weird creatures everywhere, probably not only the giant dragon, other transcendental creatures, it is estimated that this is also the case. After all, the more transcendental creatures there are, the more serious the consumption of resources and the environment will be. If there is no restriction on their number, then the ecological chain of the material world is afraid that it would have long been played to collapse. So, the goddess of life actually does family planning and is so technologically advanced that instead of fines and physical ligatures, she limits your targets directly metaphysically and at the source. Worthy of being on the same level of great divine power as the sun god Ah, there really is something. Black Dragon couldn't help but feel a little emotional, and had to say that if the goddess of life's way of working, could be a little more humanized, then this operation of his was actually quite good. After all, parents are true love and children are accidents, and a common annoyance faced by many couples in the heat of the moment is that they are so worried about accidentally screwing up that they are forced to take safety precautions on a regular basis. But safety measures this thing, after all, is more trouble, and also very uncomfortable. For this reason I do not know how many people lament. If there can be a safer and more convenient way of contraception would be good. This is when the powerful birth control powers of the goddess of life come into their own. He just needs to adjust his own working style and attitude. Be more transparent, more pro-people and more humanized, so that the user can take the initiative to apply to him to turn on or turn off the body's fertility according to his own wishes. There is no doubt that this will be a very safe and efficient form of contraception, and it will surely be loved by the general public. Unfortunately, however, the goddess of life was a very traditional and stubborn deity, and no one and no god was able to interfere with his authority, otherwise, borrowing his divine power to open a hospital to treat infertility would surely make a fortune. Speaking of which, it seems that the authority of many deities is almost in an absolute monopoly within their corresponding domains, and as long as he wants to, he can completely utilize his authority to profiteer from the hands of intelligent beings in the material realm. The black dragon couldn't help but think that. For example, the sun god, 
he could completely use his monopoly on sunlight to force a market-oriented operation, and if you wanted to bask in the sun you had to pay him money on a regular basis. Another example is the goddess of life, who is fully capable of exercising her position of control in the realm of life, and intelligent beings who want to have children must also pay him money. Why didn't any of him do that? Didn't he love gold so much? Instead of waiting for believers to make spontaneous sacrifices, wouldn't it be more profitable to just use divine power to squeeze them? The black dragon was puzzled. In fact, not only this point, it also had another question that it had never figured out since those indigenous gods loved gold so much. Then with his ability, why didn't he dig and mine the gold himself? Instead of having to let the human beings, the other intelligent races, offer it with their own hands? After all, the god's abilities were far more powerful than those of humans, and the efficiency of finding and digging for gold was unknown to be many times higher than that of humans. Even the earthlings were able to use satellites to find veins. And those gods in the sky were surely more likely to find gold than the intelligent races outside their borders if they were so inclined. Could it be that it's because of his power that he can't interfere too much with the material realm? The black dragon chewed on the gold as he pondered. But that doesn't seem to make sense. After all, even if he can't go down personally, it's perfectly possible for his own minions to do it. Couldn't that god of light have just let the angels come down to earth, directly sending a hundred or eighty angels down to earth to dig and rob mines? Wouldn't that be much more efficient than humans? Rather collect gold little by little from the hands of their devotees than no no to mine it. Are those gods out of their minds? Or is there a bitterness that has to be the case for the program to be correct? The black dragon vaguely felt that there was probably a great deal to be learned here. It took the black dragon a night to absorb a ton of gold. It's kinda incongruous to have a ton of weight on your head all of a sudden. The black dragon kept shaking his head in order to allow his brain to quickly adapt to the relevant data and establish a new equilibrium. Speaking of which, my body suddenly has a ton of extra gold which is connected by blood, and I wonder if Hepburnian will sense it and summon me to a dream meeting again? I now, don't seem to have any special need to him, contact with him not only can't fetch any substantial benefits, but also easy to expose the secrets of the body, the black dragon thought so, and then asked the brain, oh, wrong person, it was the heart, to see if there was any way to pull the plug and block out the Hypernian, so that he couldn't just give himself dreams anymore, the heart quickly returned a reassurance, brain had just paid it this morning, Plus the scientific research team had contributed a few hundred grams of gold to it in order to study the golden dragon's blood. So at this moment it was quite content and had a good work ethic. The sword comes. Hey, if only you'd been so obedient. The black dragon let out an old fatherly sigh. And with an invisible hand, gently patted the heart. The main reason why this guy was so honest was also because of this. The black dragon had managed to learn the mage's hand from the immortal bird. And as soon as the heart dared to be dishonest, it would just straight up give it a good old punch. However. The black dragon is also clear that this is actually just a superficial harmony. After all, this heart of it is so mysterious. How can it be overcome by a few old punches? But it is just taking care of the face of the brain, and it is just settling down for the time being. Hey, why are you so deadhead? Deadbeat refused to say where you come from. We are all in the same company. Inside a body. Naturally, we have to unify our thoughts and work together. How can it be considered a thing when you keep engaging in suspicion and internal conflict like this? Brain couldn't help but talk to Hart again, which it had been enjoying nagging him about nothing for a while now, to establish and maintain its leadership image. Black Dragon offered to have some radioactive elements to play with, which was certainly fine. However, weapons grade uranium 235 is definitely not possible. That thing is also too dangerous. For safety reasons, Academician Ding let people find some iridium 192 that is not very high in abundance, and try the water for the Black Dragon first. Then the Black Dragon's reaction was actually, reflexively jumped up and popped away far away at once with a look of having seen a ghost. No way. Is that outrageous? Before the Black Dragon's brain could even react, the body's protection mechanism activated on its own, directly overriding the brain's authorization and forcibly taking the body away from those radioactive materials. Isn't it just a little iridium 192? Reaction that needs to be so big? The Black Dragon feels very puzzled. As the saying goes, everything exists radiation. Only the strength is not weak, before their own in the territory, to stay not also quite good, that his body, in fact, there are in the adaptation of the rules and mechanisms of the territory, coupled with their own this powerful body, it is reasonable to say that the radioactive elements should have some resistance to the right, why is it that when confronted with a radioactive element now, it is such a reaction, aren't you usually quite capable of eating anything, but how come you've become such a wimp when it comes to radioactive elements, the black dragon looked at his shivering heart, which even seemed to beat half a beat slower, and inexplicably disappointed, he couldn't help but say, 
Why don't you get over it and at least taste and try a little bit? Maybe you'll think it's pretty tasty? After all, if we can really eat radioactive elements, then it's a big bull. You know a kilogram of uranium-235 release of energy, it is worth 2, 700 tons of coal, able to generate 7, 5 million degrees of electricity, such a high energy energy substance, you actually also cannot grasp, actually also do not consider to get into the hands of a little, is really to let the brain disappointed. The black dragon counted down in a flurry of words, it had been quite torn, in case its own heart, was really capable of digesting and absorbing radioactive elements? then did it feed it or not? If you keep it, you will be able to realize nuclear power freedom directly. Just give it the whole 3 or 5 tons of uranium-235, and it is guaranteed to walk sideways in the material world, even running to the sky if nothing else, and fatally beating up some low and middle level divine deities is not a problem. The only pitfall is that, being overpowered, the heart is likely to be out of control of the brain and turn against it, but now it's good to not have to dwell on it like that. It's actually not as capable as it thinks it is and it can't even harness a nuclear fission reaction. Originally, I had speculated that those gods in the sky would have nuclear fusion reactions at the core of their energy, while the demons and devils in hell and the abyss have nuclear fission reactions at the core of their energy. The black dragon couldn't help but lament. Now it seems obvious that I was overthinking things that simple. Oh, Mr. Huang, in fact, this conjecture of yours, we at the Summer Academy of Sciences had it before, only to find out later that it wasn't the case. Academician Ding walked over and said with a smile, thinking on the bright side, this is actually a good thing. After all, if those indigenous gods, indeed, relied on nuclear fusion reactions for their energy, then he would surely have long ago done everything possible to move towards the deuterium tritium elements within our borders. And the more he fears the radioactive elements, the more powerful our mushroom bombs will be. That's true. The black dragon thought about it. And it was really true. If those gods and demons, really lived by nuclear fusion and nuclear fission reactions, then it was really a bit of a bad idea, and the deterrent ability of nuclear weapons must have been greatly reduced. It might even be possible for even a worse, more outrageous picture to appear, some powerful demon lord that just ate the nuke you fired in one bite and then gave you a nod of approval. That would be truly despairing. So the fact that the powerful creatures of this world can't harness nuclear fusion and fission reactions is a completely good thing, and in turn becomes a great advantage that Xia can look up to. The wonder of fairywood. But when you think about it, it's still a little disheartening. After thinking about it, the black dragon suddenly said to Academician Ding, I still want to give it a try to see what adverse reactions will occur when the radioactive element is in my body in order to know just how harmful and toxic it is to transcendental beings. If it really is a highly toxic substance, then I'll have nothing to do but carry a little for defense and take it to put down other transcendental beings in the future. Academician Ding marveled a little at the black dragon's brain circuits always coming up with some novel tricks using radioactive elements as poisons against other transcendental beings. Well, that's kinda scientific. I also don't know if Mr. Huang used to have such a nature, or if he became like this after turning into a giant dragon. Academician Ding couldn't help but mutter and think. The scientific research team actually had psychologists do an analysis in this regard. According to Huang Zhe's parents and friends, the previous Huang Zhe's brain circuits were quite clear and joyful, and from time to time, he would have a strange idea and come up with some ludicrous operations to make people laugh and cry. However, Academician Ding seriously suspected that this aspect of Mr. Huang's condition must have worsened after turning into a giant dragon, considering that this proposal of the black dragon was indeed very valuable for research and reference. Academician Ding satisfied the black dragon's idea and had those iridium-192 diluted another hundred times before bringing them over for the black dragon to drink. This concentration of radioactive elements may be similar to the nuclear wastewater from Fukushima. I believe that the black dragon should be able to carry it. Otherwise the transcendental life in this world that is too fragile. After all, any toxic substance is given a certain dose, a certain concentration, in order to become a deadly threat to living things. And facing the iridium 192 after diluting it a hundred times, the black dragon was obviously not as fearful and resistant as before, and had more curiosity and anticipation in its heart. Curious, he put his head forward, sniffed, then licked and found that it seemed to carry the day, so he couldn't help but gulp down several mouthfuls. For this operation of the Black Dragon, Academician Ding and other staff are dumbfounded, and worried and speechless, just now you are not still scared like a little rabbit, how to turn around and drink on it. Mr. Wong, how are you feeling? Seeing the Black Dragon with his eyes closed, pestle and mortar smashing his mouth back, Academician Ding couldn't help but ask with concern, how to say. The Black Dragon thought for a moment and replied, there is some bitterness and numbness, 
then a medium level of spiciness, and some uptake. Overall, it's like a high level of ergwotu with a few peppercorns and a spoonful of chili powder added to it, and while it is quite hard to drink, it's not completely unacceptable. This analogy, this is called being able to accept? Academician Ding looked at the black dragon with a worried expression, wondering if this was food poisoning and eating its brains out. Really? I'm not lying. I can really take it. The black dragon explained. My body's taste nerves. Aren't they quite dull? It's been a long time since I felt sweet and sour. This stuff doesn't taste very good, but at least it's flavorful, isn't it? Academician Ding was silent for a while, then said, Mr. Huang, let's not talk about this. Why don't you tell us what kind of specific reaction these radioactive elements had when they entered your body? Specific responses. The black dragon felt it carefully and said, These radioactive elements in my body. It seems that some kind of violent reaction did take place. Basically the organs and tissues that were affected by it. All of them showed different degrees of burns and tears. But probably because the dose wasn't enough. These symptoms are all within tolerable and reparable limits. And overall, I'm feeling pretty good about myself right now. Really want to make an analogy. I think this thing, a bit like fake wine, hard to drink is really hard to drink, hurt the body is really hurt the body, but really is to drink up, but also a bit inexplicable on the head. After saying that, the black dragon couldn't help but gulp down two more mouthfuls, and then a mask of pain first appeared on his face, and then he quickly let out a long breath, revealing a contented, pained look. Academician Ding froze for a few seconds before he hurriedly advised, Mr. Huang, you should drink less, after all. Fake alcohol harms people and drinking is a mistake. It's okay. I know in my heart that this amount won't put me down. The black dragon's eyes were a bit mesmerized. And he grinned broadly. You really don't have to tell me. It's quite a good feeling to drink some fake alcohol once in a while. And you say it's okay. See what kind of nonsense you're talking about? Academician Ding said seriously. Mr. Huang, before there's a specific reaction to figure it out, I suggest you'd better drink less of this stuff. Said then let a side of the staff. Hurry is to get rid of the remaining iridium 192, although the black dragon was a little reluctant, but also did not block. After all, if this is only the brain on the head, the heart and other organs are still very resistant, very pushed, completely radioactive elements as a flood beast. The reaction of rejection is very obvious, but if it's only to this extent, it still seems to be almost interesting, not so much as to make my body produce such a serious fear and resistance, although the black dragon's eyes were a bit disoriented. His thoughts were still clear and he couldn't help but say with some confusion. It had originally thought that the toxicity and threatening nature of this thing, radioactive elements, to gargoyles and transcendental creatures could be very great, and could even lead to serious consequences such as genetic collapse and soul collapse. The reason why it would feel this way was because, just now, when it was faced with a higher concentration of iridium-192, its reaction was indeed a little too intense. It was almost as if it had encountered a natural enemy and its first reaction was to sneak away and escape, not to mention resisting, it didn't even have the courage to face up to it, the black dragon strongly suspected that even if he had faced a real deity head on, he probably wouldn't have panicked or wimped out like that, it couldn't even help but both speculate that the radioactive elements in the territory were probably a law based weapon to the dragons, to the transcendental creatures, capable of ignoring defenses and posing a deadly threat to them, but when the black dragon really tasted it, it realized that this thing, it seems to be not so mysterious, and it can still be carried by gritting its teeth. Kiosk. Could it be because it's not concentrated enough to produce a qualitative change yet? Academician Din also found it a bit strange to offer a conjecture. Maybe. The black dragon thought for a moment and said, then why don't you take some weapons grade uranium 235 and try it? Don't get excited. I'm not stupid. Of course it's not for me to try, but to find other transcendental creatures to try. Is there any infamous and vicious transcendental creature in our neighborhood these days? Just so I have the time now to consider going to capture it and sentence it to euthanasia in plain sight. Academician Ding carefully sized up the black dragon, then seriously said, Mr. Huang, please be honest with me. Is this an itchy paw of yours? Simply because you want to go out and find an opponent to fight and get drunk? No, no, how is that possible? Do I look like that kind of dragon? The black dragon denied it and said, this is just me simply trying to figure out whether or not radioactive elements are a kind of poison to us transcendent beings, or else this query is always bottled up in my heart, and I'm sure it's super hard to bear. And, if there really exists that kind of illegal criminal, I go to catch it back to ambush, is not also contributing to the country's law and order is not it? Okay, Academician Ding thought about it, and believed in the evil of the black dragon for the time being, saying, I'm not going to lie, 
A transcendent creature has really appeared recently, stirring up a great deal of public discontent, and quite a few immigrants in the safe region have been reacting to us, hoping that the country can step in and help them get rid of this scourge. What's the bogeyman? As soon as he heard that there is really a job to do, there is a fight. The black dragon immediately came to energy, hurriedly as the small paw paw tucked away, concentrated on listening. Looks like a hellhound. Academician Ding replied, according to the investigation of the intelligence department, this hellhound, it seems to be invited by a tribe of werewolves that have recently migrated from the security area, without killing all the werewolves in this tribe. This hellhound is estimated to be unable to give up. For this reason quite a few immigrants of other races have also strongly suggested to our country that this werewolf tribe be expelled from the safe area as soon as possible. After all, to be able to provoke Cerberus, this werewolf tribe is obviously burdened with the curse of hell. Even if it escapes this, it will surely be in constant trouble in the future. Werewolves? The black dragon was a bit puzzled and said, Don't I remember, that our recruitment and resettlement of immigrants from outside the country mainly takes into account their racial strengths in order to develop a quality labor force, and it seems that werewolves are excluded from this, right? Not only do they have a bad reputation, but they are also lackluster in terms of talent. They can't catch up with the minotaurs in terms of strength and stamina, and they can't beat the dogs in terms of hole punching and digging. They're completely useless consumer populations. So what's the point of recruiting them? The safe zone controlled by the Summer Kingdom was certainly not a place where any race could migrate in, and powerful races like the lions, trolls, and vampires were clearly unwelcome. Mr. Huang, werewolves are actually not as bad as you say. Academician Ding smiled. Although they are the ones who have little talent for doing physical work, they are still very professional in the area of being security guards and joint defense members. They have a bad reputation and are often labeled as crazy and bloodthirsty, but in reality they are very social and disciplined. With a good nose and bright eyes, and with a little bit of training, they can become excellent security officers. We are also mainly considering that in the future. Our country's industries outside the country will certainly become more and more numerous and spread out, and the demand for policing and security will certainly become greater and greater. So after much research, it was realized that the Lycans were still very talented in this area, so they were allowed to migrate as well. Getting werewolves as security guards, M, I have to say, this operation is a bit outrageous at first glance, but when you think about it, it seems like it's not impossible. After all, there's no one who says that werewolves can't be security guards, even synthesize all aspects of the conditions. The wolves are really quite suitable to engage in security this piece, as long as they sink their teeth deep into this industry get it wrong and even lead to a serious involution. All the police dogs are whole off the job, so that werewolf horde, it's still quite valuable and necessary to cultivate. Hellhound doesn't come to properly serve as a dog to a summer people not to mention hunting the people's loyal dogs. This is simply intolerable. The black dragon was righteously indignant, and after asking for the location, he didn't go out immediately, because creatures like Cerberus like to hang out at night, and it was hard to find them during the day. And Academician Ding had another task he wanted to communicate with the Black Dragon. The content of the mission was actually quite simple. That is, they wanted the Black Dragon to go to the sky to explore and gather some information in situations, so as to make some preparations for growing mushrooms afterward. Personally, of course I'm fine with it. I'm just a little worried that I won't be able to fly that high. After all, that's a thousand kilometers. The Black Dragon said with some difficulty, this going to the sky to explore the road. Naturally it has to be more than 1,000 meters high altitude. The Black Dragon estimated that with his own flying ability, want to fly to that height, it is estimated to be a little bit hard enough. After all, the ability to fly had always been its shortcoming. Although it had learned a lot of flying skills from its immortal bird classmates this while, and managed to break through the 100 mark in speed per hour, but this speed is obviously not enough, and cannot match its curiosity. Chasing dogs, whisking chickens may be no problem but want to conquer thousands of meters in the air. I'm afraid it is not enough. That's a problem. Academician Ding scratched his head, letting the black dragon go to the sky to explore. Naturally it had to be the sky within the territory. Although after activating the charging ability, the laws within the territory were a lot more forgiving to the black dragon. There was still a not insignificant suppression and weakening, so I guess he could just play out one third of his strength. So trying to get the black dragon to fly thousands of meters into the air on its own was indeed a bit unrealistic. Tell you what, I'll get someone from the space department to look into it later and see if there's a way to get you up there. Academician Ding thought about it and gave Black Dragon this reply. Send it up? The Black Dragon froze for a moment, then couldn't help but ask curiously. Academician Ding, when did our aerospace sector become so powerful, actually able to throw me hundreds of tons of things, to thousands of kilometers of high altitude? 
Which model of rockets this uses? Ah, uh, not with rockets. Academician Ding seems to be a bit hesitant, hesitating for a while before saying, I don't know if you have heard of a nuclear powered manhole cover. Mr. Huang, a nuclear powered manhole cover? The black dragon froze for a moment and said in disbelief, This manhole cover thing, it can actually be nuclear powered? It's actually an accidental outgrowth of what Pretty Country used to do when they were doing underground nuclear testing. Academician Ding explained, The principle is to dig a deep well in the ground, bury a nuclear bomb, fill it with water, and then cover it with an iron manhole cover weighing several tons. Then by detonating the underground nuke, the enormous energy, having nowhere to be released, creates a huge impact upwards, giving the manhole cover an extremely high initial velocity. The wonder of fairy wood. This initial velocity, which can even reach 50 or 60 kilometers per second, is seen by many as a great weapon to use against aliens. We've used this method to deal with those evil gods in the sky before. Not to mention, apart from the uncontrollable hit rate and the difficulty in finding them again after they've been hit, the power is really amazing. There was a time before that when every now and then some unknown creature would try to cover our skies from the sunlight and moonlight, and it was only after we had taken a few shots that it came to its senses and no longer dared to make any small moves. It does sound like, is pretty awesome. The black dragon was surprised, it hadn't realized that the country could actually use this method against the gods in the sky in addition to laser weapons. And this nuclear-powered manhole cover is simply a kinetic movement. And the cover itself doesn't involve any advanced technology, so its energy may not even decay much after it's shot beyond the borders. However, the black dragon quickly reacted as well, and said to Academician Ding with wide eyes, No, Academician Ding, you don't think you want to use this way to send me to the sky, right? No no no, absolutely not. This is also too damn hardcore. You which is trying to send me to the sky, simply want to send me away for pleasure ah. I'd rather you guys strap me in for a missile launch liftoff than do this manhole cover to the sky. Mr. Huang, I wouldn't have thought of this if I could have had a missile that big to shoot you into the sky. Academician Ding hurriedly said, and you have to trust our technology at the Xia Academy of Sciences. We've already conducted more than a dozen such launches and have accumulated a wealth of data and experience as long as the yield of the nuclear bomb is controlled. With your physical strength, Mr. Huang, riding on such a nuclear-powered manhole cover will definitely not be dangerous. Academician Ding, you can quickly stop talking. My heart is not good. I can't withstand such stimulation. The black dragon quickly stopped. Although it said so on its lips, it somehow actually had an inexplicable expectation in its head. After all, sitting on a nuclear-powered manhole cover this simple and rough thing, just think about it is enough to make the dragon stimulated, if it really can be successfully realized, definitely counted as a great achievement of the dragon life, enough to blow a few hundred years, academician ding, does it have to be a technological solution, the black dragon didn't dare to think about it anymore, and hastily changed the topic and asked, can't we use some magical means, such as teleportation or something like that, on the hands of our summer academy of sciences, we should have collected some teleportation scrolls at the moment, right? teleportation scrolls. Academician Ding pondered for a moment and said, there are indeed some, but this thing is somewhat evil. Not to mention us, even those intelligent races outside the country don't dare to use it indiscriminately so easily. Why? The black dragon said curiously, although it hadn't awakened its inherited memories, it had carried out some understanding of the teleportation technique and teleportation scroll thing. After all, this thing is considered to be in the fantasy world, the most magical and heaven-defying technology only need a simple teleportation array or a teleportation scroll, to be able to realize the space jump, it is simply off the mark, if XAS was just more curious about the rest of the magical techniques and principles of this world, then it definitely qualifies as an obsession with this teleportation thing, after all, as long as you can research and understand the technical principles of this thing, there is a chance to unlock the mysteries of space, the transportation industry will usher in a historic change, no longer need to build so many kilometers of railroads, Direct repair of the transmission array is finished, obviously more convenient and much less trouble. Even if the space piece could be thoroughly researched and understood, it might be possible to know how Xiaogua had traveled to this world and if there was a way to travel back again, because magic like teleportation has pretty much been banned in the material realm. There's a big problem with the mechanics of how it works, Academician Ding explained. Currently, except for a very few fixed point teleportation arrays, Using teleportation in other places and under other circumstances is not only very difficult, but it is also very easy to run into dangers and accidents crashing into the space-time turbulence. According to our research findings at the Summer Academy of Sciences, the reason why teleportation is able to achieve spatial leaps is that its principle is most likely utilized to some higher dimensional subspace. Since it's a higher dimension, 
There are naturally many unmeasurable dangers inside this dimensional space, and a close-distance teleportation might not be a big deal, but a long-distance teleportation must find a way to ensure stability and safety between these two points, and carry out regular cleanups and maintenance before it can be used. In our opinion, the teleportation array can be regarded as a kind of magic highway, which needs to be constructed and maintained before it can be used, or else it will be easy to soar into the unknown space, get lost, not to mention going back but also often face the danger of life. And at the moment teleportation magic in the material realm is pretty much sort of disabled, and that higher dimensional subspace seems to have had some major change of heart, and is in a period of furious turmoil, making it difficult to establish a safe and stable connection with it. We've experimented with teleportation scrolls many times before, and in the end they all failed without exception. Change in turmoil in the higher dimensions of space and time? The black dragon was inexplicably somewhat touched in his heart, and subconsciously thought, could this be because the emergence of our summer kingdom has led to a huge change in the world line and timeline, which can't be repaired or stabilized for a while, but the fact that the teleportation thing was banned wasn't a bad thing for Xia, after all, this thing is good to use is good to use, to be able to give Xia's pioneering development outside the country to provide great convenience, completely do not need to invest so much manpower and material resources, repairing railroads and highways to make a big infrastructures, directly spend money to invite a few mages to build a few teleportation arrays, will be able to achieve the same effect, and the efficiency and profitability will be obviously higher, but this thing will also make the summer country lose a lot of advantages, other aspects not to mention, alone military this piece, it is very unacceptable if the teleportation magic is not disabled, the summer country is not easy to a nuclear bomb smash down, people directly at teleportation to run away, this also let a person how to play, it is also too uninteresting, so the fact that teleportation magic was disabled and everyone was on the same page definitely called it a good thing for Xia, and the infrastructure maniacs could obviously kill again. 171. 6 tons. It's not bad. Down another ton or so. Every time Black Dragon comes back, he weighs himself once to check his weight loss, and so far it looks pretty good overall, and he should be able to accomplish his goal of losing that 20 to 30 tons of weight in 2 months. Mr. Huang, actually you don't have to put up such a fight. What the naturalized gargoyle wants is mainly a show effect. You just need to fake a skinny and bony appearance. It doesn't really matter exactly how much you weigh. And we can even help you fake it. It's fine. I can just as well cut back and have some fun. The black dragon replied indifferently. Finding that using its subjective consciousness to shed weight was actually quite rewarding. Effectively providing it with familiarity and control over itself. And sort of bringing the brain down to its base level. By the way. Academician Ding. How is your research going on that golden dragon blood thing? There's no clue as to what's going on at the moment. Academician Ding shook his head somewhat helplessly and said, The impact of the microscopic field being locked up on our research is just too great, and many experiments simply can't be carried out. Well, being locked up below the micron is really quite overwhelming. Black dragon is more or less the same feeling. Most of the scientific research staff is some kind of obsessive compulsive disorder. If even the micron field cannot break through, then what to talk about science? Seems like there have been scientists before who had a cognitive breakdown and chose to commit suicide because they couldn't see a direction or hope for their research. The black dragon was pondering. It vaguely remembered that when its own body fought against the radioactive elements before, something deep in its soul seemed to have shaken and collapsed. It was only due to the subjective consciousness of the black dragon, which had another, more intuitive and stable perception of the decay of radioactive elements, that it did not lead to more serious consequences. Is it because of conflicting worldviews that you are afraid to look squarely at the microcosmic realm for fear of cognitive collapse and self-destruction? The black dragon inexplicably thought of the possibility that perhaps the process of radioactive elemental decay was really harboring some kind of great unnameable horror for the creatures of this world, and that one look at it would contaminate them into madness and collapse. D.O.T.s. No, by locking down the microcosmic realm, the creator is not actually restricting everyone, but protecting them? The black dragon frowned realizing that things might not be that simple. Mr. Huang, how much golden dragon blood can your heart generate at most every day now? Academician Ting asked. I'm not really sure about that. I'll have to ask first. The black dragon first agreed, then with a somewhat odd look in its eyes. It said, it replied that its production capacity at this stage is 100 drops per day, but there is room for improvement. As long as we wait for it to eat in 10 tons of gold, then it will be able to carry out industrial upgrades to reach one. 000 drops per day. Here's the guard. The black dragon is actually a bit surprised. It did not expect their ghost heart is quite with the times. Actually comes with an upgrade function. As long as 10 tons of gold, it can evolve to version 2. 0. 100 drops. 
Academician Ding mused. This amount was obviously not enough for the large country of Xia, not to mention 100 drops, even 10,000 drops or 100,000 drops per day. It was far from enough, but the good thing is to be able to upgrade. 10 tons of gold to upgrade once. 100 tons of gold is estimated to be able to upgrade for the second time. 1,000 tons of gold to upgrade for the third time. It's just that if this goes on, I'm afraid the Black Dragon will really have to evolve the Godhead. For this ability of the Black Dragon, Academician Ding did not know whether to be worried or pleasantly surprised. And now that the Xia Academy of Sciences had some understanding of the gods of this world, it vaguely suspected that the goldenization of the body was in fact likely to be a kind of deification. And if the Black Dragon's heart was able to absorb 10, 000 tons of gold, then there was no doubt that its life form would be completely deified and it would become a powerful deity. But the question was, was Xia's position in this world, and Xia's longevity, really something that one deity could maintain? Or maybe the people of Xia really need to find themselves a deity? Academician Ding and other academicians have discussed this issue in depth, and almost all of them are in denial. Xia's position and future in the material realm could never be guaranteed by just one or two deities. The people of Summerland, too, definitely don't need to find a deity to lord over them. There is no god in communism, unless everyone is a god. What's more, if Mr. Huang did turn into a deity, then it wouldn't necessarily be a good thing for either it, or the Xia kingdom, because the power of divinity was, without a doubt, very powerful. It would, in all probability, completely obliterate Huang Zhe's humanity and become a higher dimensional, and also colder, creature. At that point, not only was it possible for Xia to get nothing out of it, but it had lost an important friend of the dragon folk. The settlement assigned to the werewolf tribe by Xia was actually quite good, less than 40 kilometers from the national border, with mountains and water, and fertile land. And according to the plan, soon the place will also be connected to kilometers and railroads. The transportation is very convenient. The future does not rule out the possibility of developing into a large city. The patriarch and clan elders of the werewolf tribe were very satisfied with the arrangements made by the Xia people. And at that time, they patted their chests and made a promise that in the future, they would definitely change their past mistakes, and live their lives peacefully, and would definitely not cause trouble indiscriminately again. The entire werewolf tribe had nearly 300 werewolves, which was considered a medium-sized tribe, and in the past, there were actually quite a few human and jackal slaves, only that later on, they heard that the Xia people disliked this set of things so much that they had to bear the pain of releasing them before deciding to immigrate over. Then the wolves soon regretted for this. Because they found out that those slaves who had been set free had actually come to the safe area controlled by the Xia people to beg for a living, and they had also repeatedly approached the Xia people to complain about the various illegal and criminal facts of the werewolf race and demanded to be dealt with seriously. At that time heard the news. Can be everyone angry hair exploded? The reputation of the wolves is not very good, but you jackals, you human thieves can be good. Actually have the nerve to sue me, if I had known that I should not be merciful to let you go, but directly killed a hundred. It's good to know that the Summerlanders have said that the Summerlanders laws, which don't govern what happened to you in the past, don't engage in recourse, don't expand, and don't discriminate on the basis of race. After all, if we really want to do that, then not many of these races that are currently immigrating have clean hands, and once an opening is made, then it will inevitably provoke a wave of denunciation and prosecution, leading to an expanded crackdown that will not be conducive to unity and stability. That's why the Xia people's attitude is to let bygones be bygones treat everyone equally, and just look at everyone's performance now and in the future, and hopefully, look forward as well. The leader of the werewolf clan, Un Tu, was grateful to the Xia people for being sensible, after so many years of uprooting, he and his people really needed to find a place to flourish, hasn't the big brother, Summerlander replied yet? A few werewolves found Un Tu panting, and one of them said, that dead dog Greer keeps us here again, and the clan won't last much longer with him tossing them around like this, yes, boss, we were told that the Xia people are powerful and have the power to shelter the immigrant races in the safe zone. That's why we accepted their many harsh conditions and migrated here. Another werewolf chimed in. If they can't even deal with a hellhound, then we're screwed. That's right, big brother. Since they Xia people don't come, then we can only go and find them to come and run straight to their base. They can't afford to see them die when we get there, can they? Ridiculous. What nonsense you are talking. And two angrily slammed the table and said, isn't it just a hellhound? What's the big deal? We as a pack have been hunted by it for more than 40 years. And aren't we still fine? Greer's curse? We made it ourselves. It's our own business. It has nothing to do with them Xia people. It's a favor if they are willing to help us. If they are not willing to help us then there is nothing to complain about. We'll just carry it on our own. But really according to what you say, 
run to ram the summer country people's base, out of what consequences you can afford, several werewolves looked at each other, not knowing what to say for a moment, if in the past, this big brother of theirs, certainly can't say such a responsible, level words, that is, a month ago, had the honor of being invited by the summer people to participate in a few learning and training, only to become this way, no, that is not called learning and training, Anto has repeatedly emphasized that it is called deep study, that is the Xia people invited him to pay a state visit, and through these several times of deep study, the advanced and powerful civilization of Xia had deeply stimulated Anto, a well-informed and pretentious werewolf, deeply aware of the backwardness and ignorance of himself and his people, he vowed to change the fate of his people's suffering against heaven, so he came back, the ingredients to learn the advanced experience of the Xia people, nothing like organizing meetings, the beautiful name is brainstorming, but in fact, basically he is a person to say, moving the development, reform, point out, emphasize in other words hanging in the mouth, if he hadn't been able to ask for a large subsidy from the Xia people, and if he hadn't been able to have melons to knock down during meetings, people would surely have thrown him out of office a long time ago, one step to immortality, but what about that hellhound, a werewolf asked anxiously, the steel and cement promised by the Xia people hasn't been approved yet, and our village's limited defense capability won't be able to hold back that mad dog for long, don't worry, I've got it covered, and too was confident, said, last time I specially bought a few bags of good dog food from the Xia people, you guys take it and feed it, it will naturally stop when it is full, god have mercy, the other few werewolves, whose intelligence was obviously not great either, actually had no doubts about this maneuver of the matriarchs, and actually rushed out with two bags of dog food in their hands, then not long after, a few people rushed back later with their asses in the air, big brother, your solution doesn't work, that hellhound won't even eat, there's no reason for it, I'm eating it and it obviously tastes pretty good, Untu muttered, then stood up and said, never mind, I'll make a trip over there myself and talk some sense into it, then when the black dragon rushed over, he happened to see Untu there against the Cerberus, absolute loyalty is actually essentially a genetic defect, which is especially prevalent among you canines, Palos, you should have your own independent mind to find the meaning and value of your own existence, and you cannot give everything, to others to dictate, the black dragon originally couldn't understand the werewolf language, it was a surprise study of a few, well, actually ate a few scrolls of language understanding before leaving, and then his brain suddenly opened up and mastered the ability to understand the werewolf language, it had wanted to watch the action first, however, the black dragon's sense of presence, was simply too powerful, even while it was in the night, even if it was already very quiet, it was still quickly discovered by both sides of the line, then the group of werewolves and hellhounds, surprisingly, laid down and turned their guns in unison to aim at it, the uninvited black dragon, M, the black dragon actually has nothing to say, after all, the black dragon's infamy is there, spread all don't know how many years, although there is a contradiction between the werewolf and the hellhound, but then again there are some blood and incense on the love, while the dragon this greedy and overbearing invaders, but is the unabashedly life and death of the great enemy, Untu was at least a progressive werewolf who had gone to Xia to receive training, and Cerberus had been working as a dog under the big man for a long time, so he could still pick up the major and minor conflicts, Roar, seeing that everyone was not treating them, the black dragon didn't bother to beat more, and was directly the dry fighting man on the line, brazenly pouncing towards that hellhound, at first this hellhound also grimaces, seems to be with the black dragon to break the wrist, but really wait until the black dragon that hundreds of tons of weight, accompanied by unparalleled momentum smashed down when, this legendary dog, which looked fierce and ugly and weighed at least a few tons, directly whimpered and ran away with its tail between its legs, M, so wimpy, the black dragon almost did not break the car, the heart is very surprised, is not heard that the hellhound this thing are super fierce super brave it, and if this guy is still the king of the magic wolf greer raised senior breed, the will to fight should be very strong only to, according to reason, it should at least fight with itself for two to three hundred rounds, how come it played a yo-yo in this light, if your master finds out about this, I'm afraid he'll beat the shit out of you, the black dragon secretly spat, but his body's reaction was not slow at all, and immediately turned on full power to chase after the hellhound, careless ah, I did not expect this dog to be so capable of running, black dragon some chagrin, don't look at this dog thing blockhead is very big, but run up can really not slow, rampage like a small tank, even if it is restricted by the terrain, the speed is still often soared to hundreds of kilometers, the black dragon wasted more than two hours, frozen didn't find any opportunity to start, if I had known it was like this, I should have gotten my fellow immortals to maraud, black dragon broken thought, and this broken heart is also, 
Do not see me or anxious into this, do not know to come to an angry and anxious, help me to break through in the proximity, directly pull the flight speed to full. After chasing and whisking for more than an hour, seeing that the hellhound still had no trace of fatigue, the black dragon felt that there was nothing he could do about it today, and was about to give up, but unexpectedly the hellhound actually stopped in a ravine, and then barked furiously at the black dragon in the sky. Mad, mad, mad. Needless to say, its broken voice screaming was simply super unpleasant. The black dragon searched for it this is probably not much good words, so it did not let the brain to use the language Tanshao translation, and even instructed the relevant auditory nerves to directly filter and shield it from these noise pollution. Wasn't. So wimpy just now. How did he go wild so quickly? There must be a demon when things go wrong. The black dragon is cautious and prudent. It doesn't want to roll over on a dog. It carefully surveyed the ravine subconsciously feeling that this stupid dog is afraid that it has not returned to its own lair, that's why it's so bottomless, no, if it's just the lair, it doesn't provide it with so much courage, after all, even if you answer its kennel so what, not still can't beat me, instead, it may also be a big defeat, if not careful, even the home is gone, so this little ravine, is afraid that it is not as simple as it seems, with this in mind, the black dragon didn't rush down to dry out the stupid dog, but searched the neighborhood to see if he could find a few large rocks to smash down and try the water. It had to be said that although the black dragon was not in the drop in the aspect of flight speed, the piece of strength was still very good. Soon it found a big stone of more than a hundred tons, directly flew to a height of thousands of meters, and with a little aiming, it fiercely smashed into that small ravine, and seeing black dragon's maneuver, that hellhound immediately became anxious and began to frantically spray purgatory fireballs into the sky in a bid to be able to defend this missile from black dragon. Not to mention, the first shot really let it give a blind cat a chance to catch a dead rat, and managed to use the inferno fireball to shatter the boulder so that it didn't cause any major damage to the valley. However, this has already made the black dragon confirm that there must be some weirdness hidden inside this ravine, so it continued its efforts, and went to find several big stones, and swooped and spiraled, and changed its tricks to accelerate the stones, and looked for the dead angle of the air defense, and played with that stupid dog in one attack and one defense. However, in this kind of one-sided beaten game, the pressure and difficulty that the defense side was facing was definitely much higher than the attacking side, and under the unremitting efforts of the black dragon, he eventually managed to break through the Cerberus's defenses, and pushed a 200-ton rock to the bottom of the ravine. The black dragon then witnessed a small landslide and earthquake, a terrifying will coming from the depths of the earth and crashing down on the black dragon, making its entire dragon couldn't help but win a cold war, it wasn't so much fear as it was a kind of inexplicable exuberance. It just felt permeable all over. I didn't realize that this place is actually an abyssal crevice. You dog thing is really bad drop. Actually want to trick me down and then cooperate with your master to eat me. The black dragon looked at the prostrate, uncontrollably wagging tail of the hellhound. The heart suddenly realized, no wonder this guy will suddenly be so bottomless. Dare to be in a dog fight. No, it is a dog fight against the wolf. It turns out that this place is actually a gap in the abyss. You dog thing is really bad. Actually want to trick me down to cooperate with your master to shave me. His master, Greer, is the king of demon wolves, a deity shared by all wolves and canines, an ancient and powerful demon lord of the abyss. The Summer Academy of Sciences has been searching for a way to get to the abyss, and I didn't think I'd actually stumble upon it. The black dragon watched the abyss with interest. The material realm didn't really have many passages to the abyss and hell, especially after teleportation type magic was disabled and many of the abyssal gaps were being repaired automatically. It wasn't easy to make a trip to the abyss nowadays. The black dragon could feel that inside the abyss, there was also a pair of eyes quietly looking at himself, but both sides were quite qualified at the moment, not swearing or spitting, just silently scrutinizing himself. What are you looking at? In the end, it was the black dragon that really couldn't hold back and couldn't help but taunt. After all, in this situation, if it didn't spit out those three words, it would definitely regret it for a long time and would definitely be chagrined and unable to sleep whenever it thought about it. Languages, but the versions were generally low, and for the time being, they couldn't translate a high-level language like demonic language. However, the black dragon felt that he should be saying harsh words. After all, he had taken someone's dog, and chased it into his home, which could be said to be a very serious slap in the face, even if Greer was not actually a crazy dog lover. But this was certainly a big problem for the black dragon. However, the black dragon does not feel sorry at all. Who let your girl raise a dog without a leash? And also fucking loose? I do not know as to let this hellhound hurt how many innocent lives. I killed it not only does not break the law, but also obviously still in the people to get rid of the harm. The black dragon and Greer went against each other for a long time. 
neither of them could do anything about it, and in the end, probably because of his age, it was Greer who couldn't take it first, and directly disconnected and rolled back inside the abyss, now I'll see where you're going to run, the black dragon made a split second decision, finding the right opportunity to direct an evil dragon predator and successfully taking down the Cerberus Palos, who hadn't reacted much yet, see, your loyalty is actually worthless in the eyes of your master, who sells you when he says so, the black dragon held the hellhound's doggy head down on the ground with one claw, and while being spirited, he was searching for what material to use to create a leash to tie it down, and since it could run so well, should he break both legs first just in case? Oh, the hellhound whimpered and struggled frantically on the ground, and even with the black dragon's chi, it took a lot of effort to hold it down, this naturally made the black dragon a little difficult, if there was no way to be able to subdue it, then I guess the only way to bring it back was to bite it half to death and for the dragon wants a dog this kind of thing, the black dragon is still more or less a little bit of psychological baggage, if it happens in a fierce battle is not a big deal, but this is in a calm time to bite a dog, more or less still a little bit of shabby, so as a last resort, the black dragon had to consult his all-powerful, but not quite all-powerful, heart, well, the heart actually really has a way, stating that the black dragon only needs to provide a thousand, no, five hundred grams of gold, and it will be able to generate a drop of black gold dragon blood. This black and gold dragon's blood contained a powerful force of law and curse, almost equivalent to a contract that could be used to control the hellhound. Black gold dragon's blood. The black dragon realized that his heart was quite good at doing business. First he got a gold dragon's blood. Now he got a black gold dragon's blood. Then in the future, was there a platinum, red gold, green gold dragon's blood? 500 grams is impossible. A hundred at the most. The black dragon was more or less interested in this black gold dragon's blood, after all, if this thing really had miraculous effects, then there was no doubt that it would be a powerful weapon used to bind and control the various transcendent employees of the future, but in doing business like this, there must be bargaining, even if the object of the transaction was one's own heart, that was no exception, didn't see that it was originally going to shout a kilogram before, and then maybe it also felt outrageous itself, and took the initiative to reduce it to 500 grams, but the black dragon seriously suspected that with the heart of that urination, 500 grams must also have a lot of water, and it must be brought down as much as possible. After a bit of haggling, the black dragon was finally the one who managed to ship a drop of black and gold dragon blood at a price of 180 gold, and applied it to the hellhound. Not to mention, the effect was quite good, although it was not so much as to make the hellhound's attitude turn 180 degrees Celsius, fawning and kneeling to the black dragon in all sorts of ways but it was obviously too much stronger than just now, and more or less complied with some of the black dragon's simple commands, with things done, the black dragon was almost ready to go back, but before that, it had to find a way to memorize this location and see if it could bring the people from the summer academy of sciences to study and explore it in the future, after all, going up to the heavens and down to the earth, in addition to the gods in the sky and the many gods in the heavens, the Xia kingdom was also very interested in the abyss and the hells under the earth, only that it had never found any way of contacting them in the past, and now that the black dragon had found a gap in the abyss, it naturally wanted to focus on conducting research, go back to the road is actually not difficult to find, after all, it has not been long, Cerberus ran through the road traces are still very obvious, as long as the road to find back, back to the summer country should not be difficult, now what the black dragon had to do was to determine the location of this place to make sure that he could find it next time, after all, this was more than 400 kilometers, if he didn't keep track of it, he wouldn't be able to find it the next time he came, without latitude and longitude and satellites, it's kinda inconvenient to try to locate, the black dragon muttered and looked around, not finding any good markers, so he decided to fly up into the sky and take a look, Yavin Bar, 3000 meters, 5000 meters, 10,000 meters, the black dragon hovered and climbed, it actually wanted to climb vertically, after all, it was cooler and faster wasn't it, but unfortunately its current wings weren't powerful enough to provide that much lift, black dragons don't live on oxygen, so 10, 000 meters in the air and flat ground doesn't really feel that much different to a black dragon, so this is it, the black dragon looked down at the terrain below him, and compared it to the map in his mind, and got a general impression of where the abyssal slit was located, just as it finished its work and flew back, it inadvertently saw a cumulonimbus cloud not far away, in which electricity was flashing and thunder was roaring, the black dragon couldn't help but fly over curiously, intending to study it up close, nowadays, it was also considered a big user of electricity, and its perception of electrons and electric potential was extremely sharp, and it clearly felt that inside this cumulonimbus cloud, 
There didn't seem to be any obvious difference in electric potential, but rather, it was another kind of energy, or element, that aggregated and collided there, finally releasing the lightning. But what this energy and element was, the black dragon could not say. How about trying to see if there's any difference between offshore lightning and onshore lightning? The black dragon was eager to try. In fact, when it was in the territory, it had the urge to go over and take a natural lightning bolt. After all, the voltage of the lightning bolt was, obviously, much more powerful. So maybe it might have some unexpected effects on the body of the giant dragon. Previously, the immortal bird classmate had used lightning to ignite the totem flame, which had undoubtedly given the black dragon a great deal of inspiration, this thing. Lightning, had a very crucial role to play in the advancement of transcendent life forms. In addition, there is also a theory on the earth side that lightning was frequent in the early days of the planet, and it was probably lightning strikes that led to the conversion of organic matter from inorganic matter, thus giving birth to the first life forms. That is to say, there is actually some scientific basis for something like Thunderbolt, which exists in immortals. Maybe the high intensity lightning could really promote the evolution and metamorphosis of life forms making them more advanced and perfect existences, so the black dragon couldn't help but wonder if he should find a thunderbolt for himself as well. Unfortunately, the Summer Academy of Sciences was not very supportive of the black dragon's idea, and felt that it was being whimsical, after all. People had never heard of the existence of a lightning tribulation in the material realm, and the immortal bird's classmate's experience was most likely just a lone example, coupled with the fact that the heavens weren't very kind, and that there hadn't been any major thunderstorms in a while. The black dragon's idea had to end up being a non-starter. However, this time it was outside the country. Since it was encountered, the black dragon naturally wanted to find a few thunderbolts to strike, to see what is the difference between this lightning outside the country, and the high voltage electricity within the country. Well, crisis perception and the heart, there is no strong reaction, which means that this operation of the black dragon should not be very dangerous. In the mythology of our summer kingdom, Raising clouds and spreading rain is the exclusive function of the dragon clan. The black dragon flew into that cumulonimbus cloud, inexplicably a little hyper. The reason why it cooperates so actively with the weight reduction is actually the existence of a small mind to see if it is possible to use its own subjective consciousness to adjust the control of its own appearance, so as to make it become the appearance of the oriental divine dragon. It can't be helped. The image of the western fantasy dragon is really too ugly. The black dragon also has its own pursuit of beauty. Naturally, it wants to improve its face value, considering that the black dragon's physique was too large and hard. Counting on external plastic surgery was definitely out of the question. So the black dragon could only utilize its own subjective initiative to see if it could change its appearance from the inside out. Give some face, at least electrocute me a few times? The black dragon flew into the cumulonimbus cloud in a flurry, expecting the lightning inside to greet its intruder warmly and give it a full horseplay with a crackle. Unexpectedly these lightning, as if they had eyes, deliberately avoided the body of the black dragon. Several times the black dragon obviously predicted the location of their appearance, but when it pounced over, these several should have appeared in the lightning, froze alive to hold back, and along with the black dragon's constant chasing and rampaging, this originally powerful cumulonimbus cloud froze and was churned up by the black dragon. No way, what's going on here? The black dragon was puzzled. Couldn't it be that there existed a deity in this world who controlled thunder and was afraid that he would steal his electricity? so he had to stop in time? But as far as the black dragon knew, there was no god of thunder in this world, and the authority of thunder and lightning, which had always been empty, was held concurrently by the goddess of nature, a great divine power. To say it's a part-time control is to say it's not, because the goddess of nature is a deity with a very faint presence and hardly ever actively interferes with the workings of the material realm. It's no fun, so no fun. The black dragon has some grievances, which was originally high, want to accept the nature of the electric shock massage, but did not expect it so big a cumulonimbus cloud, unexpectedly is not able to play, directly quit the scattered. But doesn't this also mean, that I am to some extent considered to have mastered the ability to change the climate? The black dragon was pondering, although other dragons were raising clouds and calling for rain, while he was just stopping the rain, it was more or less a climatic weapon, and it should come in handy for some use in the future. The black dragon turned back to find the hellhound originally wanting to take it back to the territory. But just now he saw in the sky that this place didn't seem to be very far from the volcano where that inferno demon lived. Originally, this fight with Cerberus was not very enjoyable. The black dragon's desire to fight, instead of being released, was suffocated even more. Naturally, it was very eager to go to the inferno to have a good fight. At the same time, it also considered that it seems that it has been a long time. No, it is never to go to the volcanic lava to take a bath. 
and for this it has some expectations in its heart. The black dragon then changed his mind and took Cerberus towards the volcano where Inferno resided, but as it flew, it also thought of the question of whether the Inferno was considered a protected animal or not. It is not that it is nonsense, but for this issue, the experts of the Summer Academy of Sciences is also a relatively large controversy, has not been able to characterize. It was reasonable to say that Infernals were demonic creatures, heretics without compromise, destined to be at odds with humans, and shouldn't be included in the list of protected animals. But the strange thing was that the existence of the Inferno seemed to have a relatively positive effect on the stabilization of the natural environment, and its existence was able to effectively reduce the frequency of volcano and earthquake eruptions, and communicate the interaction between the underground energy and the material realm. The Summer Academy of Sciences has been having a look at the existence of the Inferno, the threat and value to nature and the Summer Kingdom, and at the moment, overall, it should be more of a value than a threat, because creatures like the Inferno, in fact, are also relatively homely, and rarely leave the volcano to roam about. That is to say, Xia is actually more inclined to classify the inferno as a protected animal. After all, the number of this thing in the material world is really small. If it becomes extinct, it might have to be reintroduced from the abyss, from hell, not to mention the difficulties, but also prone to not being able to adapt to the soil and water, causing all kinds of unnecessary trouble. So the guidance that CAS gave to the black dragon was actually that if it was a fight with an inferno, it was better to try to be a little lighter on the hands, so as not to actually kill the person. The black dragon is not in a position to do anything about this. The CAS considers the value of the inferno to the natural world, whereas its black dragon considers the economic value of the inferno. First of all, as a level 7 life form, inferno was undoubtedly an excellent laborer. Whether it was moving mountains, or digging mines, the efficiency was absolutely stellar. Coupled with the volcano is good tourism resources. If there is inflammatory magic such as a snake involved in the operation, it is absolutely half the effort, as long as the digging of a few large volcanic hot springs, to engage in some of the characteristics of the program, to apply for a 5A level scenic area is absolutely easy. For this kind of transcendental creature that could get money, the black dragon had always been very appreciative, and had also set a principle for himself that he would never kill if he could be subdued. But then again, since they were transcendental creatures, then surely they all existed with some economic value, and even if they were no longer good, they could be thrown into the transcendental zoo for business. It's true that lava still feeds dragons nah, the black dragon didn't take much time to arrive at that volcano, and then followed the volcano's crater and directly plunged down with a jerk, comfortably roaming inside the hot magma, occasionally gulping down a few mouthfuls of thick magma, not to mention how enjoyable it was. After turning into a dragon, Huang Zhe is actually also often bathed. Pay attention to a dragon health is on the one hand, on the other hand, mainly because of the conditions at that time bitter, often hungry, nothing to go to the lake to bathe, not only can drink water to feed the hunger, but also to catch some fish to eat, but the unusual lake water, the temperature is only around 20 or 30 degrees, obviously can't provide any good experience for the black dragon, the most suitable bathhouse for it, but also the volcano this kind of high class place will do, strange, I've come here to kill the family but that inferno demon didn't react either, the black dragon soaked for half an hour, all the places are almost strolling, but also very unethical peeing a few times, pretending to mark the territory, actually did not see that head of the inflammatory devil jumped out to resist a protest, a fine and so on, like when the head of the turtle, having come all the way, the black dragon was of course not satisfied with this attitude of the inferno, since it refused to come out, then it had no choice but to take the initiative to find it itself only to see the black dragon dive under the volcano with a jerk, using the dragon might aura as a bioradar and looking around for the inflamed demon, then soon this inflammatory devil, was caught by the black dragon, at that time it is shrinking in the bottom of the volcano slumber, originally today is not intended to be open for a good night's sleep, so even if you know that the black dragon kills door to door, but also still is big, from, degree, heart, as not know, as if nothing happened, however, it was not expected that a dang yen demon, all restrained into this, this black dragon actually still refused to give up, froze to pull it out and beat it up, if it could be tolerated, the inferno demon immediately became furious and angrily fought with the black dragon, a 7th level life form was indeed extraordinary, and the fight with the black dragon was so astonishing and earth shattering that the black dragon's freshly strengthened dragon teeth accidentally chipped off one, at that time, it could make the black dragon so angry that it was directly a small universe eruption, and almost didn't ring off the head of the inferno demon. This sound battle lasted for a full day and night, the black dragon finally finished venting its energy, patted its butt and flashed away in a refreshed manner. Originally, 
It also wanted to use the black gold dragon blood to contract this inferno demon. But the heart indicated that the inferno demon was not a bloodline creature, but an energy body life, and the black gold dragon blood was not able to contract it, so it could only call it quits, and plan to come to take care of it a few more times in the future, and with love and heartfelt emotion, slowly subjugate and sensitize it from the mind, body, and soul, and it would be taken down one day. The black dragon had just flown out of the crater humming a little tune when he saw a giant yellow dragon, confronting his hellhound. Ha! Huh? The black dragon's eyes lit up, and it was instantly interested. Truly speaking, this was still the second giant dragon it had encountered. Nowadays, there were very few gigantic dragons in the material world, and a hundred thousand square kilometers of territory did not see the existence of a gigantic dragon. So even if the Black Dragon learned from the internal information of the Summer Academy of Sciences that there were nearly 40 gigantic dragons active around the Summer Kingdom, it did not think of taking the initiative to pay a visit. The reason why it was like this was also mainly because it felt that, with the other giant dragons, it probably didn't have any common language, and if it went to them rashly, not only would it not be fruitful, but it would also easily reveal its own bottom line that it was a Summerlander in dragon skin. However, today actually accidentally encountered a giant dragon. It is estimated that it is also to come to this volcano to take a bath. Still let the black dragon somewhat happy. It does not matter whether it can make a good relationship or not. The main thing is that I want to learn well from it. What actions and reactions will normally be made when unfamiliar giants encounter each other? Opposite should be a brass dragon. Male. Adult. Level 6. Weighing about 40 tons. The black dragon didn't move as it sized up the other. And it wondered how the brain had gotten this information. Male ah. That's no fun. The black dragon was inexplicably a little out of energy. As for the brass dragon on the opposite side, at the first sight of the black dragon, it was like an enemy, and it didn't speak. It just stared at the black dragon with a deadly stare, and its whole body was obviously tense. Roar. The black dragon could see that its desire to escape should be very strong, but for some reason, it didn't put it into action right away, so it couldn't help but give it a roar to see how it would react. The brass dragon was startled by its roar then decisively fluttered its wings and turned around to run. The black dragon decisively chased after him. It wasn't that he wanted to take the other side down for sure, but he mainly wanted to find out just how fast an ordinary giant dragon could fly. It's just about a hundred and one, a hundred and two, and it doesn't seem to be going very fast. After whisking the brass dragon around for half an hour, the black dragon got the data he wanted and stopped. So, it's not that one of my dragons is slow, it's that giant dragons, in general, aren't very fast. The black dragon was pondering. It had actually noticed that the flying creatures of the material realm generally didn't seem to have very high speeds. Even if it was a transcendent creature like an immortal bird classmate that was extremely good at flying, the speed would just about reach the speed of sound. Although it was a lot more powerful than the creatures on earth, it was still far from being so strong that it was incomprehensible and unacceptable. Is it possible that this is some kind of limitation of the material world? The black dragon couldn't help but think of this possibility. After all, it was reasonable to say that it would be hard to call oneself a transcendent being without a speed of a few mocks. But on second thought, if the transcendent beings in the material world, which could easily be a few mock speeds, it would be too much for humans to despair. And it would be basically hard to find anything to live for if they couldn't move without being swept to pieces. Therefore for the sake of the stability and longevity of the material realm, it naturally wasn't implausible that the will of the world would place restrictions on the speed aspect. Seeing that the black dragon didn't catch up, the brass dragon was relieved. Too terrifying, what a powerful black dragon. I'm afraid this isn't already an ancient dragon, right? But isn't the material realm off limits to ancient dragons? The brass dragon was puzzled. A powerhouse like it hasn't been suppressed and rejected by the world's will? Whatever. I'd better stay away from it or if it catches me, it's going to be bad. The brass dragon decided to move immediately. With such a big black dragon around, I'm afraid that this part of the north can't stay. It just so happens that mess. Red is calling on her friends in the south as if she's preparing for something big, so I could go over and join her. M.S. Red had actually made contact with the official Xia country, and was expected to establish a city of her own in the south, which more or less made the brass dragon somewhat impressed. Dragons are not all fools and reckless. This ancient race can sometimes still get some favor and preferential treatment from the years and the world. M.S. Red was one of these lucky ones. She was gifted, a maverick, and a very capable and individualistic dragon. And even though dragons were generally poorly socialized, her name was still known to many of them. Take a vacation. Unbeknownst to Huang Tonglong, the contact between MS, Red and the Xia people had not actually gone very well. Even with her various gestures of goodwill and gifts, the Xia people still didn't agree to Red Dragon's plan to build a city in a safe area. 
and even all of them made it clear that as long as she dared to build it, it would definitely be classified as an unauthorized building, and then it would be targeted for blasting. This red lady felt very angry. The summer people are not saying, do not engage in liquidation, do not engage in political trials, not to blame, look to the future. Even the minotaur, the dog-headed man, these salacious creatures, can be in the safe area of the mixing of wind and water, how could not tolerate their owner red dragon? Her not quite completely summarized brain had even thought of approaching the relevant authorities in Xia to initiate an administrative lawsuit, or going to court to file a lawsuit against Xia's official inaction and racial discrimination. However, the officials of Xia simply do not recognize the legal personality of MS, Red, MS, Red's emissary, and refuse to accept Red Dragon's administrative reconsideration and prosecution. It's all because of that damn black dragon, MS, Red angry for a long time or unable to eat. The thought of that black dragon will hate the teeth itchy. If not this guy suddenly came out to stir up trouble. They must have monopolized the trade with the summer country between the dragon blood, dragon scale, earn a lot of pots and pans. But the Xia people actually really didn't do anything to that black dragon. But let it go, which is quite true to their word in quite a great nation's demeanor. MS, read thoughtfully, how? About I also go around the territory of the summer kingdom and personally pay a visit to the dock and run the procedure to show my sincerity? Even the black dragon who accidentally broke into the country, was treated as favorably as the Xia people, and if he or she took the initiative to apply to them for a visit, the foreman attitude would undoubtedly be more positive and more upright. For political and propaganda considerations, the Xia people should be more welcoming, right? After all, I'm the first giant dragon to officially visit the Xia kingdom, and the Xia people are so concerned about their reputation, I'm sure they'll make sure my dragon body is safe. The more MS, Red thought about it, the more she felt it made sense but the suspicious nature of the dragon still made her a little hesitant. After all, running to the land of the Xia people was almost the same as handing over the power of one's own life and death into someone else's hands. Even with the example of the black dragon in front of her, MS, Red still felt uneasy, and her instincts from years of being a dragon told her there was obviously something about that black dragon. It's bad. It's bad. MS, Red, something's wrong. At this time one of the Xia people under his command suddenly ran over. Roaring in a hurry to bring a shocking piece of news, the black dragon that had been let go had actually run back to the Xia country, and was interested in joining the Xia country's nationality. News from the new Xia news agency. The black dragon Dio suddenly returned to our territory a few days ago and made a request to the authorities that was unexpected by all, it wished to join the Xia nationality and become an honorable and great Xia citizen. I believe that the vast majority of people will be very surprised and surprised when they hear this news. What kind of reason and heartfelt journey prompted a black dragon to make such a choice? With that in mind, our station reporter conducted a special interview with Mr. Doze. We can see that after being away for two months, Mr. Doze the black dragon has obviously lost a lot of weight. His spirit is depressed, and even the scales on his body have lost some of their luster. But his temperament is obviously a lot more composed, and his attitude towards our staff is a lot friendlier. In response to our questions, Mr. Doze was outspoken, and it stated that during the time it had been away, it had bounced around to quite a few places and experienced quite a few things, feeling more and more the decay and backwardness of the world beyond its borders, and feeling more and more empty and lost, unable to find the value and direction of its own dragon life. It's not that I can't stand the darkness, if I haven't seen the sunshine, Mr. Dios said emotionally, it had long suffered from the oppression and slavery of the evil gods, and it could be said to be sympathetic to these words, and nowadays, although its body is free, it is still mentally and soulfully shackled by many dark and backward concepts shackled, and is in desperate need of the sun's warmth and enlightenment. Our values, the values of humanity, peace, development, fairness, justice, Mr. Dios holds this phrase in very high esteem, and it firmly believes that the Xia system, the Xia model of development, is what will bring a true future to the material world. But the value of human beings does not mean that it is also the value of the dragon, and there may even be a conflict between the two. Mr. Dios chose to join the nationality of the summer country, which is tantamount to betraying his own class, so that he is not afraid of being criticized and hostile to other dragons? Faced with this question from the reporter, the black dragon had a firm gaze. It said seriously that the values of the vast majority of the current giant dragons are selfish, one-sided, and wrong, and they seriously restrict the sustainable development of the entire giant dragon community. Mr. Dios said that the values of humans, and the values of dragons, shouldn't be in conflict and that the two can actually be unified through a socialized division of labor. The material realm is not like earth. The situation here is more complicated and worse. We should not only include humans, all other peace-loving, 
Life-loving intelligent races should be a part of we and seek common ground and make progress together. Mr. Dio said that he doesn't care about the naysaying and hostility of other dragons, he only cares about the future of the dragon race, and that he didn't join the Xia nationality for his own self-interest, but in order to find a new way out for the dragons, a great race that has been muddled and sunken for thousands of years, with such a simple, yet firm and incomparable idea, the black dragon Dio's resolutely decided to return to Xia, intending to apply for the citizenship of Xia, and to closely link his destiny with this great country in order to realize the value of his dragon life. Shameless. Shameless. M.S. Red was furious as she watched the news playing on her tablet. How could this damned black dragon be so hateful that it would rush to be a dog for the Xia people? What are you going to make me do? Isn't this forcing the creation of an involution? The technological products of the summer country are not completely incapable of being used outside the country. Only that their service life is drastically shortened and their power consumption speed is greatly accelerated. Speaking of which, the main reason why M.S. Red became interested in Xia in the first place was also because she snatched a Xia laptop, and then she was deeply attracted by this thing, and unconsciously learned a lot of information about Xia, so much so that even her thoughts appeared to be Xiaized. Of course, M.S. Red thought that her level of Xiaohua was definitely not as high as this black dragon. This guy was simply a spiritual Xiaogua, but this guy's ideological awareness does seem to be higher than his own hey. M.S. Red slowly calmed down as well. Looking at the black dragon who was clearly much more mature and stable than before in the face of the camera, she couldn't help but be thoughtful. Compared with two months ago, the level of this black dragon's speech, it is obvious that it has improved a lot, if not to see it with their own eyes was released back outside the country, if not to see it this skinny and bony obviously did not eat and sleep well. M.S. Red even had to wonder if this guy was afraid that he hadn't been locked up by the Summerlanders for two months of ideological education. Chapter 101, Opinion. What do you? The people of the Summerland, think about the black dragon wanting to be naturalized? M.S. Red inquired of the informant. Not being able to use the internet outside of the country is quite inconvenient to say the least, which means that, wanting to keep up with what's going on and policy changes within the summer country, you have to often send people to sneak back into the country to access the internet. Trouble not to mention, but also easy to be caught by the border guards of the summer country, moving to be locked up for 10 days and half a month is undoubtedly a great waste of manpower and material resources. Fortunately, this situation was finally improved after MS. Red took the initiative to sell a batch of dragon scales to Xia. After all, take a person's hand short. Xia although did not allow MS. Red to open embassies, offices and other institutions in the territory, but still gave her emissaries, opened up formal channels of communication, allowing them to go to the designated place to go online to learn about news and information. Currently the mainstream view of the civil society is mainly supportive. After all, a powerful black dragon took the initiative to join our Xia nationality. The enhancement of national self-confidence has a very obvious help. So more than 80% of the netizens are holding a welcome, affirmative attitude. The person who reported the news replied. However, the official attitude of the summer country is still rather vague at the moment, and no clear answer has been given for the time being. Considering the difficulty of applying for Xia nationality, it has always been higher, not to mention that this application is for a black dragon, so I reckon that the authorities may impose some requirements and restrictions on the black dragon and set a certain period of time for observation and assessment before they will consider naturalizing the black dragon, is, such a pain in the ass, ms, red muttered, she inexplicably had a feeling that with the black dragon as an example, the summer kingdom would definitely become more and more formal and stringent in the future with regards to the naturalization of transcendent beings, and the longer the time dragged on, the more difficult it would only be. Good thing MS. Red didn't think about joining Xia's nationality. It just simply wanted to rely on Xia's resources and market. Establish a city-state of its own for fun. And then collect rents, pay taxes, and so on. A small life will surely be very nourishing. Therefore, it was really necessary for the gargoyles to improve their economic acumen. Otherwise how could they make big money by always relying on robbing and collecting protection money to get by? Far better to establish and control a city by themselves and then use monopolistic profiteering industries such as real estate, banking, and taxation to collect the wealth of the citizens. The risk was lower not to mention the fact that the returns would be significantly higher and more sustainable. Is there any way that can contact the damn black dragon? I'd like to have a nice chat with it. M.S. Red couldn't t help but say, she searched, if that black dragon really iron-heartedly joined the nationality of the summer country, then the summer country will certainly be more impermissible one of their own red dragons to establish a city in the safe area. So she sought to see if she could contact that black dragon and then try to get it to change its mind and not get in the way of her fortune. It's hard. M.S. Red. 
The official protection of that black dragon in Xia is very tight, and it's impossible for ordinary people to touch it. The informant replied, but if you're using official channels, there might be a slight possibility. Official channels? MS. Red was a bit surprised and said in disbelief. The officials of the Summer Kingdom are definitely precious about that black dragon at the moment, so how could they possibly dare to let me touch it? Without fear that it will be turned against me? Is to ask MS. Red you to go to play Ker Ah. MS. Red's emissary and wise counselor. Smiled and replied. This black dragon. Doesn't it want to join the citizenship of the Summer Kingdom? Then MS. Red. You can exactly bring up a suggestion. To the officials of the Summer Kingdom to treat your curtsying of the Black Dragon as a test for the Black Dragon to verify if it is genuinely interested in to join the Xia Kingdom. Seems to make some sense. MS. Red pondered for a moment. Then said. But with the preciousness of the Black Dragon. And with my current friendship with Xia. They probably won't easily let me test. My loyalty to the Black Dragon. Unless it's some blood on my hands and some substantial favors for them as compensation for compensation. When MS. Red thought of this. She already had an idea in her mind, searching for whether she should secretly get a few dragon eggs or catch one or two young dragons to give to the Xia people, in order to appear more sincere. Naturally, the black dragon didn't know that its existence had already blocked the way of a certain red dragon's fortune, which was staying in a hidden military base somewhere, waiting to witness the occurrence of a certain miraculous experiment, the release of a small to medium yield mushroom. Speaking of which, the black dragon had never seen the mushroom bomb explode and bloom, and had always had a strong curiosity about it. Coupled with the fact that the Xia Academy of Sciences has always been trying to use the nuclear-powered manhole cover thing to simply and roughly help the giant dragons to complete the dragon spaceflight, so this nuclear test, in fact, is underground, and the main purpose is to create a nuclear-powered manhole cover, so that the black dragons can more intuitively see the principle and power of the thing, thus helping the black dragons to overcome the mental and cognitive stress, and then use this to complete the dragon spaceflight, the Shura Warriors, the nuclear-powered manhole cover also known as the Thunderwell Project, was born in the 1950s and 1960s, based on the principle of first digging a deep well extending hundreds of meters downward, placing a hydrogen bomb at the bottom of the well, then filling it with tens of thousands of liters of water, retaining a certain volume of air, and finally capping the mouth of the well with a tens or hundreds of tons of metal manhole cover. A hydrogen bomb located at the bottom of a well generates energy equivalent to tens of thousands of tons of explosives when it explodes and the liquid water absorbs the gamma rays generated by the explosion, while the tremendous heat instantly vaporizes the water in the well. Immediately the water turns into water vapor. It expands significantly in volume, and then continues to accumulate kinetic energy through the narrow pipe. Eventually the metal manhole cover will gain an unimaginable amount of kinetic energy, and at a speed of 50 or 60 kilometers per second, it will escape from the earth and enter space. At that time, after hearing this principle, the Black Dragon was almost thinking that the management of the Summer Academy of Sciences had a problem, accidentally being mixed into the line of civil scientists, until later it was found that the scientists of the beautiful country, actually really did experiments in this area, using nuclear bombs to blow the metal manhole cover to the sky to play, an initial velocity of 50 to 60 kilometers per second, if this smashes into the body, even if it's a deity, I'm afraid it's going to hurt like hell, the Black Dragon is inexplicably some expectation feeling that this thing, in fact, can be titled as the earthly cannon. As long as the barrel is thick enough and hard enough, as long as the primer is fierce enough, then the initial speed of the cannonballs, not to say that it is to reach the speed of light, but soaring to the initial speed of 180 kilometers per second, it should still be no problem. Mr. Wong, the mushroom bomb will be detonating soon. I hope you can use your advantage in vision to help us determine the speed of this nuclear-powered manhole cover, as well as track its route and location. Chapter 102, Self-Destruct Program. At the same time, Mr. Huang, you can also assess whether there is a greater danger in carrying you up to the sky in this way. Academician Ding said seriously, after more than a month of preparation, and with the strong support of the Black Dragon's dragon scales and tooth bed, the Xia military had already managed to get that 50 million tons equivalent of large mushrooms ready, and was just waiting for the Black Dragon to go to the sky to explore, and then it could be readily dropped off to the gods in the sky to offer their gifts. As for the matter of blowing up deities, the black dragon was undoubtedly considered to have been looking forward to it for a long time. So naturally, he agreed to it in one go. That said, it really wants to go up into the sky for a spin and see what the sky looks like thousands of kilometers above. Are the magical elements abundant there? Does the air smell sweet? And what is the real situation in the stars and divine kingdoms where the gods reside? If the black dragon himself could grab a star, would that be considered being a dengshin? 
63, 8 km per second. Under the control of the command center, the hydrogen bomb buried at the bottom of the mine shaft was successfully detonated, and almost at the same instant, the piece of metal shaft cover placed on top disappeared without a trace. In the end, it was under the frame-by-frame -frame shooting of the high-speed camera that its initial speed was barely calculated, and it was a staggering 63, 8 km per second. However, the high-speed camera only tracked it for a fraction of a second, because in that fraction of a second, the manhole cover had already flown out 20 to 30 kilometers away, and even the most advanced high-speed camera would have a hard time capturing it again. Yet the Black Dragon can. During this period of time, our Black Dragon students have not been idle. In line with the naturalized Dragon script performance at the same time, has not forgotten to study their own, improve their own, the brain for the body's control of the ability to be more and more familiar, but also more and more powerful, than the plugin that the heart tried to forcefully install before. Oh, it was the real eye that wanted to be fused, and it was turned over again by the Black Dragon. At that time, the Black Dragon originally intended to unload it out, but then suddenly some can't bear to part with it, feeling that the quality of this real eye, it seems to be really quite good, with their own body is very suitable, if it is unloaded is inevitably a bit of a pity. Of course with the real eye to replace their original dragon eye, the black dragon is still some dare not, it is just a whim. Another way to learn Erlangshan, also opened an eye on his forehead, the real eye to put there to stay, with the time to open, do not use the time to close, not to mention, really quite convenient, and the name elder dragon god sounds like it's pretty good, the black dragon closed his eyes, then activated the eye of truth on his forehead, and as it watched, it easily tracked the entire process of that nuclear-powered manhole cover taking to the sky. It is not that the performance of this real eye is really too much more advanced than a high-speed camera, but it is as if there is a kind of magic in its observation of data and things, able to see through the essence and straight into the real. For example, when Black Dragon had just used it to track down the nuclear-powered manhole cover, he had entered a very ethereal, magical state, like the kind of bullet time in a movie, where everything but his own brain and that manhole cover were severely slowed down. So much so that the Black Dragon couldn't help but wonder if this thing had mastered the laws of time or something like that at first when he learned about this ability of the Eye of Truth, before realizing that he was overthinking it. Although the real eye is able to produce the illusionary effect of slowing down time, it is essentially actually drastically improving the processing power for pixels and for data through, in order to allow the brain to better absorb and digest the information in this. It's as if a normal video is played at double the speed, but the user can actively adjust the playback speed to 0, 75. 0, 5, or even 0, 1 times the playback speed when they come across a clip that they didn't see clearly, or that is exciting. The Eye of Truth was pretty much on the same principle. It slowed down the flight of the nuclear-powered manhole cover by roughly 2, 0, 0, 0 times, and then naturally it was able to be tracked by the Black Dragon, quite clearly. Of course, the use of this ability was not without a price, it was rather brain-burning, and after each use, the Black Dragon's brain would appear to heat up like a computer with a severe lack of arithmetic power being overloaded and running, and starting to burn the graphics card, so much so that the Black Dragon couldn't help but wonder if this was time to upgrade and strengthen his brain. It took about 18 seconds for it to fly out of the atmosphere. The Black Dragon turned off its true eye and slowed down for a dozen seconds before saying, when it flew out of the atmosphere, it slowed down considerably, and I don't know if it's because the air's resistance has become greater or something else. Mr. Huang, what exactly is this reduced percentage? about 30%, it was already dropping quite a bit in speed as it flew into the atmosphere, and with that much of a drop, it's about 30 kilometers per second, it's amazing that, dropped so much, academician Ding couldn't help but be scratching his head a bit, although they did launch quite a few nuclear-powered manhole covers before, but due to the limited means of observation, they really didn't know the data, so it seems, that this big mushroom of ours is probably difficult to deliver to the doorsteps of those gods, academician Ding felt some pity, Xia's most advanced strategic nuclear missiles, although the range is more than 15,000 kilometers, according to the shooting height is one half of the range calculation, this big mushroom theoretically can be delivered up to 7,500 kilometers of altitude, now we can only hope that the altitudes above 1,000 meters are mainly vacuum based, so that this big mushroom of ours can fly farther and be more threatening to the gods, the mushroom bomb thing, in fact, also needed a medium to be able to spread kinetic energy and create kills, but those gods in the sky, presumably, were more inclined to the existence of energy bodies, and detonating the mushroom bomb in a vacuum environment would be more lethal to him instead, because in a vacuum, the energy released by the mushroom bomb will be more in the form of gamma ray bursts, the equivalent of an oversized EMP bomb, 
which may come as a rather big surprise to those gods who like to engage in pollution and mind control. Of course, Academician Ding must also be grateful that the stars in the sky from the material world does not seem to be very far, if it is the same as the Earth. The distance between the planets is often hundreds of millions of kilometers. The distance between the stars is even more light years as a unit. Then the summer country is really not much of a way to be able to threaten these guys in the sky. By the way, Mr. Huang, with your intuition, do you think that with your physical strength, you can withstand such a nuclear-powered manhole cover? Academician Ding couldn't help but ask curiously. This, the black dragon pondered for a moment and said, it shouldn't be a problem. I think the danger of this thing lies in the huge impact it is subjected to, as well as the friction with the air during high-speed flight that causes the temperature to rise sharply, and at its highest, the temperature may even reach tens or millions of degrees, but such a danger, judging by my intuition, with my physical strength, I should still be able to carry it, that would be great, Mr. Huang, we'll have a nuclear-powered shuttle bus ready for you soon, so please help us scout the sky, line it, the black dragon actually wants to say that this is not a bit of a rush, but considering that the sky does seem to be a bit unsettled lately, and there is always a vague air of intrigue, it naturally makes sense that the Summer Academy of Sciences and the officials would be more anxious. Mr. Huang, long time no see, in the forward base outside the country, researcher Yu Xiaoman, who had just regained her free status, warmly greeted Black Dragon. Oh, you're back. The Black Dragon couldn't help but is sizing him up for a while, and then inexplicably felt a sense of familiarity. Previously, in order to save Yu Xiaoman, the Black Dragon had implanted a drop of golden dragon blood into his heart and he didn't expect that after all this time, this drop of golden dragon blood in the black dragon's body actually still had some kind of hidden connection, didn't you say there would be no after effects, didn't you say no deity worship, the black dragon muttered a little in his heart, then asked, how does it feel to be reborn, did you have any strange dreams, of course it's great, I feel like my body now is more than three times stronger than before, Yu Stalman smiled and said, as for dreaming, it seems that I haven't really had any strange dreams, after going through the transformation of my life form, in that magic-free environment in the territory, my sleep hasn't been very adequate this bout of time, and I seldom have dreams, that's good, I was really worried that you'd be dreaming about me a lot, which would not only be embarrassing, but 9 times out of 10 wouldn't be good, the black dragon thought in his heart and said on his lips, I heard academician Ding say that you're trying to charge your body like me, how about it, did you succeed, no, Yu Xiaoman smiled bitterly and said, Although there is the drop of golden dragon blood provided by you, Mr. Huang, my body, the affinity for electrical energy is not very high. Several times almost didn't electrocute me to death. The black dragon thought for a moment and said, Can you tell me more carefully what changes your body? Your mind, specifically, have undergone after this transformation in life form? Change. Yu Xiaoman also got serious. He also didn't know why. When facing the black dragon, he couldn't help but feel a sense of awe and obedience in his heart and quickly replied, there are quite a few specific changes, first of all, the microscopic realm of the body has been locked up, and you can't see below the micrometer anymore, and there are obvious changes in the height, weight, body temperature, respiration rate, and heartbeat rate, speaking of which I'm not even afraid to laugh at you, Mr. Huang, when my body was fully recovered and stabilized, I even took the initiative to donate sperm to our summer academy of sciences once, and then they found out after experiments that my sperm seemed to be the one that had completely lost its activity and was unable to combine with a normal egg cell. The black dragon is more or less some sweat. Really your people research workers more scientific research spirit. Actually so quickly thought of the Summer Academy of Science's sperm donation. And also put into action. Which like themselves. Dawdling for so long and still a little show. As far as ideas go. Yu Xiaoman said. Maybe it is more indifferent. More paranoid. Right. To science to the country's enthusiasm, obviously is not as high as before, and very easy to be impatient, always feel as if it is necessary to look for what the support, in order to be able to get peace of mind, no way, it's not really going to be the deity thing, the black dragon was a little flustered, then asked, has, there been any noticeable change in my feelings about me, it's definitely there, Yu Xiaoman said without thinking, after all, it was you, Mr. Huang, who saved me, so even if I were to be more grateful and admire you, it wouldn't be too much. I mean, aside from that gratitude, has there been any noticeable change? The black dragon asked with some seriousness. Seems to be a little bit. Yu Xiaoman didn't dare to look directly into the black dragon's eyes and lowered her head. I didn't feel much before, but now when I see you, Mr. Huang, I can't help but feel like I want to worship you in my heart. You researcher, 
You used to be in research, you should know what's going on at this point. The black dragon solemnly said, this would be that so-called deity worship, which is unabashedly superstitious, and I suggest that you'd better get over this mentality as soon as possible, because not only is it good for you, but it's good for me as well. You said that you want to find spiritual support. I recommend that you can go and read more Marxism-Leninism. Read some of the instructor's books. The ideas and concepts in there are what suits you better. I'm not being alarmist. The black dragon continued. I suppose you have heard that I brought back a hellhound not long ago. At that time, I used the black gold dragon's blood and managed to control its body. But later on, when I intended to communicate with it properly and learn more about this new employee, only then did I realize with a start that its intellect was also unknown and it was actually having a big problem. Later that heart of mine told me that as a hound bred by Greer, the king of demon wolves, there exists a soul imprint deep within the consciousness of Cerberus Palos, which we can think of as a self-destruct program, so that whenever the situation is not right, Greer will take the initiative to wake it up and erase the data in Cerberus's mind in order to eliminate any future problems. So after realizing that he might lose control of Cerberus's body, Greer quickly activated the program, erasing all memories of hell of the king of his demon wolves, from Palos's mind, leaving him with nothing but a retarded Cerberus. So that's why, if you also worship me, the relationship between us, might as well develop into this, self-destruct programs on, souls, you Skyaman was taken aback, of course he knew the meaning of black dragon's words, black dragon's golden dragon blood, was probably also a kind of consciousness controlling thing, the current black dragon might not use it, but hell knows if the future black dragon would, sure enough, all gifts from the gods do not come without a price. Yu Xiaoman couldn't help but feel a little emotional. Although the black dragon said that it wasn't a deity yet, it this clearly already possessed certain characteristics of a deity. Let's set a small goal first, such as one second to memorize, book guest house, chapter 103, becoming a god. As a giant dragon that had been taken over by a human soul, had a powerful and mysterious heart, and was able to recharge its batteries, the black dragon knew very well that there was obviously some secret in its own body a great chance and a great mission, or a great conspiracy, perhaps at some point in the future, it might actually be possible for it to condense its godhood and become a deity, yet the black dragon didn't hold much expectation for this, because in its opinion, becoming a deity might not necessarily be seen as a good thing, as the main rivals and enemies in the future, the academy of sciences had never interrupted their research on those indigenous gods, and from what they had learned so far, the gods were definitely not omnipotent, they were more like a profession with many limitations and shackles, and might not necessarily have the same ease of mind as being a dragon. The researchers also suspect that the interference between the gods and the believers is likely to be mutual, the gods are able to influence the minds of the believers, but the believers' thoughts and prayers likewise affect the gods, just like the goddess of love, Freya. The reason why she suddenly ganked the black dragon was probably because she couldn't stand it anymore and wanted to seek help from the black dragon. After all, he, an indigenous deity of weak divine power, suddenly learned that he was actually the one with tens of millions of Xia people believers, his first reaction would definitely not be surprise, but would be shock, because this thing of believers, in fact, there is a high quality and a low quality, and there is also the cost of cultivation, and it is necessary to go through a long period of brainwashing and many tests in order to be able to harvest a devout, high quality believer. However, these tens of millions of Eros believers in Xia are clearly not in this category and the vast majority of them are not even considered pan-believers. They were merely trying to worship for fun in the simple spirit of pragmatism, to see if they could get some substantial benefits out of this Freya's hands before considering anything else. And what's even more frightening is that the people of Xia are in a society with a big information explosion, and the complexity of their thoughts and the degree of dissatisfaction in their hearts are generally more than ten times that of the indigenous people outside the country. It was also a good thing that the Summer Kingdom was currently isolated by a boundary or else these tens of millions of pan-believers would be released, forming a tidal wave of horrifying thoughts that could definitely bring his Eros Freya to downtime, or even into a collapse in madness. This should also be why Freya would go through all the trouble of trying to find the Black Dragon, because he was only a weak deity with limited business ability, and really couldn't suffer the tens of millions of fake fans in Xia. So part-time work is never part-time work, even if it gives a priesthood. The Black Dragon muttered darkly in thought, it reckoned that Freya's situation would likely apply to other gods as well. The more believers there were the more things would happen as well. The thought that if he becomes a deity, he will face the prayers of countless believers all day long, help me become stronger. Help me cut people. Help me introduce a town hall. The black dragon can't help but fight a cold war. Of course, the black dragon can also follow the example of certain gods of higher divine power, completely obliterating their own humanity, 
dealing with the problems of believers without any personal emotional coloring and mechanically. Only if this happens, that God, or is he Juan Zay? It was almost time to go up to the sky, and there was no telling if anything would happen. The black dragon was a bit uneasy about the immortal bird's classmate's study situation, so he decided to visit it once to check its homework and also update its study plan. Immortal bird student's math is still the same as always slag, and it is also obvious that its enthusiasm for learning is also declined a lot. All day just no cat in the nest. Fortunately, what it likes to read, are some gods and goddesses and monsters and so on, rather than any dog-blooded romance. So Mr. Black Dragon is actually more supportive of this hobby of his. After all, books are the ladder of progress, especially this thing. It's very helpful for the improvement of thinking ability and eyesight. Assuming, of course, that it's decent. Has thought of a name for herself yet? After checking the miserable homework of his undead classmates, the Black Dragon sighed, then asked the question once again. In fact, as early as the first class, Mr. Black Dragon had asked the immortal bird students to give themselves a name. After all, although the name thing was just a symbol, it still had some positive effects on the differentiation between oneself and others, and on the stabilization of self-consciousness. The trouble, however, was that immortal bird's classmates seemed to have no small amount of obsessive-compulsive disorder, and even after rummaging through the dictionary, they still hadn't come up with a name for themselves. M.O. has. Mr. Immortal dryly said. Why not yet? Mr. Black Dragon said it was quite difficult to understand. It's just a name. Is it that hard? The undead student was silent for a few seconds. Then said. I mean, my name is M.O. Yao. The Black Dragon had a black line on his face. M.O. have. What the hell kind of name did you obtain? M.O. have. M.O. have friends. M.O. have family. Nothing. Mr. Immortal returned. Isn't that quite apt and graphic for me? Hiss. The black dragon's eyes narrowed. It was really unexpected that this little guy would actually be in a small mood. Is it because it feels that teacher I have less time to accompany it? But what can I do? Teacher. With so much going on, it's nice to be able to find time to come over once a week to visit. But there are definite drawbacks to the formation of its three views by always tutoring it one-on-one -on -one and always letting it learn on its own. The black dragon fell into a deep thought. One of the great characteristics of human beings lies in her unique social nature. Good social nature often allows human beings to produce strong cohesion, creativity, and empathy. As a bird, the immortal bird classmate was already less social, and in many ways it was already inferior to humans. So if it was allowed to be released to learn on its own like this, it was afraid that it wouldn't be of much help to its learning. To its learning of the three concepts, it really is time for you to change your study environment, your living environment, and make some new friends. The black dragon mused. How about this? You come back to Xia with me. Xia is currently planning to set up some school specifically designed to help the indigenous intelligent inhabitants outside of its borders to become literate, so you can pick the school that interests you to go in and study and live. I can't leave the flame tree too far away for too long. Classmate Adina couldn't help but roll her eyes and said, Or can you afford to pay for it in case my house gets stolen? The black dragon was a bit helpless, saying, No wonder your immortal bird clan can't develop. This is too homesick. Always thinking about your own bird's nest. What kind of discovery future can there be? What can I do? The immortal bird classmate said angrily. The flame tree and our immortal bird clan are in a symbiotic relationship. Without the flame tree, we wouldn't even talk about reproducing the next generation. And even we ourselves would soon weaken in age. Well, this reason the black dragon cannot argue. Perhaps this is the genetic defects of the immortal bird clan. It is not good to be too harsh on the immortal bird classmates. Isn't there any way to fix this? Teacher Black Dragon thought for a moment before saying, After all, this flame tree can't be moved. So once it's discovered by a mortal enemy, it will definitely attack and wreak havoc for a long period of time. And your immortal bird clan is alone. So I'm afraid that sooner or later, it will be destroyed. Right? My cure game. The reason why your immortal bird clan has fallen to the present state is largely due to this reason. Isn't it? Gah! Gah! Fellow immortals spiked their native language in anger. And Bang Bang pecked and bit at the Black Dragon. Hey! I'm talking about the matter. You reason a little bit, okay? To face up to the existence of the problem and think of ways to solve it. Always so engaged in the relocation of anger what is the use? The black dragon hurriedly was using his claws to rack it away. In his heart more or less came to be angry. If not for its bird but is not round enough, he himself certainly would have long taken out the majesty of a human teacher and severely spanked its butt. Not that I'm saying you really need to change this foul temper of yours. Always engaging in this kind of incompetent rage. Not only will it not help and solve the problem, but it will often make things even worse. The black dragon said bitterly, We are now trying to figure out how to solve your problem. 
How about this? You give me some seeds, branches, leaves, roots, and so on of the flame tree, and I will take it back to see if I can cultivate a new one? Hearing this, the undead bird classmate instantly became even more angry, angrily struggling violently, and as a last resort, the black dragon could only use its own masterstroke, summoning the great lightning technique to electrocute it with a flurry of violent electricity, which was only then honestly down. So much so that the black dragon suspected on several occasions that the reason the stupid bird kept puking and fighting with itself was that it wanted to get lightning bolts to electrocute it. Now you can talk properly, the black dragon said in a good-natured manner. It's only because I respect you that I'm discussing with you and asking for your opinion. Otherwise you wouldn't be able to stop me if I sneak in some of the flame tree's branches, leaves, and roots. Is that right? Doesn't work. After being electrotherapeutically treated, the immortal bird's classmates really calmed down quite a bit, and said dryly, it's impossible to transplant the branches and roots of the flame tree. As far as seeds go, I haven't seen her set any since I was a kid. Is there really nothing that can be done? The black dragon pondered for a while and said, I've heard of some powerful trees that possess their own consciousness and are able to move on their own. It's only logical that a tree as big as the flame tree should have awakened its own tree spirit. And even if it hasn't, isn't it possible to find some druids and tree people to do the spell for? Upon hearing this, fellow immortals started glaring again, but this time didn't move their claws just huffed, there is no way I'm going to let any druid, any tray ant, come near my family's flame tree, the black dragon somewhat didn't understand how the immortal bird classmate got excited on it again, but it seemed to have heard of it, the two forest based intelligent races, the druids and the tree people, seemed to have a somewhat bad reputation indeed, basically some radical and crazy environmental protectors, and the relationship between them and the summer kingdom was very poor, is there really nothing that can be done, the black dragon said, Classmate MOU, you are shouldering the heavy responsibility of realizing the great renaissance of the immortal bird clan. You need to study more, work harder, and see more of the outside world, so you can't narrow your path just because of a flame tree. Ah, uh, if this flame tree in your house is small, it's just that, you can carry it along to school, but it's a piece that is obviously thousands of meters high, and the net weight is afraid to be several tens of thousands of tons, so how can you still carry it? The immortal bird classmate was silent for a while probably thinking that teacher Black Dragon was indeed thinking about it, and the future of their entire immortal bird clan, and said, the flame tree does indeed possess its own consciousness, and it does indeed move on its own, but it's my elder, so it may not listen to what I say, so if you really want it to move, then you'll have to go talk to it, good lord, so you really do have parents, the Black Dragon was a little surprised, although this thousands of meters high flame tree, it looked divine, but the Black Dragon had come so many times, but had not really felt its consciousness, it was probably hidden deep enough, or slept enough, what to tell it, the black dragon jumped a little, well, the tree had lived for quite a few years by the look of it, so perhaps it was a good idea to inquire about some of the heavenly, material realm from it, give it to me, the undead bird's body that was numbed by the electricity had slowed down, and directly leapt down from the tree, bringing the black dragon to the bottom of the tree enemy, and then pecked open a root with its beak, oozing out crimson sap, you get on your back and take a couple sips and it will feel your presence, and then it's up to it if it wants to talk to you, is, that simple, the black dragon felt a bit magical, and after thinking about it, he said, what is its name, this first time we meet, what should I call it, even I, a bird, didn't have a name before, do you think a tree would have a name for itself, fellow immortal bird impatiently said, as for what you call it, just don't call it mom, why, the black dragon couldn't help but ask, because it's my mom, and you can't take my mom, you were actually born from a tree, the black dragon stared wide-eyed, although there were many creatures in nature that were perverted development, but a tree actually gave birth to a bird, the genus was still shocked to the black dragon, you're the one who's tree born, the immortal bird said in a good natured manner, the reason why we immortal birds are called immortal birds is because our characteristic of immortality is very powerful, and even if our form and spirit are destroyed, we still have the chance to be resurrected over, my mom died shortly after giving birth to me, and her soul merged into the flame tree and fell asleep. M. As expected of a transcendent race whose ancestors had broadened, the talent was just exceptional. The black dragon suddenly felt some emotion. Perhaps it was because it was too powerful that the immortal bird clan was targeted. The sap of the flame tree obviously contained powerful energy, and even the black dragon couldn't help but stir up some appetite when he smelled it. I just don't know what the energy efficiency value, production value, and safety are like, or else I would consider developing it and using it to replace oil. Chapter 104, Projection. The black dragon slurped two mouthfuls of the sap of the flame tree, savoring it as he waited for his opponent to consciously connect the dots. 
have to say, this flame tree sap, is indeed a good thing? Other uses aside, alone the heat value of this piece, less said is also gasoline dozens of times, feel than the black dragon has seen before the life spring water, there are a lot of powerful, of course, the black dragon had reason to suspect that those life springs that Kasa had traded from the elves were probably of inferior quality, or watered down, the flame tree's tree spirit was sleeping very dead, the black dragon had tried many times, almost sucking that root dry, and still hadn't been able to awaken its consciousness, in the end, as a last resort, the black dragon could only make a killer move and turn over the egg laid by the king of immortals in his brain, this move was really effective, and soon the black dragon sensed a will that awakened from the depths of the earth, and then managed to hook up with the black dragon, an excited and friendly exchange followed, m, how to say it, the black dragon is more or less disappointed, it couldn't be helped, probably because it had been sleeping for too long, or because its own IQ was not high, the flame tree spirit's intelligence was very low, and its ability to express itself was very limited, it could only do some simple exchanges, and to try to ask something from it was basically hopeless, and the black dragon's attempts to get it to move and help live closer to Xiao were also rejected by it, the reason is that it and its children, who prefer quiet to noise, are not used to or like living in crowded places, even when the black dragon patted its belly and assured it that it would prepare a vast, off the beaten path nature reserved for it and its fellow immortals, there was still no deal, the black dragon wasn't completely unproductive, though, and when it inquired about the situation in the sky and revealed that it was about to accomplish the feat of a dragon carrying spaceflight, the flame tree spirit was finally reacting, it was thrilled to say that, while it couldn't do much to help with the black dragon's ascension to the sky, it could take the black dragon into the ground, bah, it's taking the black dragon's consciousness deep into the earth for an amazing trip, a sort of rehearsal for the black dragon's journey to heaven, well, going to earth before going to heaven sounds scientific, take my consciousness into the ground, is this the legendary out of body soul, no, it's the legendary projection of consciousness, the black dragon was suddenly agitated, consciousness projection was definitely called a very advanced technique, and many gods and many demons would basically use this trick when they wanted to come to the material realm to cause trouble ignoring spatial distances, they would project their will and power, to a distant place, the black dragon was very greedy for this technology, because it was not only pushy, but also super practical, not only could it be used to manifest sainthood and pretend to be a pussy at a distance, but even both could use it to disguise themselves in human form, because of the projection of consciousness, the shape is naturally at the whim of the black dragon, the black dragon can completely find a witch demon, find a necromancer to give himself a tailor-made body, and then put his consciousness into it, so does not it have a human form, even if XAS was technologically advanced enough, it wouldn't even need to turn to which demons and necromancers to directly 3D print a body for the black dragon to use. It seems like it doesn't even have to be so troublesome. I can totally utilize my powerful subjective initiative and use the black dragon's flesh and blood to pinch a body out for myself. Build myself a trumpet for myself. Crap. With a technique like that, why would I need to go to other gargoyles to learn any shapeshifting techniques? Even if transfiguration is amazing, can it compare to opening a small number like me? Build as many as you want. Build whatever you want. The more the black dragon thought about it, the more excited he became, and made up his mind that he must learn the technique of consciousness projection from the flame tree spirit. The material realms underground was connected to the abyss and hell, and in terms of complexity and danger, it was not necessarily much worse than the sky, so the flame tree spirit allowed the black dragon to follow it around underground to gain insights and save up, which would undoubtedly be helpful for its next journey to the sky. The black dragon had actually long been told that the flame tree's root system was so developed that it could even penetrate more than 10 kilometers into the ground, but it still hadn't thought that the deepest root system of the flame tree was actually directly reaching into the abyss. Dare I say that this flame tree was not only absorbing nutrients and energy from the material world, but also gleaning the wool of the abyss at the same time, so it was no wonder that it had grown so tall and large. The black dragon was still somewhat enlightened. It suddenly felt some emotion. The race of immortal birds was really quite extraordinary. The mystery of their immortality was probably utilizing this mechanism. When faced with to fatal injury, the undead bird can transfer its soul, its core data, quietly into the abyss, waiting for the time, the conditions are ripe, and then wait for the opportunity to come back to life. But a mere dozen kilometers connects to the abyss. The distance between this material realm and the abyss is too close, isn't it? The black dragon was a bit surprised to know that the radius of the earth was a full 6,000 kilometers. If the material realm were a planet like earth, wouldn't that mean that its interior would have been hollowed out by the abyss and hell long ago? With the help of the consciousness projection technique, the black dragon's consciousness followed the root system of the flame tree and pretty much strolled through the underworld, just short of taking a look into the abyss. 
At this the black dragon hesitated for only a few seconds before deciding to wander inside. After all, it was soon going to kill its way to the sky, and even if it was just exploring the path, the danger would definitely not be lower than going to the abyss for a stroll. What's more, he was still projecting his consciousness in a way that even if he was accidentally weighted down in the abyss, it would only be a disconnection, and wouldn't cause any substantial damage to his own body. If you don't even dare to do that, how can you have the courage to run away to the sky? With that thought, the black dragon put his heart on the line and barreled headlong into the abyss. Intelligent beings in the material world have a basically terrible impression of the abyss it's littered with corpses, filled with sulfur and decay, and filled with sin and killing. However, the black dragon's first impression of the abyss was quite good, which was probably because the black dragon liked the volcanic environment and felt close to the scent of sulfur, the flame tree spirit service was very considerate, and even all helped the black dragon simulate its sense of smell and touch in order for it to better understand the abyss. This abyss that the flame tree's root system was connected to seemed to have been specially selected, it was very quiet, and the black dragon didn't see any abyssal demonic creatures, it tried to look around to get some idea of what was going on, it soon drew its attention to a huge corpse on the ground, chapter 105, the corpse, the huge carcass was not a bird, but a demonic creature with horns, it was over 3 kilometers long, and there was no telling how many years it had been dead, its flesh and blood were empty, and only the huge skeleton was left standing there, silently telling of its greatness, I drop turtle turtle, this guy conservative estimate, afraid to have a few hundred thousand, a few million tons weight, the black dragon couldn't help but smash its mouth, it didn't expect that creatures outside the material realm, the block was actually able to grow so big, just this one alone was enough for itself to eat for hundreds of years, since the demonic creatures in the ground can grow to this size, those gods in the sky are probably not that bad, the black dragon cannot help but be a little weak, it had also sought, wait a few days to go to the sky, is not to find a few gods country to turn around, to understand the living standards and working conditions of the gods only, on behalf of the people of the summer country to convey to him care and condolences, at the same time to see if you can give him into a share, now think about it, let's forget about it, if you really meet him, you'll be lucky if you don't get inducted, the black dragon noticed that the temperature in the abyss was obviously much higher than that of the material realm, and the air seemed to be filled with a great deal of pollution or radiation making it easy to get distracted after staying for a long time. Of course this was mainly because, the black dragon's main body didn't come, otherwise with its strength, it should still be able to carry it. In addition to the huge demon corpse, the black dragon also noticed that this place originally seemed to be an altar, and there was something buried under the ground. It was going to dig and take a look, but it was rejected by the flame tree spirit. What was sleeping there was their ancestor, the great king of the undead birds. What? The king of the immortals was buried a long time ago? The black dragon was a bit stunned, so how did it run into his brain and lay eggs before, suddenly returning his soul? In fact the black dragon had never understood what the king of immortals intended by this maneuver. Is it simply wanting to borrow the black dragon's brain to incubate the egg and help him complete the continuation of his bloodline? Or is there some deeper layout? He also did not say it clearly, so he insisted on playing the riddler there. What was certain, though, was that he and his own two-fifths heart, definitely knew each other. The black dragon wandered around the abyss for the better part of an hour, acclimatizing, feeling as if it was nothing more than that, and then returned the way it came. Originally, it had planned to pick up a few demon bones and take them back for research, and if not, it would be fine to retrieve some soil samples and air samples. After all, this was not easy to travel across the border for once, so it was always necessary to bring a little souvenir. However, the flame tree spirit made it clear that it couldn't help. The root system it could reach into the abyss was very small and couldn't carry any large objects on a physical level. Some soil samples are indeed possible, but the flame tree spirit likewise refuses to do it, because that abyss is the holy land of the immortal bird clan, and every gram of soil and every wisp of air there is a top secret, and if it is leaked into the material realm and discovered by the hostile forces, and then tracked down by them to the place where the immortal bird king is, dormant, the consequences will be unimaginable. Hearing this, the black dragon was more or less belabored since it was said to be so important, then why yet it was able to take me there, just because I have one of your eggs in my head, are you guys being overconfident here too, just so sure I can't backstab, of course, having said that, as far as the current stage was concerned, the black dragon should still keep the secret, after all, people trusted them so much and taught them the much needed consciousness projection technology, it would be too unethical for them to turn around and sell them, aren't you going to nag your mom, the black dragon disconnected the connection, then seeing the immortal bird classmate standing guard on the side, he couldn't help but ask curiously, nothing to nag about, classmate Adina rubbed her paws together and said, 
Even if I hadn't been brainwashed by you, even if I hadn't received Xia Hua, I wouldn't have anything in common with my mother. And it woke up for so long this time, overdrawn a lot of energy and energy, the most important thing now is to grab some time to go back and rest. Okay. The black dragon couldn't say anything more. And what was undoubtedly on its mind the most right now was how to get its own trumpet out. The black dragon didn't rush back and started building a number right where he was. I didn't realize that I'm such a big black dragon, but I can't even squeeze out 180 pounds of meat. I'm not too dedicated. The black dragon thought without emotion. Previously, in order to naturalize the dragon's persona, the black dragon had been having a weight loss. Originally according to the filming plan, it would have been eating and drinking, quickly bouncing its weight back. Thus reflecting how positively the sweet-smelling air and favorable material conditions of the summer country were to the dragon's physical and mental health. With himself as an obvious example, those poor and desperate gargoyles outside of the country would surely not be able to resist leaning towards the summer kingdom as well. After all, giant dragons are never slaves, unless they are packaged with food and shelter. Not to mention that Xia had no intention of letting the giant dragons be slaves, but only wanted to attract them to come over to work, and the basic human rights and dragon rights were still guaranteed. However, for the dragon carrying space trip in a few days, the black dragon's weight gain program had to be postponed to a later date, and would have to wait until it returned from the heavens. After two months of micro manipulation, the black dragon's body was currently so tight that the budgets of the major organs and tissues in his body had been suppressed to the limit by his brain. So much so that the brain wants to gouge out 180 pounds of flesh and blood as materials to pinch a trumpet for himself. A time is a little difficult to dilly dally for a long time issued no less than 20 red-topped documents, and only then reluctantly forced the departments to complete the task. With the materials available, Black Dragon immediately used the mage's hand, recalling his old self and started pinching people to build a small number. Something doesn't seem right. Looking at the human body that was gradually taking shape, the Black Dragon suddenly stopped. It realized that it seemed to have thought things through simplistically, and that there were obviously quite a few problems with a trumpet pinched out like that. After all, this is not 3D printing nor is it like necromancers, directly intercepting ready-made human organs from corpses. Black Dragon's approach is more like needing clay figures, only able to carry out the external molding, but on the inner structure, it is unable to do anything. After all, the human body, in fact, is very complex, not to mention that the Black Dragon is not a medical student, is not very clear about the structure of the human body, even if it is very clear, but want to follow the replica out of that technical difficulty. That workload is also too big. The black dragons simply do not have so much time, and not so much energy to die. So this little number built by the black dragon, I guess it can only be in vain. Looking like a person, but the organs inside, the nervous system inside, the endocrine system, basically do not exist. Never mind. Futility is futility. As long as it works, black dragon soon figured out. After all, is version 1, 0, as long as it can run, as long as you can take back to Xia to use on the line, even if there is such and such a problem, you can slowly give it a patch upgrade later. After making up his mind, the black dragon's movements quickened, and he soon pinched the trumpet to look 70 to 80 percent like his former self. Then there was only one last problem left, convincing the heart to start a submine in its own trumpet. I really don't want to be a dragon. Chapter 106, Trouble. Although it's only a small one, and a lot of corners can be cut, the piece of the heart, the energy system, has to be arranged as well as possible. Otherwise, if you run out of energy while using it, and you can't replenish it by eating, you can only send it back for repair. How troublesome it would be. That's why the Black Dragon intends to have his heart open a branch and use its unique charging technology to provide energy security for the trumpet. The heart didn't refuse this. Except that it was a lion's share, it demanded that the brain must be the one to pay it 10 kilograms of gold before it would provide technical support for the trumpet. Shit. It's so dark. Black Dragon cursed on the spot. The current market price of 10 kilograms of gold has exceeded 5 million summer dollars, are enough to buy more than a dozen pounds of low abundance of enriched uranium, when the nuclear fuel to burn are enough to burn the heart for hundreds of years. This dog is certainly sitting on the ground again. Maybe Eaton the Black Dragon want to use the urgent psychology of the trumpet. This time the attitude of the heart is particularly tough. No matter how the brain with it bargaining, how to use force with it threat, it is biting the dust and do not let go will be the greedy face of the capitalist to show the most? Angry Black Dragon would like to find a street lamp to hang it to death. In the end, there is no way. The trumpet is really also a spiritual need. The Black Dragon can only be pinched nose promised, but is a condition. That is, you have to pay in installments. The Black Dragon didn't want to feed this dog so much gold at once, so he softened and forced the heart to accept the installment payment. 
The Black Dragon was originally intended to be divided into a thousand installments, so that each month only need to pay ten or so grams of gold, a thin stream, the risk is undoubtedly a small lower a lot, anyway, with its life expectancy certainly can also support it, but the heart was dead set against it, and in the end it could only be reluctantly divided into 36 installments, with an interest rate of 5 ten thousands per day the main reason why the heart would agree to pay in installments, after negotiating a deal, the heart quickly acted, using 100 drops of golden dragon blood to create a mini heart, rated at 100 w, but the maximum power was said to be able to reach 5, 0, 0, 0, w, and after optimizing and fusing with the body, it was able to store a maximum of 10, 0, 0, 0 degrees of electricity, which was barely worth the price, with the power core taken care of, the black dragon's trumpet basically took shape, and it projected its consciousness into it with some impatience, excited to begin its user experience, then after a short while, disappointment was evident on the black dragon's face, how can I put this, let's just say the experience wasn't very good, it can't be helped that this one, zero version of the body is so crude that, except for the eyes, mouth and ears, the other organs are either just for show or simply don't exist, for example, the black dragon has been quite hesitant to pinch himself a little tick, it's better not to use it, I guess I can't use it anyway, pinching it out is not only a waste of material, but also affects body coordination, it has to be pinched, it's a man's root, even if it's just a decoration, it has to be there, in the end, the latter point of view prevailed, and the black dragon still gave his own trumpet, rubbed one and on, who knows if it will come in handy later, however, the black dragon is also clear, this is estimated to have to be several versions later, after all, the reproductive system this thing, cannot be alone, must be supporting endocrine system, nervous system, to be able to use normally, otherwise, even if it's fully functional and normal, if the nervous system can't keep up and send pleasurable neural signals to the brain, it's a waste of time to use it, after building the trumpet, Black Dragon bid farewell to his fellow immortal bird and returned to the base, while his heart was more or less hesitant, should I tell Academician Ding and the others about my building a trumpet? If they are told, they can brainstorm in-depth research and development of consciousness projection technology, and at the same time, with the collective wisdom and technology, they can accelerate the upgrading of the trumpet, and if you don't tell them, you can secretly open a small number and run out to wave, more free and fast, not to mention, and it is also considered to leave yourself a back road, the black dragon thought about it, and in the end, the latter small mind prevailed, after all, it is a person will have selfishness, although the black dragon trusts his own motherland, but when it comes to their own interests and freedom, more or less can not help but have some reservations, Mr. Huang, that hellhound of yours, has woken up, as soon as he returned to the base, academician Ding looked for him and said somewhat urgently, its current situation is very wrong, please, you'd better hurry over and take a look, if academician Ding hadn't said this, the black dragon had really forgotten that the main reason why it had captured that hellhound back earlier was because it wanted to use it to conduct experiments in order to observe how serious the threat of radioactive elements to transcendent beings really was, so the last time black dragon brought Cerberus back to the base, he quickly cooperated with the staff to experiment on it, holding down its head and forcing it to take a few sips of the low concentration of iridium 192 that black dragon had drank and had said it was good for, but I did not expect, that hellhound actually on the spot his two eyes rolled over, spitting blood, limbs stomping, looking to die a violent death, frightened everyone rushed to use the prepared high pressure water gun to gargle and wash its stomach, tossing and turning for a long time, only barely let it pick up a life, and for this result, the black dragon was actually a bit surprised while its hands were full, it didn't expect the toxicity of radioactive elements for transcendental creatures to really be so high and so direct, at that time it made up its mind to drink more hot water in the future, yuck, it was to drink more radioactive element drinks to improve its drinking capacity, nope, it was to improve its resistance and tolerance to radioactive elements, so that it could carry more of this stuff for defense in the future, and take it specifically to it against other transcendent beings, since the hellhound was in a bad way at the time, and CAS couldn't think of any good way to be able to save it, the black dragon could only resort to the old folkloric method, dug a hole for the hellhound outside the country and buried him in it to see if he could rip the earth's breath back out of his body, now, it seems that this old fashioned method actually worked and actually brought it right back, the black dragon quickly rushed to where the hellhound was, and then sure enough, he saw it with scarlet eyes, howling uncontrollably there, rampaging and wreaking havoc, luckily, Everyone also knew that it was a dangerous transcendental creature, so they didn't go near it much after burying it, and it didn't cause any casualties, isn't, a place where hellhounds can get rabies too? The black dragon saw it like this, 
very much like a rabies attack, and for a moment he could not help but be a little scared too, I wonder if I were to be bitten by it, would I be infected as well, and then turn into a rabid, dragon, but at least it was a dog that he had spent a lot of energy on, and had spent 180 grams of gold to get back with great difficulty, the black dragon did not want to just watch it frantically work to its death, frantically overdrawing its own life, and ultimately coming to its demise, the black dragon felt it was still necessary to salvage it, only to see it decisively fling out its own dragon might aura, summoning lightning, and delivering a crackling barrage of electricity at the hellhound, not to mention, this method really worked, only to see that after the hellhound received a few lightning bolts, its movements obviously stiffened, and the crazy, bloodthirsty look in its eyes gradually faded, of course, ugly as always, good guy, even my drop of black gold dragon blood seems to have been decomposed, is the toxicity of this radioactive element to the transcendental bloodline really this horrible? The black dragon was a little shocked, it even suspected that if it wasn't for the fact that inside this stupid dog, it happened to be protected by a drop of its own black and gold dragon blood, it might have already been directly fucked to death by iridium-192. As a last resort, the black dragon could only endure the pain and spend another 180 grams of gold to get a drop of black and gold dragon's blood from the heart and re-indenture the hellhound. After all, this little thing is ugly, but at least it is also a transcendental creature, as a qualified capitalist. No no no, it is as a qualified spiritual mentor. The black dragon carefully still able to help this hellhound comrade, to find their own position, to find their own value of the dog's life, and to enter into a certain industry to shine. Well, it seems that the railroad planned by the first construction company has already begun construction, and recently it is having a headache of not being able to find suitable supervisors and security guards, worrying that those bull-headed personnel unions will be insubordinate, and because of such and such a reason they will fuck with the staff, causing a bad influence not to mention that it will also seriously affect the schedule of the project. This was great, just the thing to throw the hellhound over to the whole field, and with its great limb strength, it should have no problem digging so many hundreds or thousands of cubic yards of earth per day. With such a good security guard and such a good labor force, it should be quite reasonable for a construction company to offer it a monthly salary of several million dollars. Another lightning save. The black dragon pawed at the hellhound twice, and was relieved to see that it was getting better. At the same time, he also felt that his ability to create lightning in the material world minus was simply a bug-like existence. No matter if there was a disease or not, as long as it was greeted to the head of the transcendental creature, it was guaranteed to make it clear. This guy should be fine. Get him some food and nurse him back to health for a while. The black dragon said to Academician Ding and the others that Cerberus was a carnivore. But of course it could also feed on soul energy. And used to love to hang around in graveyards and feed on human corpses and souls. But since it has submitted to the black dragon, to the Xia kingdom, then this eating habit, this stinky problem naturally has to be changed. After all, it's not like the country can't afford to feed it. Okay, Mr. Huang, I'll have someone arrange it. Academician Ding breathed a sigh of relief. He was really worried that this hellhound would completely lose control and take unmeasurable risks. As a matter of fact, the Summer Academy of Sciences has always been more opposed to conducting such living experiments, because a bad one can make a very serious accident, and it's not good to spread out the reputation, and it's only the Black Dragon that is more insistent. Meanwhile, Cerberus, a creature with a bad reputation, has always talked about human rights to speak of. Mr. Huang, since we've come up with the results, should we not later? In the evening, Black Dragon returned to the base in the territory to recharge as usual, and I don't know whether it was because it was used a lot, or the heart had been progressing and had been activating the potential of Black Dragon's body. In any case, Black Dragon felt as if he had never been fully charged, and whenever he had time, he liked to lay down under the high voltage electricity. The staff was not surprised by this. And once the night came, they would give the black dragon enough free space and basically would not come over to disturb it. But the black dragon also knew that there must be some cameras nearby staring at it. Not so much to spy on the black dragon as to worry about any accidents that might happen to it. Before this is not a big deal. After all, the black dragon's nerves are very big, and do not care if someone is watching it. But now, it is really a bit of a problem. Because it intends to take advantage of the night to go out on a wave in its own little number. One, two, four good guy, there are a dozen of them, it's like there's no dead angle in all directions, CAS didn't do a sneak attack, but put the camera out brightly, and the black dragon easily discovered their position for a moment, by the looks of it, it's probably going to be a little hard to sneak the trumpet out of here, however, after turning into a black dragon, Huang Zhe really liked excitement and challenges, it was like playing a game, the more difficult it was, the more it could stir up its competitive spirit, 
It still doesn't see the point in telling it to throw its trumpet somewhere else and get back online. It's not just cameras. I'm guessing there are infrared alarms and quite a few military dogs guarding. While Black Dragon was looking for a route to bolt, he was also drumming his trumpet to make him look as human as possible to avoid revealing himself. The Black Dragon often had read the news on the internet, but it was not completely out of touch with society. It knew that the outside is now very strict on the flow of people. On the documents, on the security code check, you must have to make a well thought out plan in order to as far as possible not to be exposed. If I'd known it was going to be like this, I wouldn't have pinched the first trumpet the way I used to. The Black Dragon had some regrets. It hadn't thought of this before. It was just excited to build a trumpet and subconsciously followed what it had done before. The infrared thing is good to deal with. My trumpet wasn't meant to be heat generating. The body temperature is basically about the same as the surroundings. Police dogs are also good to deal with. And my body doesn't have sweat glands. So I basically don't leave any odor behind. The difficulty is in the credentials and the security code. After all, that identity I used to have is definitely off limits. Black Dragon's mind quickly thought. An epidemic some years ago. To the summer country has accumulated a wealth of experience. They replaced the health code with a security code. To take the train to the security code. To take the bus to the security code. To stay in the hotel also to the security code. As for how to get the security code. It's far from as simple as buying a cell phone and registering for an account. It requires regular visits to the hospital to receive a checkup since creatures outside of the country. The microscopic realm of the body has been locked up and can't see below the micrometer. So if you can't see the cells when you receive a checkup, there must be something wrong with that person. With the current situation of the black dragon, it is definitely not able to do the security code. Not only the security code, it can't even get an identity document. After all, with the times, with the development of the situation, the summer country for the management of the household registration, is also more and more strict. Chapter 107 Meeting The Black Dragon adjusted his prone position and found a chance to quietly spit the trumpet out of his stomach before projecting his consciousness into it and starting to be human again. The reason why it would be in such a hurry to build a small number was also mainly because, after being a dragon for so long, Huang Zhe's psyche was more or less problematic, and even his soul, which seemed to have already turned into the shape of a dragon, urgently needed to turn back into a human to properly temper it. Moreover, before returning to China, Huang Zhe's heart and mind is to change back to human. Now since there is a method, then naturally have to hurry to try, so as to be considered as not forgetting the original intention. Ha! Why does it feel like the signal is so much worse? Huang Zhe quickly noticed a problem. It found that using consciousness projection within the territory was significantly more difficult than outside of it. The difference here is like a 2G signal and a 5G signal. Not only is the transmission speed and quality of transmission much worse, but even both still have lag and packet loss. Is it because there are no magical elements present in the territory? Huang Zhe seemed to be enlightened, and he didn't know how, but he suddenly associated the magic of consciousness projection with infinite airwaves, and vaguely felt that there might be some kind of common ground between the two. In Huang Zhe's opinion, when humanity's technology had developed to a distantly large late stage, it was actually capable of creating a powerful individual like a giant dragon, or even using it as a kind of toy for itself. It's not technically difficult to understand. Starting with powerful technologies in bioengineering, mechanical engineering, and artificial intelligence to create life forms, aka mechanical bodies, like the gargoyles. Then with a signal receiver installed in its head, people can control them remotely through radio signals, using virtual reality technology. This was vaguely similar to the consciousness projection magic that Huang Zhe was using now. It's hard to get it to work. The signal is so bad. I guess it's hard to take it out for a wave. Huang Zhe was a bit depressed. The main reason why he wanted to change back to his human form was because he wanted to use it to return to Xia society and live a normal life like before. If this trumpet can only be used outside of the country, it would certainly be a lot less interesting. I wonder if there is any way to make this magic signal and infinite telecommunication signal convert each other? Huang Zhe couldn't help but think that in fact, the Summer Academy of Sciences had been conducting research on this thing called magic, only that as of right now, it was not possible to systematize and visualize them as if their inherent laws were disorganized and disordered, and it was difficult to describe and summarize them in words and images. Otherwise, with this powerful industrial manufacturing capability of Xia, it would have long ago built factories outside of its borders to batch process and manufacture all kinds of magic scrolls and magic items. Since the trumpet could not be used within the territory, Huang Zhe's little thought naturally fell flat, so he told Academician Ding and the others about his ability to build a trumpet. Academician Ding they were very surprised, and hastily was cooperating with various tests on Huang Zhe's trumpet, and found that it can at most be able to move within 5 kilometers of, 
the Black Dragon S main body, and if it is any farther away, it will disconnect because the signal is too poor. At the same time, they also realized that although it was only a small one, since it was built with the flesh and blood of a black dragon and had golden dragon blood as its heart, its performance was quite good, almost equivalent to a level 4 life form. Mr. Huang, this ability of yours is also too awesome. With it, in the future, you alone will be a legion. Academician Ding couldn't help but marvel at the fact that the black dragon's body's function of creating blood and flesh was very powerful, and in the future, as long as it was adequately nourished, building 10 or 8 of these small numbers every month would definitely be out of the question. If every trumpet had this strength and this quality, Huang Zhe would be able to make a legion by himself. No no no, how can it be that easy? Huang Zhe waved his hand, although the signal was poor. He still preferred to speak in human form. Even if I could just build small numbers, my brain, at most, can only operate so many as three or two, and any more than that, and I'd probably have to have my hands full, or even a nervous breakdown. This wasn't self-effacing on Huang Zhe's part, but he really did have such a worry. He had never dared to use gold to strengthen his brain, mainly because he was self-aware and knew very well that if he did so, his mind, the core data of his soul, would definitely undergo a huge change, even if these changes are for the better, such as being more rational, sharper, and having a more impressive memory and calculation. But behind all this rationality and acumen, it was often easy to breed selfishness and ambition as well, and a selfish and ambitious dragon would certainly not be like him thinking only of cooperating with the country and working as a cow for the country. That's why Huang Zhe would rather it be his own brain that performs almost as well, purely, than give it kryptonite. It's not easy. Academician Ding smiled and said, multi-threaded operation is actually not difficult at all for a powerful creature like you. A powerful undead lord is even able to manipulate tens of thousands of undead creatures. Mr. Huang you can absolutely learn more about this area of technology if you are interested. Really? Huang Zhe was a bit surprised able to manipulate tens of thousands of units. This technology is really a bit bullish. After all, even the most advanced computers, all of a sudden if you run tens of thousands of background threads, nine times out of ten, it is estimated to be down. This is naturally true. Why would I lie to you? Academician Ding replied. Multiline operation and multiline spell casting can somehow even be said to be the standard of the powerful, not only undead lords, but also existences like elemental lords and demon lords basically possess the ability to use one mind for a hundred purposes. Well, I really don't deserve to be called strong. Huang Zhe is dumbfounded. He is now not to say is a heart of a hundred. Is a heart of two are a little difficult? Has not been very dare to decentralize. Worried about a heart of two finally really get out of the two heart. Anti-client to the master frame to fuck over. However, existences like the elemental lords and undead lords, who clearly had such powerful and practical abilities could rarely make any headway in technology, or even in magic, which showed that just being able to distract and micromanipulate wasn't much of a use, and that there had to be a proper cultural literacy and scientific literacy as well. The fact that Black Dragon was able to open a small number was more or less useful, even though it had more limitations such as sitting in the office with everyone else and having a meeting. In the past, although Academician Ding and the others would spread the spirit and conclusions of the meeting to it, it was more of a formality, and the Black Dragon might not be listening. After all, there are still many things that you have to be specifically involved in to be more on top of things and understand them better. For example, this meeting is mainly about the dragon space travel in five days. Mr. Huang, you should know this person, the military's Lu Weihan, as the host, opened the slideshow and pointed to a few photos on it and said to Huang Zhe, recognize, Pan Weiming, my high school classmate and friend. Huang Zhe nodded and said with some curiosity, I heard that he wasn't contaminated by the evil god and then forcibly quarantined. How come he's still involved with our dragon-carrying space program? It's precisely because he's tainted by an evil god that he's connected to our plan. Lu Weihan explained, Pan Weiming has gazed into outer space with an astronomical telescope for a long time, and has had a meeting of the minds with the evil god, so it's likely that he has some knowledge of what's going on there. And then what? Asked out of him? Huang Zhe curiously said, as a very good friend. He is very clear Pan Weiming this kid's character. More outgoing and tart. Very like to show off. Coupled with the three outlooks are also more positive. If the country to ask him about important things, he should in all likelihood will be honestly confessed. No. Lu Weihan shook his head and said, Mr. Huang, the contamination of the evil god is not that easy to remove. Pan Weiming's brain was very severely traumatized, and he was barely able to communicate normally, and we weren't able to ask anything from him. What? Huang Zhe's heart tightened and he said, didn't I hear from another friend of mine, Lu Fan, last time that his situation wasn't getting better, 
How did it suddenly become so serious? Pan Weiming's condition. It's always been serious. Lu Weihan explained. It may be that the relevant departments did not let him understand the actual situation. After all, the evil god pollution in this regard is very complex. It is easy to cause panic. Well, Huang Zhe calmed down and said, now that he's suddenly mentioned, are you planning to have me meet him and see if you can ask anything? Yes. Lu Weihan nodded and said, Mr. Huang, you are his friend and also a powerful black dragon. So maybe you are able to solve the problem on him and learn something about the sky. That's certainly no problem. Huang Zhe nodded. He's also my friend. So I'll go meet him for business and personal reasons. After discussing a problem, Lu Weihan scratched a few times on the tablet and released a few more photos, saying, Mr. Huang, can you tell anything from these photos? Woman. A very beautiful woman. Huang Zhe only glanced at it and said without thinking. And, what big, big, big packs. Lu Weihan was silent for a few seconds, still did not give up, and continued to ask, and what? More in addition to these, Mr. Huang really did not see anything? Is there anything else you need to see besides this? Huang Zhe asked back with some confusion. Well, Lu Weihan was finally defeated and took the initiative to say, Mr. Huang, this is the red dragon that calls itself Lady Red. What? Huang Zhe was surprised, and quickly looked carefully at those photos, and then felt, as if they were indeed very different, the sun and the moon. After all, normally speaking, nowadays, it was already difficult for him to develop a strong interest and good feelings towards female creatures in human form, but when he first saw the picture of this so-called red lady just now, he was inexplicably attracted to it. The long-lost soul of the LSP rubbed off and awakened all at once. Fortunately, it had reflected on this before, and its brain reacted quickly, activating the emergency plan and once again forcibly suppressing the organs that were causing trouble. But the eye staring at the photo of MS, Red did not retract for a while. It was not that he could not control his eyes, but he was curious if there was any difference between the human body that had been turned into a human body with morphing and the real human body. Got pores, acne, double vision, boogers. However, Lu Weihan didn't know what was in the black dragon's mind and thought it was simply mesmerized by MS, Red's beauty, and hurriedly turned off the slideshow, saying, Mr. Huang, I think it's best if you don't hit on her, she's 980 years old, you won't be able to play with her, what is, talking about, do I look like such a shallow person, Huang Zhe really didn't have any lustful intentions yet, so he said with a straight face, I'm just trying to study how this morphing technique of hers is, so I can learn to study it in the future, that's good. Lu Weihan nodded and stepped straight to the point, saying, Mr. Huang, the main reason why this MS, Red was mentioned this time is because, she wants to meet you, see me? Huang Zhe was a little curious and said, why do you want to see me, is she recognizing me? No, is she recognizing my predecessor? Shouldn't recognize it, Lu Weihan explained, she because she simply wanted to see you, as for the reason, I guess it's because you suddenly claimed to join our summer country which somehow caused a very serious involution to her, damaging her interests, and that's why she wanted to find you to have a chat. Okay. Huang Zhe nodded and thought for a moment. What is your opinion? She is clearly not having any good intentions. Should we agree to see her? And, if we didn't say we were going to fuck her before, why don't we just take her down this time under the guise of a meeting, and just take her down black and white? Mr. Huang, isn't that how black on black works this time? Lu Wei Han some sweating. This black dragon mouth on the righteousness, but the heart of this red dragon, must be a great interest. It is estimated that the brain is full of captivity and bondage and other episodes. This red lady has been doing well lately, selling quite a few supplies we're interested in, and it's not like she's a giant dragon behind her, but she has a significant force behind her. So if we take her down by blackmail, it's going to get a bad reputation. Okay. Huang Zhe was a bit disappointed. He hadn't even fought a female dragon in a long time. So what do you guys mean? You want me to go meet her once? Yes. Lu Weihan nodded and said, probably afraid that we won't agree. This time MS. Red is also considered to be hemorrhaging money. Directly is indicated to take out four red dragon eggs as an introductory fee. And only seeks to be able to Mr. Huang Yu to see aside. So desperate? Huang Zhe was a bit surprised. Then curiously said, did she lay these eggs? Fertilize them? Using four dragon eggs as an introduction fee just to see himself. Huang Zhe estimated that this MS. Red, in all likelihood, did not have any good intentions, and was trying to turn on himself and prevent him from joining the Xia nationality. Chapter 108 Pollution Has the dragon egg been fertilized yet? Lu Weihan slightly stunned, then did not think. Huang Zhe's this concern is how tricky. After all, unfertilized dragon eggs.
compared with successfully fertilized dragon eggs, that the value is certainly a world of difference, he therefore quickly replied, that's a question we asked Ms. Red as well, the four eggs were not her own, but she got them through some other means, and fertilized they were, but there was no guarantee that they would all hatch, it's not homegrown, it's just a distributor, Huang Zhe inexplicably feels some no energy, if these four dragon eggs is that red dragon self-produced, then he really have to respect each other as a good man, in order to earn W anything to do out, so that in the future if there is a need, you can consider looking for her generation of a pregnancy, okay, then I'll meet her, after all, for fertilized dragon eggs are quite valuable to us, Huang Zhe thought for a moment, then asked, but I remember she seems to be over the southern border, right, from me here a few thousand kilometers, and then a few days I'm going to the sky, this time can be arranged to come over, it's true that there's some scheduling, Lu Weihan nodded and said, that's why our intention is to wait for Mr. Huang when you come back from the heavens before finding time to meet with that miss, Red, it's okay, Huang Zhe had nothing to say, and then couldn't help but say one more thing, but those four dragon eggs, shouldn't we let her hand them over to us first, or else if she takes fake or dead eggs to fool us then won't we lose a lot of money, that's the idea, Lu Weihan thought deeply and said, we thought the same thing, and also explicitly informed that Nemes, read that the dragon egg must be handed over to us before we would let her meet with you, Huang Zhe remembered that the last time he met with Pan Weiming, it seemed to be half a year ago, which was not a long time, but it was obviously a feeling like a lifetime ago, Pan Weiming is now in a very bad state, his eye sockets are deeply sunken, his face is pale, and his body is obviously a big circle thinner than before, even more bizarrely, his pair of eyeballs had turned pure black, his hair was cloaked, and a bizarre aura enveloped his body, so that people couldn't help but look at him with a chilling feeling, is there really nothing that can be done? Huang Zhe felt bad in his heart and couldn't help but say, have you tried getting a priest to do a purification spell on him or exorcise him with holy water? Have had it all. Lu Weihan looked heavy, said, all the methods that can be thought of, we have tried, we have even looked for that detained angel to see, still no way, the pollution of the evil god is very weird, it mainly works on the soul level, ordinary purification spells, ordinary holy water, have almost no effect at all, but if it's a too strong purification spell, it's hard for our Xia people's bodies to carry it, okay, Huang Zhe sighed, then pushed his way into the room and sat down face to face with Pan Weiming, Pan Weiming's black eyes, suddenly seemed to be filled with divine light, sizing up Huang Zhe with interest, squeezing out a weird smile on his face, and said in a hoarse voice, Huang Zhe, long time no see ah, your body looks as if it's a little strange, Panzi, you still recognize me? Huang Zhe was a bit surprised, he had thought that under the contamination of the evil god, Pan Weiming's mind had fallen into serious disarray and insanity, but now it seemed that this was not the case, and that his consciousness and cognition were actually surprisingly calm and peaceful, of course, the smile on Pan Weiming's face grew even bigger as he said, they all think that I'm crazy and contaminated by the evil god, but in fact, that's not the case at all, this is just me gaining a greater cognizance and looking at the world in a more lucid and thorough manner, your body looks awesome, can I touch it? I wish I could have a body this good so I could shed this stinking skin and embrace greater progress, Panzi, and you say you're okay with it, Huang Zhe got serious, he felt that Pan Weiming's mental state like this was even more bizarre and terrifying than going directly mad and freaking out, ha ha ha, yes, I have a problem, Pan Weiming suddenly slapped the table and laughed maniacally, and I'm not the only one with problems, all of us have problems, even you, Huang Zhe, are no exception, and your problem is, for sure, much more serious than mine, what do you see, Huan Zhe's heart tightened, although he also knew that Pan Weiming was most likely talking out of his ass, his heart still inexplicably sank, no, Pan Weiming's pitch black pupils stared motionlessly at Huang Zhe, and said in an inscrutable manner, but precisely because I can't see it, that's why I'm certain that the problem in you is definitely very uncomplicated, the fact that he hadn't made such a judgment yet showed that Pan Weiming's sanity, more or less, was relatively lucid, Huang Zhe was a bit surprised, this was obviously a big discrepancy from the legendary pollution of the evil god, could it be that that evil god has moved with the times, formalized and professionalized his pollution, and knows to package his image, pansy, wake up, Huang Zhe calmed down and said seriously, in the past, you've always been the one who studied the best and was the most scientifically literate among the few of us, so I'm sure that with your level of knowledge, you're surely able to see through the tricks of those deities, ha ha, Huang Zhe, I don't need you to bother, I've always seen things clearly, Pan Weiming laughed out loud, and it's precisely because I can see clearly that I've become what I am now, you don't really think I'm crazy, miserable and pathetic right now, do you, no, 
On the contrary, I'm relaxed and sane right now. You'll never know the beauty of gaining great cognizance when you've heard the truth. You'll never know the beauty of gaining great cognizance. Why? Huang Zhe was very puzzled, and even a bit pained. Didn't you used to believe in science the most? Do you think that a world where the microscopic realm is completely locked up could really exist any real? Great cognition. Don't dream. Ha ha. Huang Zhe. You don't understand. Pan Weiming, with a sneer on his face, laughed coldly. We humans on earth believe too much in seeing is believing, and rely too much on vision to study the world, not realizing that our knowledge of the world is also locked up by vision. The world that the eyes see may not be the real world. Hearing this, Huang Zhe's heart was inexplicably a bit touched, and for a moment not only did he not know how to refute it, but he was even a bit confused, as if he felt that Pan Weiming had a very good point. Luckily, Academician Ding's voice came from the headset in time. Mr. Huang, don't believe his bullshit. Our human research and cognition of the world is definitely not purely dependent on vision, but a series of rigorous scientific means. One of the simplest and most complex and important means is actually math. And you can ask him if he still believes in math and knows the C language. Huang Zhe woke up as if from a dream and hurriedly countered these words to Pan Weiming. Pan Weiming listened to it and really turned pale, angry and crazy. His mouth said something about bullshit math. Math is the most terrible pollution, the most horrible Pandora. Sooner or later, mankind will be dragged into the abyss of 10,000 feet by math. Huang Zhe lapsed into silence. In his heart, he was finally certain that Pan Weiming was really contaminated by the evil god. In the past, he used to hold math in the highest esteem, believing it to be the most important and greatest tool ever invented by mankind. If it weren't for it, Earth's civilization would never have developed to the point it is now and it's very likely that our human knowledge of an interaction with the world would still be stuck in the ancient past, and it would never have been possible to master electricity and electromagnetic waves, set off the electrical revolution, and create the Earth's civilization as it is now. Huang Zhe didn't argue with Pan Weiming, but asked, Pan Zhe, what exactly did you see inside the astronomical telescope at that time, and who is that evil god who contaminated you? Ha ha ha, I'm not going to tell you, if you want to know you can go and see for yourself. Pan Weiming looked as if he had broken his defenses by Huang Zhe's entire question just now, and a malicious smile floated up on his face. Besides, he's not the evil god. The title evil god is nothing more than a slur given to him by your Xia people. His greatness and holiness are well known. Nice guy. Actually doesn't even think of himself as a Summerlander anymore. Huang Zhe couldn't help but be a little angry. That Pan Weiming in his knowledge, although it is not considered a pure-blooded war wolf, but for the love and maintenance of the motherland, is obviously also very strong, otherwise it will not be interested in the same with Huang Zhe to become friends, but he didn't expect that after being brainwashed by the evil god for a while, he actually didn't even want his own motherland, which made Huang Zhe how to endure, so he immediately contacted his heart and ordered it to come up with a solution, the heart fell silent in a rare manner, and it was not known whether it felt that this question was a bit tricky, or whether it didn't want to get into a conflict with that evil god and expose itself prematurely but it did get annoying when the brain kept prodding and prodding, and finally a cure was given electroshock therapy. Electricity was the purest energy, and it could effectively get rid of the pollution in Pan Weiming's body, but on the soul level, it was somewhat impotent. There is a way better than no way. Huang Zhe immediately operated his own trumpet, a grabbed Pan Weiming's shoulders, crackling as a pass of fierce electricity, straight to his electric to the top of the head smoke, which is only to give up. I'm sorry, for disappointing everyone, I couldn't ask anything. When he met up with Academician Ding and the others, Huang Zhe had a look of self-reproach on his face, not only for not doing his job well, but also for not being able to help his friends very well. Mr. Huang, you don't have to do this. Academician Ding laughed and comforted. In fact before you came, Pan Weiming wouldn't say a single normal word to our staff. His brain, his eyes seemed to have their own standards, and he was unwilling to talk to us lower creatures at all. It was you, Mr. Huang whose life intensity was high enough to successfully draw his attention, which is why he exchanged so much with you. Are all those who have been contaminated by that evil god the way he is now? Huang Zhe couldn't tea help but ask. He heard that the summer people who were backfired, and contaminated by the evil god because of the night observation of the sky in the past half year had exceeded 40. 000. It's obviously not a small amount. And if everyone is as serious as Pan Weiming, it's going to be a big problem. Well, Academician Ting shook his head and said, not really. Based on our research and studies, it seems that the longer one observes and the more scientifically literate one is, the more likely one's cognition collapses and the more likely one is to be contaminated and blackened by evil gods. Whereas Pan Weiming's case is considered more serious among all of them, 
Most of the others are more mild and are often able to recover after undergoing a period of hospitalization. Huang Zhe didn't understand. The longer the observation time, the more likely to be contaminated he could understand. But why the higher the scientific literacy of the people, but also the more likely to be contaminated? Do we really know nothing at all about that evil god? Actually, there are some. Academician Ting replied, We know that certain intelligent races outside our borders call him the eye of true knowledge, and that in his essence he seems to be a large eye. What about? Other than that? Nope. Academician Ding nodded and said, In fact, from what we've inquired about, this eye of true knowledge has been keeping a very low profile for a very long period of time in the past, and has even been absent from several times of dividing up the spoils amongst the gods. Just don't know how. All of a sudden with our summer country. He is our summer country after coming to this world. The fastest and most frequent hands on us gods. If not we found out early. Quick reaction. Maybe even millions of people will be contaminated by him. And even more abominably. He has a very small temperament and is particularly vindictive. And since the last time he was wounded by our laser weapons. He has been summoning meteorites to slam into our country. Posing a huge threat to our national defense and security. Since he's so rampant. Haven't we thought of another way to fuck him? Huang Zhe was also filled with righteous indignation, and certainly not without the factor of not being present the last time he fucked him with a laser cannon and missed a good show. Why don't you think about it? Academician Ding shook his head and smiled bitterly. It's just that this eye of true knowledge is very cunning, and after having suffered a loss last time, it has been very cautious, and has barely allowed us to find any opportunities, and his main body's defense and recovery ability is also very powerful. Last time, although we hit him hard with a laser weapon, it wasn't a fatal wound after all, and he recovered quickly. So if we can't completely re-injure him and cause him to fall directly into slumber or even death, our counterattacks against him won't actually be of much use, and will instead tend to exacerbate his hatred towards us. So it is. Huang Zhe pondered, over a good while said, In fact, I think it, just to send a big mushroom to the skywards, may not be able to deter those gods, unless it is really dry death A. Eh? Chapter 109 Contact Fuck a deity. Mr. Huang. This we certainly want ah, just how easy it is. Lu Weihan lost his smile and shook his head, saying, those gods aren't fools, he's ghostly, how could he possibly stand stupidly and take a mushroom bomb from us? Couldn't there be another fishing expedition like the last one? It's hard. Lu Weihan still shook his head, not to mention the fact that we don't really have any suitable bait that can catch those deities. Just this distance of thousands of meters is enough to give us a headache. After all, it's not like this mushroom bomb is a laser so you have to be able to find a way to drop it into the sky to pose a threat to the gods. And with our current level of technology, it would take at least 10 minutes to deliver a large mushroom high of 50 million tons equivalent, thousands of meters high, and that long a period of time would surely be enough for him to react. So the only feasible way at the moment is to find a way to find out the laws and trajectories of those gods' divine kingdoms, that is, the laws and trajectories of those stars orbiting in the sky, and then see if it's possible to blow up their divine kingdoms with mushroom bombs through prejudgment so as to be able to truly and meaningfully deal a heavy blow to them. This is also why we will be so anxious. Want to let Mr. Huan Yu go to the sky to walk a trip, only as to understand the first-hand real information. We can make the right judgment. After nearly two months of bloody conflict, the conflict between the Silver Moon Elves and the Night Elves has once again escalated and officially entered a state of war, for which Xia expresses his heartfelt regret. According to informed sources, this is already the eighth war between the two races in the past hundred years. And the reason for this is not only the sovereignty of the moon hidden lake, but also mixed with racial conflicts and faith issues. The silver moon elves believe in the goddess of the moon, while the night elves follow the goddess of the night, and it is rumored that these two goddesses are at odds with each other. So the conflict between the idols naturally evolved into a conflict between the fans. The construction of the Shashin Railway is currently in full swing, and nearly 800 Minotaur workers are wearing liberty shoes and safety helmets, neatly shouting slogans and sweating feverishly on the construction site. The person in charge of the first construction company said happily in an interview that the project is going very well. The whole period is expected to be shortened significantly, and that the bulldog workers are very hardworking and down to earth. The best labor force he's ever seen. There is a large drought in the northern grasslands, and a number of orc tribes have begun to show frequent mobilization of personnel and collection of supplies, with indications seeming to be preparations for an invasion to the south. In this regard, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs sternly warns the major orc kingdoms to restrain their subjects and not to provoke Xia without their own initiative, and that any army that trespasses into the security area stipulated by Xia without permission will be regarded as an invasion, and will be an enemy of Xia, and will be subjected to the focus of the military of Xia, so don't say that you don't want to say anything, 
Huang Zhe opened the trumpet watching the news on TV, have a bite without a bite of iced coke. In fact, its trumpet now pulls the crotch very much. Pressure does not have any taste ability, but can't help but he still likes to do so. After all, Pepsi is a kind of faith. The sense of ritual cannot be lost. After watching for a while, Huang Zhe turned off the TV in boredom. This kind of news he has long seen too much. Naturally, he will not make a fuss. Rather, it was some of the things behind these news that Huang Zhe found quite interesting. For example, it seems that the Summer Academy of Sciences wants to take advantage of this war between the Silver Moon Elves and the Night Elves to see if there is any chance to import a few seedlings of the World Tree back from the hands of the Night Elves, and succeed in attracting some of Huang Zhe's attention. After all, this kind of thing, the World Tree, sounds very overbearing and pushy. If you can successfully get it done, with Xia's scientific research technology, you might even be able to breed a race of elves on your own. Another example is the Northern Orcs' plan to invade this thing. In fact, the real situation is not at all like this, but many orc tribes heard from their relatives in this side of the good, and suddenly encountered a natural disaster, so they cannot help but also want to go south to work. Only the scale of this working team is a bit big, conservative estimates may have millions of orcs. Xia's current control and management of the security area is actually relatively weak. If all of a sudden run so many orcs to come, then it will certainly be messed up into a pot of porridge, the wonder of fairy wood. Therefore, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs had to specifically remind the top brass of those orc kingdoms to keep their people in check and not let them run into my territory. These things are still a bit far away from Huang Zhe, so he didn't pay much attention to it, but took out his cell phone and talked to his dad and mom for a while, which is also considered a peace report. Then his cell phone, out of the blue, received a call, an unknown number, is coming is coming. Huang Zhe reacted almost instantly. This phone call must be the last time that so-called love goddess called. This guy gave Freya a hundred pounds of gold introduction fee, just to fall in love with him. I didn't realize I was quite so popular here. Huang Zhe's mood is inexplicably a bit pleasant. From the female creature's admiration and affirmation, for male creatures is a natural stimulant. If there is no that would really be a bad thing. However, he didn't pick up the call, because he felt that that stupid than the holy girl. Her brain seemed to be problematic, and talking to her might get him infected. However, the next scene that happened stunned Huang Zhe, who clearly ordered a refusal, but he didn't expect the phone to connect anyway. Is it so powerful that, can still remotely control my cell phone? Huang Zhe Huang Zhe, I finally got in touch with you, the voice over there rang out, and sure enough, it was the same woman from before. Huang Zhe didn't squeak, still wondering about the principle here, how the hell did this woman find him? This cell phone of his actually had no cell phone card at all and it was also using the military's confidential cell phone and encrypted signal lines, so it should be reasonably difficult to be controlled remotely. That woman. No, Freya's technology will actually be so streaming batch. He this using the legendary quantum communication should not be right? Huang Zhe Huang Zhe, I know you're there. Say something, the woman over there said cheerfully, her voice sweet and sticky and pleasant, easily creating a sense of anticipation and goodwill. But Huang Zhe still did not talk, he is very cautious. The heart is inexplicably a kind of intuition. If it is really talked to this woman, or maybe it will really make something out of it. After all, Freya was so persistent in trying to find herself. It was obvious that there was something very important going on. And hell knows if he would throw his weight around and use all of his divine power to hold him in a full position. Thinking of this, Huang Zhe decisively struck out, directly a claw to crush the cell phone. And then the thoughts were really a lot more through. Humph, a mere woman wants to sway me and dominate me? Huang Zhe almost couldn't hold back the urge to laugh, but considering that there might really be something fishy behind this, he still told Academician Ding and the others about it, so that they could help analyze it as well. Mr. Huang, I think that perhaps you really should get in touch with that god of love. Academician Ding pondered for a long time before suggesting, after all, judging from his actions and means, he should have no malicious intent towards you. Instead, it is highly likely that he has a request for you. You're going to be on a dragon-carrying space trip in a few days, so it's a good time to take advantage of the opportunity to sidetrack some of what's going on in the sky from him, so you can be a little more comfortable then. Like this? Huang Zhe was slightly stunned, then couldn't help but say, But now, I can't contact him at all. That 250 heart of mine seems to be very jealous of me making contact with the gods in the heavens, and long ago it was pulling the firewalls on my soul full to keep the will of those gods from affecting me and sensing me. I reckon Freya must have contacted me quite a few times, only to have her heart play tricks on her and never connect with my consciousness, so she had to resort to the stupid method of making a silly saintly girl, not out of the question. Academician Ding expressed his approval and then said seriously, Mr. Huang, 
How much trust do you feel you have in this heart of your own? Is it worthy of your true trust? There are a few degrees of trust. Huang Zhe pondered. He didn't really know how to answer this question for a moment. To say that this heart is not trustworthy, is not true, at least for a while it and the brain to get along quite well, has been honest and conscientious, like to live with the brain down to earth appearance, but to say that it is trustworthy, doesn't seem right, after all, up to now it hasn't been honest enough to submit its real file and give up its past organizational ties, that's disorganized to put it mildly, but to put it to the point, it's not taking your brain seriously, I think, should have a 6 or 7% confidence level, Huang Zhe thought about it and finally gave this answer, 6 or 7 points, this is actually not low, showing that in your heart, Mr. Huang, you are still more inclined to believe it, academician Ting said, then I suggest you, Mr. Wong, get in touch with yourself and ask it why it won't let you get in touch with Freya, it doesn't work, Huang Zhe shook his head, actually, I feel that this heart of mine, shouldn't have its own consciousness, it's more like a program, a database, a repository, only if it's retrieved the corresponding keywords, the relevant answers will automatically surface in my mind, I've asked about this before, only it's been unresponsive, and I don't know if the relevant data is missing or if I don't have enough authority, academician Ding did not expect Huang Zhe's feelings about the heart, actually this way, after thinking about it, said, then Mr. Huang have you asked it, a few days after you go to the sky will there be danger, that I certainly asked, Huang Zhe nodded, at that time, my first feeling was torn, first some anticipation, then some apprehension, obviously a little bit of suffering, but on the whole, the sense of crisis was not strong, that's good, academician Ting sent a sigh of relief, and with that, they could obviously send the black dragon up to the sky with more confidence, but I still suggest, that you should still get in touch with Freya, Mr. Huang, academician Ding continued, don't look at him as just a weak deity of divine power, but in fact, his origins are quite uncomplicated, he is the daughter of the goddess of fate, or rather, he was originally a part of the goddess of fate, many gods are asexual reproduction, and when they say reproduction, they really mean dividing some of their power, some of their priesthood, lest they become too large and give birth to occupational diseases, bah, it is lest they become too powerful and then have to fall into a deep sleep in order not to be dismembered by the will of the world, Freya is actually part of the divine rite of fate, Huang Zhe was first stunned, then it also dawned on him, no wonder the other gods didn't come to him, but it was the arrows who came to the door, and with superb accuracy, it was almost as if he had opened up, believe it, I'll go back and try it, when Huang Zhe said to try, he really went ahead and tried, directly retreating his consciousness from the trumpet, returning to his main body, and starting to fight with the heart, sorry, there are still 500 words, there are still 500 words, I really can't finish it, first change and then correct it, Qi dismemberment, Freya is actually part of the divine rite of fate, Huang Zhe was first stunned, then it also dawned on him, no wonder the other gods didn't come to him, but it was the arrows who came to the door, and with superb accuracy, it was almost as if he had opened up, believe it, I'll go back and try it, when Huang Zhe said to try, he really went ahead and tried, directly retreating his consciousness from the trumpet, returning to his main body, and starting to fight with the heart, there are still 500 words to go, I can't finish it, so I'll change it first, Qi dismemberment, Freya is actually part of the divine rite of fate, Huang Zhe was first stunned, then it also dawned on him, no wonder the other gods didn't come to him, but it was the arrows who came to the door, and with superb accuracy, it was almost as if he had opened up, believe it, I'll go back and try it, when Huang Zhe said to try, he really went ahead and tried, directly retreating his consciousness from the trumpet, returning to his main body, and starting to fight with the heart, there are still 500 words to go, I can't finish it, so I'll change it first, Qi dismemberment, Freya is actually part of the divine rite of fate, Huang Zhe was first stunned, then it also dawned on him, no wonder the other gods didn't come to him, but it was the arrows who came to the door, and with superb accuracy, it was almost as if he had opened up, believe it, I'll go back and try it, when Huang Zhe said to try, he really went ahead and tried, directly retreating his consciousness from the trumpet, returning to his main body, and starting to fight with the heart, 500 more words, 500 more words, there are still 500 words to go, I can't finish it, so I'll change it first. Chapter 110, The Starry Sky. The black dragon curled up as much as he could and flopped down on a huge all-metal manhole cover, holding his breath as he waited for the rest of the dragon-carrying spaceflight. Speaking of which it is still more or less nervous. After all, nuclear power manhole cover this thing. Play the real is too exciting too hardcore. A bad. It is not simply physical heaven. 
but really to heaven. The good thing is that an emotion like nervousness is essentially a stress response in the body and is largely controlled and influenced by a range of hormones in the body. And with the black dragon's current powerful control over his body, it was completely easy to suppress the secretion of these hormones. In fact, the black dragon had wondered if he should just unload all those messy, hormone-related organs in his body so that he could be completely free of negative emotions. But then he thought that it would be too robotic to live like that. So he dismissed the idea as well. Mr. Wong, are you ready? On the console, Liu Weihan solemnly confirmed to Black Dragon. Ready. So we start now? Begin. Okay. Now for the countdown. 10, 9, 8, 3, 2, 1. Detonate. After Liu Weihan and Black Dragon had determined this, he decisively gave the order to successfully detonate the mushroom bomb with a yield of over 100. 000 tons in the underground well. Almost at the same instant, the black dragon's heart began to convulse wildly, and his blood pressure began to soar so wildly that he was so frightened that he thought he was having a myocardial infarction. Then the black dragon suddenly felt that the flow of time was obviously slowing down. No, time flow is essentially a relative concept. And the reason I feel like it's slowing down is not because it's actually slowing down. It's because my brain, my body, is interacting with the outside world's information at a faster rate and it's not even a little bit faster. It's a hundred or a thousand times faster. Annihilation. These two words suddenly collapsed out of the black dragon's brain, and somehow, it obviously closed its eyes. And out of nowhere, it still saw the ultramicroscopic picture of the big mushroom detonating two or three hundred meters underground. Atoms were fissioning in fusion in a frenzy. The images of these uranium atoms were completely different from those in textbooks and microscopes, and each of them was like the most horrifying monsters representing the most primitive madness and chaos, sin and evil, which greatly shocked the black dragon, and a wave of repression, disorganization, and despair began to spread in its heart all of a sudden. It was fortunate that the black dragon was, after all, a solid follower of the great physical theocracy, and had drunk a lot of iridium-192, so its mental resistance to radioactive elements was still very high, and thus it did not suffer a cognitive breakdown and the terrifying energy released by the mushroom bomb explosion was soon conducted to the metal manhole cover beneath it as well, and then the tremendous force instantly washed it up into the sky, with the extra hundred tons of meat from the black dragon. The initial speed of the well cover was obviously reduced by a lot, and it was just 40 kilometers per second out, but for the black dragon, this speed is obviously also cool. If it can run out of this speed with its own body, it is estimated that dreaming have to wake up laughing, where to go in the sky and underground, at such a high speed. The black dragon's body rubbed violently against the air, and the temperature quickly soared to several thousand degrees, and it was still rising. In this regard, the black dragon was more or less a bit hard to bear, not physically, but mentally. After all, if its dragon scales could be a bit more advanced and intelligent, able to directly convert and absorb all this kinetic and thermal energy, then it would be able to harvest tens of thousands of kilowatts of electricity itself. To say the least, the speed of tens of kilometers per second was just exciting and it only took a little more than a minute to successfully bring the black dragon to an altitude of thousands of meters, and the dragon space program could be said to have been successfully completed. Next it was up to Huang Zhe, the astronaut dragon, to get a good look at what was going on in the sky. The nuclear-powered manhole cover carried the black dragon through the boundary, dropping further in speed, and the black dragon found an opportunity to hurriedly jump off the top of the vehicle. After all, it this is with a lot of scientific research tasks, naturally do not dare to be too what? play with no one deep space. Ha, huh, why does it feel a little hot? The black dragon's body temperature system was actually rather sluggish, and it had never been very keen on the sensation of cold and warmth, but when it arrived at this place, it clearly felt a bit hot, and it was still getting hotter and hotter. It hastily spat out a thermometer that CAS had prepared beforehand from its stomach, and after a busy flurry of operations with its mage hand, the results of the measurements made it a bit dumbfounded, minus 270, 3 degrees Celsius. What the hell is this vacuum? The black dragon was dumbfounded, and then quickly reacted as well. The concept of cold and heat was created primarily through the thermal movement of molecules, and with virtually no molecules or atoms present in a vacuum environment, the temperature was naturally far lower than on Earth. And since there is no heat movement of molecules, creatures on the ground, when they arrive, instead of feeling cold, feel hot due to the inability of their bodies to radiate heat to the outside world. Assuming, of course, that such a creature is capable of normal biology in a vacuum, and the black dragon is clearly in the mix. The concentration of magic elements is quite high. The black dragon took a few hard breaths and realized that the concentration of magic in this place was actually higher than on the ground, but it was clearly infinitely close to a vacuum environment, 
Can it be that the magic element thing is essentially actually that legendary cosmic dark matter? The black dragon couldn't help but produce this conjecture. Crap. Vacuum environment. So how else am I going to fly? The black dragon tried fluttering its wings a few times, but did not succeed in generating power for a while. The reason flying creatures on the ground were able to fly was mainly through the friction generated by their wings and the air to provide lift, but there wasn't even any air in this vacuum environment, so naturally they couldn't fly. Is it hard to really have to use that? The hacker twisted his head and looked at his ass with a torn and hesitant look. In fact, for this kind of situation, CAS had also expected it and had formulated a corresponding solution, which was to install two engines behind the ass of the Black Dragon and then generate acceleration by spraying high-speed particles. However, the nuclear-powered manhole cover thing was just too hardcore, and if the engine was mounted on the Black Dragon's ass beforehand, it would probably be scrapped straight away before it reached its destination. So, in the end, Kasa had to let the Black Dragon swallow the engine for safekeeping, and then spit it out to install it on itself when it was really in use. If this were before, the Black Dragon might have thought that this approach was okay, and even thought that having a few advanced engines up his ass was not only practical but also very cool, but as time goes by, I don't know whether it's the awakening of the bloodline or the psychological implication of the heart, it vaguely began to reject this, always feeling that hanging two fire-breathing things on the buttocks is a bit ungainly, but now the situation, there is no way for it to be pretentious, there are now engines do not use, is it difficult to fart the way to produce acceleration? Not to mention, it's not impossible to use this method, but if you use it too much for too long, it's easy to burn your asshole. Hmm. Black Dragon was working on how to mount the engine up towards his ass when suddenly his heart skipped a beat and he subconsciously looked behind him. A huge black beast appeared noiselessly a dozen kilometers away from it. Good lord. Wouldn't be a coon. Would it? The Black Dragon noted that the creature looked a bit like a whale, but was significantly larger and leaned more towards shadow creatures, energy creatures, than flesh and blood creatures. Shouldn't this thing be the unknown creature that Academician Ding and the others are talking about? The guardian that doesn't allow any outsiders to explore the mysteries of the stars? The black dragon looked at the other party with interest. Cerberus guards the gates of the abyss and hell. Then what should this monster guarding the gates of the heavenly realm be called? Deep Space Kuan? This thing doesn't seem to have particle jets either. Why does it fly? The black dragon was a bit puzzled. This guy looked stupid. And there was no obvious energy reaction on his body. Why was he able to fly freely in a vacuum environment? It also noticed at the same time that with the appearance of this first deep space koan, more and more starry sky monsters were also rushing this way. Strangely, though, the crisis perception in the black dragon's head was not triggered. Spare a thought, but the black dragon was on standby, ready to open up with a high-pressure spiral fart and run with a bucket. Hundreds of starry sky monsters flew over to silently surround the black dragon, but no one made a move as if their enemy recognition system hadn't been triggered yet, and didn't regard the black dragon as an intruder. Despite that, I'd better get it over with as soon as possible and then hurry up and bolt, or else there are so many guys on the sidelines that I don't know if I'll provoke any terrifying existences. Thinking so, the black dragon hurriedly was spitting out a stream of experimental equipment in his stomach, and began to busy himself with his hands and feet. Damn, the concentration of magic elements here is so high that many instruments are given for nothing. The Black Dragon was somewhat helpless. In fact, the Summer Academy of Sciences had already considered that such a situation would arise. The instruments selected for it, the scientific research tasks arranged for it, had been as shallow as possible, but did not expect that it would still be difficult to proceed. Good guy. This cosmic radiation in the sky and air is too nifty strong, right? Although he couldn't use the instrument, the Black Dragon still felt that this place was filled with all kinds of cosmic rays. The variety of their categories and their intensity was so great that even this powerful body of the black dragon was vaguely a little overwhelmed and felt that his sanity was a little unsteady. These cosmic rays shouldn't be the sight of those gods, right? The black dragon couldn't help the thought flashing through his mind. If that's the case, then won't I be discovered by him soon? Good thing it watched carefully for a while and found that those stars in the sky did not appear any obvious changes and do not know has not yet found the black dragon or is working bad off duty to find its trouble. Ha, huh. the location I'm at now is actually closer to the goddess of night's divine kingdom? After observing for a while, and also determining where he was now, the black dragon realized that the nearest star was, quite literally, the goddess of darkness. That seems a little far off. The black dragon was scratching its head a bit. Originally the nuclear-powered manhole flight it was sitting on was launched towards that position of Eros, but it didn't realize that it was actually soaring to the side of the goddess of the night. The goddess of night, higher divine power divine authority over the dark and hidden aspects of the night, is currently unable to judge the attitude towards our country. 
The black dragon recalled the information about this deity. Somewhat hesitant to give him a greeting, it was part of the scientific mission. Right. And CAS had always wondered what kind of society these gods in the sky were, and how they would react if they transmitted radio signals like they did. However, although the goddess of darkness's divine kingdom was said to be the closest, it was still tens of thousands of kilometers, to say the least, from where the black dragon was currently located. No, besides the divine kingdom of the goddess of darkness, there seems to be another star in this place. The black dragon's true eye suddenly itched a little and couldn't help but is looking in a direction, then found that, two to three thousand kilometers to the southwest, there was a star with a diameter of about one kilometer. No, I should say it was a meteorite, because it didn't blow. That was why the black dragon hadn't spotted it before. It seems like a dead star. This judgment inexplicably sprang up in the black dragon's mind, and then with it came the strong urge, its heart, its body, to run up there and look around. No way, no. Fortunately, the brain has always been very clear, which is so coincidental. The first time in the sky to meet a dead, masterless star, waiting for their own to collect. This Nima is too coincidental. It cannot be the so-called fate of the arrangement. The black dragon was more or less forced, and did not feel that he was now qualified to be able to ascend to the altar of the gods. After all, both in terms of heart and the accumulation of divinity were clearly insufficient. Even if there was a divine seat in front of him, it was not something that he was able to ascend to, not to mention the fact that there had always been considerable resistance in Huang Zhe's heart regarding the matter of becoming a deity. Ha! Something come through again? When the black dragon looked alone, he was able to see a dragon form star monster that was rapidly flying in his direction. What kind of breed is this? A dragon that lives in space? Sorry, a few hundred words to go. Catching up, catching up, right? The black dragon was more or less forced and did not feel that he was now qualified to be able to ascend to the altar of the gods, after all, both in terms of heart and the accumulation of divinity were clearly insufficient, even if there was a divine seat in front of him, it was not something that he was able to ascend to, not to mention the fact that there had always been considerable resistance in Huang Zhe's heart regarding the matter of becoming a deity, right? The black dragon was more or less forced, and did not feel that he was now qualified to be able to ascend to the altar of the gods, after all, both in terms of heart and the accumulation of divinity were clearly insufficient. Even if there was a divine seat in front of him, it was not something that he was able to ascend to, not to mention the fact that there had always been considerable resistance in Huang Zhe's heart regarding the matter of becoming a deity. For some reason, the black dragon subconsciously felt that these star realm creatures did not look as if they were very intelligent Subzi, and couldn't help but associate them with the mayfly creatures inside the water, both of which had an intelligence infinitely close to zero and acted on pure hunting instincts. This new star realm dragon, however, was clearly not one of them. Its physique, its drawing style, was clearly more than a notch above the other star realm creatures. Its body length exceeded 1000 meters. Its body constantly emitted a faint starlight, and it flew as if it had special effects on, both elegant and cool. It clearly possessed a terrifying entity, but when looked at closely, it inexplicably felt like it was transparent, as if it was a body that was able to switch freely between the real and the unreal. These are nothing, the most bizarre is that its body is full of eyes, no less than thousands of large and small. Moreover, it was as if these eyes were not controlled by the Star Realm Dragon's body, but rather possessed their own thoughts, and at this moment, they were scrambling to widen their pupils in unison as they looked at the Black Dragon. M. I don't know if this big brother likes to do contacts or not, otherwise it would be a big customer. I don't know if it was because his heart was big, or his soul's resistance was higher, but in the face of this bizarre scene, the black dragon's outstanding brain circuitry. The first thing that came to his mind was actually this. Of course, in its heart, it was also secretly raising its guard, and its stomach was frantically saving up its gas, constantly spiraling and pressurizing them, intending that if the situation was a little bit wrong later, it would immediately jet off and run back to the boundary. As the star realm dragon continued to approach, the star realm creatures that were nearby onlookers, one by one, also began to get uneasy, and finally, they even directly scattered as birds and beasts. Obviously, in this star realm, this star realm dragon was clearly of a higher status, being at a higher level on the food chain. Of course the black dragon wouldn't be stupid enough to wait for it to come over and ride its face. Instead it consciously began to jet and accelerate, flying in the direction of the boundary, so that it would be more convenient to run away not to mention that it would also be able to test whether or not that star realm dragon would come after it. It's really coming after us. The black dragon's heart sank. Originally it still harbored some thoughts that this star realm dragon might have been attracted by the surrounding star realm creatures, but now it seemed that it was clearly rushing towards itself. Yet strangely enough, 
The instinct of danger in the black dragon's head was never triggered, instead, his heart was beating so joyfully that it was almost as if he had met a loved one. And you can't trust intuition too much. And you can't trust that 250 heart too easily. Feeling that it was better to be steady, the black dragon was about to jet further to accelerate. But to his horror, he realized that his heart had refused to carry out the order, and was simply on strike. Good ah, I have long known that Yuya cannot be relied on. The black dragon was so angry that he almost fainted, and was about to switch to manual gear and use the mage's hand to force CPR, when he was surprised to suddenly hear a voice, don't worry, it's not a bad thing, go with it. Hmm, the black dragon froze for a moment, listening to the meaning of these words. It clearly did not sound like what that star realm dragon had said but another mysterious existence, but I'm not in a vacuum, how does sound travel without air as a medium, or is, this an exchange on the level of consciousness, and my consciousness has been invaded by some unknown being, the black dragon couldn't help but freeze for a few seconds before it was grabbed by that star realm dragon with a claw and flew in a certain direction, big brother, can you say something here, at least tell me where you're taking me, big sister, you go on, it is going to take me to do what, and, may I ask where you are, the black dragon first shouted at the star realm dragon, and then frantically called that mysterious being in his mind, but unfortunately neither of them received a response. It noticed that this star realm dragon, which seemed to be somewhat dull and sluggish, showed no obvious likes or dislikes towards it, but simply wanted to take it back to its place of business. On the contrary, those eyes on its body had been very enthusiastic, staring at the black dragon non-stop one after another, if not for the lack of a mouth, they would certainly have been chattering and chatting, that is to say. This star realm dragon is not the dragon god, Hyperion? The black dragon was frightened for a while and soon calmed down. It had originally suspected that this mysterious and powerful star world dragon was most likely that old ancestor of its own family, the dragon god, Hibernian. Due to the bloodline connection, Hibernian sensed that his ungrateful grandson had arrived in the star realm and rushed over to welcome him, then forced some gold as protection money. But now it seems that the real situation is obviously not like this. This star realm dragon is obviously not a deity. It feels more like a part-time job. No way. It's like it's going to take me to that dead star. After observing for a while, the black dragon quickly reacted. And in his heart, he immediately had an unpleasant premonition. This can't really be forcing me to inherit that star and become a new deity. Right? No way. No way. The deity industry can't really be so bad that they have to forcefully arrest people to join them? There's not even a political vetting or pre-service training? And what's the treatment like? Is there any annual vacation? Is there any insurance? Just as the black dragon was thinking wildly, a bizarre scene appeared only to see one of the eyes on the star realm dragon, as if it had been planning for a long time, directly was growing arms and legs, jumping down from it, landing on the black dragon's head, and then using its arms and legs to try to drill into the black dragon's head with a deathly effort. Don't, brother, help. The black dragon was directly scared out of a pig squeal, began to struggle frantically. How can it be said to have been exposed to Crusoe? Where would it not know the horror of this thing? If it was drilled into its brain, quasi nothing good would come out of it. Well, in the face of this scene, the black dragon's striking heart suddenly became agitated, and directly swindled bursting out powerful lightning energy, electrifying that eyeball to the point of wailing. At the same time, the star realm dragon that was flying also looked down, and those deep and cold eyes seemed to carry an irresistible will, directly causing that rebellious eyeball to lay down and obediently jump back to its position. The black dragon also noted that upon returning to the body of the star sector dragon, that eyeball was also given a wild thrashing by a nearby eyeball. After this, the black dragon naturally does not dare to stare at these eyes anymore. And even more so, it does not dare to ask them if they want to do pupils with a high mouth. It now only wants to go home. However, the black dragon is not completely unproductive. At least it is possible to confirm that their own 2-5 heart, and these guys should not be a gang. Don't look at the 2-5 heart quite out of tune or letting the brain brain bruise but it still has a strong sense of territory and knows that it has to maintain the home. The speed of the star world giant dragon is very fast, more than 2000 kilometers of distance, only use less than 10 minutes of time to fly through, although it is slower than the black dragon up to the sky, but you have to know, the black dragon that borrowed is external force, while the star world giant dragon all rely on their own ability. 5 kilometers per second, is actually just okay, after all, this place is a vacuum, and as long as you can gain acceleration, your speed can keep going up, the black dragon's heart belabored, even if it's me, as long as I can save enough gas, I can play drifting, no, it's me who can also soar to this speed, of course, the black dragon was actually aware that this was more or less a mental victory law for it, because the way the star realm dragon flew was so advanced that it didn't need to gain acceleration by ejecting matter at all, but instead, 
It was like it had mastered the laws of flight, and was able to directly endow itself with a certain speed. The closer it got to the dead star, the harder the black dragon's heart beat, and if it didn't seem to have a bit of a work ethic, it probably wouldn't have been able to resist jumping right out of the black dragon's body. So, your true nature is actually from this star, having been part of this deity's body, or directly his heart, the black dragon pondered, and then vaguely felt something strange. This is like a deity suddenly suffered a big deadline dying, so decided to donate his heart. Chance was black dragon got it, but because of the reaction of rejection, in the end is cheap. Diameter of only 3 kilometers of the celestial body. In fact, not big at all. It is shelved on the side of the Milky Way. Not to mention the stars, even the planets cannot be ranked, can only barely be considered an asteroid. Of course, if it were a neutron star, that would be a different story. The Black Dragon was pretty sure, though, that the asteroid was definitely not a neutron star of any kind, because it didn't feel any gravity at all. The Star Realm Dragon's speed was so good that even at a high speed of 5 kilometers per second, it took less than 10 seconds to apply the brakes and bring the Black Dragon down safely on the planet's surface. This made the Black Dragon more or less envious. If it could also have this technology, in the future, it would not have to worry about falling over because it could not break at excessive speed. What does Big Brother want me to do next? After the Star World Dragon brought the Black Dragon back, it was like completing the task, directly as on the ground began to lie down, which makes the Black Dragon more or less as a bit dumbfounded, you at least tell me. This is what I want to do ah? The Black Dragon had originally thought that the Star Realm Gargoyles had brought him here so that he could carry on the legacy and legacy of the previous gods, run up to some god's throne, kowtow a few times, sign a few papers, and then he could go straight to his post. But now it seems completely different. Was this place really once a deity's divine kingdom? How come it doesn't look a bit like it? The Black Dragon wandered around and couldn't help but be muttering in his heart. One must know that this thing, the kingdom of God, was very lofty. Not only was it the deity's most central asset, but it was also a place his followers could only dream of wanting to go to. After all, within the legends, living in the divine kingdom of one's home deity was quite wonderful, and many intelligent beings had believed in their home deity for their entire lives, and had dedicated their entire lives to their home deity, in order to be able to a ticket that would allow their souls to go and live in the divine kingdom after they died. But the black dragon turned around, but found that the conditions of this place is simply poor to outrageous. The basic facilities are not at all not to mention, and the land is also very small. Even if the development into a plot ratio of only 0.0, .0 or so high-rise neighborhoods, it is estimated that cannot live in a lot of people. This is obviously a bit far from the legendary kingdom of God that is heaven. Ah, I didn't realize that gods actually engage in false advertising? The black dragon turned around and then proceeded to turn around again as it pressed on and found nothing related to the altar, temple, or tomb of the god. Does that mean I'm the one who's late to the party? Long before I'm the one who's been shortchanged? The black dragon's first thought was this. But after looking back at the slumped star realm dragon, it felt obviously wrong. With this guy watching over the house, no one should dare to come here to pick up the pieces, right? It tried to dig into the rocky soil on the ground with its claws, and found that it was actually hard, and it didn't know what kind of material was used. The black dragon hesitated for a while, but finally held back the idea of tasting it with its mouth. After all, the last time it was at the king of the undead birds, it had already suffered a loss, so it didn't dare to taste things randomly again. Heart, how come you're on the ground too? Weren't you jumping just now? The black dragon noticed that the frequency of its own heartbeat had actually slowed down severely as well, which made it not only a little wistful, the star realm dragon was lying down, and so was its heart. Was this suggesting to me that I should also lie down immediately? But I don't. The black dragon obviously also has a temper. This one of them are shelved here to play riddles with it. If it is not civilized, high quality. It even cannot help but want to directly pee a bubble here. Say, what was the name of this star before? And what deity's estate was it? When did he pass away? Was it a natural death or a vendetta? The black dragon sat on his butt and pondered these questions. Then and I don't know how long it was. But the black dragon's heart seemed to have found a certain frequency and managed to resonate with the asteroid's core. Then the black dragon's heart began to eat its way out. And without the brain's consent, it frantically discharged electricity into the star core. The black dragon's mouth was wide open, and it was too late to even get angry. But instead, his attention was drawn by a strange thought, the star realm dragon had captured himself here. So it couldn't be that he was here to be a rechargeable treasure. Could it? Dare I say that the reason why the star died, the reason why it kept going dark, was because it ran out of power? This you said earlier, if I had known it was so, then I would have brought some solar power panels before I came. Wouldn't it be more convenient and longer lasting to use solar power directly? The black dragon had a flurry of broken thoughts, 
then couldn't help but stomp the ground with its hind limbs, and had a sudden thought it needed to be activated by electricity. So these so-called stars and so-called deities shouldn't be essentially a technological product as well. Toys made by some mysterious advanced civilization, right? But if that's really the case, then the world is too scary, right? How can we Xia people possibly play against them? The black dragon was more or less terrified in its heart, after all, it had the same root, and it knew very well that a god created by science was much more terrifying than an earthborn god. The electricity in the black dragon's body was actually not much, estimated to be around 2 million degrees. If this asteroid, as it expected, was really a technological product made by some higher civilization, then this bit of electricity would want to reboot it. It was estimated to be a bit of a hang-up. The 2x5 heart, however, didn't seem to intend to reboot it right away, but after transferring about a million kilowatts of power, it stopped of its own accord, returning control of the body to the brain. Then the black dragon immediately used its hands and feet, front claws and hind limbs and madly plowed the ground. It couldn't wait to confirm whether or not there were actually any chips, circuits, or anything like that inside this asteroid, and thus deduce that those so-called gods were essentially actually programs set up by a higher civilization, but unfortunately, the texture of this asteroid is too hard, and the claws of the black dragon have not opened the light, and have not been strengthened with gold, and the power of planing the ground is limited, so it can't be dug much deeper at all. In desperation, the black dragon could only settle for the next best thing, collecting as much as he could of everything he could take with him, intending to bring it back to study it properly. And for these actions of the black dragon, the star world giant dragon actually just faintly looked at it, and then continued to lie down. That demeanor looks, and even some like an old father to see the child on the sidelines of naughty, enjoyable play, instead of stopping, but also vaguely also some comfort, the black dragon that was busy tearing down the house. No, it was busy plowing the ground naturally did not notice these and it was fighting with a head full of doubts at this time. For example, if this asteroid is really a technological product made by a higher civilization, then with their technological level, it's always impossible that they don't even have an auto repair function, and they don't even know how to generate solar power, and they all have to have themselves, this black dragon, to help recharge the batteries. That doesn't make any sense. Another example, if those gods are really just a kind of intelligent program that exists to maintain the stability of the material world, then why would he have his own independent will and position, love gold, and passionately dominate the believers? This doesn't seem like something a proper intelligent program should do, does it? What roles do the demons in the abyss and the devils in hell play, respectively, virus in the system? And what's with, getting a summer to cross over? Is it that the system of the material world is out of control and wants to borrow the power of the Xia people for reloading? Or is it simply an outburst of bad taste and thinks this is fun? The more the black dragon thought about it, the more he felt dizzy, to the point that even his brain circuits started to become hot, which was why he hurriedly stopped thinking and started to lie down on the ground like the star realm dragon. Ha, huh, it does seem pretty comfortable. Jaws against the ground. The black dragon is obviously feel something. Is a steady stream of influx into his body, sour with fullness, so that it cannot help but is to let out a moan. The last time it has such an experience, or when a human being to accept the senior technician's horse kill chicken, lying on its back. The black dragon gradually became drowsy, and then I don't know how. It suddenly hit a jolt, something's wrong. How do I feel like I'm receiving data, receiving installation packages? And the bottom line is that there is no way to authenticate this data, these installation packages. For security, the black dragon woke up and struggled to get up, but a thought that soon flashed through its mind made it change its attention again. This data, these installation packages, are actually about how to use nuclear energy. Really? The black dragon will doubt. Not that the world of extraordinary creatures generally cannot accept the reaction of radioactive elements. How do you have mastered the technology of biological nuclear power? This also did not see you install a few nuclear reactors in this aw. Oh. That said, the black dragon still can't help but give up the struggle. There is no way. If the data packet of morphing, flight, the dragon's inheritance memory and so on, maybe it can withstand the temptation to spit the tail and flash without hesitation, but the technology capable of absorbing nuclear energy. All the black dragon could say was that it just smelled too good, and it just couldn't stand the temptation. After all, in doing so, it could evolve into a legendary nuclear-powered dragon, super capable of fighting while also being super affordable, needing to eat only a few kilograms of uranium-235 to be on standby for years. What's more, it can even transfer this technology to the country to help it make breakthroughs in nuclear fission and nuclear fusion. Thinking about it, the black dragon also gradually fell into a deep sleep. It had been a long time since the black dragon had dreamed, 
and the last time he did was when he was pulled over and sprayed by the dragon god, Hyperion, before he had activated his two-fifth heart. This time, however, it was clearly not Hyperion who pulled it into the dream, but another female deity, Freya. The black dragon looked at her back and the first thing that came to mind was the god of love that it sought it out so many times. No, I'm not her. The goddess seemed to be able to hear the black dragon's heart and suddenly spoke. Big sister, do you have the decency to eavesdrop on someone's heart without permission? Does that seem like something a deity should do? The black dragon couldn't help but bellyache. And at the same time, it was also able to hear that this goddess was the one who had suddenly voiced out a reminder to it earlier. Oh, sorry, occupational hazard. I often have to listen to the believers, and for a moment I forgot to cut the channel back, so please forgive me if I accidentally offended you. The goddess actually seemed to be reasonable and approachable, taking the initiative to make amends with the black dragon and apologizing up. Tell you what, as compensation and as a gift for the first time we met, I'll help you put a patch on your core program so that no one will be able to hear your heart in the future. The black dragon couldn't help but stare in disbelief. This rhetoric, this terminology, why did it sound more and more like a computer program? My guess can't be true. Are these gods really intelligent programs left behind by a higher civilization? The first clan. Can I take the liberty of asking, please? The black dragon held his tongue for a while, but finally he couldn't help but ask such a question. It was good to see that this goddess, who was obviously much more cultured than the dragon god, Hyperion, instead of kicking the black dragon out in anger, she even told the truth. I am darkness and hidden secrets. You may call me Lilith. Oh, so it's the goddess of the night. The black dragon suddenly realized, and then couldn't help but be a little puzzled. I seem to have no friendship with this goddess. How come she suddenly found me, and seemed to take care of me? Is it because we both have the word black in our names? It was a good thing that the goddess of darkness had turned off her passive skills and didn't hear the black dragon's heartfelt words, or she wouldn't know how she would feel. Your Excellency the Goddess. I wonder what you have sought me out for, seeing that Lilith seemed to be genuinely unable to hear her own heart. The black dragon more or less relaxed, and then couldn't help but ask his most curious question. Wanted to ask you for a favor and also help answer some of your doubts so you don't go astray. The goddess of darkness replied. Yes, you go ahead. Go help the night elves snatch the moon hidden lake and fill it up. The black dragon was a bit stunned, never expecting that the darkness goddess's request would actually be this for the black dragon to go and help his followers fight and grab territory. If it is just a simple land grab, it is just, the key is to grab it back and then bury it. What kind of operation is this called? I'm sorry, I seem to have missed your point a bit. Are you saying that you want me to help the night elves snatch the moon hidden lake back and destroy it? Yes. That's all you need to do. Nothing else. The goddess of darkness said faintly. Okay. Although the black dragon didn't pursue the question any further. In his heart, he was more or less feeling a bit strange. A goddess of higher divine power. Personally stepping out to look for foreign aid. I don't know if it's considered a violation of the law. Now you can ask questions. And I can answer three of them. Lilith gently waved her hand. And the light in the dream world suddenly grew dimmer and dimmer. As if she was keeping the conversation between the two secret with hidden divine power. Can I ask any questions? The black dragon blurted out, then couldn't help but feel a little chagrined. Careless? Ah, in case Lilith also played the ruse and said is this your first question? That would be so screwed up. Luckily, Goddess of Darkness's character was rock solid, and straight away she was answering. Yes, any question is fine, as long as it's something I can answer. Okay, the black dragon nodded, then took a deep breath and said, Are you gods? In essence, Intelligent terminals created by a higher civilization? That's a pretty interesting question. The dark goddess laughed, then said, No, how is that possible? The black dragon emotion can't help but be a little agitated. From the words you just spoke, from what I learned on that asteroid, clearly indicates that these stars in the sky are most likely satellites created by the higher civilization with technology. And you gods, are the intelligent terminals on it. You are merely making such associations based on your perceptions. The nature of our gods is by no means as simple as you think. Regarding the black dragon's excitement, the goddess of the darkness appeared calm and said lightly, as for my use of words, that is also based on your cognition, based on the thesaurus in your brain automatically translated, able to make it easier for you to understand my meaning is just, the black dragon was a bit stuck, then couldn't help but follow up with, then what, exactly is the nature of your gods? That's going to be your second question, are you sure? The goddess of darkness took the initiative to remind, I can answer this question of yours, but with your current ability, you may not be able to comprehend it, and instead, it will easily cause you to make wrong judgments. It's like what you Xia people call a worldview, every creature's worldview is different, and it's hard for them to break through their physical and mental limitations to perceive the real world. 
You are undoubtedly at such a stage that even if I tell you the answer, you may not be able to understand it. No, more than understand it, you may not even be able to memorize it. The black dragon froze for a moment, then said, a little nervously, you know I'm a Summerlander soul? Of course, the disguise you now have on your soul is the one I set up for you. Why? The black dragon asked without thinking, but the goddess of darkness apparently understood it and waved her hand. This matter is too much of a responsibility to be considered a problem. To put it mildly, okay, the black dragon also calmed down. It also knew that the opportunity was rare. The question that could be asked to the goddess who was in charge of the hidden authority, it had to be something very important. When will the boundary between the summer kingdom and the material realm disappear? Gee, you guys sure did expect something about this too. The goddess of darkness laughed softly before replying. There are less than three years to go. 989 days to be exact. Three years is actually so fast. The black dragon was creeped out in his heart. He just wanted to ask if there was any way to stop it, but suddenly reacted. This question must be asked in vain. To be able to create a boundary that isolated the two laws of time was obviously not something that one or two deities could control. Even for him, he could not wait for it to be this not to disappear in a hurry. And one last question. Seeing that the black dragon pondered for a long time without saying anything, the goddess of darkness couldn't help but urge. Speak quickly when you've thought about it. Even if I'm a hidden deity, I can't be in contact with you for too long. Can. Be owed first? After thinking about it, the black dragon still felt that it would be better to stay with this opportunity. And after going back to confer with Academician Ding and the others, it would definitely be more stable to find the goddess of darkness to ask questions. After all, there were so many questions it wanted to know in its heart who had gotten Xia over here. Why was the microcosm of the material realm locked up? What could be done to help the Xia with the anorexic reaction without altering the microcosmic realm? And would its dilettantish heart beat backwards or not? Who was the former owner of that dead star? Again? The black dragon actually wanted to ask why the goddess of the night could only answer three of its questions. Couldn't it be more? Even if it was a charge, it still had more than a ton of gold on it. But the kind of faint aura, on the black knight goddess. No, I should say the faint forcefulness, and let it hold back raw. Not much good to speak, could be. The goddess of darkness actually agreed, but it can only be done in the dead of night. In the face of my divine kingdom, by your personal appearance, that's certainly no problem. The black dragon nodded repeatedly. The reason why it wanted to save the question for later was not that it also had such a layer of meaning to keep in good contact with the goddess of the darkness, so that in the future, when it wanted to find her for something, it would be able to find the doorway. Your Excellency the Goddess. I don't know if you like gold. Would you like me to send you a few tons? The black dragon asked tentatively. Not that it could really be so generous, but it realized that this goddess, in fact, had never mentioned gold from the beginning to the end which was simply not theological at all. Strange, how come Lilith didn't say a word about our country about to launch a mushroom bomb? The black dragon also remembered this only after waking up from his dream, and for a moment he was puzzled, was this something he didn't know, or that he didn't care? No, with the ability and means of this sister, it is impossible for him not to notice such a big thing. The sword comes, that is, it should not care, or even, be happy about it? The black dragon always feel that the goddess, seems to be playing a big game of chess, is in it as a pawn call, but the strange thing is that the black dragon heart is not much aversion to this, and even feel that this sister is quite frank and quite friendly, worthy of deep friendship, having gotten a taste of it, the black dragon continued to lay on the asteroid for a while to see if it could lay its hands on any new skills, however, unfortunately, and not knowing whether it was a lack of power or a lack of permissions, it didn't have much to show for it this time around, I don't know how long it's been, did Academician Ding and the others wait impatiently? The Black Dragon spit out a mechanical watch from his stomach, trying to confirm the time. Originally, CAS was going to let it bring a cesium atomic clock, but also somehow, its body for that thing, actually is very repulsive. Once eaten into the stomach cannot help but want to vomit, and finally can only be a stop. Ha, huh? why is it broken? The Black Dragon was a little surprised to find that the hands on the mechanical watch, at some point, had stopped turning. Although this thing is some technological content, but completely with mechanical energy to drive. And still the Summer Academy of Sciences specializes in the use of raw materials outside of the special. Outside of the use has been quite good. How do the sky cannot play it? Unable to determine the time, the Black Dragon was more or less anxious, and then couldn't help but count his heart. Aren't you quite capable? How come you don't even have a simple timing function? Brain now commands you to develop this function for me right away. After all, it's not that hard technically speaking, you just need to divide a portion of your arithmetic and time it, possibly unlocking a higher level of access, 
The heart actually honestly chose to comply in the face of the request made by BrainTap SAS, and went straight for a crackling jolt of electricity at itself before screwing up a one-second panel. Is, really so obedient that it really screwed up? The Black Dragon is a bit confused. Its intention is just nothing to find trouble. Want to find a head of oil to this two five children beat up, but I did not expect. Actually really let it get the timing function out of the plasticity so high? However, even with the timing function, without calibration, the Black Dragon was still unable to determine the time. Considering that the main purpose of this trip to the sky was basically considered to have been achieved, and in order to not let Academician Ding and the others worry too much, the Black Dragon decided to return to the ship. The Black Dragon thought that since it was going to leave, it should at least say hello to the Star World Dragon first, or else it would be too impolite, of course. There was no reason why it wanted to take the Star World Dragon's shuttle. After all, compared to its speed, the Black Dragon was not only slow, but also had to keep spewing out its breath, which was more or less too much to salvage. Big brother, big brother, the Black Dragon tried to call out a few times, and then the Star Realm Dragon didn't wake up, but the eyes on it, one by one, woke up with a start, and seeing that it was the Black Dragon calling out, one by one, they were all of a sudden as if they had been beaten up, and they looked particularly exuberant. A few of the ones that were close enough even very aggressively ran to pick at the eyelids of the Star Realm Dragon, obviously trying to help the Black Dragon wake up this big guy, which could be considered quite a face saver. This Black Dragon heart is more or less some touched, secretly made up his mind. In the future if there is an opportunity, we'll definitely treat everyone to do pupils. The Star Realm Dragon leisurely awakened, and it also remained silent regarding the Black Dragon's resignation, directly grabbing the Black Dragon and flying in the direction of the material realm. Big Brother, has not yet asked for your honorable name? The Black Dragon couldn't help but ask. It felt that this Star Realm Dragon was super high and cold, even more so than high deities like Hyperion and Lilith. I also don't know if it this is a persona necessity or something else. In the face of the Black Dragon's question, the Star World Dragon still does not respond, but it is those eyes on its body, one by one began to agitate, blinking madly, crazy hand dance, like to express what, just against the wishes of the Black Dragon caused serious visual pollution. Where did the Black Dragon dare to lock eyes with these little cuties? Hurriedly as withdrew his gaze and turned his attention to the material realm below. In fact, one of its main tasks this time in the sky was whether this material realm that Xia had traveled to was a planet or not. However, when the black dragon looked down from the sky, but did not get a glimpse of the whole picture of the material world. On the contrary, the more you look at the more confused, and even vaguely is the feeling that this star world and the material world, seems to be not in the same dimension? It is also the area where Xia is located. The sense of existence is a little stronger. The sense of violation is a little lower, like fireworks in the night sky. To add some color to this twisted night sky, the speed of the Star Realm Dragon was so fast that it didn't take long to return the Black Dragon back to the boundary, and then decisively threw the Black Dragon down and turned around. Black Dragon also do not know how to spit good. After all, people's attitude although it is a little high and cold, but at least it is also to do the package to pick up the package to send, and is still free of charge, cannot ask for too much. The only thing it finds more unfortunate is that the next time it comes to the Star World and wants to take a ride, it doesn't know how to get in touch with this kind big brother. Finally back, the black dragon passed through the boundary and returned to the territory, and then quickly noticed that something was wrong, it wasn't sure if it was an illusion or not, but it felt as if the laws of the world and the territory had weakened quite a bit in terms of the suppression of its body. Could it be that those data, not only gave me the ability to utilize nuclear energy, but also made my body, more compatible with the internal world? The black dragon subconsciously thought in that direction, but if that's really the case, then that dead star, that dead deity, is inevitably a bit terrifying? It's obviously mastering the technology that can allow transcendental beings to break through the boundary restrictions. If it's gotten by other deities as well, that's still a problem. However, from the current point of view, it was obvious that the other gods did not have such technology, or else the god of light wouldn't have planted his own angel in the territory of the summer kingdom. And to this day, he had not been able to salvage her. So the black dragon couldn't help but have a conjecture, could it be that in this world, there were actually mechanical gods, physical gods, technological gods and the like, only to be killed by the other gods due to a conflict of ideas and interests, and were united by the other gods, and that dead god was the kingdom of god left behind by one of him? The only thing that makes it all seem more logical, it seems like there's no need to go back over to the base, just tell Academician Ding and the others and hit the road to the south, the black dragon can still remember that when it comes back, it will be arranged to match. Bah, it is to tell the number. It is to teach that red dragon to keep the rules of our summer people. And the moon hidden lake that place. 
is also in the more south of the place, the Black Knight Goddess personally ought to ask it to help the Night Elves to grab the land, always give some face, as early as possible to go over to support the scene. With that thought, the Black Dragon rummaged through its stomach and found a signal transmitter, and after operating it with the mage's hand and finding that it was still working, it fired a locator signal to Academician Ding and the others, then found the right direction and flew off to the south, or our summer country is good ah, this if outside the country, where to see what lights, what night scenery, hundreds of thousands of meters high in the sky, the black dragon looked at the motherland eartha group, a cluster of light source, suddenly is a bit relaxed and happy, this is if the world outside the country, where to see what lights, where to see such a beautiful night scene, since the sun god, a deity of great divine power, was overly reactionary, the black dragon's plan to take to the skies in a nuclear powered manhole cover was actually carried out at night, and at this time, the motherland was covered in a blanket of night, which was more or less a relief to the black dragon. It seems that he had not stayed in the star world for a long time. Speaking of which, since the material realm and the sun are not planetary stellar systems, there is naturally no rotation or revolution. So how does day and night alternate? The black dragon suddenly thought of a problem is it the sun and the moon have long stipulated the time of each other's commute. As soon as the point is immediately offline, I also wonder what the astral realm is like when the sun is at work and if all the stars are forced to go offline. I don't think so. After all, it seems like there are quite a few gods that work during the day as well. But if you have a chance in the future, go to the sky during the day to make sure. I didn't think I'd be able to fly so fast on my own so soon. The black dragon fluttered its wings hard, and under the effect of gravity, it managed to be able to soar its speed to more than 400 kilometers per hour, soundly enjoying the feeling of wind speed. After all, nuclear-powered manhole cover flights and star realm dragon shuttles were fast, but the former was obviously too fast, and the latter had no wind at all in the star realm. So naturally, they couldn't enjoy flying. Ha, huh, why is there something over there glowing and actually moving? The black dragon inadvertently noticed that there was something in the lower right position that was flickering and glowing, and it was obviously carrying a flight path, so he couldn't help but curiously move over. After all, where it was now, there were still several hundred kilometers from the ground, and in this position, there shouldn't be any flying machines that could fly up, right? Is it possible that it's a legendary UFO? Oh, turns out to be a satellite. The black dragon quickly got a good look at its true colors, and curiosity got the better of him. After all, at this altitude, the satellite would necessarily not be in a geosynchronous orbit, but would have to keep circling around the Earth at a particular speed in order not to fall off. But now that Sia has crossed over, it is logical that these satellites should be spinning around and not be able to turn back. What makes them still work all the time? Speaking of which, earlier I had associated that dead star with our satellite. After all, in some ways they do look a bit alike. The Black Dragon couldn't help but recall that earlier conjecture that deities were essentially technological products made by a higher civilization, only to be denied away by the Goddess of Darkness. But for those answers from the Goddess of Darkness, the Black Dragon obviously didn't believe all of them. After all, from this goddess's behavior to open up, it was inevitably a bit too mysterious, and his words definitely couldn't be believed in their entirety. The Black Dragon flew after that satellite for a while, but unfortunately it couldn't catch up, but it quickly reacted as well. It was perfectly fine to go back and ask Academician Ding and the others about this, chasing after a satellite like a stupid dog, that's what it's called, but now the laws of the territory, the suppression of my body, has been reduced to less than half, perhaps in the future I can try to undertake a satellite launch mission, to help the space department to transport the satellite to the sky, Black Dragon had a sudden thought, of course, if you have the conditions and ability, it is not impossible to take some satellite polishing and waxing and other tasks, Academician Ding, Mr. Huang's signal has appeared. Soon after the Black Dragon signal transmitter was turned on, the staff of the relevant department quickly captured it and then immediately reported it to the command deck. First, let's confirm whether Mr. Huang has returned to the territory to hide for the time being, or whether he's flown back in a straight line, Academician Ding calmly said. Also, confirm the frequency of Mr. Huang's transmitting signal. Is he conveying a distress signal? Yes, the staff promised. Then after a flurry of operations, said, Academician Ding, Mr. Huang's signal is stable appearing in the territory, and the altitude has been going down. As for the signal frequency is very stable, not a distress signal. Okay, keep tracking, confirm its current location and altitude, and see if you can figure out how to contact it. Okay, Doom Guance, why do you think Mr. Huang came back so soon? Lu Weihan on the side couldn't help but say, this is less than 10 minutes after the previous launch. Could it be that it's in some kind of danger? It is not known at this time. 
Academician Ding had a serious look on his face. A thousand meters in the air is really a bit far for us. Not to mention that it's still at night. Not to mention that it's still in the mysterious and unpredictable star realm. With our current technological means, it's really hard to observe what's going on there. And we can only wait for Mr. Huang to come back to find out. But hopefully it'll be some good news. Academician Ding. Mr. Huang seems to be flying south. And at a fast speed. After a while, the staff came back to report. I know. Keep up the tracking. Academician Ding nodded and said. It's not bad for Mr. Huang to fly directly over to the south. Otherwise it would be too troublesome to transit directly over land. Not to mention the slow speed. But also easy to attract the attention of those who are interested. Isn't that right? There's been a lot of talk in the country lately about it being naturalized. Ever since the news of the Black Dragon wanting to naturalize and join the Xia nationality circulated, the discussion on this matter in the Xia folklore and on the internet has never stopped. At first, the vast majority of the country's people were in a supportive attitude. After all, a powerful Black Dragon was able to lower its identity to join the nationality of the summer country and become a friend of the dragon people who loved each other with all of us, which was obviously a great thing. After all, this would not only effectively enhance Xia's external military capability and unification capability, but also significantly increase everyone's national self-confidence and patriotic fervor. However, under the intentional guidance of the relevant authorities, the winds of public opinion gradually changed, and more and more people began to reflect, was it really a good thing to allow a giant dragon to join the citizenship of Xia? I don't think that's necessarily true. A certain famous social commentator devoted a live stream to discussing this with his fans, only to say, eloquently, that, many people have only seen the superficial benefits, blinded by the vanity caused by the naturalization of the black dragon, and have completely ignored the deeper, and more poignant, issues, for example, if we really let the black dragon join our Xia nationality, then how should the national treatment it enjoys, be calculated, the same as all of us, that's impossible, after all, he's a rank 7 transcendent creature, if he's treated like an ordinary person, that would be too much of an insult to the gargoyle, and even if it's a commoner's treatment, we're not really in a position to offer it. After all, since the Black Dragon is now a citizen of our summer country, then social benefits such as medical insurance, pension insurance, and the like must be provided to it. But the problem is, people's Black Dragons are transcendent beings that can easily live hundreds or thousands of years. So which insurance company would dare to take its business? Maybe some people want to bar with me. People Black Dragon is a powerful transcendent creature can bring great economic value and military value to the country. Our summer country's national strength is strong. It is completely possible to specially provide it this black dragon by way of national financial allocation. Well, it's not impossible to handle it that way, so let's just skip it for now and start the next question. Since it is a legal citizen, the black dragon naturally has the right to vote and to be elected. So the question arises again if it wants to go into politics and become a civil servant. How do we react? This is not me making a big deal out of it. With a dragon's condition, ability, and longevity, as long as it chooses to go into politics, as long as it doesn't suffer from any unfair and unjust treatment, then it will inevitably climb very quickly and very high, becoming a pivotal big shot in the country, or even being able to influence the fate of the country. It may really reach that point. Do you think we can rest assured? And it's not just in politics, it's the same in business. After all, compared to us ordinary people, the conditions of the Chiron are just too blessed. And it's easy to utilize one's strengths to make huge fortunes and become the country's premier big capitalist. What is the face of the capitalists? I think we all know very well. With the greedy and stingy nature of the dragon, if it becomes a climate, it will certainly not be able to resist finding ways and means to intensify the sucking of our people's blood. And by that time, nine times out of ten, the giant dragon is already in a tailspin. And even if you want to move it, even if you want to hang it from the Oriental Pearl Tower, it's probably going to be very difficult. Speaking here, the expert paused for a moment and summarized. So I do think that letting the giant dragon, letting the transcendental creatures join our Xia nationality is something that has to be done carefully, or else if it's a bad thing, it won't be that it's coming to serve the Xia people and working for us Xia people, but rather that all of us Xia people will be working for them. Well said, Mr. Jen. Support the teacher's point of view. That's right. That's right. I've long been displeased with those blind chickens licking the black dragon. The black dragon is even more powerful that's also a foreign race, not my kind, their hearts will be different, that's the truth, and creatures with the word black in their names are basically not good things, that black dragon wants to join our Xia nationality, how can it be that easy, everyone help spread it out, all go to the major official microblogging under the message against it, absolutely can't let those dragon licking party, 
Kneeling Dragon Party have their way. The netizens in the live broadcast room, the emotions were successfully mobilized, not only in the live broadcast room to send pop-ups to support, but also ran to the major forums, the major official microblogging, real name posting message against the naturalization of the Black Dragon naturalization, Teacher Zhang, Teacher Zhang, then what do you think? What does the Black Dragon need to do, in order to join our Xia nationality? Yes, the connection between our territory and the world outside our borders will definitely become closer and closer in the future. And it is even possible that the boundary will disappear and completely merge together one day in the future. So we can't be too unsympathetic to those transcendent beings who are kind and friendly to us, can we? Although some netizens felt that what Mr. Zhang said was very reasonable. They didn't rush to run to bring up the tempo, and asked questions of greater concern. I think it, whether it's that black dragon or other transcendent creatures outside the country, if they want to naturalize and join our Xia nationality, they have to meet some requirements first. Tomato read for free read for free. Teacher Zhang did not evade, but answered positively. First of all, it has to be a strong sense of goodwill and identity towards our summer country, towards our summer civilization. And it must never be under the guise of love for the summer country and run to us to mingle with the food and drink. Secondly, it has to undergo a strict political trial. It doesn't have to be born pure, but it definitely can't be murderous. It can't be bad, and it can't have any anti-human or anti-social tendencies. Once again, a certain period of time must be set for investigation and a special naturalization test must be set. The content of the test is mainly based on the summer language and the laws and regulations of the summer country, and the transcendent beings that are naturalized must be proficient in the summer language, must be law-abiding and voluntarily submit to the management of the laws and regulations of the summer country. Finally, the citizenship of the transcendental beings after naturalization must be limited, and they may enjoy special allowances from the state treasury but they may not enter politics or business at will. Teacher makes a very good point that such a naturalization requirement should indeed be established. I also think that the teacher is right in saying that strict vetting standards must be set out, or else letting those inferior transcendent beings mix in will not only do our country no good, but will easily become a scourge. I also recognize that the teacher has considered the matter very thoroughly, but if we really have to go by what you have said, how many transcendent beings will be qualified to join the nationality of our summer country? Do you all think that Black Dragon is okay? A netizen replied back. I think it's ideological awareness. Its sense of our country. Seems to be quite good. If it is willing to undergo such an examination and successfully pass it, in the future we can use its example as a unified standard for other transcendent creatures. The Black Dragon naturally didn't know that it had already become the center of everyone's hot debate, which would have already landed safely, nestled in a certain mountain in Tiananmen province waiting to be picked up. Speaking of which, since I can get the timer function to work, can I get the radio transceiver function to work as well? With nothing else to do, the black dragon couldn't help but have another sudden thought. And the barriers to radio technology are significantly lower than those for nuclear energy. As soon as he thought of it, black dragon immediately began to toss his heart to see if he could send and receive radios, make long distance calls, and even video chats without borrowing any external equipment, relying only on his own body. Unfortunately, however, no matter how much it tossed and squeezed, the heart froze and just couldn't get it to work. Obviously it was now able to absorb radioactive elements. Seriously, you really can't figure it out. Or are you just lying to me? Black Dragon's suspicion rose, to know, in order to let the heart develop this function, it is a full 50 grams of gold invested in scientific research funds. I did not expect to toss to the end, but to get such a result. Radio transceiver function. This is clearly not technically difficult either. The Black Dragon couldn't accept it. Thinking that the heart was obviously taking money and not doing anything, it had even played with consciousness projection so skillfully, how could it not even understand a small radio? It then immediately activated the accountability process, criticizing the heart harshly and meeting out small punishments, beating it until it spat out two drops of golden dragon's blood before giving up. Strange. Seems like it's not that it's being sneaky, but that it really can't get a radio signal? After going up to the sky for the second time, the bond between the black dragon and the heart, in fact, deepened quite a lot, vaguely feeling that if this is not not listening to the command of the brain, but really cannot figure out the radio transmitting and receiving function, there's no reason for it, what is it, a genetic flaw or a limitation of the law, the black dragon couldn't help but ponder, it had planned to see if it could combine radio technology with consciousness projection technology, so that it could not only drive its trumpet around the country, but also help the Xia Academy of Sciences to conduct research on the nature of consciousness signals, but I didn't realize that the two seemed to be fundamentally different and not compatible at all. What? I was in the sky for less than 10 minutes? 
the military special agents brought the Black Dragon to a nearby military base, then immediately made a video call with Academician Ding and the others, before Black Dragon even had a chance to make peace with his encounter in the astral plane. He was taken aback by a message, less than 10 minutes of Xanadu time had passed between the departure of the nuclear-powered manhole cover flight and its return from the astral plane. How? Huang Zhe's face was grave, the facial muscles of the trumpet were actually quite stiff, and the fact that it could make the whole thing grave was evident that its brain was genuinely a bit shocked. I feel like I've been in the astral realm, for at least an hour and a half, and that's not counting the time it was passed out. Mr. Huang, are you sure you remember correctly? Academician Ding also became serious. If the Black Dragon wasn't mistaken, wouldn't that mean that the flow of time in the astral realm was different from the material realm? Surely you can't go wrong. Huang Zhe said with certainty, at first, after I entered the star realm, I was surrounded by a group of star realm creatures for 10 minutes, then a star realm dragon ran over and brought me to an asteroid, I was apparently on that asteroid for a very long time, and dug up some of the rocky soil to bring back for you to study, if you don't believe me, with that, the black dragon rummaged around in his stomach, and then, strange, why can't I find them, I remember clearly putting them at the bottom of the storage bag, Mr. Huang, Take it easy for now, we definitely believe that what you said is true. Seeing that the black dragon was a bit agitated, Academician Ding hastened to comfort him. It's possible that the flow of time in the astral realm is much faster than our material realms, which is why you're feeling that way. Time flows faster in the astral realm. The black dragon froze for a moment, then couldn't help but nod. Indeed, the feeling the astral realm gives me is indeed much worse than that of the material realm, as if it is in two different servers. But if that's really the case, and time flows differently, then how did the gods in the astral realm establish contact with the believers in the material realm? And the flow of time in the astral realm is faster than in the material realm. Isn't this the other way around? Shouldn't the normal situation be one day in the sky and one year on the earth? This, Academician Ding smiled bitterly. Mr. Huang, we don't know the answer to this question either, and it may require more in-depth understanding and research before we can unravel the mystery. Mr. Huang, let's talk about what you gained in the sky this time. How was it? Any big gains? A lot. Huang Zhe nodded gruffly, then said, but there are some things that are inconvenient to say inside the video. It's better to wait for Academician Ding to come over before you guys go into details, and they are very important, and I also hope you can get here as soon as possible. Huang Zhe actually wasn't sure if he could tell Academician Ding and the others about his experiences in the astral realm, the things that the Darkness Goddess had told him, but since the Darkness Goddess hadn't explicitly requested that he couldn't tell them, then he definitely had to tell Academician Ding and the others. After all, an individual's intellect is certainly no match for a group effort. Okay, Mr. Huang, we'll be here as soon as we can. Academician Ding nodded solemnly, then said, Then Mr. Huang, you can start by saying something that can be said, or so that we can have something to do on the way. Okay, Huang Zhe was self-evident and said directly, First of all, the Star Realm is a vacuum environment with a temperature of minus 270. 3 degrees Celsius. What? Academician Ding was obviously taken aback. Although they had guessed that the Star Realm was likely to be a vacuum environment, they were still a bit shocked when they really heard this result. And the temperature of minus 270. 3, which is the standard temperature for the vacuum of the universe, means that there is almost no molecular heat movement. And, Academician Ting continued. You said you landed on an asteroid. What was its diameter? The diameter is about 3 kilometers, I think. What about the shape? Is it a round sphere or an irregular body? Orbs. And they're round. How's the gravitational situation? Any craters up there? The gravitational pull is so small that it can barely be felt. As for the crater, it seems to be nowhere to be seen. What is the mass estimate? I can't really say about this. It feels like, there should be a few tens of billions of tons. Huang Zhe chatted with Academician Ding for a while, then went offline to dry rice, dieting for more than two months. This time is finally can let go to feast. It had promised its stomach before that it would double back and satisfy and gratify it. Moreover, he felt that he was more or less on the thin side at this weight now, and that it would be good to reach at least a thousand tons before he could be considered rowdy. Unfortunately it's all beef from within the country, not imported, and it's not nearly as flavorful. The black dragon thought in a broken voice as he nibbled on the yellow beef. After all, it is not its exclusive supporting base. The conditions over here are more or less poor. Not only is there no wild beef imported from outside the country, but there is not even a 110 kV charging post, which is currently the Black Dragon's favorite, not to mention radioactive substances like uranium-235. Black Dragon, who had just downloaded back the ability to nuclear power up from the sky, 
naturally couldn't wait to try it out and see if it was really that powerful. You know that a kilogram of uranium-235, the energy fully released, that has topped more than 2,000 tons of standard coal. It has to be how much beef to eat. Mr. Huang, all the documents you want are ready for you. After eating several tons of beef, the staff of the National Security approached and handed Black Dragon a file bag containing ID cards, work permits, special passes, and security recognized and authenticated identity phones. These are the Black Dragon Initiative. After all, many places in the country is still relatively strict. Must have these documents. The Black Dragon's trumpet can be in the country unimpeded, and then to meet it's a little wish back to visit mom and dad. This is also regarded as the main reason why the Black Dragon picks this side of Tiananmen province to land. Although at these months, is there with mom and dad on the phone? Pick up the video. But after all, it is too busy, and the level of confidentiality is also high. Basically cannot chat for a long time to hang up. Coupled with the Black Dragon body of that respectability, more or less, is a bit of an eyesore, ugly to the point of being a bit foul. Although Huang Zhe's parents did not say on his lips, but he still felt that the two of them are actually a bit scared of their own. It just so happened that after strolling up to the heavens this time, the suppression of the laws of the territory against the Black Dragon had weakened dramatically, and the control of the consciousness projection over the trumpet had increased, and it was currently able to run 40 kilometers without dropping out of the line. Huang Zhe's heart has actually always had some hidden worries, worrying that he has been out of touch with society and the lives of ordinary people for too long, and in the end he will never be able to integrate back. Again, taking the opportunity to go home this time, not only can he feel the changes in the country, but he can also properly regulate his mood. In this regard, academician Ding, they are also very supportive. Specially instructed the local national security department, must do a good job in the reception of the black dragon return home to save their relatives. I really do prefer being human. At noon the next day, Huang Zhe used his trumpet to return to the city where he had lived for more than 20 years, and looking at the familiar streets where people were coming and going, he couldn't help but feel a little emotional. In fact, this small number of his, the basic configuration is super poor. In addition to vision, hearing and language ability, other functions are basically no. Just outside looks like a person, but still does not prevent him from the mood of pleasure. Human beings are social creatures, and it is natural for them to return to society in order to find a sense of identity and belonging. Huang Zhe, how did you come back and say a person back? For Huang Zhe's appearance, mom and dad are really showing very happy. Immediately the store is not open. Directly bring his son home to ask for warmth. In fact, with Huang Zhe's current conditions, Huang's father and mother do not need to rely on the store to make a living. Casually open the opening will be able to feed and clothe themselves. Only that the two of them are idle people. Cannot afford to leave the neighbors. Cannot afford to change the state of life that has maintained the state of life for more than a decade in the pace of life. But also do not want to give the country to Huang Zhe to add to the trouble. So in the run to visit the Huang Zhe, the two families quickly return to the old home. Continue to operate that they continue to run their own small supermarket. Dad, don't need to do so much. I can't eat much or taste much in this body now. Huang Zhe saw his dad rummaging through the refrigerator and shaking his fist like he was going to do something big, so he hurriedly discouraged him. Can't eat? Huang Kongping froze for a moment and said, What's wrong with your body? Isn't it with a nose and a mouth? Why can't you eat? It's just a little number of mine that looks like a person. Afraid that his dad wouldn't understand. Huang Zhe continued to explain. You can think of this body of mine right now as a very advanced bionic robot, which is then remotely manipulated by me using VR technology, and can only carry out some simple operations, and doesn't have the ability to eat. Huang Kongping thought for a while, then shook his head decisively. Cannot understand, but it does not matter. You do not eat. I and your mom always have to eat well. You can come back. I and your mom do not mention how happy, naturally, to do a good meal. Well. Huang Zhe was not in a good position to say anything else, but said with some doubt, Dad, how come the house is stocked with so many ingredients? Chicken, duck and fish, you don't know I'm coming back, do you? These were given by the community. Mom Pan Xiaolin said with a smile, at least our son is also working for the state. How can the state treat our family? Every three days and five days to send a whole lot of things to eat cannot eat, are to be taken to the supermarket to sell. Well, seeing that his dad and mom were so excited about cooking, Huang Zhe couldn't be bothered to bother them anymore, but turned around and went back to the living room and wandered around. This half year did not come back. The changes inside the home is quite big. Add a lot of new things. Do not know as the above scent. Or mom and dad bought their own. Huang Zhe also noticed that always not superstitious mom and dad. Actually in the living room to get a shrine. Take a closer look. 
the gods for quite a few goddess of mercy, Mazu Maiden, Guan Air Master, and even Neza and the Monkey King. This is too chaotic, isn't it? Aren't you afraid they'll fight if you make offerings like this? Huang Zhe was somewhat powerless to spit, then returned to his room, their own room. The change is quite small. No, I should say that there is almost no change. Mom and Dad should be deliberately let it keep the original look. Speaking of which, how did I cross over? Huang Zhe lay down on his own bed, looking up at the ceiling and falling into memories. It's like taking a nap in this bed, and then waking up as a giant dragon. So, I crossed over before the country crossed over? Huang Zhe was pondering. He remembered that Xiaogua had crossed over on the night of the 22nd, while he himself had crossed over at noon. One more question. Where the hell did that original body of mine go? It must not have been in the room. Or mom and dad would not have called the police about their disappearance at the time, but would have assumed they had died suddenly. Nor did he follow his soul across to the black dragon's lair, or he would have surely realized it long ago. Where would that have gone? Is it possible that some big mom? No. Some deity sought to see that no one wanted it and then picked it up? Huang Zhe vaguely felt that this matter is afraid that it is not so simple. Although he did not know that his former body of an ordinary human being, what kind of threat can bring to himself? Although said do not eat do not eat, but wait for dad and mom really after the meal is ready, not to go or was forced to dry a few bowls of rice, with mom's words is that, although your body is no sense of taste, can not eat the flavor of the food, but there are still mom and dad's heart, surely you can eat out of the sweet, don't say, Huang Zhe heard the heart is really quite moved, and then a meal of wind and clouds, eat all the belly up before giving up, at the same time, he was also secretly determined that the rest of the trumpet could be slowly dragged and used, but the piece of the taste and digestive system, must be as soon as possible to give it the whole thing. By the way, I suddenly remembered something. Mom pulled Huang Zhe watching the TV and chatting, and suddenly tapped her head and said, It seems like I've been having a weird dream these past few days, and there's a little girl that's been coming to the house to look for me, and saying that she's your future girlfriend. But since you've been ignoring her, she was anxious, so all she could do was come to me and ask me to help contact you. Mom, why are you saying something so important now? Huang Zhe's heart snapped, and he said seriously, for something as bizarre and strange as this, the relevant departments must have emphasized to you, right, that once it is discovered, it must be reported immediately, I only just remembered, that's why I'm telling you, mom blanked, then recalled, and I think that little girl, looks quite beautiful, temperament is also good, and know how to be polite, do your girlfriend is just right, mom, this kind of thing is definitely not as simple as it seems, Huang Zhe solemnly said, think again, what else did she say to you? or any strange movements? What else has been said? Mom mused, it's strange to say, in the past I had dreams and basically couldn't remember anything, but this dream, the more I thought about it, the clearer it became. She talked to me a lot, mainly about your hobbies and interests, funny and embarrassing things when you were a child, and so on, and I showed her quite a lot of pictures of you from before and now. Right, seems like I had so much fun talking to her last night that I let her stay the night. She slept in your room, spare the black dragon's thick nerves, here here, also cannot help but is a bit shocked I obviously walked the fantasy amusing route, how suddenly is the spiritual thriller up, dad, did you have the same dream, Huang Zhe hurriedly was asking his father Sama who was at the side, that's not true, Huang Kongping thought for a moment and said, it might be that the brainwaves didn't match up, I've been sleeping quite well for a while now, I haven't had any strange dreams, and I feel that your mom's sleep quality lately, is also quite good, mom, did you ask her what her name was, Huang Zhe first briefed academician Ding on the situation and then asked, that I certainly have had. Mom replied, I think her name is Win. Ha, huh? Win something, I clearly remember she told me. Sure enough, it's her. Huang Zhe's heart fluttered. This bitch was really shady. Mom, it's not that simple. I guess we can't stay inside the house. Huang Zhe said, it's better for you guys to come live with me in the base for a while. I'll find a way to strengthen your bodies and consciousness. You can't let people invade so casually anymore. It's not that bad, is it? Mom was a bit puzzled. I think that Xiao Wen is quite nice, pretty and virtuous. If I could use a daughter-in-law like that, I would wake up smiling in my dreams. Then how come you didn't wake up laughing then? It wasn't Huang Zhe who disliked this, but rather, it was dad who saw that mom hadn't yet realized the seriousness of the problem and spoke out in righteousness. Aren't the two of them still united inside the dream? Mom did not have a good mood. So, I seem to remember another thing. Son you disappeared that half a year and these recent months, I do not seem to have dreamed of you once, what's in it, Huang Zhe was unimpressed at first, dreaming is a very complex and metaphysical thing, it's not always if you think about it, 
You dream about it at night. It's not like that. Mom shook her head and said, I remember very clearly. That little one has always been asking me to help you get back. But the problem is, I couldn't recall where you were at that time. I'm sorry. I've got a few hundred more words to finish. I'm working on it. Mom, did you ask her what her name was? Huang Zhe first briefed Academician Ding on the situation and then asked, that I certainly have had. Mom replied, I think her name is Win. Ha, huh? Win something, I clearly remember she told me. Sure enough, it's her. Huang Zhe's heart fluttered. This bitch was really shady. Mom, it's not that simple. I guess we can't stay inside the house. Huang Zhe said, it's better for you guys to come live with me in the base for a while. I'll find a way to strengthen your bodies and consciousness. You can't let people invade so casually anymore. It's not that bad, is it? Mom was a bit puzzled. I think that Xiao Wen is quite nice, pretty and virtuous. If I could use a daughter-in-law like that, I would wake up smiling in my dreams. Then how come you didn't wake up laughing then? It wasn't Huang Zhe who disliked this, but rather, it was dad who saw that mom hadn't yet realized the seriousness of the problem and spoke out in righteousness. Aren't the two of them still united inside the dream? Mom did not have a good mood. So, I seem to remember another thing. Son you disappeared that half a year. And these recent months, I do not seem to have dreamed of you once. What's in it? Huang Zhe didn't think so at first. Dreams are a very complicated and metaphysical thing. I really do not want to be a dragon error free chapters will continue to be updated. The station without any advertising. But also please collect and recommend. Like I really don't want to be a gargoyle please bookmark sad face. I really don't want to be a gargoyle the fastest update. Huang Zhe has no time to think too much. Hurry is to let the national security staff will be the old man and mom back to the base to protect up, and then left himself alone in the home, intends to stay in the room for one night, to see that the woman, in the end, can play what tricks, the black dragon's body was so perfect that there was actually no such thing as reverse scales, but Huang Zhe's parents were undoubtedly his reverse scales, there is something, and also nymphets are emotional things, cannot be directly at me to come, have to go to bother my mom, Huang Zhe was more or less annoyed, not to mention that it was now a simple dream dream, which seemed to be harmless, but let's not forget that in case her goal is still not achieved, is the next step going to be to detain souls, going to forcibly control other people's minds, it was by no means that Huang Zhe was overthinking it, and it was so unknown that he really didn't dare to trust the other party's bottom line, it's a pity that the main body can't come through, or else with that eye of truth, it might be able to see something, Huang Zhe once again scrutinized his room, but still couldn't find out anything, just now, the staff of the national security, also took some professional equipment to test it, and similarly did not check out any abnormality. Summer Academy of Sciences with the undead side of the relationship is not bad. On the spiritual, soul type of magic is also more interested in. After this half a year of contact and research, more or less on them is a certain understanding. Know that this type of magic if it is in the territory of the reaction, it will inevitably lead to changes in the surrounding magnetic field. The magnetic field in Huang Zhe's room, however, had always been stable and there was no abnormal energy response, not like it had been interfered with by magic. However, Huang Zhe didn't dare to take it lightly. Instead, he doubled his vigilance. Have to find a way to help mom and dad get rid of this hidden danger as soon as possible, or sooner or later something will happen. Huang Zhe inexplicably felt a sense of urgency. He hadn't planned to let his mom and dad take the golden dragon's blood so soon and accept the transformation in their life forms, but now it seemed that it wouldn't work if he didn't. Not only do they take golden dragon blood, but they'd better get some bodyguards for both of them. As for the bodyguard candidate, Huang Zhe felt that his hellhound was quite good. Not only was it thick-skinned, it could carry and beat up, and had good obedience, and as a hellish creature, it was already a stronger deterrent to undead creatures and to soul energy, so it was more than suitable to be used to guard the house and prevent others from engaging in sneak attacks. Of course, the drawbacks are not without their own, such as the fact that Cerberus is not only bigger, but also ridiculously ugly and not very easy to lead out for a walk. What's more, at this moment, Palos was working diligently as a security guard at the construction site in the north, with thousands of minotaurs and tens of thousands of dogheads under his control, so he really couldn't leave it for a while. But since there are hellhounds, then I guess there should be hellcats too, right? Huang Zhe thought for a moment. He couldn't just let the wolf team get the big credit. He had to give the meow team some opportunities to perform as well. He planned to turn around and when he had the chance, he would also go and catch a few feline infernal creatures back to feed them. Fuck. This dog is too much of a dog. Anto looked at the hellhound with a big back comb, constantly patrolling the construction site and growling every now and then. He couldn't help but is cursing and spitting hard on the ground. Then immediately by the side of the dog head man supervisor, and wind discipline commissioner found, 
immediately report it to the superior, and then deducted in two ten civilization points and performance points, wages directly shrunk by one-fifth. Nim Niang, and two almost couldn't hold back to swear, but at least he was held down by the brother next to him, boss, calm down, don't get carried away, if you get expelled then it's a big loss. In the face of his brother's bitter pleas, even though in two was full of heroism, he could not help but be a little short of breath for a moment, and could only swallow his breath. According to reason, as a progressive werewolf who has participated in more than 20 times of summer cultural learning sessions and has won the honor of no less than 10 times of advanced workers, Anto S. Only Wolf, personal quality should not be so bad, but there is no way, this bout of time, it and its people, the days of life is really too wimpy, honestly speaking, before that damned hellhound didn't appear, the summer people gave them werewolves pretty good treatment, coming up to be the basic management personnel, security guards, which is higher than the minotaurs, dog-headed people, these bitter ha 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 who only know how to sell hard labor, the starting point is not known to be how much higher, but ever since the damn palos came, everything started to change, there was no way, this hellhound's business skills, which were just so much higher than their werewolf, was straight up wrapping up the security guard's job, a whole project, more than a dozen sites, froze even a security incident, even a rat cannot be seen, the security industry practitioners anto them are the whole dumbfounded, the performance of a significant shrinkage, the level of income plummeted, big brother, why don't we change careers, a strong elite werewolf ordered a huazi for unto and suggested, being a security guard at a construction site, where's the way out? Just a little bit of dead pay every month. It's not even enough to smoke Huazi. Nim motherfucker, you won't buy the cheaper ones. Huazi, I don't see them summer people dare to smoke much. Unta splits his head and gives his little brother a chestnut, but takes the wazu and spits out an eye roll beautifully. Big brother, this is not what you taught us. Life is too short to settle. The elite werewolf rubbed his head and said in disbelief, we've suffered for most of our lives. We deserve to have a better life. Huazi is a kind of faith. It's hard for me to feel bad if I don't smoke it for a day. You this thought is obviously out of the question. What family has no forced number? But also Huazi is a kind of faith. You believe up? And two split his head and face as a scolding. And then sighed. Change line. Where there is such a change of line. We are uneducated and unskilled. Do not give the Xia people as a security guard. What else can we do? Is it to return to the old job? Fall into the grass as a bandit too long for their own lives? And haven't you guys noticed that lately the people of Xia are looking at us with some strange eyes? Several times I've heard them discussing privately that we're husky werewolves, but we're obviously the famous white wolves of the Northlands, and for them to associate us with huskies like this is obviously an insult to us and racial discrimination. When the company's inspection team arrives, I'm going to sue them. The few surrounding werewolves in security uniforms listened, but they didn't show much in the way of empathy, instead, they were all a bit tongue-tied. What, you guys think we resemble those damn, stupid huskies too? And too was incredulous, so angry that he was all shaking, madly dropping his fur there. Air, not so angry, but it was in the middle of the fur changing season, and it was already easy to drop hair. Big brother, wasn't it you who told us to be realistic? An elite werewolf froze his head and said, reasonably speaking, our white wolf clan and that husky, indeed is a bit like ah, not only eyes, fur color, even the character is quite similar are energetic, lively and active, but also often like to commit a draw, the reason why Greer is after us, isn't because our fathers made a mistake and hocked his temple no, and that's not even once or twice in history, so I think, the Summerlanders will associate us with huskies, which is actually quite pertinent, nice guy, Anto laughed in exasperation and didn't even bother to punch him, just said, fuck you're falling so fast that you're actually accepting to be in the company of a stupid one like a husky, boss, huskies aren't really stupid at all, they just don't have their heads in the right place. The elite werewolf argued reasonably, and haven't you noticed, although the people of Xia like to flirt with huskies on their mouths, they actually still love this kind of canine, and many of them are unwilling to give up their husky friends even if their homes have been torn down countless times. So, if we, the white wolf clan, are bound to the huskies, this will bring us a negative reputation in a short period of time and on the surface, but in the long run and at a deeper level, the impact brought to us will actually be positive which will make the people of the Summerland accept us faster and better, believe in us, crap, and too was so shocked that the mouth of Huazi fell off, could not help but touch the little brother's head and said, can't see ah, your kid's brain, when so spiritual, say, is not secretly behind our back to enroll in cram schools, no, no, the elite werewolf waved his hands and said, I just read a few more books and figured it out blindly over nothing, but it's mainly due to the boss's good leadership and taking the lead to do a good job, I agree with that, 
Another elite werewolf also said, it's all thanks to the boss's foresight and determination that he insisted on cooperating with the Xia people, or else we wouldn't have had the opportunity to smoke Huazi today. We all know that the boss has always been under very great pressure in his heart, and even up until now, there have always been people within the clan questioning the boss's choices, saying in a conspiratorial manner that we have no dignity or bottom line, and that we are actually foolish enough to go and serve as dogs for the Xia people. How do those rats know that laborers are not high or low? The division of labor in society is a big trend. Security is a formal, legally protected profession. Even if we wolves don't do it, there will be others who do it. There are millions of summer guards in the summer country. Are they all dogs too? Well said. And Tu not only clapped hard, but was even moved to the point where his eyes were a little red. The Xia people were very much against the individual dictatorship thing, believing that dictatorships were the most conducive to corruption and degradation. So they had been vigorously publicizing democracy and equality. The dissent. Honestly, and Tu had been worried that his ruling line would not be recognized by the clan and then be overthrown and removed from power at some point in the future, his personal glory and loss was nothing, but the greatest fear was that his successor would go against the grain and fall out with the Xia people, destroying the situation that it had managed to create with great difficulty. I'm very happy that the brothers have come to this realization, and Tu tightly held the hands of those two elite werewolves and emotionally said, I know that many people say that I am shameless, turning my back on my ancestors and forgetting my ancestors and leading the way to give the Xia people as a dog. They there know that even if they are to give the Xia people as a dog, that is still much better than being uprooted all the time ah. And instead of treating us like dogs, the Xia people gave us high enough respect to pay us a higher salary than even the Xia people in their territory. Even that precious and so powerful black dragon, the Xia people also said to release, fully demonstrated respect for life and love of peace. So much so that even the black dragon was moved to want to join the Xia nationality. Compared to it, what is it for us? the white wolf clan, to come to work as security guards for the Xia people, to come to work for the Xia people, and how can we say that we are here to work as a dog, we are clearly earning what we deserve based on our own labor, based on our own abilities, and if we are security guards now, can we still be security guards for the rest of our lives, the Summerlanders are very fair and generous, their stage is wide open, and if one is good enough, even a dog-headed man can make a name for himself and become president of a labor union, not to mention our great werewolves, Boss is right. Boss said it so well. It's worthy of having gone to Summerland for further training. Talking is level. Boss, when will we be able to be like you and be able to study in Xia? Soon soon soon. The summer people say that soon they will set up some night schools, some literacy classes, and then everyone will have the opportunity to learn. And two somewhat self-complacent grip the white hairs in front of his chest. Some self-preservedly said, but I myself also have to work harder, or else you all look silly on the surface. In fact, ghostly ghostly, a not paying attention to me than the past, then I'm the boss, when it is also too embarrassed, no, 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 that's not possible, with your brilliance, boss, you must always be at the forefront of us, always be our big brother, the elite werewolf who had spoken first patted himself on the back, just know how to say nice things, and two's heart is used, but on his mouth, he laughed and scolded, I can still not know you, just count on your kid backstage stealing the most powerful, honestly, is not already thinking of usurping my position? No, no, how dare I? Really no? Tell me earlier if there is. Don't make a whole mess behind my back and hurt my brother's feelings. And Tu patted his little brother's shoulder and said heartily, it's a good thing that you guys are aggressive and want to get to the top. After all, competition is the only way for our collective and our tribe to make progress and be energetic. What's more, I can't always be the boss. Sooner or later I have to retire. Said here, Anto couldn't help but laugh when it comes to retirement. I don't know if you guys looking for summer country people buy pension insurance. Anyway, I did. I advise everyone to also smoke fewer packs of Huazi and try to buy as much as you can. Because the pension insurance that the Xia people prepared for us wolves can be said to have made a serious mistake. And it's definitely a sure thing if you buy it. Buying insurance. Several of the werewolf minions were a bit stunned when they heard this. Then one of them couldn't help but say, Boss, that insurance thing is so deep. How can a few of us understand it? That's right. Who in their right mind would buy insurance? A few other minions followed suit. Eh? This you have no idea. Insurance this thing, although the reputation is a little bit of stink. In fact, the role of a large it, do not look at the summer people scolded so much, but should buy or have to buy. Every month only need to spend a small part of the money. You can give our next life. Oh, sorry, said it fast and missed a word. Is giving us quality security for the rest of our lives. Antoine said squarely. A while ago I studied the social security that the summer lenders have prepared for us, 
and realize that they've clearly made a major mistake. They are actually taking the average lifespan of our werewolves and calculating it to be less than 70 years old, with the intention of retiring us at the age of 58 and then paying us a retirement paycheck. Brothers, isn't this obviously a benefit for us? And too excitedly said, can our own people not know the situation? Other than that, just our white wolf clan's theoretical average life expectancy is definitely more than 70 years old, and it's more like doubling it. The reason why it will be so low now is not because we werewolves before that living conditions is really too bad. Even the problem of food and clothing cannot be solved. There is no medical conditions not to say, but also often have to go out to war. Under these circumstances, how can the average life expectancy be high when one out of a hundred clansmen will be thankful to live to a ripe old age? But it's different now. Now that we've embraced Xia's thighs, we're well fed, warmly clothed, and no longer need to go out and fight and kill much. Our per capita life expectancy will surely break a hundred at any time. Speaking here, and two couldn't help is raising the volume. Said loudly, brothers, know what this means? Means that as long as we buy the pension insurance now, then in the future, we can sufficiently grip the wool of the Xia people for decades ah. Such a good thing. What are you still hesitating? It may be an exaggeration to say it's a book of 10,000 profits, but a book of 10 or 100 profits is absolutely no problem. And what's even more rare is that the victory is in stability. Really? A few werewolf minions heard this, and couldn't help but be a little moved as well. Then couldn't help but ask Anto for more details. And in the end, under Anto's professional explanation, one by one, they all also had the intention of buying the insurance. Boss, why don't we really change careers? At this time, a werewolf little brother suddenly said, I feel that this line of insurance, maybe in the future there is really a future. Or let's not be security guards, and change the line of work to sell insurance. Right? Sell insurance? When in two and the other juniors heard this, they first froze, then their eyes lit up in unison. Huang Zhe sat withered in his room all night, and nothing happened. I don't know if the firewall of my own soul is too high to pick up the woman's signals, or if that dream of mom's was actually something she imagined herself. Huang Zhe was too busy with his official duties to spend time with her, and after waiting for academician Ding and his team to turn around and rush over, he put his mind mainly back inside the base. What? There are still 988 days to go before the boundary disappears? Academician Ding was shocked to learn this information from the Black Dragon. That's what the Dark Goddess told me. Huang Zhe nodded and said, and from my intuition, this shouldn't look like a fake. 988 days, is less than 3 years, that's just too fast. Academician Ding looked bitter. There are too many things we haven't figured out, too much work we haven't prepared, for fear that it will be difficult to withstand such a huge impact. Ding Academician, you don't have too much pressure. Well at least we know the exact time now. It's better than being unprepared and being taken by surprise. Huang Zhe comforted. Mr. Huang is right. Academician Ding woke up as if from a dream, and quickly was took a deep breath, pulling himself together. We still have time, and you, Mr. Huang, this is obviously not the time for pessimism and despair. The goddess of darkness is the god of hidden secrets, and in quite a few places, vaguely there is some tacit agreement with our country, and the credibility of what he says is still relatively high. We've got to thank him for this information, otherwise we'd still be in the dark, and we'd surely have lost a lot of money by then. A tacit agreement? Lilith has already played the silent card with our summer kingdom? Huang Zhe first froze, then quickly also reacted. Academician Ding should be talking about those life spring water. If not for Lilith's permission, or even said initiative, how could the night elf possibly sell this thing to the summer academy of sciences? Huang Zhe told Academician Ding and the others about his encounter in the sky in full whiskers, and then it soon alarmed the highest level as well, with a large number of experts and scholars joining in the research and discussion trying to be able to find a way to defuse this crisis. Huang Zhe used his trumpet to follow everyone for a few days of meetings, then couldn't stand it anymore and cut straight back to the main body to focus on other tasks, like hatching dragon eggs, the introduction fee promised by MS. Red 4 red dragon eggs had already been sent over, then Academician Ding and the others kept two of them for research in the lab, while the other two were then given to the black dragon to take and run to build a nest outside the country, to see if they could help hatch the baby dragons. In response, the black dragon actually clearly refused at first, after all, it was a male dragon, how could it go and become a male mother, how could it do something like hatching eggs, but then, after repeated lobbying by CAS, the black dragon eventually reluctantly agreed, there was no way around it, as a transcendental creature, the natural incubation time of a dragon egg was, in fact, super long, and without external help, it might even take a few years, or even a dozen years, before it could break out of its shell, but now that the boundary had less than three years left and was about to disappear, 
Without this protective shield, the situation in the Summer Kingdom would definitely deteriorate drastically, so how could there be any time left to slowly study and slowly cultivate these dragon eggs? Therefore, it could only be looking to the Black Dragon to see if it could find a way to hatch the baby dragon, and then more or less form some fighting force to help protect the country. The Black Dragon was very talkative and quite giving, and naturally it was not very good at refusing such a legitimate, such an earnest request, and its bone-deep Maharishi dragonism is not really that strong, and it even ends up feeling, if he could really accelerate the hatching of dragon eggs, then he should really go and get some more dragon eggs back and personally hatch an army of dragons, which would be considered to be the greatest help to the country. Compared to that, what's the big deal? Even if you have to carry a bad reputation as a male mom? Unfortunately, the black dragon's egg hatching technology, it does not seem to be very good, no, it is actually not at all. That is, like an old hen, the two dragon eggs pressed under the abdomen, and then from time to time zila 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 to give them a moment of electricity. As for the rest, the black dragon wouldn't be able to do anything else at all, so much so that even after two days and nights of incubation in a row, there was no change at all in those two red dragon eggs. It's not supposed to be a dead egg, is it? The black dragon was a bit guilty of muttering, and then used the eye of truth to appraise it and found that the two of them pressed on without any fetal movement, but vaguely felt like there was some vitality, and it might not be impossible to hatch out if they were lucky. Can't see, that ms, red is quite generous, at least it's not fooling around with dead eggs, the black dragon peeled the two red dragon eggs back under the belly, the red lady's feelings are more or less better, just do not know whether she is willing to take the generation of hatching business, Kasa actually did discuss this with ms, red, only to be turned down by her, at the same time, XAS himself was not very assured of outsourcing. After all, the hatching process of the dragon egg, which was actually the continuation process of the bloodline and will, was very susceptible to the influence of the external environment. That is to say, a dragon cub hatched by someone else, and a baby dragon hatched by one of their own. That must be quite a bit worse meaning. Hey, fortunately MS, red to get, directly is fertilized dragon eggs, otherwise ding academician they, certainly will not be able to resist picking up I donate a sperm, to see if the dragon eggs can be artificially inseminated, the black dragon was not thankful to think that, after all, this hatching other people's eggs, and hatching their own eggs, the nature of the completely different, with the black dragon's current psychological construction, pressure is not ready to be apparent, I didn't realize that the always invincible electroshock therapy, didn't have much of a role to play in the egg hatching piece, the black dragon was a little surprised, it had thought that the lightning for the conception of life, more or less will come in handy, but did not expect, the two red dragon eggs did not move at all, and did not show a hungry look, two more days of incubation, if there's no movement in two more days of incubation, it's time to meet that red lady as promised, and then we'll see if we can learn from her or simply capture her back to demonstrate what the proper egg incubation position looks like, the black dragon thought darkly, and for some reason, it was vaguely looking forward to the red lady it was about to meet, well, can't seem to tell if the expectation is physical or psychological, just as the black dragon was concentrating on hatching the eggs at times and rambling at others, ms, red was actually on her way to find it, after all, it is also a godmother level red dragon born 98, 980 years ago, ms, red obviously also has some caution, and has long been doing some tricks on those four dragon eggs for tracking and sensing, to see what the Xia people actually intend to do with them, this is not in the discovery of two of the dragon eggs, actually returned to the outside world, in a place to stay for two days, and the vital signs are vaguely fluctuating, ms, red's curiosity was instantly aroused, knowing that although these dragon eggs she had gotten were not dead eggs in the true sense of the word, the chances of them being able to successfully hatch would definitely not exceed 1%, yet in just these two days, the odds have risen to 1, 5%, although this enhancement was so small that the black dragon didn't even sense it, as a red dragon that had studied dragon eggs for hundreds of years, and had become a doctor for a long time to be called a godmother level red dragon, ms, red's judgment would definitely not be wrong, is the technology for treating infertility in Xia, really so powerful that it can even solve the problem of the giant dragon, ms, red was guilty of muttering while touching her hard belly, and if that were true, wouldn't that mean, ms, red enjoyed moving around in her human form, and this proclivity had become even more especially so after receiving Xiaohua, she hadn't walked around in her gargoyle form for most of a month, of course, there was no shortage of factors involved in the fact that the gargoyle form was simply too large a target to be easily spotted and tracked by the Xia. It is now at a critical point in its relationship with the Xia people, and the slightest miscalculation could result in a major loss. So this kind of quietly spying information thing, 
Naturally it was not good to use the giant dragon form to carry out. That would be too obvious of a target. MS. Red chose to use her human form, taking advantage of the night color, and quickly rushed towards the place where the black dragon hatched its eggs. Though the black dragon was a bit distracted from time to time and wasn't very familiar with the neighborhood, he still quickly spotted MS. Red sneaking up on him and could tell at a glance that she wasn't human. The red lady was obviously also startled by the black dragon that was hatching eggs. And for a while, one person and one dragon were separated by a long distance, just staring at each other. This guy can't be. That black dragon called Doze. MS. Red felt her own view of dragon life, obviously by the storm. A powerful black dragon actually is secretly hiding here to incubate eggs, which if spread out. I wonder how many little female dragons will come wailing to have babies with it. After all, in a race like the dragons, where the father is kind and the son is filial, good male dragons like him are too few and far between. This woman shouldn't be that who MS. Red, right? The black dragon had seen pictures of MS. Red before, and could be impressed with her boobs, so he quickly judged that the woman was the red dragon. It's a bit awkward ah, how she suddenly ran over. This also do not know to say in advance. I have not even prepared mentally. The black dragon's mood is very complicated. That feeling is like her pulling wild shit you, is pouting ass there to wipe the ass. Jerked back hurricane found that their crush on the girl, is a word to look at their own. It's almost as if the community is dead Ben is dead. No, 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 no. Why would I compare this red dragon to my crush? It's inexplicable. When did I get so piggish? The black dragon immediately reacted. This must be those organs in his body that had been severely beaten several times but still remained dead, overproducing there again. So he hurriedly sank down and held them down one by one, forcibly suppressing the unknown. Then it was time to stare coldly at the obnoxious red lady with dangerous eyes. Ha! Busy! M.S. Red came forward somewhat sardonically, snapped a greeting, and was stared at by the black dragon was obviously some heart panic. I do not know whether it is scared, or to the excitement of, facing her fellow clan members. M.S. Red naturally spoke in dragon language, and then Huang Ze, an imposter, naturally didn't understand. However, with his spirit highly concentrated, he still vaguely sensed that this red dragon's attitude towards him seemed a bit flattering, and even all but laced with a bit of humility. Well, it is like the kind of low-level licking dog that swears to lick only one person in his life, suddenly seeing the male god that has been long gone, the kind of light that comes out of the eyes cannot be hidden no matter what. Of course, it couldn't be ruled out that this red dragon had great tea skills and was making a show of seducing his super quality male dragon. The black dragon is vigilant in its heart. It actually has hesitated to test its own weakness. After all, it is also a person who wants to be a cadre in the future of the dragon. And it is not necessarily a bad thing to accept the test of some peach color traps earlier. However, this red lady was dressed up in a flamboyant and flirtatious manner, which was more or less too much and didn't really fit the black dragon's view of choosing a mate, it still preferred the kind of little female dragon that was more innocent, more youthful, and less uninvolved. Air, just don't know if there is such a rare breed within the gargoyle race. You, hello, I am a sold Maninkus Caesar Augustus, red dragon clan, 980 years old, unmarried, not pregnant, with over a hundred properties in my own name and over 300 tons of gold in savings. May I have the pleasure of making your acquaintance, Mr. Handsome Black Dragon. MS. Red didn't even know that the black dragon didn't understand the dragon language. She didn't have the kind of ability of the black dragon that could forcibly suppress the unknown in her body. At this time, she had already been deeply attracted by the black dragon's handsome physique and unique temperament. And all she could think about was that she had to take it down and socialize with it. Then the black dragon's brain, which was not loaded with a dragon language module, not only didn't understand what MS. Red was saying, but instead felt that it was a bit bitchy. So naturally, her face was even more impassive. In response, instead of being annoyed, MS, Red felt that this black dragon was indeed a true and genuine man, completely different from those demonic bitches out there. For a while the attitude couldn't help but be more positive. Gushing and shushing the black dragon endlessly. Dragon language is a very old magical language, which seems to be devoid of rules and logic, and it is very difficult to analyze and study it, let alone learn it, whether by audio, or by text. So much so, that for a time, the XASC suspected that dragon language was one of the high-level languages used to parse out the nature of the world, aka the nature of magic, like the C++ languages to computers, and that by learning dragon language, one would be able to do some interference with the material world, and with magic. Therefore when MS, Red started to chatter incessantly, the black dragon did not interrupt. Instead, he listened carefully, after all, he was at least a giant dragon, 
If he listened to some more dragon language, he might have remembered it all at once. Unfortunately, however, it is not known whether it is Ohio Bernion, completely broken at this hoey technical authorization, or that the core program of its soul, and the dragon language is not compatible at all. Anyway, the black dragon listened for a while, not but no gain, but are a little distracted, finally finally cannot help but interrupt, speak human, ms, red was a bit stunned a good dragon talk in favor of a human talk would be a small book if the Hyperion knew about it, however, the gargoyles basically didn't have much respect to speak of for this main god of their house, there was no way around it, this guy was just too stingy and greedy, one sword, let's not talk about the distant ones, just say recently, I don't know where this old ancestor heard about Xia's patent law, so he started a small mind, intending to change the dragon language from free to paid use, all the giants who want to use the dragon language, dragon language magic, must pay him a certain amount of patent license fee every year, the move found strong opposition from all the dragons, to the point where even Woking, the god of commerce, couldn't stand to watch and spit on Hyperion through the air, stunned as she was, ms, red was still very happy in her heart that the male god was actually willing to talk to her, this kind of creatures like dragons don't know how to be reserved, not to mention that ms, Red had lived for nearly a thousand years, and it was not easy for her to meet a satisfactory one, so how could she still care about squirming, and immediately said her previous self-introduction again in the summer language, a red dragon, 980 years old, and unmarried and pregnant, you're kidding me, the black dragon couldn't help but snort, even it, a black dragon with high self-requirements and even some mental cleanliness, would be rushed by spermatozoa from time to time, not to mention her, an energetic red dragon that had lived for nearly a thousand years, it's not like the gargoyles can do a marriage test anyway, it's still whatever she says it is, it's true, I could swear to god, seeing that the black dragon didn't believe it, ms, red immediately made an excited statement, come on, if swearing to god worked, the world would have been cleared up a long time ago, the black dragon had already suppressed all the uncertainty in his body, his mind was steady as a pussy, and he said lightly, you are the red dragon that the people of the summer kingdom are talking about. Tell me, what do you want to do in such a hurry to find me? Of course I want to have kids with you. No no no. I want to work with you. M.S. Red's heart was straight, and she exposed her truest thoughts at once, before realizing that something was wrong and hurriedly was changing her words. Intuition told her that this Mr. Black Dragon was a super serious and responsible gentleman dragon, and if she was too blunt and frivolous, not only would she not be liked by it, but she would be disgusted by it, how does, cooperate, the black dragon was ostensibly ignoring the first half of ms, red's words, but in reality, there was actually that much heart in his heart, after all, as a powerful dragon himself, figuring out how to have more babies and more children would undoubtedly be considered as making a contribution to the country, you give up your intention of joining the Xia nationality, then join forces with me and build a free city near the Xia border, then we'll monopolize the real estate and taxes, and we'll surely make a lot of money, M.S. Red said without thinking, Mr. Dios, what good is it for you to join the Xia nationality? Even if the Xia people treat you more favorably, how can it be as comfortable as coming out to start your own business as a boss? As long as we can run through the Xia people and get Freedom City built, then I can guarantee you that your annual income will never be less than 200 tons of gold. If we can't do it, I'll pay myself back to you. You wish. The black dragon laughed coldly in his heart and looked at M.S. Red with some playfulness. I'm sorry. The paths are different. You and I are obviously pursuing different things. So don't waste any more words. There's nothing to talk about. Quest. Mr. Dios, what is your quest? May I hear it? M.S. Red didn't let Black Dragon's rejection cause her to fall out of line. Instead, she switched tactics and followed Black Dragon's topic of inquiry. My quest. The Black Dragon couldn't help but be a 45 degree view into the distance. And it was actually a bit confused in its heart about this question. If in the past, the pursuit of it must be to marry a gentle and virtuous wife, give birth to two smart and lovely children, have a car and a house and savings have their own love of the cause, peace and quiet after a happy and fulfilling life. But since he had turned into a giant dragon, that previous quest in life was obviously a bit out of place. Whether it is to utilize one's business acumen and physical strengths to get as much money as possible and become the richest dragon in the world of the heavens and the earth, or to incarnate as a determined seeker of knowledge and a revolutionary, to overthrow the rule of those gods, to unveil the truth and the essence of this world, and to bring everything back to the commonwealth. No, 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 my quest can never be as vulgar as the former, nor as far-reaching as the latter. I just want to rely on my own efforts to protect my family and my country as much as possible, to be healthy and prosper forever. Instead of answering MS, Red's question, 
The black dragon said to himself again in his mind, possibly realizing that the black dragon was not very interested in her body in human form. It seemed, M.S. Red then undid her shape-shifting spell and appeared in front of the black dragon in the form of a giant dragon. Then, the black dragon was really attracted to the attention, and the two eyes stomped out, staring at the red dragon's body without moving. It wasn't so much that the black dragon's brain had been breached and allowed the spermatozoa to take over the intellectual high ground, but it suddenly noticed something female dragons didn't have naiads. It also seems that reptiles and oviparous animals don't seem to have naiads, the black dragon realized afterward, and then was a little amused himself that he would actually dwell on such a question. However, the smile in the black dragon's eyes was clearly interpreted as a positive sign by MS, red, and completely transformed into a little fangirl, taking the initiative to crawl towards the black dragon. M.S. Red's body shape was very graceful, with all her fiery red scales gleaming, and it was not known whether she had been polished and maintained, or whether she was born that way. Even the black dragon had to admit that if the aesthetics of the giant dragons alone were taken into account, this little female dragon was quite pretty and quite energetic. Unfortunately, after all, it was a preconceived notion that a passive personality like Huang Zhe, if you were to be too active with him, he would instead feel uninterested. So seeing the red dragon take the initiative to come over and look for a rub, instead of feeling excited, the black dragon couldn't even help but want to slap her with a claw. However, the black dragon didn't do so in the end. It was not because of pity, but rather, it suddenly thought of a good idea, only to see that it took the initiative to climb up and retreated ten or so paces, and then said to the red dragon, it just so happens that you're a female. You've come at the right time. Help me incubate these two eggs first. M.S. Red didn't refuse. For one thing, the reason why it was called a godmother class red dragon was because she used to like to help other giant dragons hatch their eggs in order to release her own motherly nature that had nowhere to vent. Secondly, it was also because there was a black dragon's body heat on these two eggs. So squatting on them herself would definitely be an earner. And with a male and a female gargoyle taking turns hatching eggs, isn't this the ideal gargoyle family? Mr. Joe's must have had such an idea, but was too embarrassed to tell me explicitly. So he gave me such a hint. M.S. Red had a brainstorming moment. And then when she saw that the black dragon was really looking intently at her egg hatching posture, she couldn't help but feel even more excited. And her eyes were about to overflow with water as she looked at the black dragon. How could the black dragon know that the red dragon would have so much drama in his heart? He merely wanted to learn the correct posture for hatching eggs from this adult female dragon. After all, it would definitely have to do this kind of technical work less often in the future. That, please can you talk me through the technical essentials? The black dragon stared for a while, vaguely like there was some gain, but also like there was nothing, so he couldn't help but to lower his stance and took the initiative to ask the red dragon for advice. What? The red dragon was obviously a bit unresponsive. It's just the technical nuts and bolts of hatching eggs. The black dragon explained, I feel like your posture, which seems similar to mine, but it looks significantly more professional. Can you tell us what you know about it? The red dragon looked at the black dragon's serious eyes and for a moment he didn't know if it was teasing him or if he really had a penchant for this, and after freezing for a while he couldn't help but ask, Mr. Dios, why are you curious about this? And also, is it true that the Xia people forced you to come here to hatch the eggs? No need to call me sir, you're 980 years old and probably older than me, the black dragon is actually very good to get along with, since the red dragon obediently hatched the egg for it, then its words naturally increased, it is not that the Xia people forced me but I wanted to try it myself. After all, you female dragons are not the only ones who can hatch eggs, right? That's true. M.S. Red nodded. After all, unlike humans, where the only way to produce offspring was to be a mother, as an oviparous creature, male gargoyles could likewise hatch dragon eggs, except that hardly any males would do so of their own accord. It couldn't be helped. The incubation period of dragon eggs was too long, and male gargoyles were almost always scum with no sense of responsibility. How could they have that kind heart and patience to take the initiative to help female dragons incubate their eggs? So in response to the black dragon's question, M.S. Red was actually very happy, and immediately rattled off her own experience in hatching eggs. According to her, she had helped other gargoyles hatch almost a hundred dragon eggs in her life, and at first it was just a way to find solace in her soul, hatching the finished ones, and then she actually hatched out some experience. For example, red and black dragon eggs prefer dry, hot environments, and nesting and hatching near volcanoes is perfect. Gold and bronze dragons, on the other hand, require a lot of metal. Since you have experience in hatching, then why didn't you say yes when the Xia people asked you to help them hatch before? The black dragon gave the red dragon a bad rating in its heart, but there was no change on its face, 
which was also the reason why it was a little wary of this red dragon. It always felt like she was speculating, and was not very sincere to our Xia people, because I haven't done this in centuries. The red dragon replied truthfully, hatching eggs is actually a very physically harmful thing for a single dragon. I used to be in a weakened condition when I was doing it alone, and even Hyperion gave me a special warning, saying that I was hatching too many eggs and that it was seriously affecting his work. What kind of crotch has the total number of dragons become? You Hibernian as the biggest leader. Not to encourage the birth of a child is not enough, but still here to catch the overgrowth? And do not know the euphemism, at least also play a little fewer children. Optimal birth, happy life such a propaganda card, just know that the power to pressure people. Engage in a one-size-fits-all, have him such a leader, the dragons can become a climate, that is to see the ghost it. The black dragon couldn't help but be a bit righteously indignant, and didn't know if this line of work of deities could engage in a change of government, and if it could, then it would definitely find a way to get this guy, Hibernian, out of power and replace him with a more reliable one. You used to love hatching dragon eggs? The black dragon saw the red dragon has been staring at himself, that hot eyes more or less let it as some can hold back although it is able to forcibly suppress the body of the unspecified, abstinence from their own physiological desires, but after all, is not completely cut off from the love of the machine, the brain will inevitably still be a bit stupid, so it hastily find a topic to divert away from their own attention, yes, ms, red hung her head a little embarrassed, when I was a juvenile dragon and had just been kicked out of the nest by my mother, I had a strange encounter, a golden egg fell from the sky, and it happened to land right in front of me, and at the time, I was so hungry that I couldn't help but eat it, and then this egg, which slowly turned into a tumor in my stomach, not only seriously affected my physical constitution, but also largely changed my mind, amplifying the motherly nature within me, making me always think about hatching something, so I often can't help but run to pick up other dragons unwanted eggs and bring them back to hatch myself, why go picking up other people's eggs when you can't lay them yourself, can't get born, ms, red's head dropped even lower, and she said weakly, that tumor blocked my uterus, and for so many years I couldn't ovulate normally at all, and as soon as I did, it would eat me, well, according to you, you do have a pretty serious case, the black dragon couldn't help but glance at the red dragon's abdomen, and found that inside there, it seemed like it was still really clogged with something, and even under the black dragon's gaze, it actively throbbed a few times, as if it was like a provocation, what are you looking at, if you have the ability to come and stab me ah, the black dragon was not a child, of course it would not be agitated by it, immediately shifted his gaze away and asked the red dragon with some puzzlement, since it has been tormenting you for so many years, haven't you ever thought of having an operation to take it out? Mr. Dios, before Xia came to our world, we, the gargoyles, where there would be such a concept as performing surgery, ms, red gave the black dragon a somewhat scolding look, then buried her head and licked her belly, saying, and it's not really torturing me, at least the effect it has had on my mind on my soul, has been positive and uplifting, and has kept me from being mediocre and drunk like other gargoyles, full of penetration and penetration and slaves to carnal lust, the wonder of fairy wood, m, the black dragon didn't know if it was its own illusion, it vaguely felt that this red dragon, as if it was pretending to be pure with itself, was implying that although she liked to hatch eggs, but that was just a simple hobby, in fact, she had always been guarding her body like a jade, clean, don't look at the age as a little bit older, in fact, it is still a flawless little female dragon, waiting for her wall-breaking people, so quickly saw that I was good at this, and immediately adjusted the strategy, changed the style of painting, and made up this kind of story, it seems that this ms, red, the segment level is really very high ah, the black dragon of course will not be impressed by these three words of ms, red, but also doubled the vigilance, thinking that she is t skills, is changing the way to strategy their own this head of pure love small virgin dragon, they can be caught in the way of her, so the black dragon didn't continue this topic, but asked about the main thing, you female dragons, at what age do you usually start laying eggs, and how many dragon eggs can you lay at most per year, that's hard to say, ms, red wondered a little why the black dragon was always concerned with such questions, but still answered truthfully, generally speaking, female gargoyles that enter their youth, that is, over 50 years old, can lay eggs normally, only very few female dragons will do this, because for us dragons, Youth is still in the stage of growing our bodies, and laying eggs will seriously deplete the body's nutrients, coupled with the fact that the motherhood in the consciousness hasn't begun to awaken much yet, so the vast majority of female dragons, are the ones that will lay their first eggs when they are almost into adulthood, that is, when they are almost a hundred years old, as for the maximum number of, 
Eggs that can be laid each year this is even more difficult to say. Laying eggs this kind of thing, it is not something that we can lay as many as we want to lay, but it is necessary to consider a lot of factors in a comprehensive manner. Usually, a nest can lay so seven or eight normal dragon eggs, it is already considered very good, and our giant dragons do not spawn every year. After giving birth to this nest to the next, at least a few years apart, otherwise not only can not afford to give birth to, but also can not afford to raise ah, so much trouble? The black dragon muttered. Originally it was still a little worried that in the future, the Summer Academy of Sciences would not request it to capture more female giant dragons back for scientific farming and breeding. When the time comes, it's, its own dragon, is also the only male dragon that can be trusted. It is definitely the responsibility, and it is inevitable that it will have to do some dirty work. This is a departure from the principle of the world that it is a human being, and it will definitely deviate from the principle of the world. It is reasonable to say that now listening to MS, Red So Say, the black dragon heart inside should be a lot of solid right. After all, the giant dragon spawning efficiency is so low, the fertility cycle is so long, even if they are captured back to carry out scientific breeding, may not be able to have a good effect, but will also ride on the huge breeding costs. Business costs can be said to be more than worth the loss. So the black dragon could have more than enough reasons for CAS to put off plans like getting a giant dragon farm, and then naturally it wouldn't need to do the dirty work itself. This should be something worth celebrating. However, do not know how. The black dragon heart inexplicably have a kind of empty feeling. Maybe to think. The giant dragon breeding farm this can obviously improve the country's comprehensive national strength of the good project. Actually is not to get over. Inevitably is a little too sad. After all, with the black dragon such a good mindset. As long as it was enlightened more and did more work on its mind, it would definitely take the greater good into consideration and tearfully go and finish those dirty jobs. Anyway, there was no bigamy for the dragon. As long as it was keeping up with its nutrition, even if it slept with more young females, it wouldn't be sanctioned by the law, but instead, they would all still be honored meritorious breeder dragons. Chapter 120 Request for Purchase Since you've been living in the material realm for so many years, then I'm sure that your network of relationships must be very wide. The black dragon gathered the distractions in his head and asked about the next thing. If you were given half a year's time, and if you were to intervene, how many dragon eggs would you be able to get at most? Why do you ask? M.S. Red's eyes widened in surprise. And, although the bonds we dragons have in terms of affection, are generally not very strong, and many heartless male dragons will even heartily loathe their own children. And if dragons were also guilty of abandonment, then more than 80% of male dragons would have to be sentenced to prison. But the vast majority of female dragons are still very protective of their pups during the years when they first lay their eggs. And it's not easy to get dragon eggs from them. So how did you get these four dragon eggs? The black dragon's eyes suddenly became serious. And his heart was inexplicably a bit cloying, technically speaking. M.S. Red's act of providing dragon eggs to Xiao was undoubtedly considered a very serious crime of abduction and treason within the gargoyle race. If the laws of the giant dragons could be as sound and strict as those of Xia, then this red dragon would even be enough to be sentenced to death. Although the black dragon's ass, the black dragon's position, was not on the side of the giant dragon race, it was still more or less empathetic. If the red dragon had really used despicable means to get these four dragon eggs, then there was obviously a big problem with her character. Definitely not worth deep friendship, much less trust, is what I asked my former kids for. Probably because the black dragon's androgyny was too fierce. M.S. Red couldn't help but be shrinking her neck, somewhat aggrieved, and said, didn't I have hatched many children before? I still have some connection with them more or less. I can still do it by asking for a few dragon eggs from them that don't have very strong vital signs. That's more like it. The black dragon's eyes softened slightly and said, I'm talking about this kind of dragon eggs whose vital signs aren't very strong. With your channels, how many can you get at most? As ancient and powerful transcendent creatures, although the dragons were favored by the heavens, they were also tested by her. And their dragon eggs, of course, couldn't be successfully hatched by every single one of them. Generally speaking, a 50% success rate would already be considered pretty good. And usually only those dragon eggs with stronger vital signs would be favored by fate and successfully break out of their shells. Like those with weak vital signs, not only was the chance of successful hatching low, but even if they hatched out, there was a high chance that they wouldn't be recognized by the dragon god, and wouldn't be able to awaken their inherited memories, and would only be reduced to stupid dragon beasts. But really for the black dragon to say, it instead felt that this kind of dragon beast that hadn't awakened its inherited memories was instead easier to temper and more suitable to be bred by the Xia kingdom. Because the inheritance memory thing is really too bug, almost equivalent to being born knowing, 
As soon as one drills out of the dragon egg and sings one's true name, and then immediately obtains a few terabytes, or even dozens of terabytes of memory information, which in turn produces independent thinking and cognition, and then it is difficult to be transformed by the external environment. Dragon beasts are different, although their innate conditions are much worse, and their brains are as stupid as a blank piece of paper, but precisely because they are like a blank piece of paper, they are easier to be trained and reformed. The heart of a black dragon was capable of creating black gold dragon blood, which was perfect for cleansing the brain of a dragon beast. If it's a dragon egg with weak vital signs, I can probably get 50 or 60 of them. MS. Red. Whose brain circuits seem to be in good health and did not suffer from the same cognitive disorders of mathematics as her fellow immortals, was quick to provide an answer. 50 or 60. Seems to be a bit low. The black dragon wasn't very satisfied. The hatching rate of dragon eggs with weaker vital signs would have been even lower and 50 dragon eggs would have to be considered lucky to hatch out 10 baby dragons. However, the black dragon was not good enough to ask for more. After all, the total number of dragons was there. The general environment of the material world was not very good these years. Most female dragons were not very motivated to lay eggs. M.S. Red was able to get 50 or 60 dragon eggs. It was already considered that she had strong ability and a wide range of paths. Okay, you make a price. Help me get 60 dragon eggs back. How much in total? The black dragon opened the door and addressed the red dragon directly. What do you need all those dragon eggs for? With a puzzled look on her face. M.S. Red kindly advised. Mr. Dios, you should know the dragon cubs can't be raised well. Even if you treat them well, they will still betray you and even backstab you. This is actually considered one of the major disadvantages of our dragon race. Although the inherited memories are providing us with a lot of convenience. But at the same time, they also set the nature of our thinking. Maturing too early. It is easy to be thin-skinned and self-serving. That's my problem. You just need to get the dragon eggs. The black dragon said in disbelief. But privately, he actually felt that what MS. Red said was not without merit. And that this thing called inherited memories was not really a good thing. After all, most souls start out as a blank sheet of paper. And it is only through continuous growth and learning that they gradually develop their own self-awareness. Their own sense of self. And their own unique personality. The thing about inherited memories. However greatly accelerates this process, and often carries with it the strong personal will of the ancestor, which is often carried away by them, breeding problems of one kind or another. The black dragon even felt that such a thing as inherited memories was not at all a gift from the ancestors to their descendants, but instead was more like a disguised form of control, or even slavery. It's like false knowledge, the more you know, the more radical, reactionary, and abnormal you become instead. May I ask if you want these dragon eggs or the Xia people? M.S. Red said with some curiosity. It doesn't make a difference. The black dragon replied. Just take it as I want it. Oh, M.S. Red understood. Then immediately said. Since it's what you want, then I don't want money law. You just need to promise me a small request. The black dragon was a man. Where would he be lured by her little scheme? And immediately said. Let's just talk about money directly. After all, we are all giant dragons. If we don't talk about money, it would be too uncharacteristic. You haven't even heard what my little request is. M.S. Red suddenly became agitated and huffed. If you only want to get rid of me with money, then you'll never ask me to help you find the dragon eggs, and I won't help you hatch any more eggs. Since you think you can do these things with money, go find some other gargoyles. Well well well. M.S. Red's temper, on the contrary, made the black dragon somewhat unable to adapt, so he could only pacify. Let's hold our excitement first. You first say what your requirements are. I really don't want to be a dragon. Cross your tails with me once. M.S. Red Jenghu children. Naturally. Will not wriggle. Directly justified to the black dragon said. Cross-tailed. You call that a small request? The black dragon naturally couldn't understand. Not only did he find it absurd. But he even couldn't help but sigh. The debauchery of the giant dragon is really not just for fun. Full of thoughts about that. Such a creature. And how can it be a good match? I really don't want to be a dragon. The red dragon's choice surprised Huang Zhe, who actually still chose to accept it. I go, you this is not really want to pour me, right? Instead, Huang Zhe was a bit hesitant. Although he had been chased by girls before, he had never really been pursued by a female dragon like this, and was more or less at a loss for words. However, hesitation after hesitation, what should be taken down should still be taken down. After all, this red dragon's conditions in all aspects were quite high quality. If it was taken in both by himself, it would undoubtedly be considered as adding a major battle force for the country. Don't you regret it? Huang Zhe muttered, then fed the red dragon to consume the black and gold dragon's blood, 
and licked her head somewhat affectionately. After all, people are so trusting themselves. Huang Zhe heart to her good sense, naturally rubbing up, more or less also take her as her own people. Own dragon view. Huang Zhe actually wasn't very clear on how the black dragon dragon blood thing worked, but judging from the reaction of the Cerberus last time, this thing seemed to be quite overbearing, and would react violently with the recipient's body and soul, having a violent rejection reaction, and finally forcibly plundering some of the control privileges from the recipient's consciousness. So the reason why Huang Zhe would lick the red dragon's head was actually to appease her and give her something sweet to look forward to, lest she fight too intensely in her head later and end up crumbling without holding on. However, to Huang Zhe's surprise, under the constant onslaught of the black and gold dragon's blood, the red dragon's body was more or less within control, although it was acting in pain and struggling more. On the contrary, it was itself that inexplicably began to get dizzy, feeling as if it was a computer that normally had a memory utilization rate of around 10%. But this would instantly soar to over 50%, and it was still rising. In the end, it was instead the red dragon that slowed down first and licked at Huang Zhe's head, bringing him to his senses. There's no way around it. If I don't come to my senses, I really won't be able to suppress the gun, and I'll have to stage a battle of the pangrams. In that case, the black gold dragon blood thing, it's not something that can be used casually? After tossing and turning for a while, both dragons were a bit tired, and while the red dragon leaned on Huang Zhe's head and slept, Huang Zhe couldn't sleep, and instead pondered there, if he really wanted to compare it, he felt that this thing, and the application seemed to be more alike, and once enabled, it would seriously take up his brain's memory, there might be two to three more receptors like MS, red, and Huang Zhe's brain was going to be unable to manage, not only would it run at a drastically reduced speed, but it might even crash, that means, I can only take three level 7 minions at most, Huang Zhe patted his tail, couldn't help but be a little disappointed, after all, this number is also too little, not to mention the formation of a division, not even enough to build a class. Of course, it could also be that this red dragon situation was rather special. After all, she had lived for nearly a thousand years, her soul strength was relatively high, and her personal data was relatively large, which was why it would cause her, as a program, to have a higher memory usage. Huang Zhe guessed so, but did not rush to go through the memories in the red dragon's head. After all, people are so cooperative to put their hole upside down, then at least have to respect people's right to privacy, or else it would be too scummy. Of course, the main reason is also because of the process of fusion of black and gold dragon blood, and did not find anything wrong, this red dragon's three views seem to be seriously summarized, with Huang Zhe's soul on the fit is very high, otherwise it is inevitable that we still have to do a little bit of a full check, to see if there really exists any crooked ideas in her brain. The place where the black dragon hatched its eggs was naturally being closely watched by the relevant departments of Xia, not long after the red dragon had just run over. It was discovered by the staff and reported up. Then soon Yu Xiaoman led a team over, wanting to find out what was going on. As the situation had taken a sharp turn for the worse, Academician Ding naturally could no longer afford to keep the secret of the black dragon's golden dragon's blood a secret, and instead took the initiative to report it to the highest level. The central leadership after a comprehensive consideration, Agreed that, although Academician Ding's concern is not unreasonable, excessive gold is likely to lead to the heart of the Black Dragon, a deeper mutation, and thus fundamentally change Mr. Huang Zhe's mind and soul. However, due to the pressure of the situation, it has become an urgent matter to make those outstanding soldiers who are loyal to the country and the nation to accept the transformation of their life forms on their own initiative. So, in the end, the central government decided to request Mr. Huang Zhe to provide 100 drops of golden dragon blood per day starting from today, and raise it to 1,000 drops per day in 2 months if possible, in an effort to help at least 200,000 soldiers to complete the transformation of their life forms within a year, and to have the ability to be able to fight freely outside of the country. The black dragon naturally could not refuse. After all, with Yu Xiaoman as a living example, the golden dragon blood was indeed the optimal choice to help the Xia people complete their life form transformation the lesser of two evils. In the face of such a great threat as the disappearance of the boundary and the fusion of worlds, there was really nothing to dwell on when the district's microscopic realm was locked up. If the situation still didn't improve after a year, the central government might even ask the Black Dragon to further increase its production capacity, raising the daily production of Golden Dragon blood to over 1 million drops, thus helping the entire population to be immunized. Yu Xiaoman was the first recipient of the Golden Dragon's blood and was also one of the few public officials who were currently able to move freely outside of the country. So naturally, she was also given a heavy responsibility, and had been following the Black Dragon around, providing him with all kinds of logistical support. 
she found it on her own. The black dragon said somewhat helplessly, but it's fine, she's already been taken down by me. Take it down? Yu Xiaoman looked around at the traces tossed out by the giant dragon's struggles and rolls, and subconsciously thought the wrong thing, so she happily said, well, congratulations to Mr. Dio's first, not the kind of takedown you think, the black dragon couldn't help but explain, and then the sleeping red dragon on the side suddenly muttered, so its brain didn't know what to think, and it actually subconsciously started licking her head again, well, no need to explain, the black dragon froze for a moment, then tightly closed his mouth, on the surface it looked like nothing was happening, but in fact secretly he was using the mage's hand to teach his tongue a hard lesson pap, dog, your stinky problem of liking to lick things indiscriminately, from whom did you learn it in the end, you are limited to half a month and must be corrected, or else wait for the layoff, Mr. Doz, is your relationship with MS, Red really good right now, it was good that you Xiaoman knew Huang Zhe's character and didn't laugh at it too much, but asked with a solemn face, of course, the reason why Yu Xiaoman didn't joke too much, mainly because he didn't dare to, although the black dragon has been intentionally weakening the subordinate relationship with him, but that kind of bloodline connection, is really too close, although it is not so much as to be worshipped as a god, but it is barely considered as a belief, the inner respect for the black dragon, naturally, is quite high, kinda, what's up, the black dragon said with some curiosity, with the golden dragon blood this layer of bond, if for Xiaoman this receptor is not to say that it is a heart to heart, but after all, it is so far away, more or less can feel some of the thoughts in his heart, knowing that he seems to be asking for something, and it is still the right thing to do, yes, Mr. Deus, Yu Xiaoman replied, if your relationship with MS, Red, is really good, then could you please ask her to sell us the formula of the dragon blood potion, to us, dragon's blood potion, when the black dragon heard this, it also came to a realization, that is, it had short claws and couldn't reach its head, otherwise it would definitely have slapped its head fiercely, how are you an officer, actually forgetting such an important thing, the preciousness of the dragon's blood potion needed no elaboration, it could quickly grow a life form that was only a level 1 or 2 into a level 4 or even a level 5 advanced warrior by utilizing the powerful bloodline power of a dragon, and the relevant departments have long since learned through various channels that this MS, Red seems to hold the formula for the dragon's blood potion in her hands, wake up, ask you something, the black dragon shook the red dragon's head with its claws, only to find that she slept like a thief, and no matter how much it tossed and turned, there was no response at all, it's hard to imagine, being heartless like this, how have you lived so long, the black dragon sighed darkly, since physical methods didn't work, then it could only rely on magic, directly, he closed his eyes and activated the drop of black and gold dragon's blood to establish a conscious connection with the red dragon, wow, you're finally here, I've been waiting for you for so long, ms, Red actually seemed like she had been waiting for Huang Zhe, and as soon as she saw the black dragon appear, she immediately greeted him, grumbling on her lips, I thought, that since you had obtained my heart, you would soon come to peek at my heart's little secret, I was worried that you couldn't find it, and was trying to show you the way, I didn't expect you to come after so long, the appearance of MS, Red's conscious body, that is, she had shrunk her main body by a dozen times, looked dainty and cute, and had been chirping around the black dragon, you lied to me, and said that after eating that drop of blood, I could establish a soul connection with you, but why can I obviously feel the existence of your soul, but I can never contact you, you can't be pulling the plug on me, right, the little red dragon landed on the black dragon's head and grabbed the black dragon's ears and said loudly, this isn't fair, it can't just be that you can come to me, I have to be able to reach you at all times as well, Huang Zhe was a bit headstrong, did not think that the red dragon and the state of consciousness actually also have to jump off and also lively a lot, fortunately, the firewall on his soul level is relatively high, the information she sent out of her own accord will be automatically shielded, otherwise, he will certainly not be able to avoid being annoyed by her in the future, come down here first, I have something serious to ask you, Huang Zhe didn't have the time to mess around with the red dragon, and directly took out his male demeanor and said somewhat majestically, oh, what is it? The little red dragon was really flattered, and hurriedly was well behaved and jumped down, standing in front of the black dragon curiously. You have the formula for the dragon's blood potion? The black dragon asked with some seriousness. How do you know? The little red dragon was a little surprised, then quickly responded as well. Oh, most likely the Xia people told you that. They must have told you to ask me for it as well, right? Exactly. Why are you so nice to the Summerlanders, and so obedient to them? The little red dragon was very puzzled. In her opinion, the black dragon, with this physique and temperament, was simply a hero amongst the giant dragons, 
Why was he so trusting and reverent towards the Xia people? One could even say that it was backwards? That's my business, don't you meddle too much. Huang Zhe didn't have the heart to say, just say give or take. Here, 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 of course. Seeing that the black dragon was angry, the little red dragon nodded its head repeatedly and said, what's mine isn't yours, since you want to give it, of course I'll say yes, that's more like it. Huang Zhe nodded in satisfaction and said, how much does it cost, and talk to me about money? The little red dragon said atmospherically, anyway, my whole thing is yours now, it's up to you to make the call, that won't work. Huang Zhe shook his head and said, although I am able to control your mind, but if it is not particularly necessary, I will certainly not do so surely I will fully respect the integrity of your personality and respect your privacy, so one size fits all. This dragon blood potion, at least is also considered your intellectual property rights, since they want to use the summer people, certainly to pay, talking about a program is correct, the sale of fair or else, in the future, who dares to do business with them, really? The little red dragon heard these words, her eyes suddenly began to become watery, she had put her whole self upside down. How to do it in the future is not the black dragon say so. Never thought that the black dragon could actually say such a heartfelt words. What's more, she didn't expect to ask for money from the Summerlanders. Of course it's true. Huang Zhe stroked the little red dragon's head with his claw and said with certainty, the reason why I would trust the Xia people so much is naturally because I have my reasons. You just need to believe that following me and following the Xia people will guarantee that you won't suffer is all. Aha, mmm, I hear you. The little red dragon nodded his head vigorously to play and said, before I talked to some Xia people, I wanted a hundred tons of gold before I agreed to give them the formula of the dragon blood potion, but since you're the one who came out with the face, let's make it a big 50% discount, as long as it's 50 tons, it's enough, 50 tons, that's too much, Huang Zhe muttered darkly, then his face became a bit ugly and he said in a deep voice, my face, is only worth 50 tons of gold, lycopene, no, 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 the little red dragon hurriedly explained, if it's you who wants it, it's fine even if you don't want the money, but aren't they rich in the Xia kingdom, a mere 50 tons of gold is not a problem for them at all, what's more, this 50 tons of gold, but also I swallowed it alone ah, but we'll be with you in half, no, 64 points you 6 I 4, you do not do anything, waiting for me to share 30 tons of gold to you on the line, Huang Zhe was speechless, and in his heart, he was even vaguely moved by this proposal of hers, after all, which giant dragon would not like gold, the good thing is that his ideological awareness is relatively high, and did not agree with the small red dragon's program, after all, he now heart received such a large single, is really not a lack of gold, you don't need to share my money, and the district a dragon blood potion formula, which want to get dozens of tons of gold, you don't do roaming price, meaning on it, Huang Zhe advised as he jerked the little red dragon's head, although the central bank of the summer country's vault, there are a lot of gold, but after all, it is not a gale of wind which can be so easy to hand over dozens of tons at once, even if the country didn't feel sorry for him, he, Huang Zhe, still felt sorry for him, oh, so how much do you think we should charge, the little red dragon was obedient and gave the pricing power directly to the black dragon, I think 30 to 50, no, 3 to 500 pounds should be enough, just as a good karma with the Xia people, Huang Zhe stood and talked, directly cut out a jumping price, 3 or 500 pounds, that's too little, the little red dragon jumped up excitedly and said accusingly, Mr. Dios, you mustn't think that the dragon's blood potion formula is something that can be sold casually. I am going to have to spend money and run quite a few connections before I can lift the wrath of the dragon god and the goddess of life and forgive me for spreading forbidden knowledge and disrupting the order of the material realm, or else I will surely have to bear his chastisement. These two bigots still care about this? Huang Zhe was curious. Not that these two gods has always been very low-key and mysterious, even their own fans. Oh, is even their own believers are not very happy to take care of? Why but have the heart to care about these? That's certainly his job. The little red dragon nodded gravely. In the material realm not to mention dragon blood potions. Even ordinary magical knowledge is not something that can be spread casually. One must abide by specific rules and procedures. Or else one will likely be chastised by the gods. Well, Huang Zhe was powerless to spit. And he also knew that the world outside his borders was a world where class solidification was very serious and many things really couldn't be viewed with common sense, so tell me honestly, what's the minimum, at least, least two tons, the little red dragon thought for a moment and set a base price, fearing that the black dragon wouldn't believe it, but also hastened to explain that, the Hyperion is so difficult to deal with that it is at least a sacrifice of 600 kilograms of gold to him to get rid of him, although the goddess of life is a bit nicer to talk to, 
It's obviously hard to deal with him without two or three hundred kilograms of gold. The remaining one ton or so of gold is not all mine, but rather, it is to be dispatched to the god of commerce, Woking, and the goddess of night, Lilith, who are on better terms with me, and ask him to help cover me a bit. That is to say, for these two tons of gold, I can earn at most three to five hundred kilograms, and I have to labor and take a lot of risks. It really can't be any less. I'm going to go. Can be so troublesome and pitiful? Huang Zhe was taken aback. But in the end, he had no choice but to accept this base price from the little red dragon and get his hands on the formula for the dragon's blood potion first. Since the deal was done, Huang Zhe naturally intended to bolt, but was pulled by the little red dragon and begged, saying, Mr. Dios, don't be in a hurry to leave ah. You're not easy to come once. Well at least do a little more. A little more. This is of course not Huang Zhe's mishearing, like their communication on this level of consciousness, originally using the heart's truest meaning. This little female dragon clearly wants to do more with him for a while. No no no, I have something to rush back to. Next time, next time for sure. Huang Zhe said perfunctorily as he broke free of the little red dragon's claws. It doesn't take much of your time, so just spend more time with me. The little red dragon clutched the black dragon's paw in death and shouted excitedly. Don't you know, that the flow of time in a spiritual space like ours is super much faster than outside? An hour you spend in here may not even be an hour that is passed outside. Really? Huang Zhe was on the verge of jerking the little red dragon down, but when he heard this, he immediately was stopping. He had always been very interested in such laws as time, and now that the little red dragon actually seemed to have mastered this aspect, it was only natural that he would want to learn more about it. Of course it's true, the little red dragon explained. Spiritual space is formed independently of the material realm, and the flow of time within it will, of course, be much faster than the material realm outside. It's like the speed of an ordinary human being when communicating normally is at most a few dozen bytes per second. But if it's at the level of consciousness, that speed can reach several MB or even several GB per second. Time is a relative concept, and our perception and judgment of it really depends largely on how quickly, or slowly, our brains acquire information from the outside world. And the speed of information interaction in spirit space is obviously much faster than that of the material world, which naturally means that the flow of time here is much faster than outside. Good guy can't see, you this cultural level can ah, is secretly learned the relativity theory of the summer people? Huang Zhe was really impressed. Originally he thought that the law of time this thing is quite complicated, but now listening to the little red dragon so say, inexplicably feel, as if it is just that. After all, he had experienced this before during his dragon carrying space travel, where the flow of time in the material realm slowed down hundreds, if not thousands, of times at once while his brain was overclocked. That's right. Facing the black dragon's praise, the little red dragon proudly raised its head and said, In fact, my feelings towards the people of the Summer Kingdom have always been quite good, very appreciative of their civilization, and also very fond of their scientific knowledge, and have secretly studied many of their books. But isn't it true that the knowledge of the Xia people cannot be circulated outside the country? Huang Zhe said in puzzlement, Those overly profound and infectious Xia books, if they were to circulate beyond the borders, they would even be subjected to the targeted strikes of the sun god and the moon god. How did you manage to hide them from him both? What's so hard about that? Just don't get caught in the direct light of either of his rays, and buy a god or two to help cover it up. The little red dragon had a face full of concern, then suddenly lowered his voice again and mysteriously leaned over to the black dragon's ear and said, whispering, about it a good number of gods are actually curious about the knowledge of the people of the summer kingdom, and have entrusted me to burn quite a number of books over to him. Who are these gods? Huang Zhe instantly became serious upon hearing this, since he was willing to take the initiative to contact Xia's knowledge, then maybe these gods, were the ones that could be fought for, I can't tell you this, it will be known to him, the little red dragon shook its head, dead set against revealing who these gods were, however, the black dragon could more or less guess that all of these deities must be on better terms with her, or else how would she dare to do such thankless things, what is the ratio of the flow of time in this mental space of yours to the outside, Huang Zhe asked curiously, I can't say about that, the little red dragon replied, its flow is not fixed, it's just like a human dreaming, sometimes it's fast, sometimes it's slow, I'm not sure exactly how fast it is right now, can't you make a table, Huang Zhe couldn't help but say, since you've studied the Xia people, it shouldn't be too hard to make two clocks here with your abilities, one of these two watches records the time here and the other records the time outside, and then when you compare them, don't you know the ratio of time flow, seems to make sense hey, I'll give it a try, the little red dragon's eyes lit up at the words, and then immediately busied himself, and in no time he came up with the result that the flow of time here was 30 times faster than outside. 
doesn't seem like it's going to be any time soon hey, the little red dragon couldn't help but mutter, saying, this means that if Mr. Doze you, want to see my past life, it is going to take at least 30 years, why would I want to see your past life, Huang Zhe was a bit baffled, he knew that the memories of transcendental creatures were usually very good, and if he could enter the depths of their consciousness, he might even be able to find snippets of their memories from hundreds, or even thousands of years ago, and the picture quality was strangely good, it was almost like a soundscape, how can you know me and trust me if you don't go through my old memories, the little red dragon popped up onto the black dragon's head and solemnly said, Mr. Dios, in fact, you don't need to take my privacy into account at all, I certainly have no reservations about you, in the face of the little red dragon's heartfelt words, Huang Zhe did not know what to say, and could only sigh, the concepts of dragons and human beings are really not the same, the human perception of the shame, those ugly, in the view of dragons is not even a matter of fact, and even cannot help but want to take it out to show off with their partners, of course, to tell the truth, for Isolde's memories of nearly a thousand years, Huang Zhe's heart was also very curious, and really wanted to browse through it, after all, it was a valuable treasure that could greatly increase his experience, however, Huang Zhe's humanity was still relatively intact after all, and was more or less repulsed by this act of going to peer into other people's memories, what's more, he had a fear that Isolde's memory was too large, causing his experience to grow too fast all at once, and then his heart couldn't keep up, and he unknowingly lived as the little red dragon, after all, a person's true age cannot actually be judged solely by the number of years he has lived, but rather by his life experience and the information he has interacted with the outside world, so even though the little red dragon's memory bank was defenseless against himself, Huang Zhe hadn't thought to take a good stroll inside, can ordinary people come to this mental space, of yours? Huang Zhe suddenly thought of a question and asked curiously, that's something I haven't tried, the little red dragon thought for a moment and said, I suppose it's possible, and what's the maximum number of people that can be accommodated, Huang Zhe continued to ask, I said I haven't tried, how do I know this, the little red dragon popped off the black dragon and looked at it curiously, why are you asking this all of a sudden, I was trying to see if, could put you to good use here, Huang Zhe jerked his old little head and said, as you know, the Xia people are smart as smart as they are, but their physical conditions are actually very poor, and their lifespan is not to say that it is compared to our gargoyles, but even compared to many ordinary intelligent creatures, it's also vastly inferior, not to mention the fact that a good portion of their lives must be spent in sleep, a tremendous waste of time, so I'm thinking, can we let the Xia people's consciousness, also come to the spiritual space of yours, so that one minute can be used as 30 minutes, whether it's used for learning, or used for research, it can be very useful, the little red dragon stared at the black dragon with white eyes for a while, as if it wanted to see how this head of the black dragon, actually grew, let a giant dragon, open his consciousness, his soul to humans, and let them run this inside to take advantage of the flow of time to carry out scientific research and study, also thanks to him to be able to think of it, Mr. Doze, has to admit that this is a very constructive idea of yours, the little red dragon said with some seriousness, but have you ever thought that the brains of ordinary people can accept such a flow of time? I know that human brains, especially those of the Summerlanders, are very good, but they are also very fragile. Why do they need to sleep every day? It is because of overuse of the brain, need to rest ah, the even ordinary time flow rate, are not very good to manage. This if they come to 30 times the flow rate of the world, their brain where will withstand, will certainly use the brain overload, or even brain death. Huang Zhe heard, also reacted. Sleep is human life is indispensable. It is actually a major protective mechanism of the human body. If it is seriously damaged this mechanism, then the human body is certainly not able to carry the light as sick, serious or even sudden death. Sorry, there are still a few hundred words left to write. Update first and change it right away. If this comes to a world with 30 times the flow rate, where would their brains be able to withstand it? They would surely overuse their brains, or even die of brain death. Huang Zhe heard, also reacted. Sleep is human life is indispensable. It is actually a major protective mechanism of the human body. If it is seriously damaged this mechanism, then the human body is certainly not able to carry the light as sick, serious or even sudden death. If this comes to a world with 30 times the flow rate, where would their brains be able to withstand it? They would surely overuse their brains, or even die of brain death. Huang Zhe heard, also reacted. Sleep is human life is indispensable. It is actually a major protective mechanism of the human body. If it is seriously damaged this mechanism, then the human body is certainly not able to carry the light as sick, serious or even sudden death. If this comes to a world with 30 times the flow rate, where would their brains be able to withstand it? 
they would surely overuse their brains, or even die of brain death. Huang Zhe heard, also reacted to, sleep is human life is indispensable. It is in fact a major protective mechanism of the human body. If the serious destruction of this mechanism, then the human body can. Unable to utilize the time flow plugin, Huang Zhe felt it was a shame. After all, if we could really do this, then three years would be equivalent to 90 years out of thin air. And whether it was used for scientific research or for improving the overall quality of the entire nation, the time would seem much more generous. Imagine that it would have taken more than 10 years of systematic education to cultivate a college student in Xia. Yet in this spiritual world, it only takes a few short months. If every citizen of Xia can enter the spiritual world to further study for a few months, received more than 10 years of targeted education, then his personal comprehensive quality will certainly be significantly improved, and then quantitative change caused qualitative change. Xia's comprehensive national strength will certainly follow the rise of the boat. 30 times the flow of time, the ordinary human brain cannot withstand, but 3 or 5 times, should not be much of a problem. Huang Zhe was pondering, besides, now that we have the formula for the dragon blood potion, and everyone is starting to take in my golden dragon blood and undergo the transformation of their life forms, their physical qualities and soul strengths will surely continue to improve, and the multiplier of the time flow that they can withstand at that time will naturally become higher and higher. So the spiritual world is something that is still very much open for utilization. The more Huang Zhe thought about it, the more he felt it was this reasoning, and then he discussed with the little red dragon. If he rented her spirit world and opened it up for the people of Xia to use, how much the venue fee was going to be? Then the little red dragon refused to agree, saying a moment later that the spirit world's running costs were so high that it couldn't receive many visitors at all. A moment and said that she is a dragon. At least there is some spiritual cleanliness and spiritual bottom line. The heart is only willing to open for him Mr. Dio's a person, which can be open to the Xia people as a server. Huang Zhe is not good at forcing himself. After all, the little red dragon is so devoted to himself, he is a big man, it is not good to squeeze her too much, bullying her too hard, or that is also too uncharacteristic, he planned to go back and discuss with academician Ding and the others to see if he could drum up his own spiritual world and open it up for everyone to use, Mr. Doze, the reason why you are so close to the Xia people is that you are not trying to become a deity, right, all of the little red dragon's thoughts had been on the black dragon, so naturally, it easily saw what it was planning to do, and immediately asked with some nervousness, become a deity? No, why do you suddenly ask that? Huang Zhe said with some confusion, I don't know if that's right. It just feels as if opening up one's spiritual world to a large number of intelligent beings is part of the process one must go through to metamorphose into a deity. The little red dragon replied, the essence of a deity is actually somewhat similar to the Arya consciousness spoken of in the books of the Xia people, which was first a product of the aggregation of certain laws and consciousness. If you open up the spirit world for use by a large number of intelligent beings, then it will inevitably receive their assimilation, undergo their transformation, and in turn give rise to divinity and become tightly linked to the destiny of these beings. Whispering a secret to you, you must not go out and talk nonsense about those gods' divine kingdoms in the sky, which are actually his spiritual world. What? There's more to this? Huang Zhe was first shocked, then inexplicably the feeling that this was the case arose again. No wonder the star he encountered in the star realm before would be so small in size, and there were no buildings or supporting facilities. Dare I say that it was not used for people to live in at all. The true kingdom of God is a spiritual world that exists in a mind-only way. So, all those churches publicizing that after death a person's soul will enter the kingdom of God to live are all false? Huang Zhe couldn't help but ask. Not really. The little red dragon shook his head and said, because it is true that many devout believers, many high-quality souls, are sent angels by the gods after their deaths to receive their souls to live in the kingdom of God, and then the spirit world is actually considered objectively real to those soul bodies, and it even appears to be more perfect because of the power of the gods, the power of faith. Huang Zhe seemed to be enlightened, how come the more he heard, the more he felt that a deity's divine kingdom was essentially like a giant server, and the souls of the believers were the users of this server, or perhaps the data that had to be processed? Huang Zhe was soft-pedaled by the little red dragon for almost two hours, and then finally found a chance to get rid of her entanglement and get out of her spirit world. Once he returned to the material realm and asked Yu Xiaoman, it was true that he hadn't squinted for more than four minutes just now. This naturally made him sigh a little. The spirit world was really a good place. One day could be used for 30 days. It would be better if the little red dragon didn't make so much noise, but instead focused his mind and energy on studying and doing research. The formula for the dragon's blood potion she promised to give, but she had to be paid two tons of gold. Black dragon said to Xiaoman, I checked with her, this asking price is quite reasonable, 
It shouldn't be mixed with much water. Indeed, Yu Xiaoman saw that the red dragon had also woken up with him, and hurriedly said, Mr. Dios, in fact, we have also asked for the price through other channels, and none of them were above 50 tons of gold, and there was little guarantee of trustworthiness, so if we can trade from MS, Red's hands at this price, it would naturally be the best. All right, then, Huang Zhe nodded, then stomped away the red dragon's rubbing body with one claw, and glared at her fiercely, to make love to me like this in full view of the public, how can I still be a dragon if this gets out? In just less than half a day's work, I managed to hook up with a little female dragon, properly a love saint inside a giant dragon. When the time comes, in case the organization wants me to give play to my specialties and rate other little female dragons, won't I really become a breeder dragon? I, Huang Zhe, am a man. How can I be insulted like this? The black dragon black face drove the red dragon away, then continued, you guys first give her 600 kilograms of gold as a deposit, so that she can go and run the relationship well, and then she can give you the formula. Okay, I'm going to call in a report to the top. Yu Xiaoman although a little surprised MS, read this sell their own things, how to go to run relations, is it also with the earth side? The existence of what the Wasanar agreement, not to sell too important technology to the summer country, but in the spirit of trusting the black dragon, he didn't ask too many questions but immediately sent someone back to report and prepare the gold. You're close to Hyperion? Huang Zhe suddenly thought of this question and hurriedly asked Red Dragon through the spirit channel. Not really. Being stomped by the Black Dragon a few times, the Red Dragon did not produce any small emotions, and said cheerfully, the relationship between Hibronion and the vast majority of our gargoyles is quite poor, and everyone is not very happy to take care of him. If it weren't for the fact that he holds the divine power of the dragon, and that the dragon's blood potion would have to use his authority to create it, I wouldn't want to go to him. Ha ha, I knew this guy wasn't very well liked for sure. Huang Zhe inexplicably felt a little happy, the corners of his mouth grinning and grinning as he was about to say something, when he suddenly paused violently again. The trumpet he had built earlier was still very useful, at least when Kasa had something and wanted to contact it urgently. It could do so by awakening the stress system on the trumpet, thus allowing the black dragon to sense it and project its consciousness over. What happened? As soon as Huang Zhe opened his eyes, he realized that Academician Ding and the others were looking at him with grave expressions, and he couldn't help but ask, Mr. Wong, there's been an emergency, Academician Ding, with a heavy face, said, one of our geological survey teams, in a safe area outside of the country, unfortunately encountered the Titan race, and all of them have now met an untimely end, what, Huang Zhe was taken aback, the environment outside the country was very unfriendly to the Xia people, and there existed a lot of uncertain and dangerous factors, so geological survey had always been a very dangerous job. In order to protect everyone's safety as much as possible, the geological survey team's various configurations have always been very perfect, staffing in addition to professional technicians, but also equipped with a large number of security personnel, logistics personnel, that is to say, a complete geological survey team, the total number of people may even exceed 200, such a team will actually be completely wiped out. How can Huang Zhe not be shocked? Yes, Mr. Huang, a total of 26 of our compatriots were tragically killed in this outbreak, Academician Ding said heavily, fortunately, this survey team, employed a large number of expatriate staff, or our losses would certainly have been even heavier, where are those titans now, I'm going to rip their heads back and sacrifice them to the heavens, Huang Zhe said in a murderous manner, having killed so many of his compatriots, not to mention titans, even if they were gods and demons, he would definitely make him pay, it's not far from where you are now, Academician Ting said, it's about 200 kilometers southwest of you, and we've sent fighters to guide you, Mr. Huang, this group of titans is extremely sinful, please make sure you get rid of all the evil and spare none of them, don't worry, leave it to me, Huang Zhe nodded vigorously, then switched his consciousness back to his body, calling Red Dragon along with him, and followed the fighter jets in the sky, heading southwest, what do you know about the titans, Huang Zhe did not let his anger go to his head, and while rushing along, he asked the red dragon in the spirit channel, Xia's understanding of the titan human race is actually very little, only knowing that they are a very ancient, very powerful humanoid creatures, the height of adult individuals generally exceeds 10 meters, weighing more than 20 tons, very warlike, extremely xenophobic, and their attitude towards Xia is particularly bad, titan, the red dragon was slightly stunned, then realized, you're all of a sudden on fire because the titan messed with you, exactly, Huang Zhe gritted his teeth and said, these dogs ran into the territory of the Xia people and killed a lot of people. They completely didn't put the Xia country, 
nor me in their eyes, so naturally I'm going to go and give them a painful lesson. Titans, these guys are not to be messed with. The red dragon seemed to be a bit scornful, and said solemnly, like the Xia people, they were not originally creatures of our world, but suddenly traveled over later. They weren't actually called the Titan human race at first, but called themselves the Titan god race. Each of their individual powers is extremely powerful, and they can even summon thunder and lightning. Speaking of which, the relationship between these guys and us dragons has always been very bad, because they love to hunt and feed on dragons. For this reason, Hyperion even had a big fight with the Titan gods, and at that time, he was still very protective of his people. And then later on, because these titans were too rampant and overbearing, they aroused the wrath of the people, and were ruthlessly cleaned up by a number of gods united, which only subsided, and didn't dare to call themselves gods anymore, but honestly became human beings. Since they are outsiders and have acted so wildly and violated the wrath of the people, why didn't they just exterminate them in the first place in order to eliminate future troubles, but instead allowed them to flourish in the material realm? Huang Zhe said with some confusion, because they got a big hug. The red dragon said somewhat helplessly, Mother Earth Goddess seems to be having some unspoken relationship with these guys, openly standing up for them, with him, a deity of great divine power, backing them up, it's naturally not good for everyone to drive them to extinction, leaning, dare I say that no matter what world you are in, it's all about the backstage, Huang Zhe couldn't help but curse, then asked, with Mother Earth Goddess backing her up, wouldn't that titan be walking sideways in the material realm, if I kill a few titans? Will I have to suffer the wrath of Mother Earth? That's not so bad. The Red Dragon replied. Although the Mother Goddess is taking care of the Titans, she doesn't just pull the wool over their eyes. Just like what the Xia people say about the natural selection of things and the survival of the fittest, the Mother Goddess seems to be following the same reasoning. As long as they don't go too far, he basically doesn't care. Not to mention killing a few, even if you kill dozens, as long as it's not a direct death and destruction of the race, it's usually not a big deal. That's good. Huang Zhe was then relieved. His current backstage was really too little. Apart from his motherland, it was probably only the goddess of darkness, Lilith. But the problem was, although he had Lilith's contact information, it was still unknown if he could really swing him over to help him in the fight. As for the motherland this backstage, powerful although it is very powerful, but it is not possible to every dry fight, have to carry a nuclear bomb on it, too many limitations not to mention, but also easy to accidentally injure themselves so it's better to play each side and neither call backstage, so it's more fair. Mr. Doze, although I know that you are very powerful, I still have to remind you of one thing, those titans are very bad to deal with, you must not take it lightly, the red dragon solemnly said, in terms of the standards set by the Xia people, the life level of an adult titan is at least up to level 6, and an elite titan can even reach level 7, and they are very good at fighting and teamwork, and usually our giant dragons basically can't take advantage of them when facing them or else they wouldn't have been hunted by them. Thanks for the reminder. I have it in mind. Huang Zhe also got serious. Although he did have quite a few powerful hangups on him, he wasn't so arrogant that he could really be invincible. Unless one can one day directly use their physical body and take a multi-million ton yield nuclear bomb head on and hard, they can barely say such a thing. Damn flies. The lanky titan looked at the shadowy military drones in the sky and spat on the ground in annoyance before picking up a few rocks and slamming them hard in an attempt to bring the pesky little things down only it didn't work out. After all, the drones were still too small relative to the Titan, and had been kept out of safe distance, and instead the drones ended up returning the missiles, leaving the Titan a bit dusty. Vernx, just don't waste your breath, a tall Titan with blonde hair said. These little things of the Xia people, while their killing power is not great, they are indeed quite subtle. Nowadays, our power is degraded so much, although it's not without a way to bring these little things down, just that that would obviously cost more than it's worth. So we might as well save our strength and see what else the Xia people have up their sleeves next. Yes, chief. The titan known as Fernex obliged, slamming the last of the rocks out of his hand, and really didn't continue to tangle with the drones. Unlike large humanoid creatures like trolls and cyclops, titans are not at all low in intelligence level, and are highly social, united and resolute, valuing kinship, and formed the concept of civilization alone, long time ago, and have always been a large and powerful race in the material realm controlling quite a number of intelligent creatures, either explicitly or implicitly. Chief, do you think the Xia people will hit us with that nuclear weapon later? Another titan came up beside the blonde titan and asked, not without concern. I heard that thing is quite terrifying. A single shot can destroy a city and a country, no different from divine punishment. And what's even more terrifying is that it can also produce energy. Can we cope with it? Don't worry. 
I was prepared for this, and I'm sure it won't harm your little life, the blonde titan said confidently. Don't think too much of them Siagwa people, even if they do have some okay means, but after all, they are just some low-level lifeforms. How can they threaten our great titan so easily? Hey, these foreign Xia people are very rampant, relying on the protection of the boundary, relying on some fancy weapons, not to mention did not take us titans in their eyes, even for those gods, also have no fear, as if all the world is muddy I alone clear, want to be the enemy of the whole world. Back in the day we weren't even this powerful back in the day. Those deities are still throwing in the towel and don't dare to do anything to these Xiao people for the time being, but we titans, the great and noble titans won't spoil them, since we're looking at them with displeasure, then of course we have to ruthlessly fuck them over, give them a painful lesson, and teach them to abide by the rules of this world, the words are so, but really want is to make them anxious, with us fish death net break how to do, that's not exactly right, the blonde titan said in a neutral tone, if they, the Xia people, are really capable, then use their nuclear weapons to smash this world to pieces. Anyway, our titan god race has done more than one or two worlds in the past, and our favorite is the wasteland. The chief is right. Vernix, who was on the side, also nodded his head vigorously and said, This world, anyway, is not very good to us titans, and has even stripped us of our divine title, clearly not wanting to share the power to dominate the world with us. If that's the case, then why do we care so much about it? The big deal is that we'll all end up together. I think it can be had, to play big, it's long overdue for a twilight of the gods, in the past it was others who twilight us, it's time for us to twilight others, that's why, we haven't been tough enough on the Xia people, we should try harder and force them to try out all their killer weapons and die with this world and those gods, several titans talked enthusiastically, the reason why they came all the way here to find trouble with the Xia people was certainly not nothing, but they had their own calculations, there's a giant dragon flying toward us, the titan on sentry duty suddenly shouted out, not so much nervous as excited, after all, they're group of titans, but there are ten, and all of them are rich and strong adult titans, not to mention one or two dragons, or even ten, twenty, is not afraid at all, you know, hunting dragons is a big tradition of the titans, never only the dragons fear the titans, never seen the titans fear the dragons, so it seemed to the sentry titans that the two unknowing dragons were flying towards them, clearly seeking their own death, and had come to feed them, Mr. Dios, we can't get any closer, the titans are very good at long range attacks, and they're very good at throwing javelins, the straight line distance with the titan was still a full dozen kilometers away, but the red dragon was already on high alert and hastily reminded the black dragon, from her point of view, ten titans were undoubtedly a very great threat now, not to mention their two dragons, even if there were twenty more, they might not be a match for these titans, after all, the execution, discipline, and unity of the gargoyles, are really hard to say, in fact, the dragons alone may not be unable to defeat the titans, but once the number of up, the titans combat power will be a straight line up, while the dragons are in a catastrophic decline, I know, Huang Zhe's mouth agreed, but the temperature in his body was rising, as if it was an engine being preheated, a nameless karmic fire was awakening every organ, every cell, and would soon burst out with terrifying energy, Huang Zhe tried to control his body's racing battle intent, and instead of impulsively shouting I'm going to fight 10 of them and then swooping down to fight these titans, he seriously began to scrutinize these opponents, if one were to look at their appearance alone, the titans were undoubtedly the more perfect creatures, their appearance was much like that of humans, only stouter and more handsome, with almost invisible imperfections on their bodies, as if they were like true gods, Huang Zhe had encountered angels before, and couldn't help but compare the two, realizing that angels might be a bit more perfect in appearance and temperament, but in terms of compulsion and vitality, it was clearly still this titan that had more cards to play, why do I feel, as if I'm reckless over these guys, he also didn't know if it was his own illusion, but Huang Zhe vaguely felt that the threat these titans posed to him was actually limited, and if he rushed down there, it might not be that he couldn't sneakily dry them out, but Huang Zhe was not an impulsive person after all, and he couldn't be impulsive, he was the only giant dragon in the country, and it was natural for him to behave in a more prudent manner, or else it would be a big loss if the wave died, so even though Huang Zhe's body's wariness was high, he didn't rush down to vent a pain, but contacted the military to get a few tactical nuclear missiles over to warm up the field first, let's set a small goal first, such as one second to memorize, book guest house, for transcendental beings, nuclear weapons are actually not as scary as one might think, after all, a 150, 000 ton equivalent mushroom bomb, the explosion produced by the core fireball, the radius is less than half a kilometer, the radius of the impact damage, but also less than 4 kilometers, 
not to mention that this power would be greatly reduced outside of the country, and transcendent creatures were usually thick-skinned as well, so as long as they weren't hit squarely in the center of the target and bitten by the core fireball, they were basically hard to be killed in seconds. Of course, the horror of nuclear weapons is mainly due to the large amount of radiation generated by its explosion and its horrible destructive ability to the permanent target, which is what the intelligent creatures in this world are most afraid of. But where these titans were now, it wasn't their territory in the first place, so they wouldn't care even if they were smashed to pieces by a mushroom bomb. On the contrary, if they had prepared well in advance, the small yield mushroom bombs, it was really hard to cause any substantial kills to them, and the black dragon called for tactical missiles to warm up the field, but it was really just that, and didn't expect to really be able to do anything with these titans. Of course, if there was a titan with an iron head inside these titans who wanted to try nuking them with his flesh, that would be great, and Huang Zhe would definitely applaud him for his courage. The above quickly agreed to the black dragon's request, and in fact they had a similar nuclear test plan recently, previously they had intended, to launch a 50 megaton mushroom bomb into the sky, to hammer and shock the gods. But then after the black dragon went to the star world to take a stroll, academician ding they began to oppose this plan. After all, the situation in the star world is very complicated. The attitude of the gods seems to be ambiguous. If they rashly hit up a big mushroom, it is likely to lead to unpredictable consequences, forcing a show of muscle instead of arousing the anger of the people. What's more, a 50 million tons of mushroom bomb, the cost was not expensive. The summer country's uranium resources are not rich, naturally, to save a little use, so the program was finally called off, and the big mushrooms that had already been produced, like the others, were sent to secret launch bases for warlike storage. As for the dragon scale material contributed by the black dragon, it was utilized in small tactical nuclear missiles, after all, it was much easier to produce, use, and store, and it was also much more affordable to mass produce. Soon, a 50, 000 ton yield tactical nuclear missile came whizzing in, the other would be two or three minutes later. With the dragon scale powder as a coating material, the weakening of the offshore laws on them had been drastically reduced, and this would be at speeds in excess of Mach 4. I just don't know how much of the actual equivalent can be blown out, which we won't know until it actually blows up. Let's back up a bit. Considering that the equivalent of the little boy back then was just under 20, 000 tons, these 250, 000 tons of missiles were actually already considered big guys. Huang Zhe felt that he should more or less give some reverence to it, so he took the red dragon and backed up a few kilometers. Strange, they don't run? Huang Zhe noticed the titans on the ground, who had been staying there without moving, and couldn't help but be a bit puzzled, did they not know the power of a mushroom bomb? Or perhaps they simply didn't know that it was actually a mushroom bomb? Then soon the blonde titan in the lead answered the doubts in the black dragon's mind with his actions. He only saw that he pulled out a golden colored bow from somewhere, and then directly pulled the string and did not knock the arrow but directly condensed a golden light arrow out of thin air, and then without much aiming, he casually shot in the direction of a missile flying over. I'll eat, on the spot if you can shoot this. Before Huang Zhe could finish his words, he saw the missile being shot out of the air and blossomed into a dazzling light. Crap, so fierce? Huang Zhe was stunned. Using a bow and arrow to shoot down a missile that was traveling at over Mach 4 per hour. You're fucking open. Mr. Doz, that's probably a divine artifact. The red dragon said seriously. The Titans have a very rich family. After all, in their previous world, that was a true god race, with a lot of good things in their hands. An artifact? Can an artifact be used without a basic law? Huang Zhe was a bit unconvinced, but of course more curious. That bow is obviously like an energy weapon. Don't even need an arrow pouch. Can generate arrows by itself? The hit rate is super high. Even all like a hit, comes with automatic enemy claim function. This was not a divine weapon. It was simply the blackest of black technologies. I don't know if I could have dodged this arrow just now if it had been shot at me. Huang Zhe brain cannot help but produce this kind of idea. And then the heart seems to be enlightened. Should be able to avoid. Also do not know where the confidence. Mr. Dios, let's get the hell out of here. I told you these titans are not to be messed with. Seeing that the group of titans seemed to be daring them to come their way. The red dragon was a bit scared and confused. And hastily suggested to the black dragon. There's no rush. Just wait a little longer. Huang Zhe stared dead at the golden bow in the blonde titan's hand, and in his heart there was a strong impulse compared to taking it for himself, and his killing heart towards this group of titans became even more resolute. Naturally he was unwilling to be a deserter. Just then another tactical missile tapped in and appeared in the black dragon's line of sight, and a quick thought crossed its mind. The missile's casing is coated with powdered dragon scales ground out by his own mouth, and it's even been quenched and enlightened with his dragon's blood. In other words, 
This missile had the imprint of the Black Dragon on it, and it could project its consciousness onto it. As soon as he thought of it, Huang Zhe immediately projected his consciousness and became a rebellious tactical missile with his own ideas. The blonde titan apparently didn't realize this, and was still pulling the strings in a slow, forced manner, trying to do the same trick of dry crushing the missile. Then the moment he was about to let go of the bowstring, Huang Zhe's brain, which had long since warmed up, suddenly began to frantically overclock, and the flow of time in his field of vision began to slow down indefinitely, almost approaching a standstill. This was the second time Huang Zhe had experienced this feeling, and it was obviously much more real and much deeper than the last time. Huang Zhe tried to move his body, taking advantage of the fact that the entire world was stuck in a state of time stagnation to rush over and fuck all those titans to death, only to find that it was very difficult, as if his body was frozen, and he couldn't move a single bit at all. It seems that only my consciousness can enter this state at the moment. The physical hardware can't keep up. Huang Zhe seemed to be enlightened. He had thought that he was like the Flash, possessing a body speed and thinking speed far beyond normal people. And then in the case of the reference standard remains unchanged. Naturally it appeared that the flow of time had become extremely slow, which was equivalent to being like mastering the law of time. And in such a state, he could casually bully opponents who had slower reaction speeds than his own. Unfortunately, however, he hadn't developed this ability very well yet, and currently only his brain could be overclocked, with the rest of his body parts still locked into the normal flow of time. I really don't want to be a dragon, although only the brain could be overclocked. It was actually enough for Huang Zhe's current situation. After all, this amounted to giving him a large amount of extra reaction time out of thin air, enough to observe and respond to that so-called divine weapon. Huang Zhe activated the Eye of Truth on his head and looked at the golden longbow that was recharging in the blonde titan's hand. What surprised him a little was that the time flow around this golden bow was actually a whole lot faster than the rest of the place, and was constantly drawing energy from the neighborhood, from the blonde titan's body, in a frenzied manner. That is to say, this golden bow's own operating speed is actually quite fast. Huang Zhe got serious. He had thought that only he was able to enter this overclocked state. Bullet time. No, it should be atomic time. But he did not expect that this golden bow actually also possessed this characteristic. Luckily for its user. It wasn't able to utilize this trait of its very well, or else Huang Zhe wouldn't really know how to deal with it. Huang Zhe knew that his overclocking state, in fact, could not be maintained for a long time. After all, this ability is really too heavenly. In this state, a glance of 10, 000 years will no longer be an exaggerated descriptive maneuver, but something that could really happen. The blink of an eye for you is 10, 000 years in my timeline. However, in Huang Zhe's opinion, this wasn't actually a divine skill but rather a form of unadulterated torture. After all, surviving 10, 000 years alone was definitely not something a normal person could do. Huang Zhe didn't have time to lament too much and hurriedly was constantly adjusting the speed of his brain's overclocking, and then finally the moment when the golden light arrow shot out was ushered in. The flight trajectory of the golden light arrow was quickly predicted by him, but Huang Zhe was also clear that this was not enough. After all, this was an artifact bow that possessed the characteristic of hitting with every blow and it was necessary to find a way to unlock its lock on the missile in order to evade its interception. In response Huang Zhe vaguely had an idea and quickly put it into action. The others, of course, wouldn't know that in the less than two seconds that had passed, the Black Dragon's mind had already been spinning in a thousand directions and had gotten up to quite a few tawdry maneuvers. Everyone just saw that the blonde titan was up to his old tricks, shooting another golden arrow of light to intercept the missile flying over in the distance. Then this missile, suddenly like a hanged man, not only did its speed start to skyrocket, but it also continued to make snakeskin walks, and in the end, it actually managed to dodge the frontal interception of the golden light arrows. I can't believe I missed? The blonde titan was greatly surprised, but did not rush to make up an arrow. Instead, he gripped the golden bow in his hand somewhat nervously. As a divine artifact, the arrow shot from this golden bow naturally would not be as simple as it appeared to be. At the beginning of its forging, it was endowed with the characteristic that every arrow would surely hit the target, and the arrows that were shot out were like the automatic tracking missiles of the Xia people, who would definitely not rest until they hit the target. Now he was more worried instead that the golden bow would sense the provocation and then get excited and not be under his control, unlocking a more advanced attack form. After all, as an artifact, this guy really did have his own thoughts and temperament. Sure enough, realizing that the arrows he shot out did not succeed in hitting the target, but were instead slipped and teased by the target a few times. The golden bow soon became agitated, and the light that blossomed from its body became more and more intense, which more or less caused him some bit of bitterness. After all, although this guy's power was huge, its energy consumption was equally huge, and this would be its main source of energy. 
which was undoubtedly its own body. But as long as we can bring the damn missile down, then it's all worth it. The blonde titan thought to himself, the higher the divinity awakened from the golden longbow, then naturally the safety of himself and his brothers would be more guaranteed, and I believe that the missile, soon, would be shot down. However, the next scene that made him stunned beyond measure happened, that golden light arrow chased after it, suddenly paused for a split second, and then actually gave up on its target and turned around and flew in the northeast direction. The blonde titan was shot, and hastily pulled the string to make up an arrow, but realized that the golden bow looked like it had been stimulated by something, and its temper was quite strong, and it was not under his control at all. By the time he managed to finally shoot out an arrow, the somewhat bizarre missile was already less than three kilometers away from him. Although the golden light arrow this time, managed to shoot the missile out of the air, it was obviously too late. He, and his brothers, managed to feel the power of nuclear flattening up close and personal. Damn, it's finally done. Huang Zhe couldn't help but be relieved when he saw those arrogant titans, who couldn't dodge in time, being directly blown over by the shockwave of the mushroom bomb. It seems that the artifact is no more than that. There are still ways to sanction it. Although Huang Zhe's heart was overwhelmed with excitement, he didn't make much emotion or celebration, but hurriedly found a place to fall down, lying on the ground and panting heavily. His brain is overclocked very badly, even though there are not many pores on the giant dragon. At this time his head is also uncontrollably smoking white smoke, and even vaguely can still smell the burning smell, as if there is some kind of wiring. Bah, there is some kind of neural tissue that has directly shorted out. Looks like it's time for some brain strengthening. Huang Zhe couldn't help but move to such thoughts. The exchange between him and the golden bow just now was very thrilling and exciting. In order to remove its lock on the missile, Huang Zhe wasted no time in using his own consciousness projection as bait, constantly taunting and provoking that golden arrow of light. In the end, Kung Fu was finally able to lull it into limping, shifting its target and reversing its direction to head straight for its own small kill in the territory. In the eyes of the onlooker, this process is only a few seconds, but in the overclocked state of the entanglement, but it is a full hour is more than. Otherwise that golden bow will not be angry into that way. Directly out of control are going to storm. Mr. Deus. Are you okay? The red dragon fell down right after the black dragon and asked without any concern. She suddenly realized that the black dragon's dark head was vaguely translucent red at this time. Its heart was beating madly. And not only was the temperature of its body becoming strangely high. But even its dragon soul was also becoming hot. My cure game. Although she was not clear. Just now the black dragon is going through what? but also guessed that it must be a dangerous and intense battle, and she is obviously at its side, but cannot help it what? This is so wrong, the red dragon blamed itself, so it hastened to snuggle its body against the black dragon's head, trying to give it some comfort and help it cool down. However, I did not expect the black dragon to be pressed, and directly used its claws to peel her away, and said without any good sense, I'm so hot and you're still leaning so close to me, are you sick in the head? Huang Zhe rested for a full two hours or so before moving forward to check the results of the battle. It wasn't that his body, really, needed such a long time to recover. It was mainly out of the least respect for the mushroom bomb. After all, after having his dragon scales as a protective coating, the amount of energy that this thing could release was actually quite substantial. Huang Zhe estimated that this missile with a design yield of 50, 000 tons should have an actual yield of about 20, 000 tons, although it was still weakened by the power of the law. But compared to before, it was obviously a great improvement. Although after traveling to the Star Realm once, Huang Zhe loaded the technology related to nuclear dynamization. His body's resistance to radioactive substances and digestive ability had been greatly improved. No longer the little chicken shit who would get dizzy with a few sips of low abundance iridium 192. But that didn't mean that he could withstand a nuclear blast, after all. Being able to use nuclear energy was a completely different concept from being able to directly confront a nuclear bomb head on. Don't come along and cause trouble. That place up ahead is dangerous as hell. Huang Zhe somewhat helplessly roared at the red dragon that followed his butt over. I don't know this little female dragon. Exactly what kind of crazy. This just know himself less than a day. On their own dead heart. Sticky very much. Moving to want to rub on their body. Simply hate to be long in their own body like. If it wasn't for the fact that gargoyles had high spiritual resistance and basically wouldn't be affected by the powers of the gods. Huang Zhe would even have to suspect that this guy wouldn't also have fallen for the goddess of love, Freya, and had come here specifically to seek his own retribution. I don't. It's precisely because it's dangerous there that I have to face it with Mr. Dios all the more. The little red dragon said loudly, in front of the black dragon. She was sometimes obedient and sometimes stubborn as hell. How old are you? Can you stop being so middle-aged? Huang Zhe felt tired of heart, but not good to really scold her. 
After all, domestic violence and whatnot, he has always been the most disgusted, so he can only be patient coaxing road, be good, be obedient, go back and wait, I hate disobedient little she-dragons, if you follow me here again, don't expect me to care about you in the future, well, see the black dragon attitude resolute, the little red dragon had to obey, but still some not dead heart, blurted out, but people want to kiss, want a hug before they are willing to go back, where'd you learn that shit? Huang Zhe was obviously a bit incredulous, crying and laughing. How could our dragon make such outrageous demands? You must have learned it from the Xia culture, right? Don't you learn the good ones and learn the bad ones? Stop dawdling and hurry up and get back to me. It was with great difficulty that he managed to resist the urge to kick the red dragon a few times, and then it inexplicably occurred to him that domestic violence seemed to be a really traditional art skill of the gargoyles, and naturally there was a reason for its existence. Finally dispatching the red dragon back, Huang Zhe flapped his wings hard and flew towards the place where the mushroom bomb had airburst. The reason why he didn't rush to check the death or life of those titans on the ground was, for one thing, because they were quite seriously injured and had already lost their ability to move, and would definitely not be able to run away for a while. Secondly, it was because, suddenly, he remembered those uranium atom demons he had a vision of earlier and couldn't help but want to go for a closer look to see if there were any in this place as well. Well, the radiation intensity doesn't seem to be very high. Huang Zhe flew to the location of the mushroom bomb's core fireball and felt it, realizing that there didn't seem to be a lot of residual radioactive elements, bearing in mind that it had just been less than three hours yet. In fact, think about it is also, after all, now the mushroom bomb has long been not the same as before. The technology is obviously advanced a lot. Naturally it won't come back. A large amount of radioactive material was not involved in the reaction and the residue will take decades to degrade naturally. Huang Zhe suddenly pondered. He still remembered when a certain trashy country, due to a nuclear power plant leakage accident, produced a large amount of nuclear wastewater, and could not afford to spend money on treating it themselves, so they discharged them into the sea very unscrupulously. In fact, there was another solution at that time, that is, to fire small yield neutron bombs into the reactor core to accelerate the decay progress of the nuclear fuel. So naturally, it would not be necessary to use so much water for cooling and produce a large amount of nuclear wastewater. So the best way to clean up nuclear contamination is actually with hydrogen bombs, which sounds like a bit of magic. Huang Zhe not without emotion thought, after a few turns, did not see any uranium atomic demons? Maybe he came late. People have long been off work. That being the case, he didn't waste any more time and turned around and flew towards the titans that were holding up their bodies on the ground. It's true that mushroom bombs are still powerful. Huang Zhe checked and found that these titans who were carrying nuclear bombs at close range had basically fainted to death and it was that golden-haired titan who was still somewhat awake, and when he saw the black dragon flying over, he still struggled and tried to get up to fight back, only to be directly fainted by the black dragon with a merciless iron claw drying him out, so that is why, in the future, I have nothing to do can develop more ability in this area, outside the country cannot use satellite guidance, but if I can be guided by my spiritual power, in the hit rate, in the piece of surprise, on the contrary, it is more guaranteed, Huang Zhe couldn't help but think so, Although he didn't know where his confidence came from before, thinking that he could fuck these titans over with his own power alone, but that's bound to be a hard fight, and there's no guarantee that you'll be able to get away with none of it, not as easy as just clearing the field with mushroom bombs, artifacts, Huang Zhe picked up the golden longbow in his claws and examined it curiously with his true eye, possibly having been blown up by a mushroom bomb at close range, and having had its face crazily ridden by the various radiation rays released, this so-called artifact had obviously shriveled up quite a bit, and having been grasped in the hands of the black dragon, it actually didn't even put up much of a fight, but the black dragon's true eye, also failed to see something from it, only know that its main material should be gold, the total weight of about 4 tons, for this alone, it is impossible for an ordinary person to even pick it up, let alone use it, I also wonder what its forging process is like, can it be mass produced, Huang Zhe flipped around for a while, thinking that this golden bow was still very pulling and powerful, and could effectively fill the problem of the lack of air defense firepower in Xia after the disappearance of the boundary and the serious degradation of technology. This thing, shouldn't be recognizing its owner, right? Huang Zhe tried to use his claws to pick and pull for a while, and realized that he actually couldn't pull open the bowstring of this golden bow, so he couldn't help but commit a small muttering in his heart. Xia crossed over less than a year ago, so naturally, they hadn't gotten their hands on any artifacts yet, but according to their research, it seemed that most of the artifacts, this thing, had their own spirits, and if they wanted to get access to it, they had to gain its approval, or even become its master, I really don't want to be a dragon, 
request for leave of absence. Chapter 130, Sins of the Gods. However, such a thing as a divine weapon recognizing its owner, of course, could not be accomplished by dropping a drop of blood or burning a pillar of incense, but rather, it had to go through a complicated and mysterious ceremony. After all, this thing was essentially a weapon of the gods, so naturally it couldn't be fished out to the point where it didn't even have an authentication program, and could just be picked up by some random low-level lifeform and used. If that was really the case, then the compulsion of the artifacts was too low. After all, even the Xia people knew to set a secret security for their cell phones to prevent theft. If those gods didn't have similar means, how could they feel comfortable in handing over their treasures, to their own believers to use? So Huang Zhe tossed and turned for a while, but he couldn't get this golden bow to recognize itself to himself, not even the slightest feedback. Well, the hardness seems to be quite good, I guess it has an unbreakable property. Huang Zhe tried to use his own golden dragon teeth to gnaw on it, and found that the texture of this thing was quite good, chewing very strong, and then was a bit pleased even if he couldn't recognize the master but it seemed quite good to use it as a teething stick. After all, as a powerful black dragon, he actually needed the teething rod thing. Moreover, he had a vague intuition that if he used this golden bow to sharpen his teeth for a long period of time, his dragon's teeth would definitely become tougher and tougher as well as stronger. And even in the end, if he encountered any more divine artifacts, he might be able to have a crunchy bite. The only thing that was more worrying was that if its owner knew that he was actually using his divine weapon to sharpen his teeth, would he be so furious that he would go into a rage and directly kill down from the astral plane to find himself in a one-on-one -on -one fight? No. What am I worried about? Huang Zhe suddenly thought, wouldn't it be great if he really dared to come down? After all, in the material realm, his power will certainly be very greatly restricted, forcibly running over to fight with me one-on-one -on -one instead of sending. After all, I'm not a fool. How can I really fight with him one-on-one? -on -one? Directly get a few mushroom bombs to entertain him is not better? Thinking this way, Huang Zhe's heart suddenly relaxed, and he continued to gnaw away peacefully. Ha! The titan's life force so strong, so soon began to return to the soul? Huang Zhe was gnawing away, when he suddenly realized that those titans who were holding up their corpses on the ground, one by one, actually looked like they had recovered and began to moan and struggle unconsciously. Come on, you're carrying a nuclear bomb, it's outrageous that you didn't die, and you're still recovering so quickly? Huang Zhe was naturally a bit too much to take in and hurriedly ran over to patch them up with a few claws one by one, drying them out before they passed out. It's as if the earth is giving them strength and helping them get their blood back. Huang Zhe used his eyes of truth to observe carefully for a while, and quickly discovered something fishy. A mysterious force was pouring into the titans' bodies from the ground in a steady stream, helping them recover from their injuries. This can't be Mother Earth's blessing on them. Is too foul, right? Huang Zhe was a bit dumbfounded. The relationship between this earth mother goddess and the titans was obviously much firmer than he had imagined, all siding with them up to this point, not hesitating to be the one to use her own divine power to give them back their blood. What can be done about it? Huang Zhe looked around and didn't find any taller buildings, or else he could have hoisted them up so that he couldn't borrow the power of the earth. That said, I wonder what would happen if I did fuck a titan. Yellow Zephyr picks at a titan beside him, his killing intent rising. These dogs killed so many of his compatriots and committed a capital offense. Bringing them back to stand trial is not only troublesome, but will also be a long nightmare, so it is better to be directly on the ground. Once this thought was out of control, the killing intent in Huang Zhe's heart grew stronger and stronger, and he couldn't even help but even think, since these titans were once gods, their genes, their flesh and blood, must be very nutritious and tasty, right? Eating ten of them in one sitting will definitely make my strength soar. Thinking so, the black dragon couldn't help but split its mouth, revealing its morose fangs and even drooled. Drool, of a giant dragon should be considered a dragon birth scent, right? Just when the black dragon was about to be unable to hold down its desire to eat and control its killing intent, Huang Zhe's brain suddenly began to commit a jerk, devouring the stars and signing up to become a god. No, just now it seems like something, is forcibly controlling my mind, trying to entice me to eat these titans? Alarm bells suddenly rang in Huang Zhe's heart, he had set a bottom line for himself a long time ago, that is, he would never take the initiative to eat intelligent beings, and these titans, obviously, belonged to intelligent beings. Although this bottom line of Huang Zhe's was mainly set against humans, the titans were nothing more than humanoid creatures, and were also guilty of a great deal of evil. Even if he really did eat them, it would still be considered extenuating and a great relief. However, Huang Zhe knew very well that his state of mind just now was obviously very abnormal, and was definitely compelled by some power. Isn't the firewall on my soul very advanced? Why did I suddenly pull my crotch just now? 
or is the being that compelled me very powerful? Huang Zhe thought so, then suddenly felt that his hind limbs, which had landed on the ground, were vaguely stiff, frightening him so much that he hurriedly spread his wings and flew into the sky. Could it be that that being is actually Mother Earth Goddess? Huang Zhe subconsciously made this association. The reason why he wants me to eat these titans may be because in the bodies of these titans is the presence of his power factor, his divinity factor, and if I eat them, I will suffer his assimilation and be under his control? If that's true, that's pretty insidious. It doesn't make sense. Isn't it said that Mother Earth Goddess is always very kind and fraternal? Why did she have to mess with me like this? Huang Zhe's mood was somewhat not very nice. After all, being thought of by a deity of great divine power, then his little life in the future would surely be a bit tougher? And he didn't even really dare to come into contact with the ground, for fear that a hand would come out of the ground and yank him down. No, shouldn't be Mother Earth Goddess. Huang Zhe suddenly also reacted to the fact that the Xia Academy of Sciences had been conducting relatively in-depth research on deities, and according to their deduction, deities like the Sun God, the Earth Mother Goddess, and the Goddess of Life, which were great divine powers, had always had a very weak sense of self-awareness, and were more like a kind of intelligent program that operated on its own according to certain rules. That is to say, he hardly ever does anything consciously, and when he does, then it is bound to be thunderous and without hesitation. Just like the sun god's divine punishment for Xiaoman last time, once it struck, it was a descending blow, directly eliminating the target materially, rather than boiling a frog in warm water like just now, trying to achieve its goal by controlling Huang Zhe's mind, as a deity of great divine power. If the mother goddess really wants to mess with me, not to mention whether or not I'll be able to escape, let's just say why does it have to be today? After all, I've been on the ground quite a few times before. As soon as Huang Zhe's feet left the ground, his brain really cleared up a lot, and he calmly began to think, so, that guy should be someone else. As for when you started getting off on your own, it probably started when he chewed on the golden bow, his mind unknowingly tainted by the power of the artifact. Isn't it you? Isn't it you? Yellow Zephyr was a little annoyed, and instead of blaming brain for his bad habit of nibbling on things, he took offense at the golden bow, constantly wrenching at it with his claws and letting loose with harsh words on his lips. Go back and make sure you let it soak in formalin. No, throw it in a reactor. Through his trumpet, Huang Zhe reported to Academician Ding and the others about the situation on his side. Considering the Black Dragon's limited shipping capacity, it would be difficult to pack up all the titans and bring them back, and continuing to stay there might make the night grow longer. So Academician Ding and the others suggested that the Black Dragon only needed to bring back two of the titans for trial and research, and the others could be executed on the spot as a whole. Huang Zhe readily led the order. He had long had a belly full of these titans, and immediately locked onto one of them and blatantly struck out. There is no suspense. These titans suffered the close-range baptism of the mushroom bomb, and many times by the black dragon forcibly interrupted the reply. This is no resistance. By the black dragon with anger, the end is naturally extremely miserable. One by one were hammered burst the head, mashed the heart, dead cannot be dead again. If this can still be done by the power of the earth, and hang you all back to life, then there is nothing I can do. No, I have a solution. After scrutinizing them with the eye of truth for a while, and determining that these guys were dead beyond death, Huang Zhe was still a bit uneasy, and planned to summon in another tactical nuclear missile to return them to their most primitive atomic form and receive the most complete destruction. However, just then, the situation suddenly changed. The bodies of the titans were thrown together in one piece by the black dragon so that they could be concentrated to receive the engulfing fireballs at the core of the mushroom projectile. And then there was no telling where the greatness had come from, but it had reanimated them and they began to merge wildly. Something is not right, is going to suffer. Huang Zhe immediately realized the danger, and subconsciously wanted to summon mushroom bombs to clear the scene, but he suddenly realized that his brain, without realizing it, had started overclocking again. Passive overclocking. This also meant that the other party's polymerization reaction speed was so high that Huang Zhe's eyes and brain had to be running at high speeds to keep up. The good thing is that this speed, is not also very, that is, 1 hour 60 minutes or so, not only Huang Zhe's brain can withstand, and even the body has not been much affected, trying to summon a mushroom bomb to come to the rescue was obviously unrealistic, though, after all, it would take at least several minutes from the time he summoned back to the time the mushroom bomb was fired over, and multiplied by a multiplier of 60, that would be several hours, in other words, by the time the mushroom bombs come through, the yellow flowers will be cold, God sins? The term suddenly flashed through Huang Zhe's mind, presumably as a hint given by his heart to tell him what the hell this thing was down there. The so-called divine sins were the products derived from certain divine powers that had gone out of control. Very powerful and terrifying. 
with a power level of at least 8, not much worse than some lower, weaker deities. The good thing was that since they were the product of a runaway, their bodies, naturally, were quite unstable and basically wouldn't last more than a few days before collapsing. So, the titans really were gods before, and their bodies after death, if not handled properly, would even form divine sins. Huang Zhe didn't produce any fear in his head, and even all but leapt into action as his body and heart began to heat up crazily, and his desire to fight was running high. He knew this battle was inevitable. After all, the divine power of this divine sinner was definitely much stronger than Huang Zhe's, and it could use its ability to use one second as 60 seconds without restraint. But Huang Zhe might not be able to. In other words, if Huang Zhe was the one who chose to escape, then his situation would likely be even more dangerous. Fighting it head on and hard, instead, has some chances. Huang Zhe certainly wouldn't give it a chance to keep fusing and growing. Immediately pulling himself up to full body status and brazenly charging towards the ugly mass of flesh and blood monster, possibly sensing a real threat to his life, Huang Zhe's body finally erupted with unprecedented strength, and at 1 60th of the speed of an hour, his speed still reached a staggering 60 meters per second as well, and that's already over Mach 10 from a normal person's perspective. The Divine Sinner obviously didn't expect that the Black Dragon's reaction speed could actually keep up with its frequency, and his head was viciously clawed by the Black Dragon letting out a mournful and miserable cry as a large amount of dark and foul-smelling blood sprayed out. So nasty, Huang Zhe's body wasn't doing well either, and around the divine sins, a very weird and terrifying aura seemed to be enveloping the black dragon, causing a very powerful spiritual attack. Moreover, his body was filled with a foul stench that existed not in the form of an odor but in a higher state of the soul, so even though the black dragon had wisely cut off his olfactory nerves a long time ago, he was still contaminated with a large amount of negative statuses tainted on his soul. However, the black dragon was well aware that if he wanted to continue, then he would have to endure this discomfort. After all, the enemy would not be merciful for it. Good thing I took a few good bites of U-235 before I left, and haven't had time to digest it. Sorry, I just got vaccinated yesterday and I'm in bad shape today, still have a few hundred words to go, so I'll change it afterward. Risk, fighting it head on and hard. Instead, has some chances. Huang Zhe certainly wouldn't give it a chance to keep fusing and growing, immediately pulling himself up to full body status and brazenly charging towards the ugly mass of flesh and blood monster, possibly sensing a real threat to his life. Huang Zhe's body finally erupted with unprecedented strength, and at 1 60th of the speed of an hour, his speed still reached a staggering 60 meters per second as well, and that's already over Mach 10 from a normal person's perspective. The Divine Sinner obviously didn't expect that the Black Dragon's reaction speed could actually keep up with its frequency and his head was viciously clawed by the black dragon, letting out a mournful and miserable cry as a large amount of dark and foul-smelling blood sprayed out. So nasty, Huang Zhe's body wasn't doing well either, and around the divine sins, a very weird and terrifying aura seemed to be enveloping the black dragon, causing a very powerful spiritual attack, and his body was filled with a stench that existed not in the form of an odor but in a higher state of the soul, so that even though the black dragon had long ago, what Huang Zhe drank wasn't weapons-grade uranium-235, after all, the concentration of that stuff was just too high for his current alcohol consumption. No, it was that his body simply couldn't manage it with its current digestive capacity. So he was actually eating 20% enriched uranium-235, the nuclear fuel used in nuclear submarine reactors. Sparingly, this concentration of U-235 could obviously work some wonders when used against divine sins, only to see the black dragon inhale furiously, and begin to pressurize its abdominal cavity frantically attempting to compress the magical elements in its body, tightly with the uranium-235 elements, and thus create a terrifying mixture of damage. This was the brilliant idea that Academician Ding and the others had come up with for the Black Dragon after research, although due to the version restriction. Oh, it's the bloodline restriction. Huang Zhe's Black Dragon can't use such high-level magic as Purgatory Spit and Chaotic Storm, but using the element uranium-235 to spice up the Black Dragon's flame breath, the power will certainly not be underestimated. After all, reflective elements are almost the equivalent of real damage to the transcendent beings of this world. The temperature and pressure of the black dragon's abdominal cavity rose very quickly, and between the magical elements and the uranium elements, there seemed to be some kind of terrible annihilation reaction, releasing huge amounts of light and heat, so much so that the black dragon's belly began to become transparent, and the dazzling mass of light became more and more pronounced, as if it might melt through the black dragon's body at any moment. Almost. Yellow Zephyr felt that his abdominal cavity has been fast to the limit of tolerance, and then hard to hold on, may really burn through their own stomachs. At that moment it no longer hesitates, decisively a dive towards the godsins to kill. 
The divine sins obviously sensed the danger, and their originally wildly surging bodies suddenly stopped, and from their flesh and blood emerged a single huge eye, looking dead at the black dragon. Do not look directly at God. Huang Zhe's sanity instantly became somewhat trance-like. Although the divine sin was not a deity in the true sense of the word, it clearly possessed some of the qualities of a god as well. It had this pair of eyes that seemed to be capable of releasing higher dimensional energy interference, and while it didn't manage to burn the black dragon's head off, it did apparently make it significantly less capable. Think Chinese. It's a good thing I've been to the astral plane and wandered around, or else I might have really fallen into your trap. Huang Zhe had already had a defense against this move, and decisively summoned a huge lightning bolt from his heart, slashing down on his head. That mysterious star realm dragon, although he hadn't said anything to the black dragon from start to finish, Huang Zhe had vaguely gained something from those dense eyes on his body. The deity's unreadability was most likely a form of spiritual pollution, and he existed in a form that was beyond the limits of normal biological brain cognition. If one were to accidentally see his essence, it would be like a computer poisoning, directly stuffed with Trojan horses, and not only would the core system crash, but perhaps even the hardware equipment would have to self-destruct and be subjected to a double destruction, both mentally and physically. But it was the fact that the dragons were transcendent beings, their mental resistance was far more powerful than ordinary creatures. Not to mention the fact that the black dragon had traveled to the astral realm and had long had a similar mental buildup. So when confronted with the god sinner's death stare, Huang Zhe immediately gave himself a lightning bolt to the head to reboot his brain. Lightning was meant to be the purest of energies, capable of purifying all kinds of curses and pollution. So the black dragon immediately became refreshed after giving himself an electric shock treatment and continued to charge towards the divine sins. Seeing that the black dragon actually missed, the divine sins were obviously a bit anxious, and each of their eyes were glaring, wishing that they were glaring out of their eyes in order to increase the radiation power of the death rays and dry down this damn black dragon. In response to this, Huang Zhe was not only not flustered, he even wanted to laugh a little. No matter how strong the contamination of this divine sin was, he only needed to send a bolt of lightning to his head and immediately came to his senses. Roar! The black dragon swooped very fast, and didn't even give the divine sinner a chance to change its moves, directly spraying a mouthful of uranium-235 spit on its head before flapping its wings and dodging. Woohoo! 